Hello everyone, how y'all doing? My name is Awesome Waves. I will be running roughly 50% of this game <laughs> with, with my co-runner. Hi, my name's The Brutals, and I love Final <laughs> Fantasy IX. And I can't wait to showcase this game for you guys. Yeah, I think we'll just get underway because we have plenty of time in the... We have a few minutes in the opening cutscene. We will need the name for Zidane. Have you already hit the button? No, I didn't. Oh, I, didn't. I got baited. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> He's that raging to go. He's just ready Give to go. Give me in, man. So off we go. Yeah, we will need the name for Zidane almost instantly. It's like three minutes. It's like two minutes in. So um, if you want to take that away, maybe straight away, so we'll have that ready to go. No worries. I'll close that one out in just a minute here. So I'm not really sure what's going on in this game, if I'm honest with you. I've played it a few times. Have you? A couple times. Um, it looks like Pirates of the Caribbean or something, but they're not having a very good time. It's just a sequel to FF8, isn't it? Yeah. I know that one pretty well. So yeah, that one starts... Squall in this as well? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's at the end, I think. <laughs> I actually don't want to ruin the end of H for you, so I can't even yeah, make don't, a joke. Don't, don't joke about that. <laughs> I can't even make a joke about FF8. Yeah, we keep that one off record. So, uh, Final Fantasy IX has the best intro to any speedrun ever. Where the absolute first thing that we have to do is put the, the, the entire run through a grinder of trying to steal uh, an unnecessarily rare item. Which is really, really going to help out, unfortunately. It kind of sets the precedent for how the whole run is going to go, really. Just an RNG fest. Um, just have to get lucky, Bruce. Isn't that it? <laughs> the whole thing. The whole thing is just a blender. The whole thing is a blender. And we just got to try and stand tall and try and not let it knock us down, man. <laughs> no, it'll be good. So, yeah, we do have to steal from the very first fight. We've got our four members and uh, we're going to be stealing from the masked man to try and get a Mage Masher, which is a really good weapon for Zidane off the bat and will help, help us through the first We use it. It, it literally doubles yeah. his damage, man. Yeah, yeah. It literally doubles it. He clocks him. Um, but the very first thing that Waves is going to do is he's going to have to make sure that he sets the menu up correctly. Oh yes, very important. It's very important. We've had very heated debates about the mm -hmm. about the menus. Mm -hmm. There is uh, only one correct configuration. Yeah, uh, we came to that agreement long ago. Long, long ago. Long, <laughs> long ago. So we will need Zidane's name. And Straight Zidane's up. name is my dude. My dude. Is yeah. that M with a Y. With, with a Y. A y. Okay. Yes, M Y space D U D E. You know how to do spaces, yeah? In the bottom, just a blank space. Or flick one of the. Yeah. <laughs> is it a capital D? It is. It is. All right, okay. So, I'll do my little config menu. Huge. And nice. There we go. <laughs> and here we go. You. Nice. It's me. My, my dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so in this very first combat, we get to demonstrate uh, one of the advanced combat techniques called ATB waiting. ATB is the name of the little bars in the bottom right. When your ATB bar fills up, you can take you can take your turn. Uh, the game is actually real time, uh, but it's pseudo turn based. When your built bar fills up, then you, you know you can take your action. So essentially, you can force some of your characters to have two turns per turn uh, if you're able to manipulate the enemy's ATB at the same time. So nothing yet. Nothing okay, one yet. Round. That's four. Do you want to keep coming? That's four. That's four. So we're going to send in uh, old Billy Blanks here, holding with Marcus. So now Blank is going to get a, a fifth turn this turn. We've got the wrist, making a mental note. That's very important. And ATV weight successful. Very nice. That's nine. Wahaha. Gozi. Ooh. 10, 11, all right, what's he got? We've got to beat 64, 13, 14, <laughs> help <laughs> me. Help. There's no point in it. Do it. Do it. Hand it over now. It is not complying. I think this is... Your marathon. You are just going to have to give me the Mage Masher, I'm afraid. <laughs> Please. ADB waiting is uh, out the window for a minute. You counting? Uh, uh, like at least 10. <laughs> <laughs> it's been at least 7. It's like 17 or something, I don't know. Let me put blank ahead again. You're okay. Yeah, it's not a big deal. This one's pretty open. 
Oh! There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, and so now the easiest way to end the fight is actually to just knock our dudes out. Have them attack ourselves. Uh, we can end the fight by attacking the boss, but not only do we have to watch an extra dying animation from the boss, but, well, we have to hit him more times than we have to hit ourselves, so. Perfect. Get, get us out. First split of the run. Done. There we go. So. That was like a 320 major measure, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you turn the five upside down, it's two. Roughly. World record major measure. Nice, nice. Very huge. So that is the run underway. That is like the heavy reset point of any speed run of this game. People will just... That's your reactor. That's your your return to garden. Your fish fins. I'm a professional seven oh, eight yeah. already. There you go. You know the yeah. speed names. <laughs> uh, so very, very, very carefully going to have to make sure that we don't select option one like 60 times here. Well, I just whatever. select it once. For, you know. Just once. Oh, just what one. am I saying? What am I saying? What, what am, am I saying? Am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> Now, I don't know, I suppose I should start. There's a really, really technical skip coming up. Yeah, it, um, the, the entire run actually hinges on this skip. Yeah, so and the real reason why Waves is leading right now is because he has never missed this skip. I am the puck skip master. The puck skip master. I've tried to teach some of the FF9 community, but obviously it's just too We just can't get our head around it. Too difficult. Um, did you even get it in your PB? No. 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 Okay. That's... Uh, Literally, record is free if you can hit this trick. I've been trying to like reroute the entire game around this skip, but uh, it hasn't really been working out yet. But we're gonna try today, so we need all the good energy from Chet and from everyone here to get this puck skip underway. So we're gonna meet Vivi, who is the villain of the game. He is. He is the central antagonist and who, who I'm representing. Uh, primary today. villain of the game. Yeah, he is. But he is the goodest boy, but he is also the evilest boy. And uh, we're gonna spend the rest of this run trying to bring this to light and attention here because a lot of people don't quite realize just how evil that little baby boy really is so for this skip right here <laughs> it's uh it's so th there isn't actually a name for it in nine but in the seven community they call this a paralysis dodge where essentially um uh, when you would enter a conversation or anything like that the game flags something and says that you can't move you're locked into something but if you trigger two of these things at the same time somehow the game flips that bit twice at the same time and it allows you to move so Wavesy here is going to try and initiate a conversation as Puck bumps into him. And if he does it correctly, he'll be able to slip slide, zoop, zoop around Zip when he definitely should It's 100% going to get it. Oh, yeah. So what I, should, what I should say is when Waves gets it. Exactly. It's normally on CRT, so if I don't get it, I'm going to blame that. But we'll see. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's bad boy RNG. Oh! Yes! Come on! <laughs> Look at the boy go! <laughs> I'm actually. Honk. <laughs> Told you, it's free. All right, now I just get nobles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. But we do have sort of like two minutes away from the VV name. Uh, as soon as we enter the church section. Oh, where it's we steady, 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 steady. I'm too rattled after getting puck skip. I'm going, I'm going too fast. I'm zooming. I'm actually blown away. I got that. <laughs> oh, man. We could have done some j jumps. We could have done some jump rope, but oh man, there's no time for that. No time. We're, speed, time run we're speed running today. We gotta move. So a really cool bit about this uh, this alleyway here is if for some reason you, you decide not to move, old alleyway Jack comes out of nowhere and uh, <laughs> he pickpockets the poor boy <laughs> and, stands, and starts his spiral into madness. That's <laughs> that's where he goes off the end. The downfall uh, of uh, BB. <laughs> But we skip that because we're just too fast. So instead of him stealing stuff from us, we steal this ladder, mm -hmm. which we're going to use. That is mine now. That This ladder, my ladder. Is it your ladder? That's my ladder. It's your ladder now. <laughs> 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 the evil the evil ladder <laughs> rules. Uh, yes, we're going to pick up this There's tent. a little little tent yeah, hiding in the bushes here. here. They're going to be really useful later. Yeah, we'll Very just interesting. Explain that as we go. So we're going to go up here and we're going to meet some Moogles for the first time. Is it the first, first time in the game? Yes, it is the first Moogle we meet. Uh, uh, yeah? There we go. Is it Mog? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's Moogle. I know Stillskin. Everyone knows Stillskin. He's got a very nice hat. So, uh, so yeah, just a moment when we're heading on up here, if we could... Uh, Get the VV name ready for it because he's in the next scene. Yeah, brilliant. No worries. Hell, it's a yeah. tight race right now, by the way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh we, yeah. Well, we've gotten a few donations in, so uh, let's see here. We had $150 from Steth427. 
They said, they said, no comment needed. Just follow the notes and don't mess up, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and that went towards some naming. Um, but if you need the name now, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll refresh yeah. it. And I am seeing Vivi's name is Anis, A-N-I-C-E. Perfect. Cool. Cap- capital E. That's correct. Uh, we do have time for like two donations as we doesn't definitely be after this after I name Vivi. So if you want to take, yeah, oh, absolutely. So I'll finish off that one from uh, Steph. A uh, hundred dollars went towards my dude, but it just got beat out by ten dollars because we had an anonymous forty dollar donation right at the last minute that said good luck on the run, putting that money towards Anis. Thank you both for your generosity. Uh, we also have forty dollars coming in from Alco. It says very happy to sit in the audience of the best Final Fantasy next to the best Pokemon. <laughs> Hello to the community online and right here, especially Mutsky, in whose honor I am naming a character. Good luck on the run. And that went towards naming uh, uh, Iko to Mutsky. We could have guessed it was going to be Iko, I think. <laughs> His favorite character. You know what? She gets a lot of flack, but she's all right, you know. She's all right. <laughs> 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 so, uh, do you want to explain what's going on, Bruce? You know more about this, the story of this game than I do. So, uh, there. Yeah, so we're, we're, there's a play. We're going to go see a play. I do know the name of it. I want to be your canary. That's the one. Perfect. Nice one, yeah. Um, so, when when we were in the, the airship with Zidane and the crew there, we were uh, discussing our grand scheme on how we're going to kidnap the Princess Garnet, who we can see on the right here. Um, so, they are staging a very elaborate play as the theater troupe um, Tantalus. Tantalus. It is Tantalus, isn't it? I wasn't sure if that was just a band of <laughs> mercenaries or whatever. Uh, but yeah, they are they are staging their heist as we speak. And uh, they're going to do it in front of this crowd, which is just pretty impressive. Um, so immediately following this cutscene, we're going to be uh, getting started with the play. And the first act, the first scene is the scene with King Leo and Marcus. Uh, yep. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what's going on. Uh, I'm not Marcus is he's pretty mad. Okay. He's pretty upset, isn't he? He's ready to throw hands. He's ready. And uh, we're going to get into the, the one of the most weirdly complicated fights. This one is actually home to some of the most difficult to, uh, fights to optimize in the entire run. The game sort of peaks at the beginning, dips a fair bit towards the middle, and then begins to slowly climb as you get mm. towards the end game. Just because... Uh, Playing around the RNG can take a lot of practice. So essentially, King Leo goes down in five hits. Um, Sinner is like, I don't know, a one in four, four chance to actually count as a hit. Yeah. Sinner has a really varied he have role. He like 32 different damage rolls or something crazy. Uh, something 16 is up, ups and twos, yeah, yeah. But yeah, lots. It's between like four and 36 oh, yeah. or something. Maybe that's what I meant, yeah. 32 range of 16. Sorry, yeah, yeah, then, yeah, dead on. And um, so you can use ATP weight tricks here. All Marcus, Blank, and Zidane. Can all wait against these uh, these 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 NPCs. Um, we're going to see these two ads on the side here, Benero and Zanero. We don't actually need to defeat them to win the fight. We just need to deliver lethal damage to King Leo here. Um, hitting them allows, stops them from being able to attack you. Uh, we don't want them to cast their special effect spells, Pyro and Polly. They're really slow. Um, so if we get good ATVs, we'll be knocking them out. You can't lose the fight, which is the best bit. But trying to save as much time on here as possible is is a bit of a nightmare. <clears throat> yeah, so, so it's, they are special attacks are just special effects. They don't for the do sake of the show. Yeah, they don't do zero damage. Yeah, it's just time loss. Smack them. Smack them. Smack I them. plan on smacking them. Oh, that's a big smack. It's an hard smack. Probably should have smacked him. <laughs> don't smack him. Let's try smack him. <laughs> oh! Smack one of these. We like these preamps, though. No one's going. Okay. He's going. Okay. I'm, gonna I'm gonna wait. Leo. Yeah, you could probably. Let some ATP grow here so that we can get some turns in. Yeah, whatever, Sinner. <laughs> whatever, buddy. Cool. So we should be able to get a free turn in here with Blank. If we get a high roll from Sinner... 28! Mm, pretty, pretty, pretty tasty! Good, pretty good, pretty Come good. on, buddy! No misses! Don't let me down. Oh, not good enough. Not good enough. Oh, Unlucky. The double special effects. Come to my light show. So coming up after this, this should be the end of this fight. Everyone's going to swing and we're going to come out of this. There is a mini game, and it's TAS only. (laughs) 
Absolutely no one in the history of Final Fantasy IX has ever gotten this. And I shall showcase that no one will get this because yeah. I will definitely not get this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give Waves a little bit of uh, room to focus on this because it doesn't look hard. No, it's not hard. It doesn't it's look hard at all. If you see Zidane falling over, that's good, okay? <laughs> It'll be fine. Just believe me. It's like a dance dance Final Fantasy IX. Yeah, so it's... it's it's kind of like a rhythm game where you just got to react, press buttons, so you, it starts off with X triangle, then left and right, and then up and down, and then the circle and square. Um, but yeah, like I said, TAS only. Don't worry about it. I'm expecting to get around 69. Told you, Tess only. Don't worry about it. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good. That's good. To then fall in over once twice is good. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's it's good RNG. <laughs> okay. 69, 69, 82. It's the same thing, basically. Uh, no. <laughs> I got confused there. Of uh, did I need to press yes or no? Not so bad. Blaming <laughs> the CRT, lack of it, and the fact it's Tess only. So don't, don't worry about it. So uh, essentially, in the 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 original release, the Japanese release of this game, that the mini game is basically the same thing. However, uh, the maximum amount of gil you can get caps out are just underneath a thousand gil. Pretty much no matter what you get, and then it, it, it kind of deteriorates as you go down, kind of, you know, uniformly. However, in the North American release, when they put it over, and the European one as well, they decided if you got a hundred clean, then you, they just give you 10k, which is actually a really, really, really it's a huge big chunk amount of cash at this point. Gil in the game. In the game. Um, and we can use a little, little, little um, merchanting trick later on to kind of gain a boon from that boon. And multiply it, and we can just they basically skip a few pickups. It's uh, it's nothing too huge, uh, but it ends up saving something like 27 seconds, 20 one seconds. encounter maybe or something. Yeah, so it's, it's not even an encounter, bro. Yeah, Come on, be it's, real. It's, it's, <laughs> it's really small. Yeah. So I just did a little menu there to just equip the Mage Masher that we stole earlier on, just so that it's equipped for the next few battles. That mm -hmm. was all the menu there. Yeah. Um... So yeah. it's gonna say something. Go on, escape. This is. This is a hooded figure. It looks escape. like a white mage. Quick escapes? Quick escape, my brain. It's gone. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was there. So uh, the name runs into this hooded figure up here. Who, oh, sorry. Um, it's to interrupt. Uh, the Steiner name is coming up in oh, just a moment. Yes. If we could close that. Yeah. In literally like a minute and a half. Um, uh, it's a Zonan Fawn. Look at these little boys. They are funny looking dudes. They're little, oh, adorable little babies. Um, <laughs> so the more I learn about this game, the more I realize that they've actually been like adapted in so many different ways across different like languages and whatnot so it's whenever it's someone like i don't know from like the german community or something comes in like oh they speak really funny in english or whatever it's it's pretty cool how they've been adapted across all the different languages i can't remember where they go but these guys kind of just repeat each other's lines there's a there's a term for it but man, I'm, not, I'm not smart enough for that <laughs> yeah we got Stanis name coming up in this scene actually yeah so if you want to close that up please absolutely And with one last refresh, it looks like Steiner's name is going to be Bovril. 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 Awesome. B O V R I L? That is correct. That on. With a capital B. That is also correct. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks again, everyone, for the donations on these things. This is crazy. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Thanks. <laughs> Some big money coming in for ESA. Oh, Old Bobby B. Nice. Oh, well, perfect. Excellent. That naming incentive alone raised two hundred and forty-one dollars. Oh, that's amazing. Well, they. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have um, a little bit of time for donations. Here. We're just going to run up to the top of the tower. It's going to be a cutscene, and then we're going to come back to another fight in the play scene with Steiner. So if you want to read. One or two donations, by all means. Excellent, can do. Uh, we've got $35 coming in from Miss Doki Doki 143. Just says VV 2.0 and puts that towards naming uh, Queenya 
Steiner. Nice. <laughs> then we also have $10 from Dilwingo. Uh, they say the Final Fantasy community is eating good today. Best of luck to Awesome Waves and the Brutals for showcasing this incredible run. Really grateful I got to meet both of you, and thank you for being so welcoming to me. Brutals, after ESA, the race for sub-640 in Final Fantasy VII No Slots is on. Oh. <laughs> Much love, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Dill. Cheers, Dilly. <laughs> You're going to regret that, baby. Oh, you're going to regret that, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do have time for one, if there's one more in the queue. There is. It's $45 from Anarakis. And that says, as promised, here's $5 for every blue rupee seen in the Twilight Princess run. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck in the Final Fantasy IX run. Thank you, thank you. It's very hard not to hum along with all of the OST of Final Fantasy IX. It is just a little bit less than uh, FF8's OST, in my opinion. Maybe chat can weigh right, in well, with their favorite maybe OST. Maybe we shouldn't go down, right? Maybe we shouldn't. Chat will probably go off too hard. <laughs> um, my opinion, FF8 is the, is the pinnacle of FF OSTs, but FF9 is phenomenal. It's brilliant that you're allowed to just be wrong with your opinions on the internet, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you can just do that. And no one can stop you. It's illegal to stop That's you. That's it. I have Crazy, a microphone. You cannot stop me. It's impossible. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> um, so what's coming next? We've got Steiner 2, right? Or is it Steiner 1? Steiner we haven't had a Steiner yet. Yeah, so Steiner 1 is a very, a very, 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 very linear fight. It's all RNG. Brilliant. Love it. Um, we can do ATB weight tricks with Mark uh, Blank and Zidane in that fight. Uh, we essentially need three attacks between the two of them. Uh, Sinner doesn't count again. <laughs> This <laughs> poor sinner, man. He's there to hold ATV with and look pretty. Um, if you get really lucky, and I've never actually seen this happen, but I have heard legends, is that if you max roll with all three of them, then you can kill in a single turn, which is... I don't know, it probably saves you a second or two, yeah, <laughs> maybe. It's minimal. It's super minimal. Um, so essentially, as long as we can get good ATB on two of our characters, it doesn't matter who they are, we, we can, can then them. wait one of them and we can uh, one turn the, the exactly. fight. Only if you quit the Mage Masher. I did indeed. Exactly. It's, and that's what I'm saying. That's, this is part of where the Mage Masher starts coming in. We, if you don't steal the Mage Masher, you can actually run without it, and you're able to replace it in Ice Cavern somewhere. Okay. I've never picked it up, but one of my friends has. <laughs> <laughs> um, you will probably get a lot of encounters in doing so, and a number of fights starting here start to become a lot yeah, more uh, unreliable. Mm -hmm. Because your damage is so small. This is the best scene in the game. So this is where the hooded figure that we met in the hallway is indeed the princess that we have come to kidnap. And it turns out that she wants to be taken with them. She is willingly happy to go along. Hereby do my best to kidnap you. <laughs> come with me. Uh, and she will. So she does come along with them. And Steiner, the guard that we played as briefly there, who is Bovril, uh, is doing... Chase. Giving chase. Crazy. I want a Tantalus rug, man. <laughs> oh, I never even know. <laughs> Do you reckon they're going to sell them on the Square Store <laughs> when they re release this game with Remake? Surely, yeah. <laughs> Tantalus rugs. You could hang it on the wall behind the stream. That'd be good, wouldn't it? There you go. And then you never run Final Fantasy IX ever again <laughs> just to confuse people. <laughs> The opening sequence this does a great job of like introducing all of the many of the characters. We've even seen Beatrice earlier on there as well, talking to Steiner and uh, loads of other characters. Zorn and Thorn, obviously, all introduced. Queen Bran. Yeah. So Blank in disguise here is one of the Pluto knights that we saw earlier when they were in the castle, and he's uh, giving Steiner the old juke. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get them out. So yeah, this room's actually got some puzzles and such you can do with increasing and decreasing the uh, the steam engine. Really? Yeah, to release some chests. <laughs> there's like a, I think there's a pinion actually. Oh cool. But it takes, it takes too like, long. Wait, like take it. Oh my. What is Dagger doing? <laughs> Turbo. Oh. That would explain. <laughs> I was, just don't I was, talk I was interacting don't talk with her. You don't want to talk to you, man. Leave her alone, <laughs> bro. <laughs> 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 All right, come on, come on, good ATB. Let's do it. Give me the juice. Let's do it. Look at that 
mighty chin. Oh, it's looking good. You just I just queued run. <laughs> Wait, we're gonna get the tree. We're gonna get it. What? That was a little too low roll, man. <laughs> I so respect the idea it. was I was supposed to swing with the other dude. It's all good. <laughs> supposed to swing with my dude. There he goes. Don't, don't wait in. <laughs> it's the marathon stress, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Safety stress. Safety, Safety stress. Can't go wrong this way. <laughs> I have played this game before. <laughs> I'm glad you have, because I haven't. So actually, a really cool thing here is uh, we wondered if if Blank was dead during this animation, it would skip it. Oh yeah. And uh, so we we tried knocking him out once, and we go into the cutscene, and Steiner still puts the the ability on him, whatever it's called, Moon Strike, mm -hmm. and it actually resurrects Blank. Oh my <laughs> he god. He stands back up so that he can have his armor <laughs> taken off him, and all the old cards pop out. Nice. <laughs> Zero frame PD. Busted. Amy. I'm gonna swap this memory card. You got it, yeah? Yeah. So the next fight coming up is Steiner 2. Again, it's very, very simple fight. It's completely based on a ATV RNG. We All we want to see is really good ATVs from our characters. Um, the own, Basically, the, the fight ends instantly if Dagger is the only one left alive on our party side. So, but however, if Tiger is dead, then uh, you game over. So don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't, don't don't do that. So uh, what that does mean is that you can then use her ATV to hit people on your own side that are got bad ATVs. So you only need three good ATVs between the entire uh, cast of four. Um, you can. So in all bosses, you do actually have to fight. You actually have to like uh, take out Steiner here. Oh, you have to win all these. Oh, yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. In all bosses, you're not allowed to use these uh, death strats to. End the fight early, you actually mm. have to deal lethal That's damage to the boss. Um, but we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're going fast. There's, the, there's, there's plenty of content out there if you want to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> we're zooming. We're going fast. Yeah, kick him. Mm. So as this plays out, Obviously, Steiner is actually chasing uh, the princess and the group the members of Tantalus to try and recover the princess because he thinks he's been kidnapped. But the play continues, and they weave him into the actual acting of the play. So uh, and Steiner le genuinely thinks that Dagger's been stabbed here, which is brilliant. It's <laughs> <laughs> just like a testament to the, the loyalty of this character. He is fully convinced that <laughs> Calamity has <is> struck. <laughs> and he's sobbing uncontrollably. And uh, this is where we're going to see Vivi's first introduction to how much of an evil little boy he is. <laughs> he he has a reckless disregard yeah. for the safety of those around him, and in some cases, even himself. That's true. Yeah. So this is where it all begins. It stay back. It's, that's a threat. That's a threat. <laughs> stay he's, back. He's issuing now. threats. And I, and here we go. He's actually aiming for the soldiers, but he's set the princess on fire. He is the villain. He is so evil, dude. Imagine if she couldn't get that off in time. It'd, it'd be a very different story. At least I can do Burns. <laughs> Marcus is just kind of sat there. He's just like, yeah, what's <laughs> going on? Look, he's fallen over. Bless him. <laughs> it's so hard to be mad at him, though. I know, it? yeah. Bless him. Oh, cute little baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need that juice again. Give it, a, give it a ATV. I want some full stick of butter. Bottom, mm. Need three out of four. Mm. <laughs> Very nice. Bonk. So unfortunately, these guys don't deal very good damage at all. Yeah, that's two. I wouldn't be surprised if we see another one here. Oh, no. Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, all three, all maybe. Three. That's brilliant RNG for the rest of the time. Don't worry. Love to don't see it. Don't even worry about it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, so we're going to have a quick cutscene here, and then we have one more trick coming up for the uh, the prologue before we actually start the game. Uh, There's time for one donation, I believe, if you have anything to keep. Excellent. We've got $100 coming in from Vampire Carrot. Yo! They say, good luck, Brutals, and awesome waves. I hope the RNG is mostly on your side this run. <laughs> <laughs> not entirely. That's not very much fun, It won't fun, make it? for good content otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> it needs to be a little mean to Thank you, Carrot. Actually, yeah, you probably have time for another one. All right. Uh, we've also got an anonymous $100 donation Ooh. with no comment. 
Uh, and both of those are putting the love towards Steiner. Uh, that first one from Vampire Carrot put $100 towards naming uh, Amaranth Steiner. And the anonymous one <laughs> wants uh, 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 Quina to be named Steiner, as well as Freya to be named Steiner. <laughs> <laughs> it won't get confusing at all later on. We'll be fine. But thanks for the great... Thank you very much for the donations. Yeah, thanks. So uh, we, in this fight coming up, there is... Actually, this is quite a, a recent trick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the bomb skip, of course. Um, there is a huge bomb enemy that we're going to see behind Steiner. Steiner is blissfully ignorant to its presence as our party tries to alert him, um, uh, which we're going to see Dag uh, not Dagger, sorry, uh, Bran fire it from this cannon that she's got behind her throne for some reason. <laughs> just in, Here just he in is. So um, essentially, the bomb actually is extremely quick, um, and we can use our ATB to stop Steiner's growth and allow the bomb to have extra turns. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow the bomb to grow faster than Steiner can tell us to shut up, basically. Yeah. We'll see if we get it. It's a very, very minimal skip. Uh, it's it saved so. up to three seconds. <laughs> okay. It's good ATB, actually. You can... Yeah, this works. Nice. Probably wrecked it there. Very nice. And as soon as one last bit. Vanishes, I hold. That's it, dead on. Wait till coming back. So now Steiner's ATV is currently empty. We're holding it empty so that Bomb can get two turns here. Oh, he shouldn't talk. And then Steiner shouldn't, yeah, there shouldn't be a dialogue box at the top. There we go. Nice little bomb skip. Pock skip and bomb skip. Here we go. Three seconds time save. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Three seconds from nine hours, baby. <laughs> it all adds up. It all adds up. <laughs> it all adds up. Yeah, so there is a lot of downtime here if you want to actually read some donations. Yeah, we can probably clear them all out. Excellent. Well, let's start with a $10 donation from Felix210. Uh, no comment and then didn't go to any naming. Uh, but we also have a $10 donation from Canuck184. They say, super stoked to see you two running this game. I swear I will pick it up soon when the task can teach me nobles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Brutals, does this game have a step-stepping guide with a step-by-step -step sequence in which steps are stepped through? <laughs> Good luck, my dudes. <laughs> that went towards naming Dagger Spoon. <laughs> We've got $20 from CK. It says, I'll double this amount if you sort the menu color out. This is borderline unwatchable in gray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's... Oh. Not, <laughs> Should we just like do that on the fly if, if someone wants to donate uh, something to swap it back again? <laughs> mm, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Now, that went towards uh, naming Ico Mutsky. Nice. And then finally, we've got two hundred and fifty dollars coming in from CG Gambit or CC Gambit. Oh, I'm sorry. Dang, huh. dude. They say hi, awesome waves, brutals, and DSA. Always happy to donate to an amazing cause. Waves, delighted you can hold your head high after all the puck skip build up over the past few weeks. <laughs> Good luck to you and Broodly Boy on the run, and excited to see all the chaos you can create. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks for the Gambit. So that was split between naming Iko Mutsky, that $100 went to that, and naming Freya Rat Jam, $150 oh, went yeah. to that. <laughs> nice. Thanks so much to all the community members floating in with the donations. Yeah, you guys are the best, man. Thanks Thank so you. much. So um, with naming characters in this game, something that's actually really cool about FF9, I'm not sure if it's the same with 8. Actually, you can't really name much in 8, can you? Can There's only 2 and a dog. Can you name Squall? You can, can't you? Squall, Renoa, yeah. uh, the dog, and something else that I right. want to spoil for you. Okay, <laughs> of course not. Um, so in nine, as you as you as you, oh, you must be aware by now, hopefully you can name the characters. Um, so the reason why it's it's particularly welcome in nine is that when a text box is populated, it is actually irrelevant how much text there is in the text box. It always populates at the same rate. Um, so if you have a full name or a, a, a no name whatsoever, it will do the same thing regardless. In contrast to Final Fantasy VII, where it will actually print, I believe, six characters every frame. Um, so if you have, for example, your dude's name Cloud and Barrett and full character names like that, you actually lose something like 30 seconds over the course of the run. Something minimal. Yeah, the same applies in eight. It's, it's, it is yeah, an eight. It's yeah. populated, so you want to delete the names if you can to make them short as possible. Mm -hmm. One of the only forced ATEs in this game. ATEs is the mechanic that I believe was introduced to 9. It wasn't in 8 or anything no. like that, no. It's really good. Yep, it just shows you a little snippet into the, the lives and experiences of those not in the immediate party. Lots of little flavor text. Um, this is the only one that we have to do. There is another one that we really want 
to do coming up, which I will <laughs> happily bring to the forefront of our memory so we don't forget. Um, but right here, this is... There is an encounter skip that happens here, which I will cover in a moment, but hopefully Wavesy boy can not get an encounter right at the end. No good, mate. No good. No good, mate. Missed it. No good. Missed it. There is a... So we'll talk about the encounters the encounter process or how, how encounters occur in this game uh, a bit later on when we have more downtime I think because we do have some bosses coming up here mm -hmm. this uh, is a good kill very nice a nice kill so we do want to take these encounters if we get them um, in the HD version for example where they get less encounters they want the forces encounter to get get Z to get um, Zidane to get as much experience as he can while he's on his own because we do return here shortly spoilers uh, with the rest with two more members of the parties yeah so we'll, we'll make a mental note we're on 23 experience points here the, uh, the side objective that we have as runners right now is that we want to make sure that Zidane hits level 3 before the next, ma not the major boss coming up of Evil Forest, but the one after in Ice Cabin when we're going to fight the Sea Lion. We want to be level 3 there just because of how much damage the boss can deal at a single moment. Being able to have a health pool big enough to tank it all is very, very welcome. But And getting that encounter there uh, is, is brilliant because Zidane receives all of the experience points and without having to share any of it with the party members that will be accompanying him later. What is that would, light? Would you like to explain the wonderful trance well, system that everyone loves? Only if you'll surge for me. <laughs> <laughs> only if you'll surge for me. <laughs> do the trance dance. Trance dance. So trance is the best mechanic. Because oh. what do we need in a run full of RNG but more, more, more RNG? So uh, there's a little... Uh, orange and yellow bar underneath our ATV bar that's just in, been introduced. That is the, the trance bar. It, it, whenever you receive damage, there is a chance to, for it to increase on a random amount based on how much spirit the character has. And for, luckily, we didn't miss here, so we can go for a basic. Very nice. And the fight a little bit quicker. If Steiner misses there, you have to do another dine, which is just brilliant. Yeah. Um, because we actually took that extra encounter, we don't have to de-trance. Don't ask why. <laughs> <laughs> no um, but ultimately uh, when it pops it pops and there's nothing you can do about it and in the worst case scenario it occurs before you're able to get to the flea command for Zidane in a random battle and that can happen and it, it can, can kill you, kill you. It could I, would, kill you. I would never have had that happen to me never ever ever not once not one iron giant not once never <laughs> Nine hours into our eight, and that's eight hours, eight forty-five into a run or something. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do my best piece once an impression for this. So coming up now immediately is Prison Cage Two. Uh, we're trying to save the baby boy because while he is disastrously evil, we do need him. And uh, it's gonna take three attacks from Zidane and two attacks from Steiner to deal lethal here. Hopefully we don't miss. Missing is the worst thing that can happen here. Uh, if you get nothing but low rolls as well, then it can be a bit of a shame, but it's looking okay already. Um, on the third turn, Zidane is going to go for a steal. There is a 70% chance to steal the broadsword, uh, which is the one that we want. There is a 25, 24% chance to steal the leather wrist and a 6% chance to steal nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Um, the go. broadsword's brilliant because it's going to allow Zidane to deal some more damage and save us 600 kill. So please, 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 because we didn't get nobles, we could do with the extra little pick-me-up. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Broadsword? Oh, broadsword. Got right, the broadies. Thank you, thank you. It was all skill. Very well done. Very well done. All skill. Yeah, yeah that's, this is what a thousand hours in F9 looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so bosses in this game don't actually award any experience points whatsoever. Uh, but they do award ability points, which go towards learning abilities associated with the equipment that we are wearing. Um, all of this is really, really heavily tracked and routed and uh, managed to make sure that our characters can learn the abilities they need in time for when they need them. Um, so right there, that was worth three ability points. That's going to go towards an ability to call Protect Girls. We've got Flea on the go. Steiner, I think, has like Bug Killer and Maybe something. Oh, Beast Killer. Beast killer. Stuff that we don't need. But it is it's, it is routed in, it is factored in, and uh, we are going to be... Well, we've got notes for it, <laughs> but, <laughs> so we don't need to remember it, all of it, but it, it, there's a lot a lot that goes into managing all that sort of stuff. Um, so we've got a little bit of kill routing coming up. Yeah, we're going to pick up some small bits around the tier tier ship while we do the story progression of talking to certain people, and uh, we 
talk to Vivi, see how he's getting on. He has been poisoned as well, isn't he? He's, he's pretty recovering. traumatized right now. He's recovering. Not to say he doesn't deserve it, though. No, no, he's a villain. <laughs> Don't forget the rubber helm. <laughs> Is there a rubber helm in there? <laughs> yeah, yeah right. somewhere. I have done exactly 50 runs of this game. That's not exactly. Even, that's not even a joke. 51. 51, including one HD run, yeah. <laughs> uh, that doesn't count. That's not a real run. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. Brood's going to start trouble. And oh. um, the, so I didn't, I've actually done 50 runs. Cause I actually decided, uh, and one of the other runners who made the notes that I originally kind of started with would have been um, Mutsky. Oh, my God. And uh, he had the idea also of doing like a run history. So every time I did a run, I just wrote down run number one, time achieved or died or whatever. And I've just been tracking it since. And it's actually a really good idea. I thought it was a good way to... <coughs> improve and learn lessons from what you've done. So if you died here, you go practice that bit and it's written down. And uh, just been doing it over the last year. I've actually just happened to hit 50 exact runs. Uh, it's actually a really cool document. I was, it is, it's actually really cool. It was, I wish uh, Mutsuki had told me to do something like that in my day. <laughs> 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 but it's, no, it's cool, that's cool. I understand that you guys are pretty tight. <laughs> 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 so right here, it's really important that you don't pick option two because you lose over a minute. Because uh, it's, Asking whether Zidane wants to go look for the princess, and you can just say no. And <laughs> he goes and doesn't ever think about it, and there's more cutscenes. Oh, really? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pick up the chest here. And we're going down to ask Baku, can we go? Can we leave the ship? Isn't it, basically? Dad, yeah. can I please, can I please go? go outside? And he goes, only if you can beat me in a fist fight. It's like a real life. <laughs> So, uh, it's against a that... Knife. It's a knife fight, it's even worse. It, it, well, it's the bandits, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Don't bring a fist to a knife fight. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, in the previous encounter with the prison cage, we had a chance to steal the leather wrist. And the reason why we don't want the leather wrist is because it kind of gets a little bit jammed in our inventory. It's not worth as much gill. Mm -hmm. But if you do get it, there is a big ceiling to it. And that is that it boosts your spirit by one point, And that one point actually um, fixes... Ooh, nice. I like the instant like ATP, that. baby. Like Let's that. go, buddy. Um, it allows us to critical. So right now, we're in the, in the PSX version of the game, there is actually a bug where the formula won't be able to let you crit if your spirit is below a certain value. And it only occurs when Zidane is um, level... underneath level 4, I think, or something like that. I don't know, whenever he gains his point of spirit. But the leather wrist bumps you over that point and allows you to crit from the beginning. It's actually fixed in HD, so you'll see way more variants mm -hmm. in these parts of the run in HD. But right here, we can't crit currently, but with the leather wrist, you can. It's like a 2.5 or something percent chance. And I've never actually crit Baku, like because <laughs> you've got to get like a 30% chance to steal it, and then you've actually got to equip it. And oh. Yeah, I've never seen it. Yeah, it's it's exceptionally rare. And it's uh, it causes more issues, I believe, if you... Uh Get it and use it on sea line later. Oh yeah, which can it can it can obviously help you, but it can also hinder you and push you. It back. has more chance to help you than it does hinder. Really? Absolutely. There's more more turns where it's good than it's bad. I'm at the point where I want. I've just been equipping it and just yoloing it. Exactly as, well. as you should. I and guess you know what? Is. Sometimes you just gotta embrace it. Embrace it the happens. RNG. If you're it running happens. FF9, you're going to be embracing the RNG anyway. So you just have to. Yep. So I'm gonna nip back in here. This costs a few seconds to pick up an ether, which this is actually the for... second biggest time loss from not getting nobles. <laughs> that that bit right there is a third of the time loss from not getting nobles. <laughs> that's 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 how much of a great impact it has on the run. <laughs> so we're actually picking up a few ethers to sell. Uh, we're not we're not interested in preserving mana right now. We don't need MP until very very late into the game actually. Um, but they do sell for a thousand gil. Yep, nice handy little chunk of money. And uh, so even with nobles or not, uh, we you would want them to be able to <laughs> do this little merchanting exploit that we're going to be doing later. Uh, they are definitely worth picking up. Making a lot of mashing stuff. Oh, Billy Blanks. Oh, Billy Blanks. You're so un misunderstood. He's going to give us a world map, doesn't he? Is that what he gives us? No, that's Sid in London 1. Oh, yeah. What's this guy give us again? He's giving us some... Awesome medicine. Potion. Nice Blanks potion. medicine. Lovely. So, back out into the forest. We're going to find... Um, we're going to look for the princess, isn't it? Yeah, so the princess is somewhere in the forest and we're going to go and have a look. Nice. So uh, I can talk really quickly about encounters while you're yep. on, a, on a jog. Essentially, in this game, um, every time... Ev all the screens have um, an independent danger rating, which says whenever you 
trigger a danger check, which is some, uh, whenever you move so much distance, that all the screens are a little bit different. Um, but whenever you move so much distance in a screen, your danger value increases by so much. And then it does, uh, it rolls some dice, it rolls a number, and it checks to see if you are within that threshold or not. Um, there's probably somewhere between like four and 10 checks on pretty much every single hostile screen, something like that. And so you are more likely to get an encounter the further you go. Yeah. Um, in the next screen, we're going to be seeing waves dip left and then exit that screen because this screen has a really high danger rating. Um, and if you try and run through that screen, it's something like a 70% chance to get an encounter. But if you split it like that, it becomes a 10%. Mm, we hit the 10%. And you hit it. Nice. So that yeah. was a double, wasn't it? So we're on 14 and 20. We're on yeah, 37. I'm going to probably overshoot it. Which is great. But the killing this is still good. Yeah, we'll see what the ADBs are. Very good. Oops. Fire roll. This is pretty much perfect. Yeah. So uh, the difference between the mobs in this place is that Zidane can kill anything in one hit, but Steiner can't kill the dogs. Mm. So you will need to use VV's fire here if you do want to uh, kill it. But fortunately, fire roll will take care of all of them yeah. in one go. Very, very cool. And second set of eye drops. That's yeah. actually really handy. Yeah, so we're zooming. Uh, so yeah, like Brute said, every t every time I actually explained it to someone this week as well that like. When you enter a screen, you run 10 meters, you get your first check, and then every five meters after that, let's say, for example. Yep. And then there are certain screens where, for example, using analog movement or tight movement, you could leave on 19 meters and not get the 20 meter check. So you would only get two checks instead of three. Um, so we try to optimize the movement in some screens using analog if we can in certain screens. Um, I'm just doing little predefined movement setups. And try and reduce it. We're still, if you get the encounter on the first check, it's still random but you try to reduce the amount of checks you get overall. Okay, so one more screen. So the average encounter rate, what are we on three? On three one, now, two, yeah. yeah. So three is actually the, the better end of average. Four is kind of the worser-ish end of average. And we still have one screen to go though. Yeah, there was very likely And to now go, you've yeah. mentioned this. The game, uh, it's the game there is a feature. The yeah, game the, has the CDs a microphone. have microphones in them. Yep, see, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> It'll hear you. Don't say anything, because it, it'll as get As soon you. as you go, this split is going very well. It just goes, no, no, it's not. Change my mind. Sorry about that. <laughs> it is crazy, because they actually accidentally programmed sentience into this game. Yeah. Nice. Hey, so we got that three kills, which means we've got all of our AP towards Protect Girls. Yeah, we don't. Um, so we are micromanaging an ability for Zidane, which is going to be only useful for like one fight into support, mm -hmm. um, which is brilliant. It's actually pretty much <laughs> completely necessary yeah. to have like a half-decent fight in one of the endgame fights. Yeah, I'm but gonna for let you, now, I'm gonna let you explain this. I'm gonna try to do the enemy ways. Yeah. So Plant Brain is a really weird fight. When he, when Zidane is put into critical or is knocked out, Blank will enter the fray, right? So as long as you come into, what we, you can't actually kill the boss until Blank's here. So what we're probably going to do is we're going to let the boss have his turn. If you don't have a turn straight away, he will always open with AOE Pollen, which is just blind. And then we're going to use VV to fire on Zidane. That's it. Very nice. So we're holding ATB. Currently, Plant Bane's ATB is completely empty. Blank is going to come in. We're going to send Blank in, and then we're going to hold with Steiner and get an ATB weight trick. So we're kind of double tricking here at the minute. That was really good. <laughs> you got to come out of fire. Nice. There we go. That's it. So the, the visual cue here is how much ATB VV's gained, and this was really good. So Blank it should get a second turn here and kill the boss. As long as he doesn't miss. <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much. Nice. Okay. That's a really tight ADV weight. So mm -hmm. It's nice to get that. Very nice. <laughs> Not too clapping, it's good. <laughs> um, yep, yeah, so we, we've, we've, we've pretty much cleared Evil Forest. There is a little bit of dialogue here into one forced encounter with a random number of plant spiders between two and four. They're worth 22 experience points each. Zidane is already level three, yeah, thanks to those other doggos. Get out um, so we can just get out of the fight as quickly as possible. Sometimes if you want to not share the experience with Blank, you can do that. I'm going to let him do his menu. Nice. Broadsword. Broadsword. I did wrong. This is good. Very nice. Nice. Yep, so we're setting up our stuff now. We Doing, allowing us to sort of steal the broadsword not only saves 600 gil, but is going to mean that we don't need to do another menu later when we finally do get the iron sword in a later shop. 
So it actually saves a good chunk of time stealing it here. And we're going to get into a fight with just this bottom one. If you actually stand still, you get the other one as well. They just keep coming, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we just get instant ATV on VV here or something into that oh, bag. Or, yeah. or of we would fire all instantly would be beautiful. Yeah, ah, take him. Just start swinging. swinging. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, we're gonna have to ask you politely to stop casting. No, not the no, boy. Not on the baby. Boy. Not the baby boy. Leave him alone. The plant spiders are aware of his evil. In oh yeah, they're so. trying to help. They're trying to help. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got as quick as we could. Very nice. It, like like Brutal said, if we had less encounters during the Evil Forest sequence, we would have tried to like kill off some members so Z's on his own, or with less members to share the experience more preferably towards him mm -hmm. to get him up to level. But with that, we have some a nice FMV coming up, and some chat and a tutorial and a run across the world map. So if you want to read some donations, take it away. Will do. We've got ten dollars coming in from Kagar. Hey, it says I knew these streamers who speed ran FF9. Their, master for, <laughs> their masterful skills were truly sublime. Oh, how we cheered, the runners skillfully steered, as we all donated like mad to reach that goal line. Thank you for the <laughs> limerick. Thank you, Kegels. That went towards naming Dagger Spoon. Nice. <laughs> and then we've got $5 coming in from Moo and Mutsky. Hey. And they say, I can't believe my favorite Final Fantasy IX runner of all time, Brutals, is on the same stage as 1998 VG Draft Champion, <laughs> Waves. <laughs> Best of luck on the run, guys. I'll be doing the math for damage counting in fights because no one does it better. Love, Moo, and also Mutsky. Nice. Thanks, Moo. Thanks, Kig Aaron. Thanks, Moo and Mutsky. Speaking of which, where is my fight <laughs> Speaking of which, where is Speaking my tool? Which, there we go. My tool is the tool speed is run. My speed run. Here we go. We will be using that a little soon. Yeah, pretty much this two. Oh, you use it in disc one. You, you know what? You can I don't that. really need it for that. Who's that? Is that not C line? I don't know. <laughs> it is, yeah. I can't see like it is. You're crazy. I do, just in case it high rolls or lower. Like you can do it. There is a chance you're a risky man if you go for it. Probably no, 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 no. You can. You, all right. You know what? You're right. You are right. You are right. So um, it's very common practice in Final Fantasy IX to use a calculator because the fights are turn based. Uh, when you have a bit of practice behind it and you kind of understand the flow of the fight a little bit more, you will find where your windows to kind of take a moment to punch numbers into a calculator and mm -hmm. keep on track of that sort of stuff. And it allows you to make more informed decisions on who needs to attack, when and how, and who you're holding <coughs> with, and all that sort of jazz. Um, for a sea lion, you, there is a possibility that you can kill it in five hits rather than six. If you get uh, pretty much majority high rolls with Zidane, we will pretty much need to have a level four though, which means yeah, yeah. if we get an encounter on Ice Kevin and we get good ATP on VV and the stars align on Tuesday with the blue moon out, <laughs> then, then you know we can we can exactly. save we, we can save an attack on sea line very there cool you go. <laughs> and it is it's valuable to save an attack because po you normally with sea line you're going to have to potion after he counters you and stuff so it is it is nice to uh, to get away with one less swing so if you guys can read the chat the text from the moogle coming up then you're allowed to tell waves he's playing too slow because he <laughs> You can clear these text boxes manually. You can't. You can't. This, there's no help with here. No tools allowed. No tools allowed for this. <laughs> this little bit coming up. There's another tutorial section, and uh, hopefully you can clear it nice I'm gonna and quick. I'm going to take it so slow. You're going to read it. <laughs> I'm going to read them all. You're going to read them all. I'll well, actually. You know I'll I open a tutorial how entry works. for you if you want. To. <laughs> uh, and then, actually, immediately following this, there is going to be a little bit of world map movement. This bit's quite unique in that we're going to be saving the game um, just outside of Ice Cavern um, because stuff, it can really go down in Ice Cavern. It, you can get pretty unlucky sometimes. Nice. Very clean. Um, so what we what you normally do is you just run straight to Ice Cavern. There will be some text across the middle of the screen. It will say, Missed Continent. Mm -hmm. I do know how to play this game. Um, <laughs> while that text is on the screen, uh, you can't get random battles. Your danger will go up, though. Mm -hmm. but yes. No, it won't. 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 I'm, li I'm lying to you. I'm lying to you. Your <coughs> danger won't go up until the text has gone away, and then you'll have to start doing another another procedure, which we'll talk about later. But for now, we can just run for it. Run, we can just go. We're going to save. Yeah, and you can't call the Moogle until the text goes away, in case you don't know. No, I'm gonna wait. Might have to get... Yeah, it's, it's a bit finicky. 
Um, so yeah, essentially, if you get really unlucky on certain turns against Sea Lion and you miss, then uh, you can just die, dude. Oh, let's uh, try yeah. that again real quick. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's one of the this game's got no auto saving or anything like that. So it's a really, really good idea to make a couple backups save just in case. <laughs> oh We're God. having a good time. There is a memory card inserted. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, we'll just use this one. Game over. Use this one. Goodbye, this full practice. <laughs> I have more. I have more. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no for that. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, so uh, Ice Cavern is it's got a decent danger rating. We're expecting to see at least one encounter here. Um, everything <coughs> here is really weak to fire, so even though they've gotten a bit beefier, uh, Vivi is still able to kill everything in one hit with mm -hmm. fire AoE. Um, Steiner can kill everything in one hit with the Iron Sword also? He, he can, yes, true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 he can. Um, as long as Waves doesn't bump into any um, rogue uh, mist breaths, which are going to be crossing the path, we won't encounter any. They're called wires. Weird. Weird. Yeah. It's with a Y, so go off. Um, they're pretty tanky. They're pretty pretty annoying to deal with. Uh, we don't want to. We don't want to do them. They are they are strictly forced encounters. Mm -hmm. If you bump into uh, these what, ice jets, you'll yeah, see them. You'll they're see like these little breezes. Don't. They're bad. Ignore them. Don't look at them. Don't give him any attention. And we do have about five to ten minutes, maybe less than five to ten minutes, five minutes more for anyone who wants to snipe the dagger name, mm -hmm. by all means. I think Spoonie might be winning at the moment, or who knows, it could be Steiner. There's enough people named Steiner in the today's run, I think so. Yeah. But do get your donations in, it'll be after we fight Sea Lion and after we leave the cavern. Ah, uh, that was unfortunate. Just to let you know, there's nine dollars in it, so... Oh, get him in. <laughs> that was a nice, big, long one there. Very nice. That took ages. It did indeed. So if you actually grab that, there's like a little there trigger that you can interact with. You, you do that from as far away as possible. It skips a check, right? You can indeed. That is one of the locations that you can sneak under the distance required for a check if you do it neatly. Okay. This is probably the longest screen in the in the in the, in the dungeon, so it's kind of expected. So if we get good ATV on Vivi here, we taking can... them out is pretty <clears throat> good. You may need to kill Dagger here to yeah. get the level four, which I'd recommend. Hmm. Flea. I think Flea as well. Yeah. If so, BB had better ADB, I would have mm. considered. It can get a little bit risky because the guy in the middle with the little potion can put you to sleep. And if he, if you wait for VV and then he, he does it, he does it way more often than you want him to. If he sleeps VV for you, then it just completely scuppers your plans and <laughs> can put you in the blender. Oh my god. Oh, nice movement, baby. Nailed it. <laughs> Never punished. So there is actually a Moogle on the left where you can save the game, but oh my goodness, does it take a long I, time. We did it in, we were making some saves and practicing uh, the last few days, and I'd never, actually never seen it. <laughs> so, well, it's that's real slow. like casual days. It takes absolutely ages. It's real slow. So, do you want to talk about Sea Lion? Um, yeah, yeah, Sea Lion. Time. Yeah, yeah, we got plenty of time. So Sea Lion is uh, it's the first of the three Black Waltz encounters. There's going to be three Black Waltzes that Queen Brandis sent after us to recover Dagger, and namely, it's her, is there a pendant there after or actually after her? No, it's not there after her. The pendant is later. At this point, it's the her, yeah. And uh, so he comes along and summons a big sea lion boss for us. And even casually, people have trouble with this fight. It's a one-on-one -on -one fight, Zidane versus the sea lion and Black Waltz. So we're going to take out the Black Waltz first, because otherwise, if we attack the sea lion, Black Waltz heals. Uh, so we don't want that. So we take him out. And it's just a bit risky. Um, there are two points that he will go past a threshold, so every two hits on the sea line, the gemstone on his chest will change from blue to yellow to red. And when it changes, he will do a counter attack. The first one is Blazara, does like 99 damage, or does like 60 damage. And then the second time when he goes to red, after another two hits, it will do Tsunami. But he will also do his normal turn as well. So you gotta be careful. Yep. Um, it is a bit of a stumbling block for learning the run. It's not, if you play it really safe, it's, it's, it's fine. Yeah, so uh, I'll let Waves focus on this fight and I'll like, try and explain what's going on. But this is part of the reason why we need to be level 3, because our health would only be 131 versus 160, and the double action that he takes going into the second half of the fight, or the third third of the fight, um, can hit over 131. 
uh, if you get particularly unlucky, which is you, you can't play around it, unfortunately. Uh, you just have to, if you're level 2 here, if you get like a really good run, you don't get any encounters, you don't kill anything, and you can very easily end at level 2 here, and you kind of just have to wing it. Oh. Brilliant ATB. Yeah. That, Excellent. This is what world records are made of. Okay, so first attack team on Black Waltz 2. Fortunately, a wing into a blizzard is actually it's less damage than a blooming... A wing. Yeah. 96, that's a high roll. We're wasting them already. Very nice. Another away. wing. So we want to see wings because not only is it quick, we can avoid it. It can't crit us. And uh, it deals less damage than Blitzy Lion's other attack, Blizzard. Fire is faster than um, uh, Black Waltz's Blizzard, but it deals more damage. We are currently wearing the Silk Shirt, which is actually weak to fire, so it's take we we we're unfortunately amplifying the damage he's dealing to us. 50 is not good. Let's I mean, see what he does, yeah, but yeah. I think you'll need to heal. I think I need to heal. I don't think he can deal 16. Oh, never mind, he can deal 16. He can't deal 8 at 12. Yeah. <laughs> so the highest roll that the sea lion can hit you for here is 36. So get them 36s in the chat room for us, please. And here is it. Ah, oh, punished. Nah. Punished. Punished. We could have gotten we away with it. survived. We could have gotten away with it. If only we knew. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, as well, if we had missed, it's like again, it's like a one or two percent chance to miss. Well. You also just, you just die. Okay. All right. So time now to start time hitting to the hit boss. Him. Time to start hitting. Him. So, attack one. Yes. Marathon RNG. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna hit him again. Wow. Oh, Nine, ninety-two. Two. Nice. That's, all right, so minus one. That. How I count. Okay, interesting. <laughs> so I will need to potion because the next attack is going to do 99 as it's going to be the counter plus wing our blizzard, blizzard yep. as well. So we have to potion up here. So uh, the way these bosses are programmed, it, the more they repeat a move, the less likely they are to continue repeating it, essentially. So, there you go. Oh, that's He's, off table, off table. Yeah, Thunder, Thun Thun six, six. We, um, we can just turn this No, no, we can no, just leave, turn it this alone, leave it alone. <laughs> 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 so he's going to do his normal turn as well. Okay, and I think I'm fine. I can just go in. This can't do more than 36. So no, you good. You, good. you are um, good. Okay. So we're going to have to heal up here. Hopefully he doesn't blizzard us. Because it's going to put us underneath 10 HP. Yeah, nice. And then we wouldn't get a full heal from the next potion. But now we're going to be nice and topped up. Mm -hmm. So we're going to attack. He's going to respond with Blizzara. No, Tsunami. 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 Blizzara's yeah. already happened. He's going to do Tsunami into then, again, Wing or Blizzard. And it's going to deal up to 117 damage. All in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... If, if he Blizzards, I probably have to heal. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 let's see the roll, see the roll, see the roll. Good. Nice. Nice. So, now is the time to gamble. Because if we attack and we miss, we're probably dead. We can't surely get two misses in one one. Do it. Hit. Attack this man. Yeah. <laughs> We were surely not going to get two misses. No, no, no. I've never seen anyone miss twice on that fight, have I now? <laughs> <laughs> and that was Sealine. That is the first fight. It is It is even casually a little tricky, um, I would say. But it's, uh, it's a fun fight once you get it down. Once you kind of know the roles that's coming at you, you can play around it a little bit as long as you don't miss. Or, uh, no? don't, just, don't, just don't miss. Just, just don't, don't miss. miss. Just don't miss. Once, so then we've got one more, two more screens to navigate here, uh, with encounters on them again. Which, just when you're doing your speed run and you're like, okay, good sea lion time, the game can hear you and uh, decide that, hang on a second, we're going to slow you down with two or three more encounters. Yeah. So, all right, here we're going to try something. A social experiment, if you will, with the game. Cool. Because it is audible. It can hear us. We want to see at least three encounters on the way out here, so that we can get <laughs> plenty of money, plenty of experience for the coming fights. Yeah. yeah? We want to we get our boys nice and beefy for the coming boss fights. So please, video game, give us plenty of encounters. That'd be very nice. Thank you. Let's see it. Um, we also have Dagger's name coming up really shortly. Yeah. If we could kind of get ready to get that ready, that'd be brilliant. Yeah, after the screen, I would say close it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I close it and uh, we'll get it off you. Man, we're not getting any encounters. This is really bad. It's as if this is terrible. The game knew that we had Please, please. Them. Oh my goodness, we didn't get any. Wow. Man. That is we're so low leveled. We've got no money. <laughs> Waves, you're too powerful. Too powerful. There actually was, uh, like we said as well, there was an encounter skip check on the first screen after season. But who knows if you got it? This is the thing. You don't <laughs> even know if you get it or not. So, um, yeah, we can close up Dagger. She's going to steal. Uh, her name originally would be Dagger. She steals Zidane's dagger off her and goes, this looks nice. I'm going to call myself. going to call myself Dagger. Yeah, and that is exactly what happened. So, I'm going to close it up and uh, let us know, please. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Well, I think she might not have been uh, looking at the right kind of cutlery because she's <laughs> named Spoon. <Brilliant. laughs> and that is in all caps. Uh, that was uh, $80 to... Let's see here. Steiner's 51. And that was finished off with an anonymous $5 donation that said, Blank should have been a permanent party member. He's too cool. <laughs> he is very cool. He is very cool. We, we do just need more Blank in our life, don't we? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Or Blank. Blank. Spoon, all capitals. Let's go. Mm. Okay, so immediately leaving this screen, this is going to be the first world traversal where we don't have text on the screen. And we'll have to employ a technique to avoid getting any encounters um, called stutter stepping. Essentially, if you press a direction on the D-pad for a single frame, I believe, uh, your danger doesn't actually go up until the second frame. So if you press it for one frame, then release it, and then press it again, and keep doing that until you get to wherever it is you're trying to go, mm -hmm. you just don't get any encounters. Or is there a super low chance? I'm not sure if your danger starts at like one. It can still happen, yeah. Like, well, I think it's more it can happen just with the hardware and... It's not exactly being frame perfect stuttering. Yep. But it looks like, uh, you'll see, it kind of looks kind of funny. Zidane is going to be like a little scooting along like this. <laughs> so yeah, you see in there, he took one little running step outside of the animation. And that's like where your danger value will increase. And like, if you get really, really unlucky, yep. uh, you actually can. Yeah, so uh, you are in this game. There is a wonderful, another wonderful random mechanic called uh, Friendly Monsters, mm -hmm. right? And when you run through forests, there is a chance to encounter a ragtime mouse, and he's just dying to ask you questions. He loves asking questions. He's just, he's the quiz master. And uh, he'll take out a little card from his pocket and he'll ask you a random question about the world of Final Fantasy IX. Mm -hmm. And if you get it correct, he gives you 5K. Do you get some AP and money and stuff? Yeah, like it's, it's, a, it's a lot of AP, it's like 20 or something. And a couple grand or something. But it's really, really slow and you don't want it. And you can only see him in forests. However, you can't encounter them for the first, for the first, first 20 ten. seconds, I, I believe. I thought it was 10, but okay. It's some. It's something some like that. There's, a, some there's a window once you enter the world map that you will not get him. Yep, so if you stutter through that forest, you can't get him. Um, later on, we'll be forced to stutter through some uh, forests really, really briefly. So maybe we'll be lucky enough to bump into the boy. Bless the run with the ragtimer. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, we won't be taking the time to answer his questions. We will be thwarting him right in the noggin. Yeah. Just crack him over the head. <laughs> Just get out of there. He's not best pleased about it, and he actually runs away instantly. But if you flee from him, which I've never done that either. So more specifically, <laughs> you, you cast flee. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So in this game, there are two types of fleeing, which you'll see way more of his just casting Flea with Zidane. Zidane is the only party member in the entire game that is able to learn the ability Flea, the actual learned ability Flea, um, which once cast, it takes you out of the battle and you lose an eighth of the gill that the, the enemy you kill provides you, or something like that, a fraction of it. Um, so we, that's, it is routed in, it's expected that we're gonna be losing gill. A lot of the time when we do shops, we're gonna be kind of zeroing our gill um, or at least bringing it to like a comfortable level where even if we flee from lots of encounters, we'll still have enough money to be able to deal with whatever it is we're doing. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the meantime, we're in good old Dali. Lovely Dali. Chill, comfy Dali. Uh, where there's nothing suspicious going on. Vivi's master plan is not in place here. Not yet. It's coming up. He's, He's brewing. Creating clones. He's cooking. He's creating clones of himself. <laughs> So, um, I'm not actually sure exactly what it is that the developers were trying to accomplish for the player here, but they want you to explore. They want you to look around. They haven't really given you a solid objective here. But by entering this farm and then leaving instantly and then entering the, the potion shop. 
Is it it's a, a pub? Shop. Is it a pub? Or it's, a, it's like a pub. It's like a, like a chemist. Mm. If you go in and out of here twice and then talk to Vivi, uh, now uh, all of the triggers are in place and we can actually start progressing. With yeah, otherwise, Dagger wouldn't be in this shop, which we're going to in a moment, and some other stuff. So. Yeah. So, a brief conversation with Vivi as he's cooking up his grand scheme. And then uh, it's going to play. So, the, what happens here is after this conversation, it actually plops us back down next to the inn. Right next to the uh, the weapon shop, which is where we're going to be fight, uh, seeing daggers. This is pretty. Mo I, I mean, I have never looked into it personally, but I'm pretty sure this is the fastest route. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's got to be right. People sure. are doing it. That's how it yeah, works. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're going to go in there, have a little chat with Dagger. Uh, it's a good time to talk about cutscene RNG, isn't it? Oh yeah. So if you guys didn't think there was enough RNG in this game, there's more. <laughs> there is yeah. always more. If you ever have to ask, is there RNG involved in it? This, the answer is. Definitely, yeah. So you'll see Dagger is going to look left and then right. There's actually, It's actually RNG how long it takes for her to notice it then. Yeah. It's so you can just... Three and four. Yeah, it's it? never very much, but it, it does... It is accountable. I'm pretty sure that was fast. That was I'm pretty sure that was quick, that, right? I think that was good. It's definitely good. It's got to be. First and second option. If, if you tell her that she's not very good at acting, she gets pretty crumpy. She gets she a just, bit upset. just leaves. <laughs> she's not too pleased about it. And I'm going to do a little shop. A little, little shop. Yep, so, so we're yeah. going to pick up a leather wrist, one wrist, because we've already stolen one, three feather hats, and then we're going to skip the iron sword purchase, because we already have one now. Uh, Dead on. Easy peasy. Very nice. And then we're going to head back into the inn and regroup with our party before we head down into the, the, the underground section. Don't forget to pet the cat. Which? Do you know about the cat? No. Yeah. Don't know about the cat. There's a little pussy cat on the way out. A little black cat on the stove. Can I still get him on the way out? We leave again, don't we? Oh, no. Yeah, you can give a pet. Where is he on the stove? Just he's on, on, left on Zidane's right as you're leaving. Okay. So on the inside. Yeah. Give him a little pet. He's a good boy. Yeah. Or girl. Will do. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <Don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> Steiner has taken himself to helping out around the town because he doesn't know what else to do with himself, I guess. So uh, he goes wandering around. He's trying to find the way for Dagger and himself to get back to Alexandria because his goal, I guess, is to serve the Queen and bring Princess back. Yeah, St Steiner's primary art throughout the series, the series, the game, is that he is the loyal knight of Captain Pluto, super general, Giga, serve the Queen character. Yeah. And What's his first name again? Engelbert? No. That's it. Yeah, no. Adelbert. Adelbert. Adelbert Steiner. Adelbert Steiner. Adelbert. And uh, he is duty-bound to protect Dagger and take her home. Uh, but Dagger is actually trying to get to Limblum so that she can go and see her uncle. And it's uh, where's very this convenient. Where's this kitty cat? On, just there. That's the Moogle. Underneath it. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> okay, there we go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, this little cutscene here, we're going to realize that Vivi is now underground. There's, as a, we're... Yeah, there's a pipe and we can hear some crying. Yeah, and uh, this is, I very affectionately call this the Vivi Vortex. Mm -hmm. So, there is a text box that clears into um, a button prompt to inspect the pipe, and it's, it's slow. It is. Oh, he really gives it a good look. <laughs> He's really curious as to the construction and development of that pipe. And uh, it's really easy to like use it <laughs> and then use it again so. and just get caught in the vortex. And he's defeated it. I oh, defeated the vortex. Um, so we're doing airy skip here. Uh, we're not picking up. <laughs> <laughs> we're not picking up the Stalazio coin. Um, unfortunately, we're going to lose ten affection points with Steph forty-seven. But uh, he's, well, he's we have to we, deal we with it. We can survive it. <laughs> we can survive. Um, so in old routes of yore and other you know, fun routes throughout this game. One of the beautiful things about FF9 is there is a million ways to play it. Mm -hmm. And one of the other strategies that you can employ is um, gathering a number of Stalazio coins, which are key items that you can deposit um, with like a fortune teller style lady. Mm -hmm. What's her name? Queen Stella. Lady there's Stella. There's 12 of them, is it? Yeah, there's one for each um, star sign. There are 12 star signs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not really up on my astrology. <laughs> Why is Come on now. <laughs> So you got you got to align your stars when you play this game, so you're gonna you know achieve. Maybe maximum that's what's RNG. wrong. Maybe that's why I don't have world record. <laughs> yeah. I don't read my horoscope every day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's a couple of star signs, stars, stars, <laughs> coins that you can pick up. And uh, do we need to say it here somewhere? Nah, 
I just don't die, man. Okay, just don't die. All good. <laughs> and uh, if you deposit a number of them with, uh, what's her name, Queen, Queen Stella, she'll give you a bunch of items, and then finally on the fourth one, maybe fifth, she'll give you the Blood Sword, which is actually a really, really powerful sword for Steiner. Unfortunately, all the animations involved in picking it up costs you over two minutes, and it's not particularly in the way. It's at least two load screens out of the way, and yada, yada, yada. And but it does offer a, um, a, a large level of security, actually. It pretty much makes Steiner unkillable, which is pretty cool. Going to do a little menu here again. Yep. Swap over to Silk Shirt, do some bits and bobs. Nothing too hectic. We're going to put on the leather wrist that we, we've just bought as well onto Zidane, which means he can now crit again. He can, indeed. So we'll have to play around that on Black Watch 2. It's a really unfortunate chance that we might end up, end up being punished for it. But... Very nice. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to take a little look over there. So in this screen right here, on the next one, sorry, oh yeah. there is a slide skip. Let's see. Oh. Let's see it. Yeah, Very it's, big. it's okay. It's uh, okay. Yeah, it's nice I, walked, I walked a lot. I walked. It's, a, it's LCD monitor, isn't it? That's it. Yeah. And a CRT, I would have got it. <laughs> um, I mean, you did get it, so... <laughs> <it's> just, <laughs> well, I got, got it closer, yeah. Essentially, if you run past... There's a little window there that Zidane tries to inspect. If you run past it, then Zidane slides past it and walks back and then inspects it. But if you if you walk into the trigger and you can, like, just tap, walk as you hit the trigger or something, you can, you know... There's, you, there's that analog variability and all that sort of jazz and how quickly you can react to it and whatnot. Um, so people just try and hit it as, as late as they can. You can also actually, rather than prep tapping walk, you can run into the corner with up, up right or up and left. Oh, yeah. It's the same as the bridge in Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Um, so I guess it's time to start talking about the next Black Walls fight, because we said there's going to be three of them. Um, well, there actually is four, but we'll, we'll, we'll just, there's three Black Waltzes. And uh, so the next one coming up is... The more difficult one to optimize, I will word it like that. Yeah. There is a counter that he does at 50% HP. So as soon as he dips under 50% of HP, which is, five, he has 550, that's 550. He's 1,030 HP. And uh, as soon as he goes under that, he will just counter straight away with Fyra. But if the previous target that he attacked is dead when he goes under the 50% HP, he will not counter. So we're going to abuse this to skip Fyra. And Fyra is actually really damaging, especially at the levels we're at. It's going to like almost kill level Steiner and Z straight away. It will kill VV straight away. Um, so depending on who he targets with his second attack, more than likely, unless we get crits or something, um, we're going to uh, see what we ought to do. So if it's Steiner, we're just going to heal up and go through it. Because Steiner's our biggest damage dealer. We don't want him out of the fight, so we're just going to heal up tank the Fyra and keep going. If it's Vivi, it is the best case scenario. He just dies, we leave him dead and we keep going. If it's Z, Zidane, you'll see we call Zidane Z for short quite a lot. Um, Zidane, my dude. My dude, sorry. Yes. My dude. So if my dude gets Or hit, MD. <laughs> um, we will try to kill. We will, he will uh, kill off uh, Zidane and try to skip the Fyra. Option two? Unfortunately, option one is definitely the better option, but it's pretty slow. It's slow, yeah. We're going to poke the barrel. Do you want to manage this, or do you want me to do it for you? Which? Calculate it. No, I don't use it. You don't? Okay. No, that's good. Just what? for... You can do that. Do it, you do it. You can tell oh, me. All right, I will. Perfect. <laughs> so, um, Z Waves is going to be managing this fight. It, we can actually boil this fight down to number of hits, um, because our damage is fairly consistent. Um, the 50% threshold is actually... Pretty, pretty nicely spaced out for us. Essentially, on turn one, the ideal scenario is going to be Zidane's going to get two attacks thanks to a weight. Steiner's going to get a single attack, and Vivi and Dagger are going to get a single attack in two. We may end up throwing a potion, yeah, depending on who gets hit. See if he gets hit. Yeah. yeah, I'm just going to pop you a potion whoever gets or hit. Or if you get a crit on the first one, you know what to do as well, yeah? My, my guy. I have played this game before, Brutals. My guy. It's okay. Show me. So, you, Black Waltz 2 always goes first here, so funnily enough, ATV doesn't actually matter here. There's the crit! You... Nice. I didn't count. It's all good. <laughs> so we don't do the wait here because we got the crit. If we attack there, we would actually trigger fire. 
Best case scenario. Let's go. Actually, I should, should probably go through this. Smack him. Yeah, dude. That's perfect. So, uh, because the... Essentially, the way this mechanic is working is when Black Waltz 2's HP drops below 50%, if the person that he, ta if his current target, when he hits someone, the target doesn't change until his ATB fills and he selects a new target. So because he shot and killed VV, it's kind of a comeback mechanic. It's supposed to help you get back into the fight, I think. Um, and because VV was dead, his HP went below 50%. That was. Um, that was. <laughs> oh, that was some. That's a great fight, and we double drop of ether at the end as well. It's good. Mm -hmm. Just take this nice and easy. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Um, we'll you can that. skip the fire basically uh, it's because VV was down when his HP dropped below 50%. It is an absolute hurdle for a lot of people. Oh my goodness. I actually, didn't. I actually thought we saw I thought we were done so. I thought we were done so too. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Go back to the ship. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Just, don't, just don't kill me, that bro. That scared me. <laughs> there is a soft lock there. It's the only soft lock in the game. Um. <laughs> my my heart actually dropped. <laughs> and what I did is I was taking it so slow, I left uh, Dagger's text box open, which I normally don't do. And I normally just keep going until I see uh, Zidane nod. But I took it uh, quite slow there, and it scared me. <laughs> but we're all good. We did not soft lock. We made it. We made it. We did not soft Very high energy. <laughs> So, uh, we have one more fight coming up of the Black Waltzes. Black Waltz 3. But, before that... He might come back later, we'll see. He might come back later. That's true. We do have... More cutscene RNG as well. More, this is the single biggest piece of cutscene RNG in the game. It's the first one that everyone really learns about when they're playing this game. What do we call it? DD. It's the VV's talking to the Black Walls. RNG. That's the, that's the VV epiphany. RNG. So there is a, a Black Mage working on the engine here in this next screen. And VV will go and interact with that Black Mage. And the, where that Black Mage is in his RNG animation cycle can be way at the back of the room or up the front of the room. And depending on how far away it is, VV will either run or walk and then talk to us. And then, I think, is there another more RNG of how long he interacts with him or something? Or I think the Black Mage might have to finish the animation loop he's in. And then VV will come back to you. So you'll see here in the next screen. So he's got three positions. He's in the middle, close to us, or all the way at the back. So he's currently in the middle. Yeah, and let's see what happens. Please just stay, stay there, stay my there. friend. Stay there, stay there. Stay there. Oh, oh he did. Okay, but... That scared me. He, I thought he was going to the back. I thought he was going. So the RNG he decided the that he was just going to stay there again. Cool. Because uh, Vivi will run all the way down to the back of the ship, but then he'll just very slowly, slowly walk all, all the way back, all the way back down, and it, it's it's pretty impactful. Actually, it's pretty thing. I think there's like ten or eleven. There could be like eleven second time lapse. It's something it's, huge. It's bad. It's massive. It's not good. As far as little RNG things you have no control over yeah. go, it's pretty big. Um, so we're going to nip into the cabin here, and there's a little there's a cool FMV actually where all this where the black Waltz appears for the first time, and mm -hmm. so once we enter this cabin, uh, we do have time for some donations if you have any to read. You can take it away. Excellent. We've got $10 from Alco. Uh, they tell us a fun foreign language localization fact. In the German version, Zidane tells Garnet that the weapon is a Lily Dagger, so Garnet decides to choose the name Lily. Less fun fact, I always disliked the name Dagger. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Actually. And then we've got $5 from Zen Runner. They say Final Fantasy XIV runs are a beautiful lesson on life. Accept that which you can control and do your best. Accept that which you can't and will be emotionally destroyed by a dice roll, and that's okay. <laughs> Lastly, enjoy the beautiful little things in between, like the sights, the sounds, and your friends. Aww. Mm. Well, thank you very much. Both of those went towards naming uh, Freya Rat Jam. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thanks so much. Yeah, cheers. Again, thanks for everyone that's donating towards this course mm. really means a lot oh yeah so yeah we've got uh, this is pretty much the biggest mashing downtime sequence of this one this entire area that we're coming up to between Black Wars 3 and Limblum itself mm -hmm. before we can move on and do it get some Luke's Grotto uh, Black Wars 3 is actually a, a super linear fight uh, as long as you input your commands nice and quickly unless we get trance I actually wasn't checking the trance part I don't, think, I don't think we're, I don't think we're close yeah, that's good 
Yeah, so Trance can pop up pretty much anywhere between now and Antlion is like the late... No, actually, I've had it go all the way up to Beatrice, Beatrice. 2. Yeah. All the way up to Beatrice 2. Um, so sometimes there is a chance that when you get actually get hit, your Trance just doesn't build at all. So it's extremely unreliable. Um, there is an ability that you can equip called High Tide, which guarantees that it will grow at least some. Um, but it's actually really expensive and it's quite a late game ability. There is a very, very small application for it uh, toward the latter uh, third of this three. Um, but for now, it is uh, a pipe dream. <laughs> this is uh, one of the coolest 7 Vs in the game. It's really... There's the famous picture of Vivi looking all evil. <laughs> The music is just excellent in this game. The composer, Nobu Eomatsu, uh, is actually, I think he said uh, Melodies of Life is actually his favorite piece that he composed from any Final Fantasy game as well. So you'll hear it throughout, it's used in many motifs. Right, it's time to mess him up. That's we don't, I ain't taking that. Vivi is upset. He's getting emotional. He's surging. So in this fight, um, <coughs> When you attack him with a regular attack, he actually takes off, he enters the air, and then he's going to cast Dandara twice. We are only going to make sure that we see it once. If we see it twice, we, we, we do just die. Just game over. But that shouldn't happen. You can't actually miss against him, really. I mean, you can miss the first attack with Zidane, but it's, it's actually mostly irrelevant. We will over damage quite considerably, but if we're able to deal enough damage, we could actually skip an animation plus the D-Trance animation, which is called D-Trance Skip. It's, it's RNG, baby. So he's going to attack instantly with Zidane and then Q Magic Sword with Steiner into fire with BB. We're actually level three. We made it. Powerful. Yeah, our trance is really low, actually. Yeah, we're good. Just Q it. Don't mess around. Yeah. So you can actually nice allow... <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> you can't... What you... What you if you're really, really good gunning for it, you would attack with Zidane and you'd wait for Zidane to begin his animation before you start queuing everyone else. It's called blocking ATV, which is that's nice. a huge roll. Massive Very roll. nice. Massive roll. You can actually, yeah, yeah, you are. That's the, you were fleeing. Um, I'm dripping. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah you can. Uh, if you're not quick enough, he will take off and then he will take his first turn before you get all these actions. Essentially, when he gets to the height of his flying animation, he will instantly add his turn to the queue. Um, so if you're able to put other characters' animations in during that sequence, they will then take their turn. So here we actually continue. We haven't mentioned flea cancelling in general. Um, it's just some of the ready-up animation is skipped by fleeing. It's nothing as considerable as it is in Final Fantasy VIII speedruns. Have anyone seen that? Where you're fleeing for the entire run. For this, you just do it for the ready-up animations. Vivi's fire animation is a ready-up every single time. So we just hold flee for the entire fight. Yeah. Because it's normally what happens is when you queue an action, your character goes from a regular battle stance into a ready animation. And it's only relevant if nobody is currently acting and you're waiting for that character to take their action. Which is kind of difficult to kind of visualize in your head. Split, it's by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Once it comes to the FMV, we can split. Yeah, yeah. Um, so essentially, by holding flea, we're skipping that ready-up animation. It's only typically relevant when it's the first action of a set of turns. Mm -hmm. But in this specific situation, because we are taking lots of actions with Vivi, he's casting Fire Sword on Steiner, he's casting magic, he's doing then magic again himself. He's constantly going from his attacking animation into a, a regular stance back into battle, mm -hmm. and you can flea cancel that. It saves a second or something over the course of this yeah, fight, yeah, and it's, it's something that you can do. It's considerable. Yeah, get yours ready. Now we're gaming. Now we're gaming. Shout out to the cheat box. Yeah, wait till this is over. Keep throwing. So Vivi's evil arc begins here as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. He endangers the safety of everyone aboard the vessel. All of these people he called friends. Just sticks them straight in the blender. <laughs> Blatant disregard. 
he's not concerned for the safety of his quote-unquote friends. Oh yeah, it's mine. I'd already forgotten about that. There you go. Very powerful. Part two, the Brutal Zark. So here it is, VB completely, recklessly casting a very large spell here. And wait, where is the fire on the ship? Has it happened yet? Not it's yet. happened in a minute. Not yet. <laughs> you know, he's, he, he, he thinks he's helping. It's still, it's still dangerous. It's very dangerous. Endangering Zidane by putting himself in a dangerous position. Yep, he's, he's actually fine here. He's I, like, don't, nah, I really don't know why people Zidane's like Vivi as a character. Like. It's just, it's fun, isn't it? You know, we, you, we enjoy the excitement. Like why people like Kefka. Exactly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You like Kuja? No one likes Garland, though. <laughs> I remember watching these FMVs. There's no way he survived that. They were just immense at the time. It really is the pinnacle. It's right near the end of the PS1 life cycle. I came to 2000. There's no way anyone would ever survive that crash. Surely not. No way. Sure. I don't is. believe it. We definitely won't see that uh, Black Wall Street again. No, that's it. They're all he's, done. He's definitely done. Second best overworld music in the game. That wasn't me. <laughs> well, it wasn't me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's the first time. Is it the first time you hear the motif of Melody's Alive? Mm -hmm. You hear it in, in the very beginning of the prologue. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's true. The arrival and then the, the plot city of the game. There is many points throughout the run where we will be here talking in a conference room about what our plans are. And it's always very exciting. I'm sure you have. We love a bit of Plot C. So in Limblum, we are going to be enjoying a lot of dialogue with some new characters. And we're going to be finding out a little bit more about why we're here in the first place. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to discover now that the people that hired Zidane's, well, Bakus, Trupe, Tantalus, to kidnap Dagger in the first place was actually Regent Sid. Which is Dagger's uncle. Correct. Uh, the king of Limbo, basically. I know plot. I know plot. Um, and I believe Sid is, at this point, going to tell Dagger that he's, she's kind of in danger and that he doesn't really trust her mum anymore. And it's gonna start to like, you know, really, really confuse the poor girl. Very nice. Oh, sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is probably the most crashed cutscene for me. This one? Yeah. This is this is the one. This one doesn't like loading. I mean, you mean we're using your discs? Yeah, but <laughs> not all. these. These ones are fine. These ones are fine. If we got through without soft locking after Black Walls 2, I think we'll go. We, we, at this point, we are invincible. Too powerful, mate. Just too powerful. Actually, yeah, we do have Freya's name coming up in a. It's a while. It's two minutes after we, we have move. Some time. It's two minutes after we move, so it's not. A but it is worth noting that, yeah, there is. Freya's name is coming up, so if you want to get some more donations yeah. in. So if you want to, yeah, just let us know how it's panning out. Is it close at the top of Freya's name? We've got about maybe five. No, maybe three minutes. Three minutes before we need to cut it off. There's thirty-five dollars in it, and that's because we just got a hundred and twenty-dollar donation oh. from Steth four two seven. And I'm dang. <laughs> Steth is throwing it in. I'm gonna do my best on this one because it's b b b b brutals 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 b b yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. <laughs> And I'm not even going to try and pronounce what they put the naming towards. Um, Does, it, is it numbers and it's, brackets? It's numbers and things, yes. It's five zero. Yeah, it's yeah, 50 yeah. right paren exclamation point minus four quote. <laughs> so there's so, a bit of lore. The story of this, um, the boy Brutals here beside me, has done a completely blindfolded run of this entire game. Start to finish. How many hours? It says 1657. 16 hours 57. It's on YouTube. You can go look it up if you want. Uh, it's in, it's incredible. And during that, he renamed all of the characters. And uh, obviously, when he got to Freya, 
instead of going, so this game kind of divides, it's like letters, numbers, and symbols as three different sections. He went, you were planning on naming? Uh, so Freya's, Freya's boyfriend is called uh, Sir Fratley. That's it. So we were going to call her Fartley. <laughs> um, <laughs> unfortunately, we got a little bit stuck in the menu and there is a symbols category underneath the alphabet. So we got stuck in there and she ended up named 5-0. bracket left, left, bracket right, <laughs> whatever it is. You'll see it and it's currently winning at the moment. So if you want to snipe that, by all means, you have a minute or two to do so. Coming through the mic, isn't it? What? I'm slapping it. <laughs> Cheat box too loud. Good old sandwich parts, mate. I will actually need you to like pull the name up on the phone or something. Oh so yeah, I can so see it because I'm not gonna remember. Yeah, I'll put up. The, I'll put <laughs> the donations here. And just if it makes it, so we can read it. it. In fact, actually, it's in this coming scene. We're about to go to the bar now, I think. Uh, yeah, the next scene, the bar. Do I still have this page? Yeah. Oh, so this uh, is this is it actually. If you wanna. Yeah. All right. I'll go ahead and close it out. And give you the one last refresh. And yep, that is our winner. So I can help you out when you get to the screen. Yeah, I actually, okay. I think I have it here. So it's, it's all good. So 50 right bracket, exclamation point, hyphen four, in, and commas. Double okay. commas here. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, Rat Jam fans. Sorry, Steiner fans as well. There was yesterday when we were the bid, bids were opened originally. Uh, we noticed that almost every character was bid to be called Steiner, which would have been quite entertaining as well. I love this exchange, man. It's very Zidane is desperately trying to remember Freya's name, and I I think he's intentionally just getting it wrong and just throwing names at her. Oh yeah, that's Rachel, it. Ra yeah. Rachel, Rachel, you're looking really big. <laughs> okay, here we there go. We go. You can just go straight to symbols. Yeah. <laughs> so five, five zero, zero close right. parentheses, exclamation mark, hyphen, four, four, and then the double comma. Wait, it's the right one. This one. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> the iconic. Iconic. <laughs> I can't believe we got it so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> And, and just it, to let you know, so far, the naming incentives have raised $1,310 for charity. That's excellent. Enormous. And we're not done yet. We, we still, still have more characters to go. There's three left. <laughs> there's three left to go. We got Quina, Ico, and Amaranth still. And there's plenty of time. There's like two hours for Quina. Um, about two and a half for Ico. And yeah, three hours maybe for Amaranth. Something like that. So plenty of time to get your donations in. All for a good cause. And this is where we first meet Regent Sid, who is an Ogloff, which is like a little bug dude. Uh, does he explain yet why he's an Ogloff? Mm, I don't think so. No. I think it's not mentioned yet, so we'll leave it for a while. We won't I know spoil that the story. One of the things about it is that he's claiming that his mind is not what it used to be. That's why he cannot create this airship. He, yeah, he's struggling. So he's an inventor. Mm -hmm. And this is his laboratory. He makes airships. Yeah, and so since being converted game. into, uh, transformed into an Oglop, he cannot concentrate enough to finish his design of his Hildegard airship. Number two? I think number one is made, is it? but number two is made. Uh, uh, <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, we'll find out. Chat can help us out. Yeah, so the ship that actually gets uh, destroyed over Evil Forest is um, the Prima Vista, which is the ship that the was plate. created. Yeah, the play actually took place up on the ship, so they parked the ship in Alexandria and did the play on the back of it. Kind of cool. So another tutorial sequence here forced upon us. We can skip, and then we need to go do some shopping. Indeed. Some more shopping, our second shopping venture of the run. And we also need to do synthesis shop, which is... Um, so to create some of the stronger weapons and armors in the game, you need to join certain pieces of armor together. We're going to do that to get a, a new weapon for Zanan, but we're also going to do a synth just to create some revenue. So we bought three feather hats in... Um, is this feather hats we use, isn't it? Feather hats and the... Fe feather and steeple make the... Um, yeah, and the steeple hats. So yeah, we make the, the ropes, no? Uh, wrists and steeple hats. Maybe. Oh yes, wrists yeah. and steeple hats. So yeah, we bought five steeple hats here and we bought wrists earlier, so we have three. We're going to combine them in the synth shop to make um, cotton ropes, which we're going to sell shortly for some well-needed money. That's the 
shop done. Picked up the super hats. Is the new weapon we're going to use on Zidane. Oh, nice. <laughs> Tidy. That's it. The cotton robes and the yellow scarves we're going to use for actually equipping as well. Do you know what the yellow scarves teach or what they do? I know yeah. we equip them. I don't know. Too. You know what they do? I know we equip them. Use them. <laughs> so the yellow scarves are actually really powerful at this point in the game. They uh, Not much really offers... Um, so weapons in this game don't really offer stats other than attack power. Um, so finding ways to actually increase your strength uh, at certain points in the game is actually pretty hard. There isn't much of it, um, but yellow scarves, they actually do give you a point of strength, which is really nice. And it goes in a slot that we're not currently using, our accessory slot. Um, but additionally, they also teach you bird killer, oh, yes, 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 uh, which is probably the most powerful ability in the game. Probably. There's a couple that all do very, very similar jobs, but... Um, there's oh. an abundance of enemies and bosses in the game that are referred to as birds. They, I think it's kind of a loose translation more as like an aerial enemy is what they mean. But absolutely everything. They, they do actually birds. just in Japanese, it's bardokila. <laughs> they just are birds. called birds. They yeah. are birds. Yeah. So everything is considered a bird in this game. And we shall happily point out things that are proclaimed to be birds, but are definitely not birds as we go. Yeah. So we can, we can start counting the birds if you like. We've already <laughs> fought one. We've fought two actually. Two? <laughs> yeah. Um, sea lion is a bird. Oh yes. It's got it got wings. It has wings. There it's you go. Wings. Yeah, it, they're really pushing the boundary of all this. <laughs> and I think, I think Black Wall's three is a bird. Black Wall's three a bird because, it, because he floats as opposed so, to the other ones, yeah. I know later on he's a man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, if he, if he were to come back that is. Yeah, yeah. If he were to appear again, which we... No way. He no could way not have survived that crash. No, no, one. no one survives that crash. <laughs> Would you like to talk about the uh, upcoming event? Oh, yes. Very important event coming up where mm -hmm. we're going to run around and try to get up to the top of the castle where we hear some singing. So we're going to go up to meet Dagger. And uh, we have to look to a telescope. I assume that's what you're referring to. Well, actually, I was talking about the one after. I forgot about that one. But talk, on. Yeah, that one's good. <laughs> I forgot about that one. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we need to talk about the, uh, the, the telescope minigame where you're forced to do it, but it's really... I would say, I would say it's kind of janky, uh, and it's a famous place where you pe people get locked in mashing. Like, you have to wait for it to completely stop, close two text boxes, and then move. And if you do it any bit fast at all, it will just swing the telescope back to whatever you were looking at and... Uh, and bring you back into it and activate the text again. And were you confirming were you all about the costume? What we got? Hunt. Is the hunt next? Oh, the hunt is a bit away, is it? The hunt's a little way back. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll get back to that. Because uh, it's going to be a bit of explanation how we're going to work. There is, there, you know what? I, I forgot there's quite a lot of stuff that actually happens here before that occurs. Yeah. And, oh, and winning, ahead of winning the hunt is going to be a bit of an explanation for people. Yeah. And the Zagnol fight and everything. So. And we only have 12 minutes to do it, which is kind of crazy. So, uh, <laughs> Zidane has decided he wants to go and see the, the princess. It, mm -hmm. it is that raw. He so, just... she must be in the bedroom, correct? A bit presumptuous of him, but you know. Eagerly awaiting his return. Who does he find? Steiner. Oh, man. So he's wondering where Steiner went, and you have to do the first Metal Gear Solid section of the game. Well, Hitman. I guess more Hitman. I guess more Hitman, sorry. It's, it's less... It's, well, it's both stealth, but it's... Uh, we need to dress up. So, we can hear the singing upstairs, which is... Any, uh, it has to be Dagger, uh, right? It has to be Dagger. Uh, he heard it in Dali. Was he not singing in yeah, Dali as well? Yeah, so song. he knows it's her. And uh, the guard won't let him by, but there is conveniently a sleeping guard down here. Hey. This is not criminal activity at all. You are going to have to come with me. <laughs> no, 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 In here, in buddy. Here. In here, buddy. Come on in. Nothing shady happening inside here. Oh, yeah. And there we are. Now we are the guard. I'm the guard. Now, now I'm the guard. I'm the guard now. I made this. 
<laughs> Snow machine here. <laughs> There's quite a few uh, Final Fantasy games that do the dress up thing. You do it in FF8, you dress up in the missile base. Um, FF6, you do it with luck. You steal the uniforms off soldiers you're fighting. Oh, yeah. Uh, seven. Seven, you dress up as a guard. Shinra, Juno. yeah. yeah Juno. Not Shinra, Junon. Yeah. God. I still remember Junon. Where's my piano? Where's your guitar? This is where I know we turn around and start playing a piano. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just tap on this. <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong tapping the PS2? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, It's so there. nice. So peaceful. A lovely game. Surely nothing goes wrong in the Nothing process. can possibly go Surely wrong. this beautiful city will stay standing strong forever. Yeah. <laughs> does, does any city survive in this game? Alexandria? No. No, it <laughs> I'm not trying to... Foreshadowing. Yeah, okay. Well, we, won't, we won't spoil it again. <laughs> so, you know we have to drink whenever somebody gets blown up. Oh, is that a... Uh, that's the drink, drunk guys? <laughs> I've never done this, and I'm not planning on doing it, I think. Alrighty. So here we go. Telescope minigame. Hardest. Second hardest, because it's nobles is tasks only, obviously. So this is only second. Oh. Ah, he got caught. That's how easy it is to get caught. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> And it's, yeah, it's, it, I believe it was a CRT, right? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. The, it's the CRT thing. Hey. Sorry, yeah, it's a CRT. So, yeah, there's a bit more cutscene here. If there's time for a donation, by all means. Absolutely. We've got $10 coming in from Killer Rubber Ducky. Oh, dirty. And they say, Brutals and Waves, I have a very important message for you guys. Ba. 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 <laughs> ba. 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 Thanks, Killer. Thanks, Killer. <laughs> You know, this whole week I've been away from watching Twitch at home. I haven't heard one bah. I know. It's peaceful. It's my, mind, my mind is at rest. I actually, for, <laughs> and for a moment, I forgot it was a thing. <laughs> We're at Zen. Steiner just casually assaulting citizens of uh, mm -hmm. the neighboring faction. So now, at this point, uh, they will be introducing the fact that there's going to be a festival of the hunt going on in the town uh, where people can use their battle prowess to win a fighting competition against random monsters they unleash around the city. It's kind of bonkers that they don't remove some of the people. Like, there's a guy that's getting attacked by something outside the train station or whatever. And uh, so you got to go run around and kill stuff. And we're planning to win the competition, obviously, because uh, that is what you do in these scenarios to get better yep. better gear. Winning is basically essential with this game. Yeah, so we need to fight the Zagnol. Get yeah, sure. so at uh, four and a half minutes, the Zagnol appears in the, in the business district. That near where we got the shops. Yeah, shop. it's in the same shop. same area, yeah. Oh. Um, Fre Freya will join our party for that fight. We're actually going to equip Zidane with the yellow scarf for strength and the leather wrist, uh, because it's got Beast Killer strapped to it, so that we can mm -hmm. deal really, really good damage. But yeah, we can do that right before the fight. Coupled with the Ogre, we're going to be able to kill it in two hits. It's it's, it's, it's a quick fight. Uh, as long as it doesn't focus Sedan with a preempt, we should be fine. Yeah. Um, and we, The bit that's kind of risky about <laughs> it, though, is that we're going to have Freya knock herself out, mm -hmm. because if she's alive, she gets the points or something like that, I don't know. But we need Zidane to get the points so yeah. that we get the kill. Um, yeah, the, the, ultimately what we don't want to happen is we don't want the villain Vivi to win. Cause yeah, if Vivi he, wins, it's it's very bad. He wants a trading card. He just wants a card. And now cards are important. We do need to play cards later. That is going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely no RNG involved in that game. Zero. It's funny because... There's a Zagnol. There we go. Yeah, there he That's is. The That's boss. the guy. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's also really important. This is actually uh, one of the bosses for all bosses as well. Okay. You don't need to save to save, do you? You'll be alright. Nah, I'll be fine. We will save before Grotto, I guess. Outside, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. of the, yeah. we haven't the saved Fornets. Rhodes has practiced this plenty of times, uh, so he should be fine with this. So for the first point, we actually want to leave the Mage Masher on. Um, 
because we're still learning protect goals, and these the first few mobs aren't that, that that dangerous. So we'll do the menu later so that we can learn some AP yeah, yeah. off the first few fights. So yeah, we're just heading out now to get the tram. As soon as we get out, yeah, it starts automatically then. Yeah. There's a bit of a lead up scene where they're all talking on top of the uh talking on top of the bridge. This stun is like He's really going, he's <laughs> really going for it. He's really going for it. I've never seen him so en energetic in the entire game. He's like Get him, VV. <laughs> no, it's actually pretty funny. It's like, no, the other way, Vivi, the other way, stop running. It's very funny. Yeah, if you could, when you were running around, you'll see it there in a second. When you're running around a bit, Vivi's running from the monsters at certain points rather than fighting them. Mm. Okay. So the first thing we're going to be fighting is... Um, what are they called again? A Moo? Moo, yeah. So we're going to take out the Moo, and then we're going to head back into the tram, um, back to Business District, and clear the zoos there. Okay, yeah, and we... We have time, but we won't be using the entire 12 minutes at all. We don't need that at all. Yeah, she needs four and a half minutes to pass. Great Scott skip. Great Scott! Help! See, that's what I mean. Why did they leave the old guy there, just like, in the middle of the street? If he didn't want to he's, take he's doing part. Work. He's Unless doing he's work. like, got magic powers or something. Right, so good ATB so we can get in front, please. Oh, that's not a bad ATB. Did you? Oh, no! Oh, dude. Did you say where? We saved it, right? When did you last save it? Oh my god, man. It's okay, it's planned. <laughs> it's okay, it's planned. Uh, this is part of the strat. The quickest way to get out of the Hunt Festival is to just kill Zidane as quick as you can and get out of it and lose. And it's fine. And yeah. Freya wins. So hopefully someone in chat got, got fooled. <laughs> I think that was really good acting. I think we did really well there. Like. Yeah, we built that one up. Um, so, yeah, if Freya wins, if Freya wins by default, if Zidane retires like that, uh, and Freya wins the coral ring. <laughs> Do you know what the coral ring does? Yes. Does <laughs> <laughs> it absorbs lightning damage? Okay. I do know that. No what else to do? It does. It looks pretty. It does. <laughs> Especially on our on rat Freya. wife's yeah, yeah, on Freya. Z wears it for a while too. He does actually. He yeah. does. That's right. That's it. I do. It looks prettier on him. Uh, it also teaches you manita. Oh, is that what it does? <laughs> Interesting. Man Eater is also one of the really powerful abilities in this game. Um, so the killer abilities, they're not all called killers. Man Eater, uh, as you can tell. Man Eater, Kill Eater, uh, kill eater. <laughs> bug, <laughs> bug Killer, Bird Killer, uh, there's uh, Devil Killer, there's a bunch of them. And they they add 50% of your damage to your damage. So if you hit for 100, you'll deal 150. Mm. In addition, there is another ability that we'll get really early in this too, um, thanks to the, the Power Belt, yes, yes. which we're not going to forget. Do not uh, get the power build. Which uh, teaches you MP attack, which does exactly the same thing, but for all of your regular attacks at the cost of one eighth of your total mana. Per swing. Per swing. So you can get you, you get nine attacks out because if you've got 81 mana, it will take eight off of off you. And as long as you can spend some mana on it, it will still count. Mm -hmm. So you more often than not you get nine attacks out of it, and it's mostly relevant towards well well, I suppose it's, it's, it's relevant, it's relevant pretty much straight away. The uh this we forgot to mention just briefly there this how quickly the people keel over here and fall down the ground from being oh, yeah. slightly poisoned by uh, Dagger and uh, Steiner is uh, completely RNG as well. So it's out of, without, outside of your control. And so, so Steiner and Dagger have decided that they are heading back home. It's a nice little bit of sleeping weed. Knocks them right out. And with that, we are... We heard w we got wind that uh, Ormechia soldiers are dying. Is it, is it Clara or Ormechia that from that uh, Freya's from? Uh, Ormechian soldier that came Mechian, in. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. a So a quick shop here. We're gonna sell the cotton robes that we made earlier. Uh, they sell for like 1.4 times the money that we put into them. Mm -hmm. So you can you can amplify your money, but you can't keep doing it because of the ingredients. So the shipping is got three. Mm -hmm. Buy. 20, 15, 10. And we're also going to pick this one up here just for a little bit of extra safety. Okay. That means you four tenths. No, we've, we've got four. Four tenths. Plenty tenths. So, well, yeah, we've got time yet. So we're going to go first to the... We need to unlock the ability to use Chocobos in the... 
in the run. So Brutal is going to stutter step all the way to the forest. We're going to go in, interact, and the Chukubu is going to run out of the forest. And we're told that we can use Geishal Greens to uh, to call one from the world map in any place where we see these little Chukubu tracks on the ground. So that is our plan. So we will be using mo using them more later on. But for now, we just need to get the ability to use them and just we'll use it as we can, as we call it anyway. Might as well use it to get to the next place. So all these round uh, dome-shaped forests on the map are the Chukubu forests. Is that the longest? Uh, yeah. That's the longest stutter Unless step you stutter to oil vert. Oh, yeah. Can you scroll the notes just a little bit for me? No problem. Thanks, Dad. So he's gonna run down to the run down to the forest to the the track the track sorry and uh, so that when he's finished the menu that we're about to do you can just go into your items and use the use the gosh the greens immediately. Are you doing the short? Yeah, because we got the AP. So we'll be a little bit flimsy, but it shouldn't matter. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. You saving here? Yeah. Absolutely. Let's so. go down one slot as well, so we'll have the saves. I'm actually not sure we have enough space for every single I'll just one. make it on this one, it's fine. Okay. Right? I just wanted to keep... Yeah, it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Save it. And here we are. Gizamaluk's Grotto. Uh, not too dangerous of a place normally, but things can go wrong here. In the very first screen, there's also a, an encounter skip you can check, so if you move really tight and just talk to the guy from far away, get the item, open the door, you've won this encounter check. And in the very first screen here, because we've just done a menu to put like a better weapon uh, onto Zidane, we put the ogre that we, got, we synthesized earlier on, he does not have the ability to flee, because we have not learned it yet. So it's not committed to memory. Only when we move a weapon equipped that has flee on it can we use flee. And this screen has an encounter that can cause berserk on the party. There are some bugs that are flying. And uh, they can make it really difficult for you. But luckily we did not get the encounter. It has never happened that people die here. Ever. There is also another encounter we will mention soon. Uh, there's Lamias in here, which are like snake ladies, and they can uh, confuse your members of your party and stuff as well, which can get really dangerous really quickly. And I've definitely not died to one of those either. You actually? Yeah. I've never actually died to one. I was fleeing lost and a lot didn't of time. realize that they were confused or something. I can't remember. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the first time I've ever seen the move or something. Like, yeah, oh, when yeah. you're fleeing, it actually hides all stats ailments unless yeah. they're zombie. So I didn't the know he was fleeing. That's I was crazy. like, oh, well, I didn't know I was confused. And then he swung at himself, and I was like, okay. So here we go, these Black Mage fights the Brill's gonna do. We're gonna see loads of these over the next uh, hour or so. And uh, Zidane is faster than these guys, so you can ACB weight them. Which means Brill's gonna attack the other one that didn't attack. All right. Ideally, we would've got ahead of him. On Z, please. But we, um, because we're holding ATB here, and he's going to let Zidane's attack true. And now Zidane's ADB is going to fill at the same speed, the same time as begin filling, let's say, at the same time as this Black Mage. Zidane can go before us, because Zidane is faster. It's that simple. And you'll see a lot of that over these encounters. Oh yeah, get him out. It would have been pretty pretty hairy if they double attack Zidane with like a blizzard or something there. I'm actually going to let him come to me. You got a potion? I've already potioned. So there's an encounter check just past that point. Where if you take it, it's like 20% or something, but you currently we don't have access to flee. The mobs here aren't quite so bad in this room, but it's not really worth it. Exactly the same ATV. Let's see if we can get ahead of this guy. Nice. No.
No crits. Mingin. Freya can crit and one shot one of these also, but for the moment, Zidane is the only one who can do it. Um, so we just kind of focus on using him to attack at all times. So hopefully, so we're going to do a little bit here to put the dagger on and yep. the bird killer. Um, so that we will have flea for the next moment if we need it. And we're also putting on bird killer because the next boss is a bird. An aquatic bird, but a bird nonetheless. <laughs> An aquatic bird. I guess a rare a, kind. Well, a sewer bird, I guess. A sewer bird. <laughs> he's, he's a revered animal. He's fierce. He's a, fierce and he's a holy relic. So I guess um, we'll do a bit of talking about what is com what is coming up. So uh, Giza Maluk is possibly one of the scariest bosses in the run. It uh, Even actually, I would say, I think casually, I think I'm... Last time I played this years ago, I might have actually died to Gizamuk in the first time as well. Um, he, what we're going to do first is going to, we're going to throw those tents that we picked up at Gizamuk. And you're like, why are you throwing tents? But so it will fully heal him and it will fully regen his MP. But it also causes a load of status effects because it's to deter you from using it yourself. But it's a 50% chance that these status effects land. And namely, what Gizamuk is vulnerable to is blindness and silence which will reduce the accuracy of his physical attacks obviously and then silence will just not allow him to cast any water magic spells which will be fantastic if we can get that to land so we have four attempts for it to land you can start guessing in chat which tent of the four will land if the four of them back attack three jump nice uh if the uh four of them do not land we will use Zidane's ability called Soul Blade that will use whatever status effect his weapon can inflict and like cast it on the enemy. So we can cast um, blindness on it. At least he will still be able to use uh, water magics, but he will be blinded. And Giza also counters your moves, which is uh, not ideal. But what we're aiming for here is ideally like five or six Zidane attacks, and then backing it up with one or two free attacks. I will count damage for this. He is three, one, seven, five. And here we go. He's gonna look good luck. No pressure. No, no problem. Not the hardest boss in the game. This is free. First try 10. I'm not even gonna look. Close my eyes. <laughs> you see, he does emerge from the water, but he is a bird. I assure you, he's a bird. He's a bird. Ha ma ma. Look, aquatic bird. Sewer bird. Okay, here we go. First try tent. Control the tent, hold ADB with, with BB and see if it lands. It will tell us on the top of the screen. Perfect. No. Good. <laughs> I thought it was actually there. So it heals him fully. Uh, did not inflict the 50% chance of status ailments, so I'm throwing again with VV, hoping for the next 50%. No dice. Very cool. Third try tent. Here we go. It's his first physical attack. As you see, he hits like a truck. Come on. Oh, baby. It's Fourth happening. Try. Marathon RNG. Here we go. Do it, Vivi. Do it, Vivi. Come on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so now we are into the danger territory. Under 50% health. So we are casting Soul Blade, which will do the blindness. So that's okay. There's. Well, because this game is heavily RNG, um, <laughs> it blindness is a mere suggestion at the best of times. Um, but it will help with every time it counters. Uh, the, the real issue is under 50% HP, he will do an AoE water spell, which is devastating at this HP range and level. So, let's see what happens. His turn. Now with us, he's turning. Okay. You can ATB wait, uh, which Bruce is doing here. Oh, yes. 1092. Nice. Counter attack. No, oh, counter. no counter. Nice. Swing it in, yeah. 
Nice. We are also very close to Trent, which is really good. Yeah, yeah. This could actually make this fight. Even though it's already what we would consider a pretty bad fight because of the uh, because of the four tents missing and the time it takes. Nice. All right, Trance, we're getting emotional in here. Let's do it. That was his counter that went, so. Don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. Not on Z, not on Z, not on Z. Okay, we can wait this in and we're done. Perfect. You don't even need to, yeah. How much has he got? 1500 left. It might not kill it. No, but you can if you wait one in, can't you? Just I'll use Fred to kill it. Oh, yeah. But he's got 155 left. Counter. Okay. What do I do with. Oh, oh, whatever. He's dead. Oh, okay. yeah. That's fine. Back up territory, is it? And that's he's okay, is it? He's, he's fine. Well done, though. Great fight. Trance it's, was useful. Trance was useful for once, and that is very rare. <laughs> that was actually uh, well done, considering that it uh, it was an awful fight to get four tenths that missed. What's the the one in one in forty? Not eight point five. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Well, it's it's just below fifty percent. Just below fifty percent. Don't go flipping any coins or gambling anytime soon. I don't intend. Not with those odds. <laughs> Um, so after Bormechia, after the oh no, sorry, we got this scene at the South Gate. It, Final Fantasy IX does a really good job of divvying out the story between the different parties and stuff. You will find yourself split from the other party at certain points. Yeah. Um, and it really, like, the pacing of it is actually really good. It's really well done. You do feel like you get to know all the characters equally. Um, and you get to see some cool places and cool stuff. So at this point, Steiner is walking around on his own with a big bag. And, uh, That's not it's not just any bag, though, is it? Uh-uh, it's full of... Pickles. Pickles, that's it. Some famously bad-smelling pickles, so the guards don't want to look into it because it's the pickles. Uh, so I'm throwing this out there just so that it's in the head. Is We are low on bird killer AP by five. Just bird killer. So we've got to kill an extra couple of stripers or something in Aoife. Great. I'll write it down. So I'll remember. I won't remember. So here we gotta just talk to some people to get him out of the, uh, get him out of the way. Uh, Z bird killer AP, yeah? Correct. Here is also a thing we can check. This is part-time worker Mary in the back with the red hair, and the blue hair bent, and she is looking for love. Oh yeah. She is looking for love with this guy in the green top. Will he reciprocate the love? Absolutely not. RNG, let's find out. Will they face each other and embrace each oh. other? Or... Turn oh, away, Jeff. Oh, Quick, oh, Jeff. Oh, oh. They found love. He's actually, he can look. He can be turning any direction. But today, they found love. Oh. There you go. Very nice. Happy occasion for them. And after this, we're going to go into the hallway. Turns out that it's, uh, it is indeed Dagger that is hiding inside in the sack because she would, I guess, be noticed by all the people at the gates of the guards. So uh, she's hiding away in the sack. And after that, we got some little... Cutscenes, and we're going to make our way to Bromechia. So, if there's a donation you'd like to read, by all means. Oh, sorry about that. I, <laughs> oh, good, sorry. <laughs> we, we, we've been having a few technical difficulties behind the scenes. No worries, though. We've got a $25 donation from Primo. They say, awesome run so far. Good luck and greetings from Germany. And that went towards naming uh, Iko Mutsky. And that is extended its lead. It's got quite the lead. It's $131 in the lead ahead of naming everybody Steiner. Excellent. Thanks very much. <laughs> yeah, so there is. The next one is Quina, which I've written down as like three hours 40 into the run. So somewhere around there. So we have an hour and a half. Yes. If you have time. Comfortably into this. Team. Plenty time. I don't hear any names coming in for Quina. So that sounds like it's free for the taking, maybe, possibly. So. Uh, not quite free. I mean, you're going to have to beat Steiner or Steiner's $116 oh, okay, on okay, it so okay. far. But uh, I believe, I believe people can donate <laughs> with the donations that have been coming in for the other ones, I believe, I believe. He's believing. It's time for, what do they call this? The seat minigame. <laughs> the train car minigame. Uh, you know what, that's the amount of lag there is on an LCD, how much I missed Yeah, it's CRT. <laughs> but dude, like, if I can get the puck skip on this, like, no. You have no excuse. That's, I mean, it, it's true and it's not true. 
<laughs> I'm still delighted I got the puck skip. <laughs> I'm still reeling in the glory of performing the puck skip at ESA. Basking in it. I mean, just to throw this out there so that people are aware, the naming incentives thus far, and again, we haven't closed all of them, we have raised over $2,000. We're insane. at $2,049. Well-deserved applause to all those donating. Thank you so much for your generosity. Yes, we're going to make our way to Bromechia. Uh, is this? No, it's not her home. It's not her hometown. Is this? It's, it is a uh, phrase, yeah. Okay. Yes. And what's Clara then? She, oh, I think she's, she's just Clara. Just Clara. Clara. Different place. Uh, a little more stutter stepping around the corner, and you'll see. Um, as an Irishman myself, this uh, this makes me feel. I can't do that. Very one. much like at home. Uh, because it's always raining in Vermechia. The realm of eternal rain. There it is. Just like Ireland. Some pretty big steppies there. You were pushing... You did equip the dagger deals again. I did, too. So... But Mechia is where a lot of runs go to die. Mm -hmm. It's pretty hard to get a good pace on a real RTA run to this part of the game. Uh, and then this is the highest encounter rate area of disc one. Um, it's carnage. It's absolutely carnage. And they can really vary in what we call encounter quality, which is how good the encounter is. Whether you get out instantly, whether you get quickly, whether you get three basilisks and they're all casting and you're in there all week. Mm -hmm. That's another first. Gradual petrify is understood. Like, help, 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 help. Girls. Perfect. <laughs> help. Help, he says. So, yeah, more of these black mage fights where we can uh, interview it with Zidane again. So, we're just going to swing twice with Z if we can. So, Zidane, please. Please, buddy. Come on, Bad my dude. ADB. Come on, my dude. Brum, brum, brum. Coral Ring doing its work. There we go. Absorbing all the thunder damage. I would have, yeah, I was going to say that dude's probably getting in as well. But how bad it, Zidane's ADB was. My dude's ADB. I should really probably start calling them by their uh, given names for the day that's in it. I don't know how we're going to pronounce uh, Freya's name, though. There's no point healer, actually, is there? I don't matter. It's for all the encounters we're going to get. That's it. It's topping her up. Another little menu after this. And we're good to go. begins. The game heard us talking about Bromechia, and it knows. It just knows. Alright, let me out. That's all bad. Let me out, Probably let me out, let me out. Cool. Thank you. So, for every second that you're holding L1 and R1, your character's doing this, as long as it's not their turn, you earn flea checks. Uh, it's a bunch of calculations to work out whether or not they're successful or not is based on their level and your level and some other stuff probably um, so when you go to lower level areas very few times that we do the uh, chance of quick fleeing is higher in this screen here you, if you run across this bridge you're actually supposed to walk uh, like or this will happen but if you actually hold up and left it uh, on the d-pad it allows you to grind against the wall across and get across to get the germanus boots which are incredibly valuable because i know what they do <laughs> for one item what do they do they give you alert ability which means you cannot be back attacked what else do they do something else they look cool on your shoes <laughs> they look cool on your feet i don't know <laughs> oh ow. see ow. if we had the germanus boots on now that wouldn't happen but yeah, we, yeah, we, we wouldn't, you're right. Yeah, we equipped them later. Come on, give me the quick flea. 
Give me the quick flea. Nice, there we go. Got it eventually. Oh my goodness. This is already incredibly bad already. We are being tested. We are being pushed to our limits. And a PB attempt uh, molding would be occurring right now. Oh yeah. This run would have been over uh, quite a while ago. Oh, ah, well, never mind. Well, never mind. <laughs> He's got my back. The big man's got my back. There are some screens here as well that you can do some optimal move to skip checks, but it's really difficult. This next screen, for example, if you try and move and angle and talk to the guard from far away and barely talk to the behind the bed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Wow. I think my PB has a zero a one or zero encounter with Mech, yeah. And I'm this requesting is, we, we're help. already on <laughs> five, four years. I'm requesting help. This is going to be a slow one. Gradual petrify, here we go. Okay, at least it's just tongue. You can get encountered by these three enemies and get three of the three of the spells they cast, Gradual Petrify, and it's just really slow. We're having a good time though, aren't we? <laughs> having fun, aren't we? <laughs> having a great time. <laughs> oh, dang it, run straight ran a bit. It's all good. Don't give me another one. Don't, Don't do it. Don't one. do it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. 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 No more now. All right. All right. Thank all you, right. Bermekia, for showing off every enemy available to us to encounter. We've seen them enough now. I feel like you getting through one screen there is an accomplishment in itself. <laughs> <Shh. laughs> the game knows. It knows. This is incredible. Back wow. Ah, uh, boo. Oh, but look, good AGB. Okay, good AGB. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm not gonna mention, not gonna mention anything. Hiren's right. We need to go and touch a mimic. Oh, there's, 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 there's Dark Souls chests. They stole it from Dark Souls. There's chests you can open up, and then uh, little monsters pop out, and they they actually summon thieves, which come and steal your stuff. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> They're really bad. Okay. Good old Bermekia. Reminds me of home. Sunny England. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually amazing. There's a absolutely phenomenal TAS video of FF9. Uh, is it Trilogy? Is it? Uh, Till, mm, no, it's Lil Gecko. Lil Gecko, Lil Gecko. My apologies. Lil Gecko's Tass. Uh, he's a few of them done. I think he's one done for like 100 or he's one done for different different stuff. But there's one of them. Any, all of them will show you. And it's really well commentated like out in the side. He's got like a whole note section that progresses along. And it's really interesting to see the RNG progression here in Bermekia. Every single raindrop that falls increases the RNG. So at this point in the game, the RNG counter is just going in. It's just flying. It's going nuts. It's yep. insane. It's really impressive to see. Absolutely really well done. If you're into, you like Tasses, you like Final Fantasy, well, absolutely check that Tass up. It uses incredible. a number of strategies for the bosses which are just... They don't exist. <laughs> they they simply can't exist. Mm. Um, for a number of them as well, he actually uh, manipulates... There's, there's one... Uh, he did a God RNG Tass as well, where... Um, he it actually injected values into it to get the outcome. Oh, okay, so everything crits and whatever. Yeah, and uh, it's it's truly a sight to behold. So there is an encounter skip that you can do, which I'm not going to do, but I am going to split the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Hell, um, we did. We it. are at the end of disc one, almost. We just have one more boss to kill. Leave her alone, Zidane. Five oak close bracket exclamation mark four dash. <laughs> Where are you going? The 
petition to just call that person face roll. <laughs> Yeah, so come here. We actually are not going to defeat this this boss. This is one of the bosses we're not going to defeat. We do yeah. encounter again later. I uh, I don't think I'm going to mess around with jump scare. I don't think we. I'm just going just because we haven't saved it. Yeah, yeah, we haven't saved. We're not actually messing with this one, this guys. <laughs> yeah, this one's real. <laughs> this one won't be a meme. We're actually just going to. Yeah. We're, I, I will tell you what the strat we could do, but we're not going to do it. So there is a ch there is a, we have to wait here ten turns uh, with for, with beat with beat tricks. Every time you encounter, actually, this is in play, and. Uh, Basically, she is super fast, and she will always overpower you. You can actually defeat her casually, but it's like, maybe if you're a bit stronger levels, you can uh, do it. She's like 3,500 HP or something like that. Yeah. And uh, we're just going to wait out the 10 turns. It's actually like the best way to get through it. Yeah. But in a in the, like an RTA attempt, PB attempt, you can use Freya's jump ability. If she's the only character left on screen, she can jump over like turns 9 and 10. So that it just saves a few seconds. I, I, how, how much does it even save? About ten seconds. About ten seconds. It's not. It's not huge. Uh, but for today, we're not going to. Instead sort of one of those cases where you can go for it, and if you're in an RTA run, then you do it. You, I, I have confidence that I'll be able to do it. But it's, it's it saves ten seconds at the risk of your entire run. And we have not saved. And we just haven't saved it since the start of grow, so it's just not worth it. Because the time it takes to save completely mitigates the the time you'd save from doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So we're trying to trying to cut corners a little bit, mm -hmm. but yeah, we'll be counting the turns and just keeping on it. Uh, we don't really want to see shock. Thunder Slash is going to be okay. Freya currently is going to be guarded by Zidane thanks to Protect Girls. Zidane is wearing the Coral Ring, so he will be absorbing any Lightning Thunder Slashes that she'll be doing. Uh, sh he won't cover Vivi. Vivi is he's, he's leaving Vivi to his own devices. No, he's not. Um, but I guess I could. Probably... I was going to say as we're. Uh... Get some steals off. Yeah, get some steals off. I'm like, be able to get the chain plate. Phoenix down is always nice. Um, there is also, is it the 2% chance or something to get the Mitral dagger? Yeah, I think Mitral it's, sword. It's, it's 1 in 256. Oh, okay. Two one. So chain plate's going to nice. save us about 800 kill. That's good. That's two turns. It's three, isn't it? She, she's hit, she, yeah, she's hit Zidane twice. Oh, okay. So. Four. So an actual real strategy that you could do here is defend with Zidane because when you're blocking, your evasion goes up 50%. But I want the Mindful Sword. Give it to me. Give it. I actually got it recently in a run. Uh, for the nah, first time ever. You didn't? Did? I've actually lost count. I think that's five. I'm going to skip the steal attempt here because I need and activate to not yeah. throw away all my ATBs. She's incredibly fast. Yeah. She's so much faster than all of your party that it's really dangerous to... Not have an ATB available, it can just snowball really quickly. Mm -hmm. I think that's six. <laughs> this I, is why I'm I, not I doing jump skip. <laughs> Has anyone been counting? <laughs> but it doesn't matter anyway. Once you get past the 10 turns, she's just going to do an AoE, and uh, that will be the end of disc one. Ooh, so we've actually stolen everything that she currently has, other Except than the Mindful Sword. Sword. One more chance? Give it to me. Dang. I think that should be it, is it? I am still not in the Mindful Sword Club. <laughs> Never, no? Nice little 224. Yeah. Yep, PB pace. Uh, PB pace, spicy. Yeah. We'll make it up on the wrist. Mage Masher held us up a little bit. And uh, a few other bits. But. We had a five minute Masher, didn't we? It's a five, five something, yeah. Yeah, it's a low five. And then it was just that and Burmesia, really, and were the two. Burmesia like encounters were kind of. They, they, you know what? They weren't that bad. There was like four of them. We got four two quick fleas. Yeah. There was that only really one fight that went really bad, and it was the back attack where they all had to. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other one was uh, Gizmaluk was probably one of the slowest oh, fights yeah, I've okay, had in yeah. my life. I forgot that. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, when in RTA, we take uh, most runners take three tents, but then when you're really, really, really trying to push it, you take two. And if they both whiff, you you probably just reset. To yeah, be honest. it's like you're you're losing you're already losing time at that point. That it's yeah. not worth. Uh, so taking four is um, was a safety strat. It's a safety strat, and it just ended up 
not being safer and losing his time by trying. It checks out though, considering the bio RNG I've been having in FF7 recently. Oh yeah, there you go. Which is it's it's, it's funny actually. Identical, is it? In FF7, there is a boss that happens around the two-hour mark where you have to try and uh, stick uh, a status ailment at a 50% uh, success rate in order to like actually move on with the fight, and it happens in seven and nine at pretty much the same point. Do you want to make a quick save here? Just we have to save. Yeah, it's, it's changed. Anything goes wrong or anything. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'll do that. I can't hear the disc stopping, so it's going to take. Yeah. Normally, I just wait for the hear the disc stopping and then throw the other disc over my shoulder, but uh, that won't happen today. I'm not even joking. They're mine. <laughs> They're brutal world record discs, so I'm not allowed to throw them today, unfortunately. No. I've asked nicely, but he won't let me. And I'm afraid I'd take someone's eye out behind me. So, so. <laughs> 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 Critical. It's RNG who gets hit behind me, however it's a critical hit in their eye or not. So yeah, we have some bit of time here while uh, we're going to be entering this uh, train station, I guess, or uh, it's tram station in the middle. We're going to talk to some of the members of Tantalus again after meeting them. They'll, and then we're going to do some shop. And by the time yeah, it's great. So if you have two don if you think donations to read, but go ahead, please. Thanks. I do indeed. I've got an anonymous five dollar donation from well it says anonymous, but it also says that it's from Bun Buns the Rabbit, who says, <laughs> Good luck on the run, and I'm going to do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> please don't do it. And then I've got twenty-five dollars from our very own Robo Sparkle, and you know what? I'm gonna have Robo tell you what he wants you to hear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So I'd like you to have 25 Gashio Pickles in honor of Trance actually being useful somehow during yeah. this loop. <laughs> and um, I've uh, decided to bring out a, uh, a contender for Queena. Um, and, well, $25 to name uh, them Pickles. <laughs> Very nice, bro. Yeah. Very nice. Thanks so much, Robo. That's a good name for a Queena. <laughs> and with that, that's going to be the end of my hosting duty for uh, the time being. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave you in the incredibly capable hands of Skenmi. And uh, yeah, y'all have fun and enjoy the rest of this round. Thanks so much, Nordic. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, dude. So, uh, much earlier in the run, when we were in the basement of Dali, we actually put some gear on for uh, Dagger. We gave her the Feather Hut. Uh, and it's not because it's a very pretty hat. It's actually because oh. it amplifies wind damage, and the magic racket that we just found for Dagger is all rackets, uh, rackets in this game, when they're swung, they deal wind damage. So actually, she's one of the only characters that has access to elemental boosting, uh, especially this early in the game. Uh, there's only really two or three instances of it in the entire run, and uh, Dagger is blessed. I wasn't watching, you've one. done the menu, yeah? Yeah. yeah fine. Just to make sure. Can you get the calculator? For Absolutely. Fun? This is often one of the fights where people begin to start counting damage. Yeah. Uh, it's just easier. This is one where you kind of want to know if you can get lethal, because you can ATB weight in this fight with Dagger, of all people. Mm -hmm. So she is a little bit faster than, um, or Spoon, rather, in this case. Uh, she's a little bit faster than Black Walls 3, 2. Sorry, spoilers. He's back. He survived. What? He actually managed to survive the plane crash. Unbelievable. Absolutely. This is a fantasy game. <laughs> Clearly fiction. <laughs> <laughs> He, uh, he's back, but he's a bit glitched. He's, uh, he's, under, he's a little troubled. He stopped and, uh, it like Spider-Man, you know, when he's in front of the train. He's got his arm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how he did it, man. That's how he did it. Uh, and he's back, so he's a bit glitched. There's a few interesting mechanics available in this fight. So, like I said, Dagger can ATB waste. So if it's worth doing to get lethal on the last on the last attack, we will do it. Otherwise, it's not really worth it. And, but the other interesting mechanic is that if, the, if Steiner goes down and Marcus... Um, oh, yeah. Well, it's off to a good start. Um, it's actually quicker to kill the other one. So if, if Steiner goes down, it's quicker to kill Marcus, and he will actually just damage himself. You can't really lose this fight. He will not damage... Uh, he will not damage Spoon. So we're changing turn order there in case I want to do a wait next turn. 
Steiner crit will do good, but it's actually... highly unlikely. Yeah, okay. So on this turn, if Steiner happens to not die here, we'll do a wait. Nice. Okay, nice. So yeah, I'm gonna hold ADB, wait for Dagger's attack to go through just by flicking the ATB open closed. That goes to Dagger's ADB empties, we swing. And now by holding confirm. Oh. Can't count? I we actually did, yeah. Nice. Oh it's just We're just it's barely, it's barely over. That's good. Perfect. So even if that damage was low rolls, we would have been able to kill on this turn in here without him attacking again, which is really good. Get him out. Um, so there are a few little pickups that we're going to make uh, here and around Treno to pick up some of the gill, just to make up for what we're missing from No Nobles. We're not saving, we're just pushing, is it? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll top it. I'll top it. We just need to start at top tip. Very good point, I actually forgot. It's a quick hit, so you, if we don't get the stutter step correct and we get a world map encounter and Dagger is the only one alive, which is not an uncommon scenario here, mm -hmm. then because she's so weak right now, she's typically level one with 70 HP. If she runs into a, uh, a monster, she can just die and you can just game over. So that is it. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a dangerous Typically you just top up potion someone here. Or well, normally you just run and just yeah, don't get the encounter, but, but we'll, uh, We'll weave that in because it's save it quicker than saving. So this is one of the pickups we get. It's quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of money uh, from not getting nobles. So everyone picks this up except for the Tess. Da -da -da -da. Again, melodies of life motif weaving in. It's a banger. Woven in. It is a banger. Just it's everywhere. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> with good reason. Maybe it's everywhere. <laughs> Perfect. That gets us out of immediate danger should we get an encounter on the way to Trino. Can't stutter backwards without an armrest. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I wouldn't take the time to turn the camera around, but... Yeah, yeah I get you. <laughs> Nothing for leverage. Alright, so there is the only other ATE here that we really, really want to do. There's also one in Black Mage Village, isn't there? Yeah, it's optional. Oh, it's optional, yeah. It just saves like a second or something. So yeah, this is the other AT you need to do. This one uh, will grant us a power belt. So we need to do an ATE where Dagger is uh, just walking along and she gets pickpocketed. And then Steiner goes and meets that guy who pickpocketed her and you get a power belt in return. Uh, power belt is very overpowered. And without this, your run is probably in, in trouble. Yep. So we're going to mash through this. Because Spoon is, a Spoon is about to get robbed, and if you don't mash, he steals a grand rather than 500 gil. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's that. And then we need to go and get the... Because not only have... I think the time that I did forget this, which happens once, it, it, people often... This happens. There are stories of power belt skips. Um, I actually did the ATE, but forgot to run in here and get the power belt. Which it is, uh, happens. Yeah, so we confront old red arm, red four armed man. Yeah. And that's it. Got the power He's belt. like, please... Take your sort of justice away from me. Hands open power belt. So that uh, the power belt has three points of additional strength for the equipper and loads of defense. You become very, very, very tanky with the power belt on and you hit like a truck. And in addition, it also has MP attack counter. And, and counter, in fact. Yeah, because we're level three today, aren't we? So yeah. we, can, we can pop that on. So one more pickup over in the corner yeah, over here. There's a cheeky 2000 sitting over here. Some rich dude left it there. Thank you very much. We shall take that. Come on, Dagwero, let's go. We've got places to be. Spoon arrow. What? Spoon arrow, yeah, sorry. So... Yeah. Shopping time. It's shopping time. We love shopping, don't we? Yeah. So we're going to get a... Mitchell Sword, Ice Staff for VB for later, some other equipment, bone wrists, Magus hats, two bandanas. We've Let's already the chain plate. stolen the chain plate, so we don't need to buy it. it, saves us 800 bucks. And we get the chain mail, and that is us. We, because we didn't get nobles again, we're going to pick up the Mitchell dagger outside of Tots. It's a few seconds just to pick it up, not a big mm -hmm. deal. Shaggy skip. Can we do it? Can we just do hold it? Down Can left. We do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Highly oh, skilled no. gaming. No, no, I got past him. I got <laughs> he past him. Technically did get past him, but I don't know was it faster that one. <laughs> nice. 
L- listen, right? listen, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I need you to stop detracting from my ability, please. <laughs> I'm still sore after Gizm, I think. <laughs> Onto the canoe. Here we go. So this is where we start to see the cracks in Steiner's fortitude, his mental fortitude. He's starting to really question what it is that he's trying to accomplish. Um, because Dagger is trying to get home by a different means. And she's wondering whether or not... What was, she's, she's, she's kind of mad at Zidane, isn't she? I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, she's mad, at him. So she's mad at him. She's really she's fuming. Rage. Fuming. Yeah. Livid. And you can see it in her face right now. See? Absolutely molding. <laughs> yes, the PlayStation yep. 1 that, really that conveys twitch. it very well. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, Marcus is. They're assisting. Oh, that's right, He's, isn't it? They're stealing yeah. the. Th- they want the super soft yeah. from Tot. So, Blank, who was in the evil forest at the start, and the forest got petrified. We escaped, but Blank did not escape. And so, the other members of Tantalus, uh, Marcus included, the guy at the back of the boat, he is. Um, canoe, rather. He is trying to get a super soft item, or tonic, whatever it is, to, uh, to heal him, to revive him. Yeah. And that's why he's here helping out. And. They're just kind of at a mutual agreement to get in, to sneak into Tot's place and uh, get that. And That's correct. So when Dagger found out that um, Marcus is here to save Blank, uh, yeah, save Blank with Marcus, with, oh my goodness, too many names. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to get the super soft and Tot, Dr. Tot has it. She doesn't realize at this point the person that she's trying to rob, this mm-hmm. lovely gentleman she right here, is actually like her... Uh, a teacher mm. from when she was in the castle so she's just burst out here and he's just thrilled and he's like oh yeah cool you can just, you can just have it and just come around <laughs> one of the interesting things I actually got is that I think uh, I'm not how, not sure how true it is but I think Dr. Tot's um, like his nose and stuff is actually modelled after a plague doctor one of the masks that yeah presumably okay so there is there's a little bit of a Awkward. bit of variance this menu here it's pretty simple we're going to put a bandana on Mark it's optimised Steiner because it's canon Yep, and and you can either choose to give Steiner a bit more health, or you can give him more firepower. So I'm gonna make the boy beefy, because I'm all about the damage. And then on Darkus, Marcus, because he's wearing one in the picture, so you might as well put it on. We're all ready. It's here. cannon. Bomb bomb told me it's cannon. It's cannon. <laughs> Pick up the Mitchell dagger, and off we go. Yeah, so that's that menu is at some point every like experienced runner's the least favorite menu, just that's because cool. of the variance of it. You can learn a single strategy, but then you kind of just end up wishing that you knew the other one. Yeah, yeah. And it's 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 the same thing actually. The, the bit the bit that's the mix-up is the the navigation around the menu is always the same, but it's when you press X, and it's that's enough to it's throw enough you to off. Throw it. I find that menu awful every single time I walk it somehow. Right, so I need to make sure that I'm not mashing X and square here because... Can he play cards? Oh, oh! can Tot play cards? <laughs> <laughs> he is the card master, I it's, forgot. It's later on in the game when you get to the card tournament, if you actually don't have five cards... No, you have no cards. If you speak to Tot, he will give you five cards so that you can go and play. And they're all actually fairly good, but because there's only five of them, mm-hmm. if any of them are particularly bad, because it's all random, of course, then you're you end up having to buy really, really naff cards and using them instead. Mm-hmm. Um, and a number of, there's a number of reasons. It's also quite slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a number of reasons why it's bad. But he is the card master. Tot loves him, man. <laughs> He's a good lad. Just loves carrots. He's a good lad. Are we doing Tot strats later? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Right. Absolutely not. Soon to do skipping rope strats to get the cactuar card to use off of that. <laughs> okay, Gargan Roo. It's got a banger beat. This is a good this is a good bot. It's not very big, so it's worth noting here that we don't have Zidane, specifically Zidane in our party right now. And if you remember what I said earlier, that means that we do not have access to the flea ability for the first time in the run. That's bad. That means if we get an encounter, we have to either rely on quickly or kill it, or just 
fight here. our way out. No. Tooth and nail. Smash it out. Normally it's a crawler. We want to see crawlers. Yeah. There are the dragonflies also, is there was it? Yeah. So crawlers. Okay, so other characters. I'm gonna hold flee pretty much the entire fight. Nice ATB. Oh yeah. Goodbye, Marcus. Okay, he's yeah, having his turn now. So I'll put her defended. So I'm not going to play anymore because we actually want to get this fight. Just do the quick play anyway. Nice. So this is going to give Steiner and Spoon, or Bovril and Spoon, sh metric lots. Shh, <laughs> <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, HP. A lot of experience. Uh, because you're expected to be like level seven or so, yeah. probably around this point in the game. And what it was, Dagger was level one at that point, was it? Yeah, so they're so. both now like level six or so. This game has um, an interesting mechanic in its EXP where uh, every time you basically go to a new zone, as long as it's a new zone that you haven't been able to access prior, the, the experience value of the mobs goes up exponentially. So if you kill something there for the first time, you'll probably gain a level, and then after that, you'll gain a third of a level or something. They just scale really, really badly against you. So grinding takes absolutely ages. I went back to life. Heal them all. You do not increase your current HP when you level up, so you'll see it a few times where we actually do a few yeah. boost few levels. Like so we will actually top up again. Exactly, yeah. Happens a few times in the run. So we're huge. We're absolutely no, huge. Yeah. 360 HP. We're almost double what we were expected to have here. Pretty big. So we yeah, can big. we can go pretty pretty wild right about now. So this guy. This is another interesting mechanic to talk about. This is there's this happens again. No, it doesn't. This is this is the only one, bro. But it happens on Beatrix fights, I guess. But this boss, um, we actually won't kill it. It's actually going to flee from the encounter before we before we do it. But we must hit its damage threshold so that it will flee, and it will use its next available attack as escape. Yep. So what we need to do is attack until that point and stop attacking and let it take its turn. Because if we like we if we just queue an extra attack, it will go through before he gets his attack. So what we want to do is like just overshoot the his HP value and then stop. And wait for him to flee. Mm -hmm. So we'll do some cutting. Yep. Thank you. Keep that Ooh. up for me. So if Steiner gets attacked by Devil's Kiss, he has like a 10% chance or so to return with a counter attack. Uh, he does about 500 damage per swing. Uh, criticals will do about 1,000. And counters will also basically count as an extra hit for us. And he can just swing through this, I believe. We can swing through here. Thank you. Bongs. Bongs. Five, 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 two. two. Get them. As you can see, Marcus is kind of flimsy here. That guy's going to do okay-ish damage. Yeah, Steiner is leading the charge, Bovril, with a... Goodbye, Marcus. Bye-bye. So there's no point checking for crits because crits is how we end the fight. Okay, so Steiner's gonna have lethal here, I believe. Mm -hmm. As long Five as he doesn't in. miss. Smilers, you said it now. There's no way that Steiner misses, man. There's no way. People think we're memeing at this point. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> My is. goodness, that was only eight damage over. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, and off he goes. Well done. Good fight. Split. Split because there's no XP screen, because he flees. So yeah, we got this uh, scene coming up um, where we brought back then to uh, to Zidane uh, and party, my dude. Uh, 50 bracket thing. <laughs> and uh, is it Anais is uh, Vivi? And uh, we are going up to Clara next place. So if there's any donations to read, we have time now. Mm. Oh, thank you so much. We've replaced uh, the, the the American voice with a nice, homely British voice. Um, so, <laughs> hello everybody, I'm Skenmi. I'll be taking you through the next few hours of Final Fantasy IX, and we've had a few donations come in. First one is a $10 donation from Ganorden, who says, I see a lot of friends in here in chat watching two awesome dudes running one of the games of all time. <laughs> here is some money. Where are the snake ladies? <laughs> Thank you for that. We have had oh, they're coming. a fifty-dollar donation from Tomain, um, who has chosen to name, uh, uh, sorry, my screen, my Queena. They've chosen to name Queena the name Pickles. 
saying, I don't like them on my burgers, so I'll give them to ESA instead. <laughs> uh, so thank you for that $50 donation there. And another $50 donation from Ooh. Bodcap, hey, who hey. says, Waves, running Final Fantasy ESA without me. Mother shall hear of this. I suppose Brutals is a worthy replacement. Best of luck, lads. Thanks so much, everyone, for the kind donations. Yeah, Bodcap, I ran FF8 here last year with Bodcap, and Olsen, who also ran this year uh, into the Matrix. So, hello, everyone. Thanks again for the kind donations. All for a great cause. Yeah, thanks, guys. Okay, so this is my last first step, thankfully. Oh, Spoon! Oh, Spoon! Where could where you be? be? We're going to head into Clara, where we... Uh, Oh man, the great flattening of our time. Mm -hmm. This amazing pace might come to a screeching halt. Or it could improve. <laughs> what if we get no encounters? What if what happened in practice happens? There we go, yeah. Well, no, you mean the, the, the no, three, no, no, three encounters leaving? Yeah. <laughs> we'll just hope that doesn't happen. So, oh my, I can't whisper sweet sorry. nothings to the PS2, see if it hears you. You listen up. I got something really important to tell you. <laughs> you <laughs> dig that wax out of your ears. <laughs> yeah, we did uh, some practice here yesterday, the other day. Really and good going up. On the way up, we had one encounter right at the end, and it was like nice ATB. Knocked him out. It's a kind of optional fight that really helps out. We you know, took it down. Everything upstairs was was fine. As soon as we go downstairs, we got three encounters, three encounters which is absolutely obscene. Typically You're unlucky to get zero. one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's nuts. Really so, unfortunate. We've gotten that out of the way. Thankfully. So we're gonna pick up a pair of magician shoes. Sorry. So this is clear. It's like a town up on top of a tree that's surrounded by a, a whirlwind. But the whirlwind stopped. Not yet. Yeah, it has. Question mark. I thought it stops. It just uh, stopped. We just saw it. It just stopped. I thought we walked in through or something. I don't know. Help. Help. I thought it stops later when they take the gym. Yeah, probably. Oh my goodness me. Thank you very much. Never that punished. Was really right. bad. But down here we get this. Uh, this is the magician shoes. A quick little menu. Nice cozy little menu. It's actually a nice one actually because it's optimized optimized. Optimize. And front rosy because he was previously back road to survive some of uh, Beatrix's attacks. Uh, I think FF9 is the first. Obviously, the pixel remasters now have a optimized ability. But I think FF9 was the first one to have an optimized. There was something of the effect in eight, right? Oh yes. It, well, you think I should know? Um, I guess you don't use it. It you do actually use auto attack to put certain magics onto your attack, but it's not for. I forgot. There's no equipment in eight as well. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's no optimized in a seven. Seven's only got two free pieces of gear. Okay, so this is actually a fight that we don't mind taking if we've got good ATPs for it, but I'm not taking this one. Yeah. We're very likely to get another encounter, so we'll probably see another one. So yeah, we do want to get one encounter here just to get um, some AP. Uh, does he have... What's it, the yellow scarf is for Bert there? He's got coral ring on currently for money. Okay. No, no, is it, that's Freya, that's Freya. We do know this route. Promise. Promise. I promise. We know what we're talking about. We have played this game. At least once. Okay. That's alright. Okay. So far so good. Okay. Alright, listen in right now, PlayStation. <laughs> you listen to me. You listen good. In this screen you can do a little movement to oh, get through the I think, sand pits. I think it doesn't matter because we're going to spin left now. Yeah. Got the bad orange the other way, it's fine. That's it's it. It's fine, it's fine. Bah, bah, bah. And that's it. One last encounter. Nice. In the same spot, bro. Same spot, same check. You'll, uh, if you play the, if you run the game enough, you'll know that, uh, like I said, it's distances to get certain checks of encounters. So you'll get them in similar spots after a while. We just have to take this. There you go. Freya. Okay, this gets us the AP and experience we want before uh, proceeding. 5-0, close bracket, exclamation mark, dash foot. Quick, watch out! <laughs> <laughs> and that is it, and uh, ideally we take the tour of uh, Clara now and... Uh... Yeah, just let me fall asleep a minute and just keep mashing. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it, we have arrived at the town on top of the tree. I've arrived. 
We have arrived. Our time is now. So yeah, because we didn't get the nobles at the start of the game, which I mean, you know, it's TAS only, so no one gets it. So everyone does this. <laughs> As, uh, we're going to do some pickups around uh, there. There's a pair of Thunder Gloves we're going to pick up, so we don't have to buy them later. And there's a Geishel Green to get a Chukaboo at the top of the town as well. We're going to pick that up. Rejected. Rejected. We're oh, he's so sad doing, about it too. We are not doing the tour of the town. Which going to have to ask you to leave me alone, sir. <laughs> So, uh, not getting nobles, this is the bulk of the time loss, and it's it's two load triggers, <laughs> really. It's, yeah, it's and like a slightly, well, you still do the shot, but yeah, rather than buying the Thunder Gloves, we're going to You have to up. enter an extra screen to get, yeah, the, it's to get the shot. It's pretty negligible. That's it, so we go in here, talk to this, to progress the thing we just need to talk Game, to this dude once. please let me talk to you, I'm just dying to talk to you. <laughs> Hello. Head on down again, and uh, as we run down, the guy... Oh, we don't actually see it, but there is there is trouble. There is commotion. There is issues. There is some trouble at the bottom of town. Help. Big help. Help, he says. And I think, what's his name? Puck has one of the f my favorite lines here. He's he's being, you'll see in a moment, he's being wrestled by a giant ant lion. Puck being the guy we met at the very, very beginning of the game, <laughs> who I skipped. Yeah. Masterfully. Oh, certainly did. And uh, he... Uh, He's being, you know, grappled by this thing, and Freya asks, "Oh my goodness, Puck, are you okay?" And Zidane just turns to her, and is like, "He's fine. <laughs> he's fine." And he's just like, "Hell, I'm fine." <laughs> so yeah, it turns out Puck is actually the <laughs> Prince of Clara or something, is it? Exactly. Yeah, he's a he's royalty, uh, but he was just bombing around uh, Alexandria, stealing ladders, stealing ladders, like you do. So uh, it's a pretty straightforward fight. Don't has uh, got about 4k HP. Uh, Blizzara does absolutely loads. So we're going to sandwich. Ooh, no good. Oh, do not do it. Do not do set it. my baby boy on fire. Don't do it. Okay. Thank you. Good night. He can be quite rude with fire attack. He also can affect trouble status, which is unique to FF9, I believe. Trouble means if someone is under trouble and they get attacked, that damage is actually applied to everyone in the party and it can be catastrophic. There have been some memes over the years, I believe, of people killing one of their own characters and accidentally killing their entire party. Uh, there you go, that's the trouble signal. It's a little, it's a little sad face that's crying. So, uh, Antlion's HP has been reduced below 50% with this attack, and now he is going to hit us with Sandstorm. And we've got, I hope it doesn't kill us. No. <laughs> it's gonna put all of our guys into crit. It's gonna put them, set them randomly to a HP value below 10. Um, After he does Sandstorm, his ATB actually refills a little slower. But uh, VV could get two in, we won't need it now. Uh, actually, we, interestingly enough, it fills at the same rate, but he skipped his next turn. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can actually do an ATB, you can do what is essentially an ATB weight with VV at this point, and uh, steal a free turn. But this is lethal, so we should, we should run. He's busy. So the reason we use Lancer is because it's an ability, so it can't miss. It's not afflicted by uh, blind. And you could actually gamble and attack with Sedan, and if it connects, great. But if it doesn't, he actually attacks you with a counter attack and will kill Sedan. Yeah, it's nasty. That is it. Puts us at a nice part of the room where there is actually a little bit of a break. There is a dance sequence that was once performed famously here by someone. Uh, 2015. Swansea and. <laughs> and, <the laughs> and Robo, there you go. This was famously performed here, I believe. Uh, this one's had some interesting things to say about it <laughs> lately. Actually, he's watching us practice, and uh, it's a nice little dance. People, beautiful, enjoy it. It's the beautiful scene. Sorry. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, we have actually got some time here. Quite yeah, a so we have time for a donation. Oh, you're going to regret. Um, <laughs> we have a ten dollar donation coming from the Yee Dinosaur, who says, "Yee." <laughs> and that's it that's the whole that's comment it's nice we actually have time here if there's any if there's any things you want to read out about the donate at the marathon or uh, absolutely it's been a few hours since yeah. uh, since we started so i will remind Still everybody watching. you are watching esa summer 2023 this is stream two we are playing final uh, fantasy yeah, 9 
Um, it is the Any% percent Run on the PS2, and we have the fantastic The Brutals and Awesome Waves running uh, Final Fantasy IX Any% percent here for you. Don't forget, all of your donations go to Alzheimer Fonden. Alzheimer Fonden is Sweden's national fundraising charity for Alzheimer's disease and other dementia-related diseases, and their aim and purpose is to increase fundraising to the benefit of scientific research in order to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease. All of your donations go directly to Alzheimer Fonden, including the purchases of our wonderful charity t-shirt. Head to speedrun.store for that, and your donations also work towards winning you prizes. You can check out all the prizes that are available at prizes.esamarathon.com. We'd also love to thank our sponsors again. Don't forget Twitch. They're the reason you can see us all around the world, all the thousands of you watching us at twitch.tv slash esamarathon2. We'd like to thank Glorious, who provided a lot of the peripherals that we're using here at the event. You can get your hands on them. Type exclamation mark Glorious in the chat to find out more. Big thanks to our friends over at Red Wolf Network, who have provided many of the prizes that you can win simply by donating. And also, we'd like to shout out our sponsor, Ninja or Die Shadow of the Sun, a new cool ultra-fast roguelite releasing on August the 2nd. You can wishlist them now on Steam, and you can type exclamation mark ninja in the chat for more. Stream 2, you are killing it with the donations this year. Of the $56,926 that's been raised across ESA so far, Stream 2 alone is responsible for $13,500, which is unheard of in the history of ESA. We are so, so proud of you, and we have so much more still to come here on Stream 2, including another six or so hours of Final Fantasy IX. Uh, yeah. I've just settled myself in. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for this. Um, and just before I disappear and, and let you carry on, um, we've had another $10 donation come in from Ham Fruitcake, who says, well, look at this. Two cuties running the best game. Best of luck. I expect you to finish your plate and get the world record. You know it. Count on me. Of course, there is only one cutie on the stream at the moment. Got the, got the Craig has him. He's pretty cute. He's pretty, pretty cute. cute. Yeah, pretty okay. Cute. <laughs> I, I take back my comment there's lots of cuties on the stream right now looking at our wonderful audience here as well oh man so the coming up sequence we've uh Clara oh man Clara's having a bad time I don't know play the game and uh basically what's happening is they're about to get invaded by Alexandrian soldiers and whatnot they they're trying to steal the gem it's a very powerful gem it's fantasy and um thanks buddy <laughs> The, 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 the with regards to the speedrun and gameplay, there's basically going to be a, a number, a large number of forced encounters uh, as we go down the tree again and then go back up it. Um, there's going to be a lot of XP gained, a lot of AP gained, um, and then it's going to be climaxing uh, with a fight with Beatrice too, uh, which is a fairly linear fight. There's some pretty cool tech you can and tricks you can do to manage your HP and option two saves. Half a second. After this text box. Nailed it. I never knew about that until I did a... There has recently been a CSR created for this, for the HD version. And in the midst of this thing, which I thought was a break, uh, this little scene popped up with, with the option to select the dialogue. And I was like, oh, there must be a reason. For yeah. it. Like, yeah, there must be a reason they left it in, because it must be faster. I guess. So uh, shout out to Bodcap also, who uh, created the CSR. Appreciate yeah, it. it's really cool. The, Honestly, the HD category is like it's really thriving at the minute. Like, I think PS is, PSX is taking a little bit of a lull outside of like one or two runners, but HD is is really popping off, and there's a lot of really cool runners uh, gaining a lot of traction at the minute. And it's, it's cool, man. It's really accessible, really easy to get into, especially with a CSR, which cuts down most people's issues with JRPG speedrunning is the length of time it takes to actually complete a run. So if you can complete the run in just over three hours and, and still enjoy the game and do all the fights, it's pretty cool. So yeah, if you want to run FF. Eight, nine, or ten. Now there is CSR versions for all three. You want to run seven? Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> you run no. PC any percent. Enjoy it. Fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, still only an hour and a half. That's fine. <laughs> That's still fine. So seven has its own uh, glitches category that gets it to uh, the end of the game in like an hour and forty or something. Yeah. Uh, and then eight, nine, ten on PC all have uh, cutscene remover versions. But no matter which category you do of nine, it's it's a pretty chill run, man. Like it has its moments that can be really stressful, obviously. But there's, there's a nice swath of uh, bits like this where you can kind of collect your thoughts and think about how you're going to approach based on things that have happened and whatnot. The, the run is really, really flexible. 
there are lots of ways that you can... So, like, for example, we're actually in Backup Town. Uh, Zidane died for Gizamaluk, so he's actually missing some AP, which is a problem if you don't know what's going on, and it's something that you just learn from having these... Yeah. yeah. Just the top parts, isn't it? Just the barrels, yeah, we're good to go. And equip. Yeah. So, uh, much later on, we're going to be... We're going to get the encounters anyway, because it's a really uh, encounter-dense area. But we're going to be making sure that we kill a couple extra things, just to ensure that we back up the AP that we're missing currently. It won't be a problem until much later on. So, there is a decision that you can make here. I'm going for it, man. I'm Go going for it. For it. Go I'm for absolutely it. going for it. Go for it. You get an extra it's encounter like check or two. Yeah, it's not like we got any extra encounters on the way. Nah. Like, today, we're blessed. So fine. So this guy saw green saves 10 seconds if you don't get an encounter there, which we didn't. Thank goodness. And as we wander on down the tree, we get to meet some Alexandrian soldiers for some reason. Interestingly enough, and they attack us. Interesting. Interesting. Plot development. Something is afoot, I fear. <laughs> uh, there's a number of things going on in this encounter, but essentially Zidane and Freya will be able to clock them. Just don't miss, please. Zidane has a chance to low roll, and if that happens, like, like it just did, they will just run away. Yep. But we still get the AP, I believe. We just don't get yep. the experience. Yep, yep. You only lose the AP if both of them escape. So, uh, as long as... Well, we're okay, because we killed the uh, the zoo on the way up. Yeah, we're not too bad. We're, uh, we're going to be okay for experience anyway, but once Zidane hits level 9, that will stop happening. You can actually like use VV to melee them uh, beforehand. To deal like extra little chip damage. Basically, if they drop below, I think like 10% HP, they'll escape, and it happens instantly as well. I'm gonna pray that he gets in front. Nice. So yeah, VV going in front. This actually will happen to a lot of the fights coming up, where VV can kill them, but if you go for a VV spell and they actually get their turn ahead of you, it's just kind of like time loss where you could have just swung with Z. So it's a uh... there's a lot of micromanagement yeah. stuff going on in how you handle the fights. Because, I mean, as we've been talking about, a lot of this game is RNG, but there is a number of things that you control, and the, the way that you get your time better and better in this game is that you do have to bash your head against the wall, but by applying these micro strategies constantly, over and over again, you'll end up getting better times eventually. Please. Oh. Ah, oh, nice. So what I didn't want to happen there is to queue that ability and then... Uh, For them to get their attacks. Yeah, yeah that would be really bad. Oh, nice. Oh, I don't have attacks. Really. This has been all right so far. No, 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 no need to heal. So that's it for this small section here. We're going to have one more encounter with a single Black Mage and then we're going to heal up. And hopefully that health pool is going to carry us through all the way through the rest of the invasion. So only doing one menu during all of this is, is really Very good. good yeah. yeah. So yeah, then we get called back up to the town again. It's like, no, there's actually, we thought the trouble was just down here. Um, but no, Puck comes down and tells us that, uh, in fact, the trouble is back up at the town again. We don't actually have to run all the way back up. They, uh, they warp us back up. But uh, the town is indeed being attacked by black mages that are warping in and uh, Alexandrian soldiers as well. And General, oh, General Beatrice. Beatrice. <laughs> It's here. Would you mind just scrolling the notes just to touch for it? Sorry, yeah. Thanks, buddy. Nice. So yeah, like I said before, we're going to have one encounter with a single Black Mage. Hopefully somebody gets in front of him and we can stop him from attacking. He's got a really, really good chance to cast a spell and we don't really care if it, if it what it is. It's just a shame because they're all really slow. Mm -hmm. So if we can cast a spell to stop him, we'll take that because at least, you know, it's, it's done so. But after that, we'll heal up, and then there's going to be a, gaunt a fairly big gauntlet of forced encounters. Uh, at this point, Freya and Zidane are actually gaining AP, and if any of them go down, we will need to back it up. Mm -hmm. But we're currently doing good. And they're pretty healthy. These guys don't hit particularly hard. Yeah, some of these fights are fine. Like, this one is just one, one, so one Black Mage, so it's grand. But as we progress up the tree to closer to the top, we get... Um, mix of soldiers and black mages and three of them and stuff. So, six potions, top everyone up after going up levels, just like Will said and stuff. So. 
Everyone's good to go, fighting fit again. And here we go. <laughs> so I've, I'm, I'm saying this for my own sake, but there, there are a number of dialogue choices coming up. <laughs> and I definitely didn't mess any of them up in practice. There was definitely not a children orphans by your decisions <laughs> previously. So uh, yeah, there's a few options coming up as we progress up oh, the Scam. Rude. Rude. Um, depending on what options you pick, you tell them to run left, run right, uh, certain NPC characters will die. Uh, unfortunately. So. Um, and at the end of the sequence, when you're leaving the steeple or the church at the top of the temple at the top of the town, they will provide you with items depending on who survived. So we want to leave them alive to get some nice items. We get an elixir, an ether, two cards, and a pinion or something, is it? Uh, there's a pinion, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, the, the priests are uh, the ether and the pinion, yeah. The, yeah, the ether, the pinion, and the elixir are the real important ones. There's also two cards, which are handy, I guess. I don't know, mate. I usually win the card tournament with those things. Just saying. We got, that's a lot of that's a lot of bizarre. It is a lot of bizarre, yeah. yeah. Um, so someone's actually asking, is Amaran slash Red used in this run? And absolutely. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, he doesn't really get to do too much. Uh, well, actually, no, he's, he's pretty useful pretty he straight away, actually. He is, yeah, he's in to the very straight away. It's it's this three. Once we get to this three and we start using him, in, like, so Oilvert is the first dungeon of this three. It happens quite a decent chunk in. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to be careful here. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. High, high octane gaming. So the, the, the text options in this actually wrap. So up and down, up will get you to the last one and down, you know, same way. Um, so I've just written this as the last option, which is the second option, first one, last one, first one, last one, first one, and it works out. Uh, are the correct options rather than memorizing what's going on. So we match this one, there's an encounter here. And on the next screen, we use the last, in last option, the third option, and that is the final encounter we have before a boss. So this is going to be Vivi's last fight that he protects in. He's actually... Okay, cool. Nice. Again, the Black Mage out of the way, like Brutal said, is actually better because he typically uses spells. He's actually in crit range for me, which is kind of cool. We don't need to oh, yeah. take him out. You know, oh, yeah, we don't need the extra experience. Is he after missing a soldier, or is it that important? I wonder if I need the experience. I might do it anyway, though. Yeah. So here's the last option and last encounter that we will get. Nice. Very cool. So uh, the Freya is actually really, really, really carefully crafted. She doesn't really get very much uh, opportunities to learn things. So it's really, really critical that she gets the experience she needs. So I'm going to make sure that she gets it. Just because that guard got away, so I'm going to take one out. Oh, he said it for me. That's perfect. Perfect. That's actually perfect. Best case scenario. Yeah. Perfect. After this, we have just all talking and scenes for about three minutes. So, if there's any donations you want to read, by all means, we have some time. Absolutely. We've had a. E oh, excuse me. It's good job we have a cough button on here. I just uh, nearly <laughs> swallowed my own tongue. We've had a $30 donation from Ludwig von Cooper, who says, Time to donate during the best Final Fantasy and the game with the most play hours from my childhood. Less than three. Best of luck to the runners. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is the donation. Oh, man. Yeah, so there's a... Actually, we get to meet Fratley. We do get to meet Fratley. He's very cool. He is OP. Very, very You cool. see how difficult it was for us to kill all these soldiers on the way up and how long it took us and how slow he was. This guy just, just decimates them, destroys them. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we, Fr Fratley is uh, but a whisper in the wind yeah. until this very moment. Freya has been searching for him. Freya's entire arc is, I, I've lost my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Won't somebody please help? <laughs> the poor girl. And there he is. Just turns up. Yep. On top of the Very cane tower. Yeah, in true dragoon fashion, standing on top of the thing. Pretty and he just deletes them. And then he, he promptly leaves. <laughs> but, shocker, in a, in, a, in a trope fashion, it's amnesia. 
He remembers nothing. He doesn't know who she is. What's going on? No idea. No idea. She's not too happy about it. But <laughs> funny thing is, it's off screen, so we're going to miss here at the moment. Beatrice is actually just on the right. She's actually <laughs> currently loaded in. <laughs> she there's is a, there. There's a few times this happens in the run, and it's always hilarious. The first times I've seen it, it's just bonkers. So there's... The characters are only allowed to see as much as we can see in the framing of the screen. But, like, obviously there's people to the right. <laughs> but for some reason, they cannot see Beatrice on the right-hand side of the screen. And it happens later with Kuja also, where he's just standing on the other side of the room. You run right, like, a few frames, and, oh, wow, you're there. It's hilarious. <laughs> They're really nearsighted, obviously. <laughs> and she's uh, she's going to start her master plan. She's here for the gem. One of the... One of the, one of the Pika gems. I don't know. And look, com coincidentally, Vivi only arrives now. As if he has something to do with all this. I'm telling you. He's he's not an innocent party. He really I'm is. Telling you. He is cute though. That's how he subverts you. Like, he is. He's all but, confuses but you. He's such a baby boy. Surely he's not Look. done anything wrong. Wow, there was someone Whoa. standing over there all along. Literally oh, wow. threatening their friends. Alright, hand over the jewel. Whee. Very cool. Okay, so I'm not going to forget my important menu. And I'm going to save the game. Oh yeah, we can save her. Right there. This is a good time to save. Mm -hmm. We have got a little bit of like nasty variants coming up. So yeah, we're gonna. Uh... Oh my goodness. Okay. Perfecto. So yeah, pick up all the stuff from the people we saved. Here's our elixir. Here's our pinion. Here's our ether. And we're gonna do a cheeky little save. So yeah, I'm going to be back on calculator duties as we defeat Beatrice. Please let me out. Time. Let him out. You must simply let me out. Menu buffer? Yeah, yeah. Orangey... Uh, Imagine if that actually lips. skipped Beatrice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, bit, we'll be fine here, but immediately after this is... Um, a little mini game that we're going to be doing. It's, it's, We've played it. We, the speedrun has turned it into a mini game. Yeah. Um, guard skip, where you just got to try and get past these guards that are really, really want to give you a cuddle. So this fight is important as well. It also has. She also has a fifty percent HP threshold where she will cast cure on herself. You want to avoid that, and the way we avoid that is actually quite interesting. By using Vivi's slow casting animation, um, we can let her get damaged and then have our ATBs ready by the time. It comes back around again, um, so hopefully we can demonstrate that. If you see Akira, it's still all good. It's not a big deal. So here we go. We lead with Bazara, which should push her down below the threshold. But she's already chosen her attack. She's chosen her next attack already while this damage is going through. So it won't be Cure, Cure because of that. And then we do this. She's 1k50 away from being dead, which means any two can kill. Yep. Rude's crit. cleverly checking for crits, because we would not need a Bazaar. And that is it. So hopefully if all that went well, you just win. <gasps> Very powerful. <laughs> Can we be sure we can't get away with this? <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! How did you survive? So close. Oh my god, you almost died! <laughs> and that is Beatrix 2. It's actually a really fun fight to get down uh, to skip the cure, uh, which is well done by Brutes there. Uh, we will see Beatrice once more. Very soon. Will we? Maybe. Thank goodness. So, uh, that cure skip right there is actually... <laughs> RNG dictates whether or not you can actually get it. It's actually faster not to try and create a scenario where you can create it if it means giving her extra turns. Mm -hmm. So, you, if, you, if, if you can push her down and, like, yeah. create the, the cure and then kill her on a, on a subsequent turn or something, then you just, you just take that. It's just a little bit slower than not getting it. That's all. So there's two mini games coming up. We're gonna board the. Uh, oh, yeah. I actually don't know the name of this ship. The Red Rose. It is called the Red Rose, and the team we're gonna hear is the Red Rose also, isn't it? Rose of no, Rose they're... of May. Rose of May is the name. Of... Yeah, Rose of May is the name of the song. That's it. That's right. That's the confusing. I know they're both Red Rose. Uh, we're gonna hear that. We're gonna follow Beatrix onto the ship. We jumped in these teleporters back to the ship, which also has Bran, Queen Bran on, and uh, we're Queen gonna Ronnie. Queen Brani. <laughs> Makes it sound Australian. Brownie. Brownie. Um, <laughs> oh, pop another brown on the brownie. I've always said Brian, I don't know. 
Um, so we're going to go up here and see what's going on. Renee. Just after all this, we're going to have two mini games in quick succession. So you need to get your predictions in chat or whatever you think is going to happen. The first of the two mini games is the cage swing. <laughs> <laughs> this went very well last time, Brutals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, hey, You laughed, but it did. It did. It did. It went very well. Um, if you input quickly enough, you can actually skip one cycle of going left and right, which is like seven seconds. Miraculous. Uh, this is actually a really Odin. cool... No, please! Don't do it! Really cool FMV with, uh, with, right. with Odin. Uh, I know what the horse is called now. Slip, slip near. Slip near. I thought it was slip near. Oh, yeah. It's the name of the horse. He's got six legs. I didn't. He does even have realize. six legs. Yeah, it's very obvious that they have sixteen when you see it's the. Very obvious yeah. sixteen, and this one you can't tell because it's always coming away <laughs> or at you. Slip near. Um, so we're gonna do that skip, and then straight after that is the be all end all is the Garrett skip. It's a little mini game where Steiner is gonna run from right of the screen all the way around to the left and go up a ladder. Right. There will be two guards running at him, trying to get him and then nab him. And if you get encountered by these guards, you actually have to do an encounter and kill them. And we're actually okay. We're quite beefy because we killed the two crawlers earlier on with Steiner. So he has some HP and MP. He's, he's some HP and experience. He's, 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 he's chunky. He's good. But it's still time loss. So if you type uh, exclamation point, Tutorial or guard skip is it? Exclamation <laughs> no, mark no, no. guard skip. This is not here, no. But Brutals has made uh, a tutorial for this. Uh, a long want, time a ago. A long, long time ago. Uh, you know what? I think Jack has it on a, on a, on a shot key on his, his keyboard. I'm pretty sure. But uh, no, anyway, it, uh, we're going to try and skip them both, is, is the ideal of the plan. And you can guess so in chat. Is it going to be zero guard skip, one guard skip, or both guard skip, two? We'll see how old Brutals gets it. I don't remember the last time I got caught. Really? Never. It's that long ago. That's how confident he is. Very, 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 confident. very confident. Yeah, but when did you get Pox skip last? Didn't go for it. That's all I need to say. Yeah. Alrighty. We do like Beatrix's theme. This is a beautiful tune. Really good. This is about the point of my own runs where I always mention I need to learn this on piano. Well, I, never <laughs> I haven't learned it yet. It's been too long learning FF16 musically. So we're forced into the same party uh, after this. Actually, no, no. So uh, we're actually going to lose control of Zidane and Co. momentarily when they jump into these little teleporting pops and resume control as Steiner with Marcus, who are imprisoned in this cage. Uh, and I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling okay, confident. I see it. There but, is a donation after coming in, so I want to see if it's anything to do with the guards gift. So if you want to read the donation, we have some time again before this uh, mini game kicks off. Sure, I don't think it's oh, anything it's okay. to do with guards, Skip. We're okay. In fact, I'm not entirely sure what it's about at all. <laughs> we have a $10 donation from McSwirls who says, Krobe? Klob, Schlob, Krobe? <laughs> yeah? Schlob and the Krobe? Very good. There's plenty of community members here memeing today. It's great to see. Keep the donations coming in. We'll take all, all donations and memes. They're all welcome. It's great to see some money being raised for charity. So here we go. Brutals. No pressure. This is cage skip. Swing. Skip. Is, you know what? Swing, uh, uh, there's RNG. You don't always get the cage swing, you know? The CRT. Some, no CRT. Sometimes, no CRT. You know, I'll say it now before. I will say the sun is in my eyes. <laughs> There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Marcus is just giving you uh, uh, reassurance as you swing every time. There you go. That's bad. There you go. There you go. 
I'm cutting my losses. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to be much further along. This is really weird. There you go. Oh well. There you go. There you go. There you go. There, oh, there you go. Okay. That was supposed to be it, but here we, here we go. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. No. It's fine. Wait, no, no, you have it. This is it now, yeah. We'll get there. Yeah. yeah. See, that's that this is the fast. This is it, this is it. Cage script. Perfect. Flawless execution. Well done, Bruce. <laughs> Okay, this is the real one. Garrett Skip. Can he duke them? One, duked. He's going for the double duke. Oh my god, he did it. <laughs> that is actually really difficult to do, this, the double loop. So the idea is what he did for the first one was, that's kind of planned. You stop, you duke him up, go left, and then go down. Normally, you have enough time to get past the next one in the next alcove, but he didn't. So what you have to do is double back, and then try circle both of them around again, which is actually really difficult to do, and was well done. Thanks, man. Good stuff, Bruce. Can't remember the last time I got caught, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember. teach you puck skip next time, and you'll be, you'll be flawless then. It'll be okay. <laughs> oh, that was actually really good. Well done. Thanks. So we are now making our way up the castle. We're looking for Dagger. We're going to fight a book. After she was... We're going to go fight a book. No. So, uh, I, I won't meme around with it, but basically there is a, a super boss that you can fight. We can actually take it on right now, uh, but it, it poses a number of problems. It does offer some benefits, um, and they are really, really powerful benefits. Mm -hmm. uh, but this route is not really designed to do it. You can weave it in, but the biggest issue with it is that it has a pretty good chance to just kill you. It is a super boss. Yeah, so I guess it's time to mention there are... So what Brill is going to be doing is going to be navigating to the castle here. We're going to go rescue Dagger. And we've got a timer. The 30 minutes is ample time. It'll take us five. And uh, we can run around here and do that. So while we're running around here, there is some time for messages. If there's anything you'd like to announce. Yeah, thank you. I just had a message from one of the Final Fantasy XIV runners from earlier um, in, in Stream 2, uh, earlier this week. Um, Mitako says that you're cowards if you don't fight the book. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Uh, listen here. Listen here. <laughs> Uh, so I was actually about to explain the difference of routes and what's, uh, what has happened lately in, uh, in FF9 speedrunning, I guess, is that it has gone from, uh, I believe when I spoke to Zwanzig, who we might meet later, is uh, it originally started without doing, so do as little as possible. Don't fight Tantari in the, bo the book, and uh, don't learn the knight ability, which is impossible later. And then it slowly evolved into learning knight, using that to abuse some boss fights, fighting the book, getting auto haste, using all that. And now this Petro route is what we're running at the moment, where you, again, do as little as possible. The route is based around getting good RNG and just everything going your way. Pretty much. It's the... I mean, it's still FF9. It's the high risk, high reward stuff. Exactly. Um, but it's still fairly straightforward with finishing the run. Mm -hmm. Alright, so it's Freya first. So yeah, this route is the Petro route, uh, made by Petro, uh, former runner. And, uh, Absolute legends. Mm -hmm. And this route has achieved two world records now, I believe, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with the pretty, pretty, this is the thing, isn't it? it? It really does. The thing is, is the average Petro run is actually going to be slower than the average yeah, Tantarian or Night run. It's the ceiling that's higher. Yeah, like, the, the, the ceiling potential is way higher. Um, it's not safer or anything but it's uh it's it's potentially faster but yeah the so, risks you can take like allow you to absolutely decimate some of the fights so here's zorn and thorn fight this is an interesting mechanic uh while brutus is doing the fight i'll explain a bit the uh these guys atbs fill together and when both atbs are full so when one atb is full they'll start jumping and it's really fast atbs as far as i remember they got max speed yeah, max speed they're really really quick but they will not act until both of them so that's both their atbs are full they will give an ability to each other. So now the blue one, Zorn, has Meteor. So we bop him on the head normally uh, to prevent it. Are oh, you not going for it? No, I am. Just got prayed a bit of miss. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got it. Even better. We, we actually one turn, so we actually didn't need to bop Zorn on the head to prevent the Meteor. And uh, we one turned, which is great. And that's it. So you only need to kill one of them. Yeah. And uh, they just, you don't kill them. You just remove them from the fight. No. Yeah, the red one has like 200 less HP or something. Because we got an encounter in Garganru earlier. Garganru. Garganru, yeah. You're going saving on the way out here, yeah. Yeah, on the way out. Uh, we got an encounter down there and uh, it, it, it skyrocketed Stunner's uh, levels. 
which gave him like an extra point or two of strength or something, which brought his damage rolls up. So we were able to hit for 1800 there. And with Freya and Steiner also then following up, Freya and Zizan, sorry, mm. hitting with uh, good rolls as well, we can one turn it. Normally what you do is Steiner will just attack twice um, and you'll put VV in to melee uh, Zorn. Which, yeah, the Zorn, blue one. The blue one, yeah. So that you neutralize the, uh, the, the meteor ability. But yeah. we didn't need to in that, in that case, so it was actually good. Yep. We're so, just brought back here actually to uh, Blank, who. Or not Blank. Yeah, well, actually, it is the Blank. But Blank Mark is running through with the Super Soft that we got earlier on so that he can uh, resurrect Blank from his petrification. We only have a safe save here because there is some dangerous encounters here. I've actually died in this section at least twice, it, I think. Um, I, have, like, I think it's probably one of the most lethal parts of the run. Yeah, there is one specific uh, status ailment that is really painful here, sleep. and it's sleep. And if you're put to sleep, there's literally nothing you can do. Not enough coffee. Yeah, you just, uh, it can be really dangerous. So we're just gonna do a quick safe save there. Hopefully we don't need it, and uh, we're gonna bash on through. But we do have one more boss fight for us. Um, and while uh, we're running back up, there is actually time for a donation or two, if you want to read them. Thank you so much. We've had a $30 donation from RoboSparkle, who just simply says, there you go. Uh, and give thirty dollars <laughs> towards naming pickles. Uh, sorry, uh, Kino will be named Pickles. Nice. Um, with the pickles, he's, he's gaining on Steiner. Um, oh, so very good there. And a fifteen dollar donation as well from Kagar, who says, "Oh, this, my VV, <laughs> my bestest bubbly boy, my fire casting, <laughs> blizzard smashing, thunder wielding, goddamn black mage, my mace of Zeus wielding madman." My cutest little existential crisis. Do you mean my goddamn big hatted adorable best boy ever? VV on it, yeah! Amazing. Excellent. That uh, donation of the day. Well done, Gay <laughs> Oh, excellent. Really good. Thanks so much again, all the community coming out with big bucks donating to a great cause. Thanks so much, guys. We really appreciate it. There is still time. We still have um, about. 15 minutes or so. To More get, than that. Maybe 15, 20 minutes to get Quinna's uh, name donation in. We have another 30 minutes after that for Ico, another 30 minutes after that for Amaranth. So there is time to snipe any of them if you wish. Get your donations in. Thanks so much. Indeed. Okay, so Beatrix 3 is coming up right now. She's got a good chunk of HP. However, Steiner, as you saw a moment ago, just smacked Zorn. Thorn. War Thorn. Z One of them. Zorn is a blue. I think. Yeah. So this what he said. Torn we killed. The, the, this guy, the man knows his FF line, right? <laughs> <laughs> I played it once. I do know it. Steiner is now hitting with the force of a thousand suns. Yeah, he is decimating. He is a clobber. And we're going to be using VVE sometimes to buffer his attacks and stuff. Mm -hmm. so is it, this is basically the, the most real-time fight in the entire game. Yeah, she's and we have the best ADBs. Fast. Really good ADBs, but I, everyone survived, so it's okay. But you probably, like, this, she moves so fast that it's not even guaranteed that everyone else is going to get in. It's, yeah, there you go. Like, she is incredibly fast. And, and again, the same, uh, the same principle applies at 50% HP. She will, yeah, you're good. Excellent. Um, she will cast Cure at this time, which actually does a lot more. So not queuing Zan just yet because I'm checking for criticals. Please don't kill my boy. Oh, man, perfect. It's, if Steiner goes down this fight, it's really painful. Oh, oh my baby. god. Well, you get to see the Cura animation, which is uh, <laughs> the thing we should have skipped. Had oh. oh, he's got 200 HP! 214 HP left. Oh, god dang it. Come on, Bovril. <laughs> Bovril. Come on, Bovril. Don't miss again, Bovril. There we go. There we go. We just wanted to show you the Cura spell, you know, that it exists, so we weren't skipping something imaginary. Oh, we lived again! Oh my Whoa! god, we survived! Wow! Really lucky that we survived with one HP. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so, now, now. Can you explain what happens here, because I never get to read it. Beatrix changes her mind. She because doesn't want to fight real, us anymore. She's noticed now that Dagger is like, they're, they're protecting Dagger. Because she likes Dagger. It can't be, princess. Oh, oh no. okay. She didn't did, even realize. Didn't happen to see that while she, she was, was off screen. She was <laughs> Ah, yes, the nearsighted thing again. They you didn't know? see it. She wasn't on the screen. Not the, the render distance. Oh, my God, yeah. A PS1 render distance. Well, she has only got one eye, to be fair. <laughs> true. Very true. She was on her left. She couldn't see her. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the next gauntlet is, is there's a bunch of black mages again. But 
there are the dags. Dags. They're dogies. Like dags. I love dags. Like dags. And we, I've, it pains me to attack the dags. Um, Beatrix actually is going to join our party really, really temporarily for this sequence as well. And the best bit is she's going to join forces with Freya and they are essentially sworn enemies, but they are fighting for a common cause. <coughs> it's very emotional. It's very good. Very emotional, very good. Please try not to cry. Um, Hold it together, guys. Hold it together. <laughs> <laughs> and Beatrix has an ability called Klim Hazard, which uh, just knocks the dogs out straight away. Uh, depending on ATV though, it is actually faster to just send in two attacks. So if my ability, my ATVs are really good. Do you want some dice? I'd love some dice. All dice. I'd love to add some <laughs> dice to my pool of RNG, please. It was Brutals who told me that you could do two attacks here. And he's like, I'm just giving you dice. You don't have to roll them if you don't want to. But you, could. you can just stick to the Klim Hazard if you like. Nice, yeah. steady, and slow. Or... <laughs> or you can roll some dice. I got some D20s here for you, baby. Bite their heads off. It does, yeah. Never... What was uh, MC's uh, split title here was never, uh, never not Klim Hazard. <laughs> Never not use the hazard. So oh. I'll swing with I'll swing with it just because it's way swing. And then so they're getting in. Okay. okay. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Dice have no been rolled and not paid and paid off. It's all. So good. everyone that's struggling and been missing there, please take note. That's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> just don't miss. Just don't miss. Let's get lucky. Can you pet the dag? You can pet the dag with your sword. <laughs> with the point you stick. You can pet the dog with the pointy stick. The sharp end of it. You gotta do another quick menu here. He's gonna just optimize some stuff on the Freya, give it the Thunder Gloves, the Yellow Scarf, and then the Steiner, we're gonna give him Ice Brand. Yeah. Oh no, wait, why is the right one? No, fine, no, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. You did it. Yeah, I read out the wrong Steiner gets the new gear. Uh, new gear essentially, the, the, it's actually the power belt on Power belt's coming yeah, off yeah. of Steiner here, um, and it's going on to Zidane. It, it, I, Man, there's routing reasons for it. I just, I just do it. No, it's all good. I it's, it, the, the, the real reason is because um, the, the damage distribution means that we can now uh, effectively kill the mobs. Yeah. Whereas Sino would be able to one bang anything, but then everyone else would struggle. But now we have some really He has MP attack and beast killer on as well now, so he's going to swing heavy onto the dogs soon as well. The same rules apply here. Z can actually be with these dudes and stuff, but there's never really need when we got three good attackers. Really nice. Nice fight. So there is now it's uh, a pair of the halves for these guys to take care of. This one's relatively safe because we've got so many attackers. It's only after this one it starts to get a little bit risque. <coughs> um, so Zidane has, a, uh, I think, a one in four chance to kill these guys in one hit. Uh, we use VB to like, to you know, bring up that extra little bit of damage. Stunner and Dagger collectively as well have a really good chance to kill them in one. So I'm gonna just die. Just buy. Very rude. Uh, actually, oh, I didn't mean to melee. That's fine. That's fine. You can use a Bizarro there to try and roll a one bang, but it's fine. Just don't have a matter. There is the tongue attack that we saw so dread, but it. Uh, Sunder lived on Black Wolves 3 2, didn't he? He yeah. did. Yep. No, it's all good. Yep. So if Sunder goes down in one of the earlier boss fights, then you don't have to worry a little bit more about EP. But it's fine. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna pick everyone up. That's a good time to actually heal. Healing in between these is actually quite beneficial as well, just because the. As you go up levels again, your max HP cap increases and you don't get the free heal as you level up, so it's handy to top yourself up as you go. So yeah, Steiner leaves the party here to go up and he wants to see where Beatrix and Freya are at. Oh my god, but we get attacked by the dog. The dag. So this one's fine. Again, Zidane's got a, a, a chance to kill it in one. BB Blizzara is one in three chance to kill it in one as well. And then we can use Dagger to sort of... It, there's, there's, there's a couple routes through this fight. But we want Zidane to have really good ATB. This is not bad. Mm, okay. Very there we go. nice. Very good. Delete this. Ba -ba -da.
So now we're going to be leaving these guys. We're going to have to save with the... No, no, no we don't need to save. No, we don't need to save. We don't need to save this. We saved it in practice because that's, yeah. that's where we got to. That's because, yeah. <laughs> we, just, we just stopped there. Yeah. So uh, we really, really, really want good ATB on Beatrix here. This is the... This is where things This again with the first one where it's the two girls and the two dogs is just... Really dangerous. Okay, this... okay, okay, it's okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay, okay, it's okay, okay, it's okay. Once Beatrix doesn't get... Oh, okay, 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 okay. All good, all safe. If, Be if Beatrix gets slept, then you pretty much just can't do anything. Freya doesn't quite deal 50% of their health, so it would take about three attacks for her to kill something. Mm -hmm. If she, like, doesn't roll really high both times, it's... Yeah. yeah. But now we're out of it, Steiner will be joining us, so we have a lot more sustain. Gets a bit safer. Yeah. Sleep is one of the <laughs> little sleeper threats in this game. There is another case later on where we're going to be making a save uh, around card tournament. We're going to be saving before the final round of card tournament later on because immediately following card tournament is a lot of forced encounters where they can AOE sleep you. And uh, that's, that, that's Bayern. <laughs> that's <laughs> a real Bayern. Oh, nice. Part of the ADB. That's much better. Really good. That's the ADB we want. I don't know uh, if Rudolph knows this trick, but you can wake up Freya with... But, so that's actually something that's been routed out of this route. Yes, and... Just to mention that, so like, there was a route, and shout out to Mutsuki again, because I'm going to blame him for me dying in this run that I'm about to mention. He, uh, <laughs> in his notes, it had a. Uh, oh no, it's not his fault at all. Like, it's, uh, in the old route, Freya had a really weak weapon equipped, and if Beatrix fell asleep, you could just pop her on the head with Freya, and job done. But uh, before uh, the Petra routes were redone by Mutsuki again, he's made beginner routes with that. Uh, I kind of mashed the two routes together so I used Mutsuki's notes with the petrol route. Yeah. And uh, Freya is actually way too powerful and she will just kill Beatrix if yep. she hits her. So I, she fell asleep. I was like, oh, I wake her up. Mutsuki said to do it. Dead. She just died. Dead. The run is dead. Uh, the run is dead. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't his fault. It a was nice fault. three and a half hours. But I can blame Mutsuki anyway. Sorry. <laughs> Everyone blames Mutsuki anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in the older routes, uh, Freya actually learnt an ability called Dragon Killer. Uh, there is one mob that we fight that's a dra that's exclusively dragon uh, in Disc 4, and Freya is the only character that can learn Dragon Killer because she is a Dragoon. Mm -hmm. um, however, it's like 70 AP, which is more than anything else. It's more than anything that we're learning in the current route, I think. It's very, very, very excessive. Um, but it's it, now the way that we deal with it instead is we just don't learn it, and instead when we get to the fight, requires Dragon Killer, we just give her an item that has Dragon Killer on it and she uses yeah. it for the encounter we'll rather instead. Barbus. Barboot. I knew it. One. I know this game, I told you. You do know this I game. I have run this game before. You're, you're a professional. I, I love I run, I've one of the runners. The best. I, I have, have one of the runners. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is Ral Vum oh, Miago. You're taking over after this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In the FMB or something. Um, Ral Vum Miago. Um, this is basically on rails. It can, things can happen. You can get ultrasound wave, which, which uh, casts mini on your character and you need to just throw a remedy before that happens. Uh, the other thing we're gonna do in this fight, because it's on rails, is that we're gonna check have we learned the flea ability, because it will decide whether or not we need to equip something to cast flea in the next area. And we can also like have a quick peek at our items because for the first time in the run, a decent size shop, I guess, is coming up. Not really anything crazy, but gives us time just to like check it here. So, mm -hmm. so actually attacking with, oh man. There's an ultrasound wave. Oh man. That's on VV2. So, attacking with a physical attack would cause him to curl up into like a counter mode and take less damage and stuff. Whereas, so we use two uh, bazaars of VV, followed by the Z attack, which will kill. So he won't go into that phase. Get him in there is a chance of it under damaging, but it's, uh, it's Did you check for fleet? I did. We don't have it. We don't have it again. No Can you take items there. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. We, we low roll. Uh, we low roll. We low rolling. I haven't actually seen that in a while. Did it once for. We low rolling. Check for softs and uh, or whatever it is. Please. Check softs. Whatever the things. I I drops. Got and, no eye drops. Uh, oh. Uh, sorry, no, we no. don't have any eye drops. We don't have any echo screens. Perfect. Bam bam bam. We're going for the FMB. Yeah. yeah. So, you ready, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I see. Born ready. 
Hello, Mr. Koami, I am ready. Let's go. <laughs> Mr. Koami, plug me in. Oh. <laughs> this is the thing. Not yet, Nick. You'll see now with ketchup all the pace anyone wants to put Kwame in. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's faster. <laughs> it is faster, yeah, but just cover all the pace. Okay. Here you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that actually on rails? Yeah, it's just on rails. Alrighty, I can put this down for a little bit. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Thanks for letting me play some Final Fantasy IX in your stream, Wavesy. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome anytime. Anytime. <laughs> now I get to sit back and have drink some, some coffee. coffee. Relax. Yeah, baby. Enjoy some fun fancy night. <laughs> <laughs> now the stress is over. Brutals actually did have an entirely stressful section there as well, but all those fights are like there's some serious micromanaging to going on. It's good fun. Yeah, and then all the Garrett skip stuff. I love it. I live for it. So actually, the next boss coming up in a little while, uh, Lani, is actually probably my favourite boss fight. Um, she has so many layers and yeah, it's things cool going fight. on. She's brilliant. It's a cool fight. It, it, it ends within about three turns. Four turns if things go really bad. <laughs> um, but there are just so many lines and ways that you can approach it to manipulate the things that are going on, which we'll get to a little bit later on. And there's the first chance to see the boy the boy. That's our full there actual bio. Red-haired. What's his name in the boss? Red-haired man. Yeah. Man or guy? Red-headed man. There is red-haired man and Lanny. Lanny. Everyone's favorite. Right. Put back in a sec. Nope. So it is a good point. A good time to actually remember, remind people that we are closing in on the Quina rename. I think it's like maybe like. Eight to ten minutes before we uh, need to do it. So, last chance to get the names in for Quina. Uh, there's some time left then for I go and Amaranth right after. Right. There is still time to get Pickles up above Steiner. Come on, we need to get Pickles in. I think someone else, I think, is Amaranth also named Steiner? Winning uh, at the moment. Let me check. Amaranth is currently named Steiner, okay. yes. We need some variety in our names, so come on. Get the money in for Pickles. Get the money in. So this is an interesting one. We land out here in this area called Pinnacle Rocks, uh, where Dagger actually is. So what what was basically going on all this time is that they were trying to extract Eidolons from Dagger. Now that she's turned 16, apparently they awaken in her or whatever. And I don't know, is it now that she can she can deal with them or something? She We meet Ramu here, who is uh, hiding out here in Pinnacle Rocks for whatever reason. And you can do a little mini mini game here run around, collect like four parts of a story or something, and then uh, once you have the four parts of the story, you approach him, tell him what order the story goes, and he gives you the item that lets you learn to cast uh, someone, Ramu. But that is slow. We are just going to give up <laughs> and, uh, and leave. But uh, there is two screens where we can get encounters, and it's actually a bit of a punishing place to get encounters if you do not have the free ability learned. And we do not have it learned, so we're going to have to equip a a dagger or another, uh, a different weapon for Zidane so that he can actually cast it. Should we get an encounter? Ideally, we still don't get the encounters. It's kind of unfortunate to get one. We'll see how it goes. Oh, yeah. We actually get to control dagger here, actually. It's quite interesting, though. Oops, it's big. Well, there's the dagger. Up here, mash. That's one of the text things that we need to collect, but we're not worried about it. This screen, I'm going to split. So, as we mentioned, I'll go down here. It'll reset my danger. Uh, my checks when I enter this screen and um, gives me less chance of getting an encounter. It's, but unfortunately, so uh, grinding against the walls is not actually as bad as, as it, you might think it means. It's actually distance traveled is how the encounters are granted. So trying to cut this up tight is not actually a really bad idea, but that was still a bit janky. So you take flea damage in this game. So we are going to stop fleeing if we see an attack coming our way. That'll be more apparent actually in the later part of the game where like if an enemy was to attack and do double the damage, which is back attack damage, you would actually just show up to it. So we gotta be careful. I was gonna wait 
See, yeah, one over here. Tell this dude, I give up. I don't care. And that's it. We're out of Pinnacle Rocks. And there's a really cool FMV coming up here actually now, so... As the game progresses, basically every city we arrive at or turn up at, it, it gets decimated. And uh, as we were at Lindblom previously, it is now Lindblom's turn to get decimated. You can start guessing which other towns are going to have trouble later, but... It is pretty dire. It's, uh, it's not great. Um, and it's actually only recently I actually figured out the name of this summon. I guess it's just so long since I played this game casually, I kind of forgot some of the lore uh, aspects of it. This is uh, Atmos, is the, uh, the summon we're going to see here, who is going to uh, give Lindblom the big suck and destroy it. Really cool FMVs in this game, considering, like, it's still 23 years old. The 2000s it came out, yeah. Yeah, so there is still a bit of time here. If there's any uh, anything you want to read out about ESA itself or the uh, fundraising for Alzheimer's London. Absolutely. Um, all of your donations, all, and we have actually... The last time I looked, we were at the 57,000 mark. We are now at the $58,359 mark, which is just incredible. Nuts. Um, donations across the whole of ESA. <clears throat> and we're not finished yet. We still have the full rest of today, and we go into tomorrow. Obviously, Stream 1 will be running all through the night. Stream 2 will be back tomorrow uh, at 10 a.m., but we're not done yet. We've still got more Final Fantasy IX coming up. And then a little bit later today, we will have Distance and Toxic 2, as well as The Binding of Isaac Repentance, all coming up here on Stream 2. And don't forget, all your donations go to Alzheimer Fonden, the national Swedish fundraising organization focusing on Alzheimer's disease and other dementia-related diseases. Take a look at prizes.esamarathon.com to ensure that you... <coughs> Make your donations towards prizes and don't forget to put them towards incentives as well. That's on the right hand side of the donation screen when you make a donation, especially important if you're on mobile. Perfect, thanks very much. Um, yeah, like I said, we have I think five, ten minutes to get I to get Quinna's names in, so do push for some donations to get pickles. Or if you want a color steiner, that's also good too. Uh, there we go, you've seen the, the destruction of Alexandria and we our selection, sorry, of uh, Lindblom by the Alexandrian forces of the Black Mages um, and Atmos. And so we arrive in to a ransacked town. And as Vivi is a Black Mage, we are going to say, Yo, Vivi, maybe you should just kind of hide back. Because if they see you, they're going to think you're one of them. Because he is very evil, of course, as we mentioned already. And we're going to sneak up on the left side here. Because if you actually move too close to the guys in the middle there, it actually initiates a little conversation with those. We're gonna make our way to the center of town, where we will meet up with, uh, it's not a Sid himself, but one of his uh, regents or something. And we can devise a plan. Uncle Artania. Let's go. Yes, we're gonna meet some Sid. I mean, Sid, he's gonna give us some stuff. And he's going to allow us to actually re-enter that screen again in the business district of Lindblom. And we're going to synthesize an exploder. Which is going to be the next weapon we're going to use on Zidane. But yeah, they found Vivi. Slucking around and we kindly let them know that he's our buddy. It's alright. Sid still being an Oglop for the time being. People who've played the game before have probably noticed that he may go through some transformation shortly, but uh, for the time being, he's still an Oglop. And uh, can't even remember what exactly he gives us, but he gives us something. I might have it here somewhere. What does he give us? Hmm? Money. Just money. Brilliant. It's just some pocket money. Perfect. And we're going to use that pocket money to go up here and get ourselves an Exploder. Let's synthesize this. That's all we need for now. And out we go. So there's more, a bit more that we're going on here. Ah. 
Since you've been gone, uh, Lindblom is not doing so well. What do you mean? I don't know how to break it to you. It's, it's not in good, not in good straits. Lindblom? Yeah. That's my home. It's in trouble. You Sorry. kidding me? Atmos came along. Give it a big suck. I actually it's done. I'm actually sad because that's my favourite cutscene. He's a, he's a terrifying boy, isn't he? That? He is. Is that more seen any other? Um... Yeah, he's in a couple. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> that was the first time I'd seen him in the game. Do you think he's in five? Oh, okay. I haven't played five yet. I think. I would explain it. Um, yeah, have you talked about Lani yet? Not yet. No, yeah. I think we do have a donation while we have time, actually, before things kick off for Lanny. So if you can, if you want to read that out. Absolutely. We've got two donations, actually. We've got a $5 donation from Squidgy Business, who says, hot one out today, huh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah. we also have a $27 donation from Alco that just says, rally ho. Rally -ho. And that nice. puts Pickles in the lead All right. by Pickles. $1. <laughs> <laughs> That seems like people could uh, get some more donations in to sway whichever way they feel. It is worth noting that we are very, very close to actually naming Quinner. Yes, that's um, why I, was, so, that's why I want to read the donations. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we have like, I would say, two or three minutes before we need to close it up. Less than that. Okay. I would say uh, as soon as we get out of here, we start getting onto the world map. It is probably then, so you guys have got limited time. Yeah, so we'll call it in a minute. As soon as we leave uh, this, we'll call the time to close it up. I just got you one little shop before we go, and then we are good to go. Oh no, there's another little, there's another little cuts in here, so yeah. Get your donations in. Snipe it. Ba -da -ba -ba. What a tune. It's not like it's mentally associated with plot or anything. No. It's not at all. It's ingrained in the head when there's very little no, going no, on no, in the game. No, 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 no. None of that. Okay, there we go. Got ourselves to Elm. Um, to Elm, Adam Fest, and Eleven Sons. Perfect. Out we go. So yeah, I'm going to do a little stutter step here over to the marsh. So I think it is time to uh, close up any donations for, uh, for Quinna's name. And we will find out the winner. Great. Quinna's, uh, Quinna's name has now been selected. Let me know when you want to know it. Perfect. Very nice. So yeah, this is actually the first time that we're going into Coos Marsh. There are a number of these across the world. Um, you can actually come here as early as uh, the first time you leave Limblum, when we went over to get our Chocobo and before we went into Grotto. You can come in here then and you can actually recruit Quinna. And that's what most people do when they're playing casually. Yeah. So they'll end up going through uh, Gizmaluk's Grotto and Bamekia with uh, a four-party member team. This is also the place where the tutorial screen occurs. Where the there they are. are talking. Big bro. Sure knows a lot, that big bro. We gotta quickly grab ourselves a frog here. And Just one. Move quickly. There's always a frog up here. Very nice. So I need Quinna's name, please. Yeah, there was a ten dollar donation right at the very end there, um, which means that Pickles wins with one hundred and forty-two dollars. Nice. Is it a cap? Steiner in second with one hundred and thirty-one, and Dual in at thirty dollars at the bottom. Perfect. Thanks so much. Very nice. Pickles wins. Pickles. <laughs> he looks like a Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a very apt name. Isn't it? <laughs> Wait, what was Vivi called again? Bovril? No, that's Steiner. Anise. Uh, Anise. Anise and Pickles. Pickles and Anise. They are very interesting characters, these guys. The model design of them is very interesting. So on that note, we do have a little mini game coming up after a bit of a menu, but I guess you can probably start talking about Lanny Roods and explain how speedy she is. So yeah, Lani is among the fastest characters in the game. The, the the highest your speed stat can go in this game is 50. She is a 50 out of 50. She is speedy speedy. Um, she always gets the first attack. She is always ready to go straight away off the bat. Um, and you have to be really, 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 really quick in your decision making with this character. Ultimately, what the fight boils down to is three Zidane attacks and two VV Blizzaras. Granted, you don't miss. Crits count for two. That's sort of jazz. All still applies. Uh, Quinna and Tiger don't actually have much of a role in the fight. They have purpose if you want to do more complicated strategies. Um, but the general premise is that you can uh, you can actually have three turns against her. So they're, again, 50% damage threshold. Um, 
allows you to take extra turns against her. It's it's a really, really weird one. I'm surprised anyone ever actually found it. <laughs> but when she drops below 50%, she instantly interrupts the fight and she says, why aren't you giving up? And she gets a new camera pan underneath her and she's looking very threatening and all that jazz. Um, and during that time, if any actions have been queued that were actually supposed to come after her, will then be placed in it, it puts her to the doing that doesn't reset her atb but it reapplies it in that moment um so we can kind of manipulate using vv's blizzara to give ourselves a big window as well as a change animation from quinta to give ourselves this window of time where we, zidane will be able to regain his entire atb bar from scratch and we'll basically be able to go zidane attack vv blizzara she'll say why aren't you giving up and then zidane will have another turn but that's only applicable. Here we go. It's only applicable if we don't get lucky sevens. Ta-da! Here's, here's the ringer. I don't. I haven't actually. So I just didn't bother practicing anything. I'm just going to do lucky sevens until we win. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not doing that. That is absolutely so. That's crazy. But, <laughs> so, but I do plan on getting lucky sevens. So that that will be the the plan. Lucky sevens is really cool because the, the the reason why I love this fight so much is there are so many. Based on what ATBs you got, who's what AT, you know, whose ATBs, what she does, there's so many things that can influence your decision making to pick a faster route through the fight. Ultimately, you're lucky sevens and you get it and you win. And you, so, lucky sevens is an ability that Zidane has, where if his health ends in seven, then he can perform lucky sevens, which will deal damage randomly of seven, seventy-seven, seven hundred seventy-seven, or seven thousand seven hundred seventy-seven. One of those four is picked randomly out of a hat and thrown at them. This is also a mini game, I guess, but it's on rails. Just so it's... if you get caught, we do. You, you have to leave. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's gonna happen. Uh, That's why I can say that. I can hold down right here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Armand Delahan is—he's coming for you. Uh oh. It's... Uh oh. Nice. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Clean. Uh, if he catches you, you get into a fight with him, and then if you deal uh, like 800 damage or so, then he sort of and falls into a pile of heap, and then he'll get back up in a moment and chase you again. Chase you again. And it will do that until you leave or actually just die. Uh, it's very linear. You can't actually win, but in the all bosses route, you actually have to get caught by him. You actually have to get into a fight with him, but you're allowed to run from him because you can't actually defeat him. Um, so, yeah, Lani, it, I'll try and give you the play-by-play -play on what's going on. Yeah, it's there, but to try and explain everything all it happens so fast and it's very strange and also if i do not have the atb with sedane i probably won't go for Correct. sevens anyway i'm only going to go for it if the, if the situation arises because yep. we do need to power on through the speed run too with our estimates we've given ourselves mm -hmm. so if we see good atb on sedan we'll be going for it if we see good atb on vv only we won't be going for it and instead we'll be going for a little bit of a backup strategy if we see no ATV on either of them, then well, cry. Uh oh, <laughs> it's, cry. it's not that big a deal. But so, okay, this is fine. You can go for this, but you might not get VVs in. Nope. <laughs> you can get this. This uh, works. Yeah. This works. But there's no backup on VV here. Just win. Ah, uh, no good. Uh, that's good. That's good. Okay. That's good. So you want to do like a? Yeah, you got the attack in. Nice. No, no, stop, 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 stop holding, stop holding, <laughs> stop holding, no, no, stop holding. Okay, right. okay. Okay, so the attack with Dagger then wasn't to deal damage, was but to make sure that in case she did a quick attack, we'd gain enough ATB to have a turn on this turn. It's just a little bit of a contingency plan. So we're attacking here, we're holding ATB. And then the Blizzaro is going to come through, and when this attack goes through and connects... So now we've queued Zidane, she would be having her turn, but why aren't you giving up is occurring? And that's refreshed her ATB. It's reapplied it to the stack. Oh, and, <laughs> and it didn't, didn't work. work. And it didn't work. Oh, that's really weird. That's interesting. Was Zidane supposed to get a free turn there? And you may need to yep. PD Dag. Yeah, no, Zidane. That's interesting. I guess I just hesitated a little too much, maybe. I know you need to wait a little bit for the Bazaar queue. But, uh, this could be interesting. Please don't do an AoE. Again? Okay. That's fine. Just don't hold ATV. Don't hold ATV. I would give Zidane an elixir if this doesn't kill. Just elixir him. Just elixir him. Oh my god, there's a counter. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. 
Okay, this is Danger Town. Yep. Just pick him up. <laughs> You're fine. Have faith. Have faith. Uh oh. Winner. You're not gonna get a turn here. <laughs> we did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, what do you want to do? How far back are we? Do we have a save? Uh, <laughs> it's at the bottom. It's at the bottom. It's the. No, it's, oh, not. it's not. Where is. Um... Do you have a save near this area? Andy? I don't know. Uh, Red Rose Cabin. That's before that. That's way too far away. Where's the chapel? <laughs> oh my god. Where is it? That? <laughs> this is our save chapel. This Wait, one. Chapel, this is before dogs. Oh my god. Uh it's like 30 minutes. 40 minutes. Uh oh. I could check the other memory card. You know what man? Look Lo load it for now. Okay. Do you wanna make something? I can go and try to figure something out, yeah. That's probably the best thing. I can probably go and fix up my laptop. Uh, Alright, well <laughs> we're back here, boys. We're back here, yeah. Do you want to plug in your controller? I uh, will do it in a minute. I don't even know what this got that. God dang. <laughs> uh, this is the joys of live speedrunning, I guess. Oh, man. So, yeah, we were, we were on our way back up here to go and fight <laughs> Beatrix. <too. laughs> yeah, we're just going to keep going for a while. And if we can get a save, I have my memory card pro, so hopefully we can do something. Dang. Uh, I get turbo, nice. Do you want to plug in your controller? That's fine. Wowzers. <laughs> oh man. I am rocked. I am shook. I think this is the perfect time for a $10 donation oh, from yeah. Chaka6, who says, I just wanted to say, great job, runners. <laughs> there is more to the donation. It says, I just wanted to say, great uh, job, runners, and the reader, for managing to keep such a long run entertaining. Well, it just got longer. Yeah. And great work, everyone, on donating. Go stream two. My goodness. That is not what we wanted to see happening today. Um, let me see if I can find some other stuff that I need to make a backup and do some jank. We can make this work. We can make this work. <laughs> Good old FF9, eh? <laughs> <laughs> You've got my saves, right? I have a memory card with all the saves, yeah. No, no, no. You, okay. That's all I need. I just need to get them out. Yeah. We'll work it out. We'll make it work. Metako just walked in and offered to give the runners his saves. Um, Where is it? Metako, can I get an ice cream? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I'll send him off and make him do something useful for once. <laughs> Bob Rono! Where is it? There it is. I think I can make this work. I can make this work. I've got. Uh, I have all the saves. I can. You've got one of my practice saves. Which? One of my practice saves. I have all the saves. Yeah. If you, if you load up like a Lani one, save it on the world map, come out. Yep. You can even pop it into the thingy and put the names back in. Yep. That's what I'm gonna do. Should be good. We can do a full recovery. We should be able to manage this. Good old Lani, eh? Good old live speedruns. I thought we had it with the puck skip. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how the great have fallen. Yeah, it's really interesting that that didn't, that, uh... That AT really didn't work. Yeah, it's really interesting. Because we had won the fight at that point. 
But what it does give people is more chance to donate for uh Quina. Quina. Oh, no, 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 Quina. no, no, no. Iko, Iko. Iko. There's plenty of I'll, time I'll for I'll reopen that one. And, no, no, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so Iko and Amaranth are still available. Um, I don't know why this is particularly taking so long, but wait and see. <laughs> I'll never live this one down. That was good. <laughs> It is unfortunate that ATB weight thing didn't work. Uh, it normally just does. It gets an extra swing in with Z, and we were just the one attack away from that actually, killing her. She would have been dead. Yeah, she was it's dead. just an unfortunate turn of events that everyone died also as well after. So Yeah, there was a good chance that she could have like cast Scan, which mm. just gives you a free turn. Uh, it's pretty unlucky that didn't happen. And she counted, and she connected. Yeah, yeah. And then she followed up with a basic attack. <laughs> All of the worst things that could yeah. happen on the follow-up actually <laughs> happened. Oh, my. As much as I'd love to say it's never happened before, it, it has. It has. It has. Yeah, it wasn't. Counter. It wasn't even in our um, like safety saves to save there. It wasn't on the agenda, which is the interesting part. But I guess these things can happen. You can go wrong. So yeah, this is going to take a little bit of time. It's got to get, copying it over to the laptop first. The memory card? Yeah. Is it that slow? It's taking its time. You'll have to forgive me, I'm not Actually, as good on these controllers. But... L1, please. You can start editing the save while you're waiting for it to transfer, right? Yeah. On. Oh, I love Lani, me. But yeah, luckily there is a tool that we can use to, to actually just recreate the vast majority of the save. At the very least, we can create the names again, so we can preserve all the best bits. Uh, I'm just going to use this. Can we pet a dag this time? Again, I will pet it with force. Petting the dag is mandatory. <laughs> you are not a... Oh my no, God. Pet it with an iceberg. <laughs> what do you need? Your sex food. <laughs> you haven't got fin? I don't think so. Okay. We'll work it out. I should do it. Oh, baby. So we get to try and not die to dogs again, which is pretty fun. We get to go through the blender again. So, I guess I'll recap on these fights anyway. These dogs, uh, Zidane has a really good chance to kill these guys in one hit. Vivi has a one in three. Dagger and Vivi can also be used to polish off damage from Steiner. So, we can target the first dog with those two, and Steiner's asleep. Nice. Uh, of course he is. At least Bizarro won't fail now. Ah! Oh, can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. Hey, this is exactly what happened last time. <laughs> it's an omen. Oh I'm my. Getting We're getting there. He's getting there. Tech Wizard wi uh, Waves is on the job. We believe in you, Waves. I'm doubting myself, but we'll, we'll persevere. Uh, I think what we might be able to do is actually skip for uh, we skip further ahead. And you can go to the end of Fossil Room. Yeah. If you like.
what is the controller icon that shows up in the top right corner of the fight screen? So it, that's to tell you what player currently has control of the current character. Uh, and the reason why we see that in the speedrun is because at the start, the very, very, very start of the game, the first thing we do is we do a config menu. And in that config menu, we, we do things like turn the battle speed up and we set the memory, uh, the cursor, the battle cursor to memory. Come on, Blizzara, don't let me down, baby. Don't let me down, Blizzara, baby, please. Big damage. Um, and and the, the fastest way to do it is just to hold down and right on the D-pad. And that will change everything to um, the setting it needs to be. But in the process, it also turns on the multiplayer function, which is so that you can give your little brother the controller or something like that and tell him he's playing. And he actually can play a little bit. You can, you can divvy out uh, the main eight party members to different controllers. Um, it actually makes for some really cool co-op stuff that you can do. Nice. Any good? Hopefully. Hopefully, he says. Beatrix, don't let me down. Nope, wrong one. There we go. Ba, 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 da, ba, da. Delete this. One more dogs. Or well, one more double pair of dogs. Give them the old bonk. 5 out. Close bracket. 5 4. Exclamation mark. Dash. Quotation mark. Watch out. <laughs> Let come in. Oh my goodness, you gotta get the whole yep. <laughs> the whole package, baby. We're almost there, yeah. <laughs> Please download. There you go. So we can just take some basic attacks there with like Freya and whatnot, just to make sure that if anything does go wrong, then we can still start finishing the fight anyway. Because even if Beatrix does get slept, you can actually Steiner and uh, Freya together can, can kill these dogs pretty comfortably uh, in case things go wrong. Oh, it's time to move. Oh my God. Yeah, we can, uh, fortunately, we, we've got a tool that allows us to, we can actually uh, manage, as long as we put a save in to put us into like the right game position, we can, uh, there's, a, there's a really, really powerful tool out there that allows you to pretty much put whatever you want into it. Um, you can do some really cool stuff with it, but one of the things that we can actually do is we can put the names back in, which is very cool. Very powerful. So yeah, during this bit, we can see that Marcus has successfully resurrected Blank. Old Billy Blanks is back, thank goodness. I missed him dearly. And we can get on with the rest of the game. So we're back at Ravu here. Uh, again, Ravu is, is a pretty linear fight. It's, so last time we actually low rolled it, so that might happen again. Probably not though, our level should be high enough. I think we got uh, pretty unlucky in the rolls last time. So again, we don't really want to use basic attacks against Ravu because if you hit him with a basic, he'll curl up. And if you hit him with another uh, regular attack, he'll hit you with Earthquake. And <laughs> I've never actually been hit by Earthquake, so I don't know how much damage it deals, but I imagine it's a lot. So I'm not, I'm not playing with that. I'm not even not even entertaining the thought. <laughs> so instead we're gonna deal most of our damage with Blizzara, which I believe that he's weak to ice, which is what helps so much. Come on in knees. Your friends need you. Another ultrasound wave? You're too kind. This can miss. But it could. So we'll wait for that to go off so we're not blocking ATV. Send that through. Yeah, please still isn't learnt.
1380, we are low rolling again. Interestingly. <laughs> Interestingly. I'll put Dagger in defend mode, take her off the stack, make it easy to transfer through. Okay. Bonk. Oh, nice. Okay, so we actually rolled some pretty good numbers this time. Hell yeah. I can actually just... There we go. Easy game. So we that's the, so that sequence that you saw there, the entire thing from after Beatrix 3 is called Castle Escape. Um, it is one of the most frustrating splits in the entirety of this two in a way. And this two is a really, really weird disc. It's a really awkward one to deal with because there's so I mean this is <laughs> sound like a broken record, but there's so much variance in it. <laughs> but it's uh, it's a really weird kind of variance with lots of really micro uh, optimized fights. Um, a lot of the time there isn't too much you can do about things, but when you do take care of the things you're supposed to, it's pretty good. So this area here is called Pinnacle Rocks. I'm sure Wave's mentioned it before. And in Pinnacle Rocks, uh, I think... I don't actually know why Ramu's trying to talk to Dago. He just is. He's lonely, I guess. Someone's finally came to visit him. It's been a long time. And uh, while he's out there, he's actually asking that you take some time to go and pick up his fanfic. <laughs> he's he's dropped it all around Pinnacle Rocks and he's lost it. And he wants you to come and read it back to him. Uh, <laughs> it's actually, I believe, the story of Final Fantasy 3. Someone's told me. I've not played 3, though. He hid an extra chapter. Thankfully, we can't find that one. That one's the nasty one. <laughs> Um, if you actually find them all and you bring them to him, he'll actually give you a Peridot, which is one of the gemstones that teaches you a summon for Dagger, and it will te it actually teaches you Ramu. Um, you can f am find ample amounts of Peridot much later into the game, but more importantly, we are simply not interested in um, summons. Well, that's a lie, actually. That's a lie, actually. There is one summon that we're going to be using later on. Um, a really, really, really cool summon. Uh, Carbon Call, because it... Woo! Yeah, dude. <laughs> We like Carbuncle. He's a cutie. Um, it puts AoE Reflect on our party, and then we're going to abuse that pretty hard uh, in one of the coming dungeons. But other than that, we don't really bother with summons, because they don't... A lot of the time, the summons deal damage based on the amount of gemstone of their respective gemstone you have in your inventory, which is a mouthful. It's a really long-winded way of saying you deal more damage with Ifrit if you've got more Topaz, for example. And it's I don't believe it's explained anywhere. Maybe it's kind of something you're supposed to try and figure out, but... Like, uh, the only way that you can really reliably get lots of these gemstones is by forging them. Shoutouts to Impact Font, by the way. Um, and you can only really uh, synthesize them, sorry, toward the end of the game. But other than that, uh, I think Ark is the only one that doesn't uh, scale based on any sort of gemstone, purely because it's learnt from an exclusive item, which you can't get many of. And that is the super end game summon that you can you can do. Very cool. So yeah, we've uh, we were actually trying to get all the way back to Alexandria, but it's oh no, sorry, Limblum, and it's it's crashed since then. And uh, we, oh, it's got the, yeah, we're making some progress. It's time to start putting the names in. We're almost there. Almost caught up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Surprise, I'm not really just a floating old man. I'm actually Thunder God Ramu. Uh -huh. Smile. Got him. So I can just leave Turbo 1 here, can't I? Amazing. I should need to turn it off. So we're going to split the screen here. Reset our day. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> they got bigger plans for us. And I didn't put the dagger on, so we're going to have to kind of fight our way out of this a little bit. So because we're actually kind of over-leveled-ish. I 
just going to put some basic attacks in to extend my turn a little bit. I hope we just get out on a quick flee. There we go. We good? Almost. Almost there. This. Nice, only one encounter is actually okay for Pinnacle Rocks. Like I said, the, the, the encounters here are much lower level. They're from You can actually come to parts of Pinnacle Rocks much, 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 much earlier in the game. Um, the first time you visit Limblum in Disc 1, so the monsters are kind of tailored towards that. And because we're such a higher level, we've got a much higher chance of getting it quickly. So we can kind of just bank on it a little bit. Hey, I, I get to watch the cutscene now. I was, oh yeah, you missed I, that. I went to the bathroom during this bit last time, but now I get to <laughs> watch it. <laughs> so I don't think there are many actual kingdoms in this game that don't survive. That, you know, that don't get bombarded at some point. Everywhere gets blown up at some point in this game. There's a lot of explosions in FF9. I think, like I said earlier, the only place that doesn't get blown up is good old Treno. The only place that probably deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> we do like Treno though, it's one of my favourite music. Treno is a banger. Just confirming that it works. Where is it putting us? Uh, after fossil with the truck of the tracks. Okay, so we're going to be jumping forward just a little bit, uh, just to try and cut some losses. It's not going to be anywhere near the amount of time we spent, unfortunately making the saves, but that's about half of it. So we, the bit that we're not going to be able to see, unfortunately, is going to be Fossil Rune, which, to be honest, isn't particularly exciting. So don't worry too much about it. I know, I know, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, so <laughs> we just have to pretend that there was a timeline where Lani did die. <laughs> we get it. We made it out. There's going to be a little bit of overworld movement, and then when we reach the Chocobo tracks and we get on a Chocobo uh, is where we're going to be resuming. But we have managed to get all the names in. Zan's no longer missing Bird Killer AP, hopefully. Probably not. <laughs> no, he isn't dead, so. Um, right. Just checking it. Other than that, it should be, sure. should be dead, dead on the same. Looks good. It does look good. It does look good. Okay. Let's check these, and we're good to go, I believe. <laughs> I am still shook from that happening, to be honest. Oh, you need to get ready because you're getting back in the fray. Oh yeah. Oh, can't wait for Hilkegars. <laughs> 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 he definitely won't miss today, surely. Or Z won't miss on Hilkegars for me, will he? Uh, where's the nearest place? I mean, we just turn it off, man. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Like, we'd be loading the save anyway, right? Yeah. <laughs> we'll load something. Just that the memory card pro didn't work earlier on when I wanted to save, so I'm just terrified of something else happening there. but. Um, there's definitely no Moogle here anywhere now, just in case. Uh, I mean, I can I go, wait, no, 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 I can go back outside. If you can, I don't think you can go outside now, can you? I don't know. Let's find out. Just, just, why would I ever go backwards at this point? It's a speedrun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we can have a look. Okay, oh. have a look. Perfect. Okay, so I, can, save here. I can do a little world, uh, world map save here just um, in case anything goes wrong. Yeah. And then, uh, do a whips and, yeah, okay, I'll do it. Perfect. Oh my god, I can't. Oh, Spoon, where oh. could you be? Oh, Brutals. Oh, Wavesy. I can actually check. Donna Plains? Oh. Donna Plains. That's the one. Uh, so just look away for one moment. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. Uh, Do you not peek behind the curtain. FDS. I will remind everybody that we are live here in Malmö, Sweden. You are watching ESA Summer 2023 Stream 2, where we are um, doing some really, uh, let's say, complicated and intricate strat um, to, to get us... Um, RNG manip. Yeah, RNG manipulation. That's what this is officially. <laughs> um, I will also very briefly um, mention we've had a $50 donation from the ever so wonderfully handsome Robo Sparkle, who happens to be in the second row of the audience there. He says, it's official, Lani is clearly stronger, and we're going to need her in Memoria. Here's $50 towards recruiting her for the squad. <laughs> and that has gone to naming Amarant 
Lani. Hey. <laughs>
He'll probably just sit there and cast White Wind or something. <laughs> he's he's a good lad. This is one of the best tunes in the game. It's a banger. Okay, I need to, okay. I need to settle myself. <laughs> I'm rat. Calm yourself. We have Black Mage Village. Uh, there are a few little pickups to do around here. We're going to get some little items, from little crevices and whatnot. And there is actually a decent sized shop here, one of the bigger ones. Uh, we're going to pick up a bunch of weapons and equipment that we're going to use for synthesizing and wearing. But before that, we have to do a little shop. That's I'm just checking out we don't have then as well. Opinions and tents, yeah, you got it. Mm -hmm. All the tents, please. Uh, over Iron. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Dead on. Uh, Dead on. Magic. Nice, very nice. Yeah, so that's actually going to set us up until the, the end of this three now, actually, the next hour and a half. Nice, and we, so we're doing an ATE here. Uh, it saves about a second. of le When we get to the end of that screen to the left, it will actually trigger the, the same ATE automatically, but you'll have to sort of wait for the dialog box to appear. So just manually triggering it and mashing through it saves about a second or a second now. Which reminds me, I need to tell Badka fix your CSR. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it doesn't work there. Um, so in this hut right next to us right now is actually the synthesis shop. Uh, we do actually want to go in there and perform synthesis. However, if we go in there right now, Dagger is in there getting mad at the manager or something. I don't know. And then there's, well, <laughs> there's a big conversation. Still... Yeah, so you don't want to go in there just yet. We're going to wait until they, get, they actually want us to leave. And then we're going to pop in there. Okay, a little bit of a little bit of a, a yap here. I think we have time for a donation if, if there's one available. Yeah. Thank you so much. We've had a twenty-five dollar donation from Ryan One Two Two with no comment. However, they have put it towards Steiner being Amaranth's name, which means that Steiner <laughs> is way off in the lead now. One hundred and ninety-one dollars. Uh, we have ninety dollars on Forson and fifty dollars on Lanny. Nice. Perfect. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah, so there's a... Uh, Vivi's kind of having a bit of a... Oh, he's having another crisis. <laughs> Bless him. He, he goes through a lot, that little boy. Um, it's part of the reason why he's so villainous. And uh, we're also hearing a little bit about Zidane's story. He's rega regaling a tale to uh, Dagger about how he came to be a member of Tantalus. So uh, it's not actually explained in the game until much later, I believe. But Zidane, uh, I won't talk about it now, I suppose, but Zidane yeah, we'll doesn't really know where he came from. He's just turned up one day and uh, he bumped into Baku, who is this gentleman here, who has taken him in as one of his own and trained him as a master thief. Uh, but he was a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit of tough love. Mm -hmm. He wasn't the best dad, but, uh, you know, he raised him. Uh, he, raised, he, he raised him. <laughs> he I was going to say he raised him well, but he just, he, he raised, raised him. him. <laughs> he definitely raised him, <laughs> and um, he's just. Yeah, I think. I think more importantly, Zidane's just like buttering up this little sob story to make Dagger feel sorry for him. To be honest, <laughs> and it's working. <laughs> so uh, one of the more forgotten shops here is the is the synthesis shop. It's very easy just to leave. Um, however, you get some really powerful gear from this shop, namely the Rune Tooth. Uh, you can create one of the one later, but not having it for the next two boss fights is a real pain. What do I start? Two, Coral ring and two pairs of desert booties. Easy peasy. Okay, and we're off. Indeed. Out of Black Mage Village, and we split. And off we go. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. So the desert boots actually for <laughs> they're one of the least used items in the whole run. I think synthesizing them actually generates a little bit of cash, which is part of the incentive for doing it. But actually, another really interesting thing here is that we're actually going to dismount the chocolate really early. Yeah. So if you see that beach to the right, we're going to be landing there a little bit later. And rather than making our way to the track chocobo tracks and finding more Geisel Greens and blah, 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 we're actually just going to leave our chocobo there and we're going to we're going to find Scoot it later. Up here. Awesome. Uh, it's going to be waiting for us. That poor chocobo is going to be very loyal. I believe the time difference in the game 
uh, between this part of the game and later on when we come here is something like six months. So, <laughs> it's, so he's a good boy. <laughs> he's there for quite some time. He's a real good boy, that chocolate bear. But yeah, the desert boots are for earth damage reduction. Correct. Well. Yeah, they give you 50% resistance to earth damage. I They have some abilities on them, probably, but it's irrelevant. Yeah, it's irrelevant. Um, Hilgegaz has, a, in his move pool, of very few moves. He has access to Earthquake, which will absolutely uh, one-shot Dagger and Ico without the assistance of Desert Boots. It actually can do a real number on uh, Vivi and Sedan. Uh, but with, with the assistance of Desert Boots, you can actually try and keep him alive a little bit longer. We're not too fussed about what happens to Dagger if she lives. We actually do learn an ability called Protect, which we could use against Shell Dragon much later on. But uh, it, it's, not it's very superfluous. But right now, it's time for Holy Matrimony. Wedding time. Oh, Here yeah. Here we go. Rally -ho. Rally -ho. So the only way for us to be permitted to give an access to the the other half of the island of the, the Forgotten Continent? Uh, yeah, I think so. This continent. <laughs> the, the one of them is called Forgotten Continent, lost, and the other one's one is called Lost. Like, come on, man. This might be forgotten. The other one's Lost, I think. I think that makes sense. And, and, uh, and the, the other one's called Outer Continent. Outer, outer. Oh, sure. You know what here? I mean? Like, come on, man. <laughs> Help. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is Continent 2, <laughs> which is what they definitely call it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, that reminds me. Ico is just around the corner. Yes. Um, Wonderful. So if you give it like 30 seconds to get your donations in or something, if you want to rename Ico and then promptly close it. <laughs> I will do. Thank you so much. Sorry, I didn't give you enough warning there. No, that's all we need. Yep. Little Ico, who we just saw running off. But more importantly, she's got a horn, and that's weird. Very strange. That's really strange. So we want to know Maybe what her deal is. Interesting for the plot. Mate, probably not though. Surely not. <laughs> there she is. Oh just dear. From a branch. She is absolutely done so. Hard look. <laughs> what are you doing? Hard Ico? look. <laughs> she's just hanging. She's just giving up, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's, uh, the name's coming up right now, actually. Wonderful. So we had a two, a two horse race in this, or two chocobo race in this, shall I say. Um, in second place with $41 was Steiner. <laughs> but racing out to the lead with $235, <laughs> we have the name Mutski. Oh, Mutski. Oh, yeah. Yep, a classic, a classic in it. Yeah. FF speedrunning. As a, M Ico is Mutski's favorite character by, a, by a, long shot. a huge margin. He just loves her. She is central to the plot, very important, integral, powerful party member, and uh, is definitely, definitely a, a fan favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Hill Pass is the other half of this split called the Hilgegaard split, which is the boss fight coming up. And we're going to oh, get escaped. <laughs> you can actually steal one of those Oglops and <laughs> Lyco ends up putting it in the suit. I'm actually going to yeah. have a... You know what? I respect it. I respect I, I'm it. I'm not taking any more chances today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this fight is actually a little a little bit of a, a scary one to be honest. Uh, he can kind of get in front of you and cause quite a lot of havoc, especially if you start missing as well. Hillgars is typically a three turn fight. Nice, no counter. Um, it's going to be a combination of Zidane attacks and Vivi Bazaras to deal damage. It, again, fifty percent is coming into play. Yeah. Uh, the, we are nearing the end of the fifty percent stuff though, I believe. There might be one or more, one or two more that I'm, I can't think of right now, but this one is there's one like, of the last ones. There's one. one right at the end, but besides that, it's yeah. right. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. Are these two? Nova has Twister, and TK has uh, Flare Star. Counter is after. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Yep. Mm, optimize. There's a boots. Optimize. There's a boots. Uh, we're dead on the killer, and that's it. We don't need to heal because we did not get hit. Nice. Easy. So, <laughs> Don't you dare, Hilkegars. If I'm warning Zidane you. It has a really, <laughs> really, really, really good ATV. Hilkegars is actually really fast. He has something like 42 speed out of 50. Um, if Zidane's ATV is really good here, you can actually... Steal the you fairy can, flute? You can opt to attack with a regular attack. You could steal the fairy flute. Or you can go for lucky sevens. No. That's not good enough. We will be doing neither. Unfortunately, going for sevens just completely spins a wheel in the fight. So that's fine. 
Unfortunately for Tago, that is completely fine. All right, so we're checking for a misses here. Nope, we connected. That's brilliant. We're also checking for criticals. So uh, the same way uh, that we performed in the previous 50% uh, stuff, we're going to be leading with Vivi on this fight here. So uh, we're going to be dealing over 50% damage during this turn. And if Vivi goes first, Hilgars is going to be declaring his next attack uh, before he is actually dealt damage past 50%. I'm sorry, that's a really roundabout word to explain it, but basically, when Zidane hits him in just a moment, he is going to go to about 3k HP, so he's under 50%, but he's already decided that he's going to be doing hip-hop or something yeah, like that. Yeah, attack, he's already cute. So as long as he doesn't just sit on Zidane and just kill him, we are I'm holding my breath. All right, Ico, that's fine. Good night, Mutsuki. You can just send this in. Don't miss? Okay. Nice. Good. You won't miss, you're not Pete Swanson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pete, he has, the, he has the worst luck on this fight. I've, I can't remember the last time I've seen him fight this boss and not miss. It's quite, <laughs> it's quite amazing. <laughs> yep, a completely textbook fight, completely linear, completely standard. Uh, I guess just do the butterfly sword because we don't know. I'm doing it. So we're popping the Butterfly Sword on here, which is actually a really weak weapon. And the reason why we're doing that is because we need to go into the menu anyway. Uh, more importantly, Zidane needs the Germanus boots, uh, which are those little booties. If you remember Hello, from Bermechia, back in this one. This way. Um, they've got Alert on them, which we haven't quite learnt yet. So if we want to use Alert, we need to be wearing a piece of gear that has it. They also have Flea on them, which we... May not. We should be, actually, we haven't learned Flea yet. We haven't finished learning Flea yet. Um, but we'll be heading our way down uh, Aether Tree coming in a moment. And uh, during all tree. that process, the Life of Tree, we'll be learning uh, a bunch of abilities. The Life of Tree actually has uh, a really annoying little <laughs> caveat about it in that um, the boss at the end has a, well, pretty much, it's not guaranteed, but it's about 80% or so to open with the ability level 5 death, which hits everybody that has um, a level value of a multiple of 5. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so on and so forth. Yeah, It's in a, it's in a lot of Final Fantasy games that, that drop off. If your level is around 0 or 5, it'll... Yeah, um, it's the most frustrating one to deal with, I think, level 5 death. I think it's pretty annoying. I think we've, we have a guest. We have a guest commentator joining us. Hello, Hello Mr. then. Zick. Do you need a headset? <laughs> We can hear you, but they can't hear you. It's local commentary only. <laughs> he just taps us on the shoulder and tells us to say things. <laughs> <laughs> good afternoon. Hello. How are you doing, Zwanzi? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, yeah, so these guys could only afford me for about half the run, so... <laughs> um, unfortunately, I, I had to miss a little bit. But I, I gather it's been a perfect run so far. No Literally major. nothing has happened out of no, the ordinary yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. Right. Nothing eventful. You need to know. Beautiful. At all. <laughs> um, so one thing you want to explain your connection to FF9 and your previous endeavors? Yeah, um, as people who were, you know, alive in the 1900s <laughs> might remember. That's good, that was more. Um, I, I used to run this game. Uh, last in 2015. Uh, very briefly had the world record when it was still easy, about two days before it was no longer easy. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and yeah, so I, I can regale people with the tales of old or just be confused at all the weird stuff people do nowadays. Yeah. There you go. Well, we had we had mentioned earlier that uh, back in your day you said there was no tent and no night also. So it was... Uh, yeah. We're back to that again. Yeah, you know? it's, it's really come full circle in that regard. Yeah, so FF9 has gone through quite a lot of routing because that still to this day there have not been any major skips discovered. Though there could be something on the horizon, potentially. Someone has found that if you if you are able to get past the, the wedding guards, the game doesn't care. Oh, and it yeah. will let you go past, which I saves somewhere around 10 minutes or so. Skip 
going to Black Mage Village, basically. Yeah, yeah, which is actually a, a real big pain because you get some really powerful gear there. So you'd have to reroute quite a lot to, to make up for that. No Rune Tooth. No Rune Tooth, no Butterfly Sword. You have to make that earlier, which means finding gear later. There's so much that would go with. It's not as simple as just don't do it because mm. there's a lot that goes into it. Um, you also be hitting way less and you somehow need to make up for that. But it's not been found yet. And it could be, but it's not. Ultimately, though, uh, despite that, people have been developing and working on and rerouting this game for a really long time. And when they say it's come full circle, as we mentioned before, the, originally uh, people didn't used to fight Tantarian, which gives you um, a, the most Auto important. Haste. Yeah, the, the the thing about Tantarian is that it, it drops. It's a guaranteed drop to give you an accessory called the Running Shoes, which not only gives you something like two or three points of speed, which is again quite a lot, uh, but it also gives you an ability, a, a support ability called Auto Haste, which just applies haste permanently to that character for the fight, for the whole fight. Uh, and auto haste allows you then to provide more ATP weight tricking so they get extra turns, so on and so forth. There are downsides to it um, because typically by using it, you're lowering your damage output. You're able to hit more times, but hit a little less hard, but you, your damage overall will go up. It also means that Zidane will have faster ATP in random battles, so you're more likely to get fleas off. There's a, a whole host of things that it helps with. Overall, the most important thing is it brings the consistency of the run-up a good chunk if you can survive Tantarian. Because <laughs> Tantarian is very good at killing you. He's very good at it. Um, there are two opportunities in a casual and speedrun perspective to, to learn it, and that is the bit that we saw earlier. We dipped into a library. We didn't really mess around with it. We mentioned it back then. But later on, um, after cards and after Mystodons, there is a small window where you can then go and fight him again. But after that, it's lost forever and you can no longer go there. Um, GG. You yeah. can actually synthesize the running shoes uh, casually, but you can't fight Tantarian anymore. Okay. Um, so there are this two and this three uh, tantrum strats uh, based on that, and there's different routes. Currently, I know a lot of French runners uh, have a, a big, they love this three Tantarian. <laughs> as a French community, and they all absolutely love to. You've got the partner? Oh, yeah. Uh, they love this three Tant. They love it. Give me the pot. <laughs> I am going to need you to give me the pot I right now. I need the cooking pot. Please give me the cooking pot. Uh, but the other one is uh, the night route stuff. So uh, unfortunately, we skipped over Fossil Roo. But in the older routes, there are it's, it's a fairly encounter-dense area. And two-thirds of the mobs that you fight there, if you're able to eat them with pickles, <laughs> then they will teach you an ability called night, which is simply area effect sleep. It will try and put sleep on everyone. I including your own party members. Including yeah. your own party members, which means if you want to take a full advantage of it, you need another support ability called Insomniac, which, as you can probably imagine, prevents sleep. Prevent sleep. Yeah. Nice and handy. But uh, in doing so, you can stop enemies from taking turns. When you deal a melee damage to them uh, while they're sleeping, you'll actually deal an extra chunk of damage too. There's a number of benefits to doing it, but it introduces a little bit of variance in whether or not you can learn it. How quickly you can learn it, whether or not you learn it, and a number of other little <laughs> things in between. Um, and I believe the reason why they don't do it anymore. So they actually phased out of doing um, auto haste with the MPV route, which is about 2018 or so. Oh, oh, I'm being asked about the history now of the part when I was no longer running. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, you've been watching this game <laughs> the whole time. Yeah. I know you've been lurking. <laughs> But uh, yeah, when they when they started to phase out uh, auto haste, when they realised that we kind of just want to just gun it and try and take our chances and such, I believe. Again, I wasn't there either, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, one day, uh, Bomb Bomb, the, the the previous world record holder and a good friend of mine, was like, "I just don't want to mess around with night anymore, man. Just get it out. <laughs> I don't want it." And uh, that's how Petro route uh, came to be. And I believe Petro just went through a lot of old strategies and just kind of pretty much recreated the old, 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 old stuff and used a lot of the more modern tech at the time to streamline it and whatnot. Yeah, because back in the day, we did a lot of kind of, in hindsight, unnecessary safety stuff. Mm. Did a lot more menuing than people do nowadays. It's how it all starts, though, isn't it? When yeah. things are in the beginning, you don't really know how much you need to do. And more importantly, when people are experiencing the run and learning it and routing it, it's very important to just finish the run, right? Yeah. Just finishing it, finishing your plate is very important when it comes to it, especially when it's long games like this, where, you know, just getting the information is really, really viable. 
This has been a really good It's pass. been a really good pass. Shouldn't have said anything. It, it hurt you. It hurt you. No, it, it didn't. It didn't hit me. Um, so yeah, we're just heading off to the tree. Uh, a very, the life of tree is a very fun part of the game. <laughs> it's really hard to keep that going. <laughs> <laughs> they were, they were sat in the practice room the other day, just like <laughs> laughing it up about all the things they were going to mispronounce during the run. <laughs> You've given it away. <laughs> Bermekia will live forever in our hearts. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the life of tree is a hard one to keep going. It really is. So yeah, this is a this is the biggest variance single segment piece of this two. There's you, the average encounter rate for this part is around six, yeah. five or so. I would say six or seven. You, but, yeah. Usually the split includes the hill pass segments from Hilgegars as well. You can expect around seven encounters from when we killed Hilgegars, and we're currently on none, by the way. Um, what ski was the option there? Always funny. Yeah, <laughs> Muski help. Help, Mutski. We need to get into the life of tree. Cheers, mate. But yeah, we're going to be making our way in here. We are going to kill two stroper enemies, which are big... Um, trees. Trees. They're kind of stone-type enemies. They are. I missed yeah. it. Nice encounter skip. Never. Very good. Definitely got it. Definitely got it. <laughs> Definitely got it. That is one of the screens where you can skip a check if you uh, use analog effectively. I was just about to ask, did you load a gammy save? Because <laughs> <laughs> that, that's about six screens that's you just went through. Screens you, went. you know what, you should just run the rest of it because apparently you're luckier than I am. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I think we improved otherwise. Ugh. Anise, let me out. Ugh. Let me out. There you go. Okay, go in front of two, one of them. That's not too bad. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this game's got a really weird way that it kind of melds everything together. You can see characters have idle animations and they're not allowed to perform an action until that idle animation cycles. So if their idle animation is really long, then it takes longer for them to then take their turn if they're taking their turn. And the reason why zombies are such a pain is because even though they just do slaps, there's three of them, and their idle animation is like two seconds long or something. So sometimes it can feel like an absolute eternity before they even take their action. Is this one of the trees? There this it is. This is one of the trees. There we go. That's a stroper. It's a tree. And we just need two. Oh, I should stop screaming. Most of the enemies in this area can be pretty reasonably killed. The stroper's just the fastest, and it's pretty common, so... Indeed. Yeah, it's likely to see two or three of these. I mean, ideally, we can kill two. We see one for the AP, but we aim for two for experience. Yep. Uh, so we are going to make our way down the tree. If there is time for a donation, we have time while we're making our merry way down. Oh, thank you very much. We have a $20 donation from Alco, who says, Rally ho! Welcome to the party, Mutski. <laughs> and that has gone towards uh, uh, Amaranth's name being Lanny. Nice. And we also have a oh, nice. $50 donation from the ever increasingly more handsome Robo Sparkle, who is still in the audience there. <laughs> he says, 50 coupos to try and recruit Lani. Did you know that Soul Cage is weak to fire damage? Yeah. And naturally, that <laughs> went towards Lani being Amaranth's name. Let's just double check where we are on that. With a refresh, I can see we uh, Lani has now come into second place at $120, but Steiner still in the lead, $216. Oof. We need about a hundred more dollars on Lani to get that name in the game. Nice. Luckily, we gave you a small bit of extra time to uh, get that donation filled. So, <laughs> it was uh, very good of you, yes. You're very welcome. No problem. So, yeah, uh, Ether Tree is pretty much considered around the halfway point for the entire run, by the way. Um, don't pay attention to the estimate. Don't pay attention to what estimate? <laughs> what estimate? <laughs> what estimate? It's, it's a good time to showcase the, the CSR. CSR yeah. It's four. <laughs> Goodness. Oh. Ooh, oh. That's a little wibbly wobbly bit of movement there, Wave D. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wibbly wobbly bit of movement. Today. Always punished. My head's a bit wibbly wavy. <laughs> <laughs> but look, we needed the stroper encounter anyway. We did, we did. Because this is the last encounter we're going to get, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> bah. Good night, Mutski. <laughs> 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 Not even on the screen anymore. What? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Just gone. Completely gone. I can't even see. Who? Who? Who are we talking about? <laughs> they gone. That, see, you remember we were talking earlier about like doing Ramu's little fetch quest with his fanfic? Mm -hmm. And he'd give you a peridot for your troubles. We just got one, man. 
It just gave us one. So if we ever wanted to learn Ramu, we can. We didn't even need... My goodness. Oh, that's... Still very good. good to get that to the second screen there without a... Yeah. It's pretty typical to get like two encounters on the screen. It's pretty long. Yeah, there's there's some very long screens in this dungeon, so. Oh. Hey. Oh hey. holy ATBs. Here comes the slap. Nice evade. So if we wanted to, we could also kill uh, these Draco zombies. They are also undead. Uh, we can throw you can throw a Phoenix down, but unfortunately PDs don't work as well as you'd hope. They instead set the enemy's HP between 0 and 9. So you've got a 1 in 10 chance to kill them. Uh, you can throw a PD and then basic attack with like VD or Ico or something for a quick kill. Um, but the much faster way to deal with them is throw an entire elixir at them, which kills them. It guarantees a kill in one hit. Um, it is much faster. But unfortunately, elixirs are pretty val val valuable. So we I don't really want to do that. I love how this camera angle just doesn't show Ico at all. Who? Look, exactly. It doesn't exist. They're not there. I've never noticed that before. <laughs> There's also the third option of casting the life spell on un undead enemies, which is a guaranteed kill, but there has like a chance of missing. It has a chance. I believe it's a 10% chance to miss, if I'm not Something mistaken. Something like that. Yeah. That's what it feels you like. You need to heal here. Yeah, yeah, nice. Oops, that's not where I thought they'd be. Um... Nice. Cool. Yep, so there are a number of forced encounters here. This next one, so now we are locked into a battle by going through that transition. Uh, it's funny, because uh, in one of my... I, I, I did co-op with a friend of mine once, nice. and uh, I, I the idea was that I would coach them through the game, but then take control of two characters every now and again. And uh, I didn't tell them to stop. <laughs> and we ran in, and we... I died. Uh. <laughs> we, we got slapped up by these guys, man. They can get you, because they open with strikes, and then yeah, I that believe... can be four of them. Two, between two and four, two and three. Two and three. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they, on, on like the third turn, they'll actually start casting an ability called Melt, which it just kills your. It will kill someone. They, they they kill themselves and they kill something in return. It's it. <laughs> Not ideal. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do they mean business? So healing up before you come into here is pretty good because immediately after this as well, we're going to fight a Draco zombie. Yeah, this is a bit of a janky fight. It's a bit annoying. Yeah. So Zidane uh, is currently wearing the Butterfly Sword, so his damage here is not good. But it doesn't matter because an AoE from VV with Fyra and Cura, because they're undead from Ico, Can is going to... It's not always enough. It's either. typically enough. And naturally, the people that we want to use have the worst ATB, of course. May as well put him in. So sometimes you can low roll between the two characters, and if that happens, then they'll stand still standing. Nice. All dead. Nice. So do you remember what your time for Ifa Tree was? Was it how was it in comparison to the You wanna know? Yeah, I do. Uh, 440. Nice. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> no, it's not that good. But, uh, I mean, it, 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 it's pretty good. <laughs> sure. Yeah, no, that's, I think that's fast enough. No wonder it was a record. It's no not a bad time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, do you actually remember all of your split times? Um, Most more or less. I mean, crazy. there's probably a few that I don't remember. Because I don't remember one point. I, I, certain, I certainly don't remember yeah, the... the I certainly don't remember the seconds, but... Nice. Just take them out. Just get out. Yep, so opting to use an elixir here just because... Just please don't take a turn. Just just die, die yeah. please. Yep. And we get another elixir at the bottom. There's two pickups we need to do with the very very bottom. Yep. Here, so we are level 15. Oh, very nice. That's what I wanted to hear. You were always going to be on 15. You have to, like have someone be, be not alive there and kill a Draco zombie to make it 16. It takes quite a bit of effort to make it to six, level 16 here, but it's fine. So in this coming fight, there's going to be a little menu here to do. Uh, so this this is actually a really, really, really important fight. It's extremely simple. Uh, it, I, I'm not bigging it up too much, I hope. 
<laughs> but ultimately, Zidane is learning quite a lot of things during this encounter. And for the first time, in the chest uh, behind the tree is um, a shirt called the Brigandine. the Brigandine, which has an ability on it called Ability Up, which doubles the ability points gained whenever ability points are gained. I'm gonna let him do his menu first before I say anything. Yeah. Dude. Uh, that's not really good. Pretty nice. Mm, ability. Nope. Uh, ability and something like Yeah, you got it. So, was there ever a point when you guys set this guy on fire? No. No? <laughs> you were always aware of how, how dumb did you think we were? I'm just asking the question, man. I just, we're, just yeah. we're just showing it out there. You know, you get, don't know, don't ask, don't know. <laughs> I've seen some people casually playing this, actually, like, and it's not apparent that it's an undead monster at all. In FF8, they do eventually, uh, eventually read you uh, a little tutorial on this tree. Uh, we do have like a minute before Soul Cage, don't we? I think we do. Yeah. yeah, if there's time for a quick, one quick message. Yeah. I'll get through as quickly as I can. We have just taken a, a number of donations. We've had a $12 donation from Pendle Steven, who says, Kupo, a $50 donation from Jibben, who says, I'm so sad I couldn't be there to optimally switch the discs for you. You'll just have to live with that time loss. <laughs> also, a life tree for life. I think that's a typo, but we'll let them off for it. <laughs> we have a $100 donation oh. from Caillou, who says, thank you for showing this. One of the best Final Fantasies in such a fun way. I really enjoy watching this. Also, Lani seems so good. We should recruit Lani. And a $100 donation from Lone Wolf, who says, Lana! Oh, oh, I mean, Lani! <laughs> Lani has now taken the lead in the naming, um, so Amaranth's name is currently going to be Lani, um, but that all still could change. Oh, and we hit $59,000 raised, by the way. Nice. So, unfortunately, Soul Cage here got off the turn before we got to kill it and use a level Pick up Z, yeah? yeah. Okay, I didn't see it, that's all. <laughs> Who did I pick up? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Very important for Zidane to be alive, uh, alive here for the reason Brutal's mentioned. He gets a ton of AP here now. It's like 18? Uh, it's yeah, nine, it's right? nine, nine times two, yeah. Yeah, so uh, it's going to teach us Protect Girls, it's going to teach us Flee, it's going to teach us Alert. Uh, I think there's more to it than that, but it's... Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite And also a lot of AP towards actually learning ability of itself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good fight. It's a good Fun fight, yeah. It can go. You, were, you were thinking about <laughs> reacting to it. No, yeah, I was waiting. I wanted to see what's yeah. going to go through. Uh, yeah, so they can they can really juke you. They can really get in there and uh, make you think that you got your turn priority. So it, what would have happened there if Waves actually would have taken his turn is, even though he's holding ATB, Soul Cage probably may have already queued his turn. It's, it's impossible a, to There's know. a bit of a delay between it choosing his attack and it actually starting to occur. Yeah. So you got to take your time there and just kind of be careful with it. Yeah. There is another little bit of a cutscene here, if there's still stuff remaining. I'm not sure if that updated. But it, it, it is updated, yes. We do oh, still have yes. more, to, to, more to go. So we had a $21 donation from the man who just keeps getting even better. That's Robo Sparkle, still in the room with us here. He says, sniping $59,000 before stream one gets their dirty mainstream mitts on it. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> that definitely was the one that took us over uh, the 59K as well. So thank you for that, Robo Sparkle. And a $10 donation from Amart, who say, hey. some say this game is brutal. Some say this game is awesome. I say this game is brutally awesome. <laughs> Good luck to the both of you. Um, problem is that Amart put that donation towards the name of Steiner. Um, oh. So it, it is all still to play for. We've got Lani at $391, Steiner at $226. Uh, Forson coming up the back at $90. But I will also very briefly mention we have now opened the incentive for the blindfolded hedgehog pie. Um, for two hundred dollars, if we can hit two hundred dollars to that incentive, our runners will tackle the Hedgehog Pie game blindfolded. I'm taking everything really slowly from now. On. I'm like terrified of uh, things going. Do you? So I'm making everybody curious. That's this. Yeah. Yep. My Shabby Heelsy. May want to heal. You can just use just burn Ico's uh, yeah. uh, mana. 
actually going to do it here in the room because anything crazy mm -hmm. happens. I'm just. <laughs> I'm uh, <laughs> in like crisis uh, recovery mode. He is actually shaking. It's kind of crazy. I've never, I've never not... seen him this shook before. The man does not want to get trolled. <laughs> yeah, true. So uh, the coming mountain pass encounters. In fact, we haven't seen any yet. That's We've actually thing, been actually, kind yeah. of lucky. How many encounters was that? Like six? I think, I don't know. I think it felt like five in. It wasn't tree. too many. It was pretty, pretty good. It was, good. it was a good number of encounters. Anyway, um, so uh, this is we have one more time. We have to cross this mountain pass after this. And we are hoping that we don't see a pack of trolls, which are green dudes right. with a shield and spear and a red mane. Nice. Nice, nice encounter skip. Yeah. And there. some kind of solution that they pour on you that berserks you. Yeah. Exactly. Trolls. Internet keyboard warriors. Yeah. So if they berserk, it's, okay, it's whatever. If they berserk anyone else, but if they berserk Zidane, again, it relinquishes your ability to cast flee. So you can't actually bring yourself out of the encounter. You either have to fight them. Do I need and, to save before Emert? Uh, you yeah. I save. You, you have to leave. To save. I mean, if 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 Amran's going to be named Lani, then you know that can only promise bad things. So yeah. save it might be prudent. <laughs> You said you didn't know what happened, I right? <laughs> You're not supposed to be in the know here about what's <laughs> happening. Yeah, unfortunately, there isn't too much an opportunity to save for him. This isn't the best opportunity for it. So, Amarant... I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway. <laughs> I'm going to actually go ahead and say it. Amarant shouldn't be able to kill us. I've never died. I've, I've, <laughs> I've, never, di I've never died in a run I'm to I'm going to go ahead and say I've it. I've never died in a run to Amarant. He shouldn't well, kill I've us. I've never died in a run to Lanny either, so there we go. <laughs> this things can just happen. This is uh, how it goes. You do, uh, you do kind of have to get a little bit too. Yeah, Amarin can put you in situations where you it's have to just crits and misses is really yeah. where it's going to be yeah. an issue. And hopefully we see us getting crits and Amarin's getting the misses, and then we should be okay. Indeed. So uh, Iko, unfortunately, has, she's been been robbed. They took my gem. Came into her house, took her stuff. Imagine stealing from children, man. <laughs> I forgot she's a child. Yeah. Imagine like literally, literally stealing a, a child, from babies. living on her own in the middle of absolute nowhere. Somehow, the Muggles, the Muggles take care of her. Come on, man. She, and she can, she can, <laughs> she can cook. We saw this. She, she made, can, can cook. she it's, fish of some kind? It's some sort of. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> she, there you go, Quinn. What it done? Ah, that's true. <laughs> That's, so she's fine to steal from them. It's like a so thing. Yeah, it's yeah, okay thing. to steal from her then. All right, cool. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> On the outer continent, she's legally an adult. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. No, 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 no. Dangerous territory. Oh, baby. Who screamed this man? <laughs> <laughs> Who let this guy in here? <laughs> man. <laughs> so, coming up in the Amaran fight, there is a chance. Oh, there is a yes. chance. It exists. Uh, Amaran can actually hit you for so much damage that it will make your HP end in seven. I've which never means, done it. Which means you can go for lucky sevens. I. <laughs> <laughs> but he does have to give it to you. He has to give it to you. He does have to give it to you. Oh, baby. Uh, Amaran has just over 8,000 HP. Uh, no, sorry, nine, he's just, just, just short of 9k, 9K yeah. which is 5 attacks, really. Yeah, 5 attacks as long as they all do about 800 each. If yeah. they do a bit. If you're low rolling, it can be a bit low. True. Uh, but along with a lucky 7, you can you can two-turn it. It, it. You can actually, the, the god fight does exist in that he hits you, knocks counter. you into sevens range, you counter him, and then you sevens and it connects, and you can just floor him instantly. And you know, you know who's had that in a run? Have you done that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why I always go for it, man. <laughs> I love believing. I'm a believer. What can I say? So technically, we could have... This is actually like two Lannies on screen if the donations fail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they both got red air. Same thing. They're both really angry. <laughs> <laughs> They've put up for a scrap. Yeah. Let's go. Imagine if he used that that boxing stance when he was in combat rather than this whatever this is supposed to be this please don't hit me in the face stance <laughs> <laughs>
Let's go. Here we go. Okay, Amherst. so Let's Amherst, some counters. Amherst is pretty fast. You typically can't get in front of him. I don't, actually, I don't even know if you can get in front of him, but he usually it's, 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 it's not uncommon that he takes two turns while you take one. Then he's going to start hopping around the battlefield. And you can only hit him in certain positions. Uh, no sir. You can get a turn here, which is nice. So he's going to jump away. And one chunky hit. Not the first position, but this second position, you can actually hit him. Give him a little tickle. Play. Pray that it doesn't miss. Nice. Two hits. See, it's going to counter that. Fair about... No, oh, that's an enormous miss. That's a huge miss because that does more damage from the counter position. Exactly. Now we wait for him to go back to the center. Nice. That's three. Two more to go. One counter attack and we're good to go. No uh, counter. Unlucky. No seven, sir. What is this, man? You got eight and six. I'm furious. Oh, oh, nice. but... Counter him. Zidane, I'm begging you. You're going to have to heal, unfortunately. Yeah. So you can actually... That's an ether. Ah, you can actually hit him in this position, but it'll counter you right here. When he jumps to the middle right position, you can hit him for free, though. He doesn't counter from that position. It's actually worth a little bit of damage, but I don't think we're going to have ATB in time. He's going to come back yeah. to central. Yeah. No, it's going to hit me. It's all good. Unfortunately, that's just how Amaranth goes fifth, sometimes. Yeah. Let's get a miss. No counters whatsoever. Finally, oh, there it is. Finally, the counter to finish late, it off. But... A bit late, but better than never, I guess. Uh, I wish that had missed. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the same team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it would have been funny. It would have been funny. It would have been funny. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. So he's going to scurry off. We probably won't see him ever again. I was just thinking. Yes. Do you want to forge a forge another save and just like skip the start of this three? I thought about it actually. That might be a better. That might be a better way than trying to do a CSR later and keep keeping the show on the road. Yeah. So the, 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 um, basically, the, the start of this three, the end of this two, is that there's so much downtime. It's about 30 minutes overall, from like when you finish the final fight in this two. Yeah, there's 25 minutes. Of, yeah. of there is a shop when you buy three things um, with very minimal movement and a lot of turbo. Uh, so it might be a good place to catch up. It might be up. a good place to like catch up small <laughs> because we don't want to, we don't want the whole marathon to run way behind because of a uh... yeah. So I can keep it moving and whatnot, and if you can make a save or something, we could uh, we could just cut that bit out. <laughs> um, once I head back here, we do have. Some cutscene also. Perfect time for me to jump in and just yep. give you this last donation, a $20 donation from Alco, who says, speaking of favorites, my favorite FMV is the one at the end of disc two, when Kuja gets on his dragon and flies off. Mm -hmm. Kuja is almost as handsome as Robo Sparkles, isn't he? <laughs> um, and uh, naturally, I, I disagree. Um, <laughs> not anywhere near as handsome as Robo Sparkles. Um, I am ending my shift here. We, I'm going to hand you over to the ever so wonderful Poker for Kauti who will take you through the next couple of hours of your run. All the very best. I hope... Um, I, uh, we'll just leave it at I hope. <laughs> we hope to. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so we've got, a, we've got a, a bit of dialogue, about five minutes of dialogue and a cutscene um, before Amaranth's actually going to join our party. So I'll, I'll, I'll clue him in a little bit yep. later on, but uh, the... Don't, Donation incentive is going to be closing fairly soon. If you uh, want to have your say on whether or not he's... I think Steiner and... Um, what's the other one? Uh, uh, Lani, Lani, of Lani, course. Yeah. Of course it's Lani. <laughs> uh, it's just troubling. <laughs> I need the memory card. Yeah, sure. It's just troubling. So it's not a big, uh, not a big issue going on at the moment. No worries. We can actually have time, and if I get this done, we might be able to, uh, yeah, scoot ahead a little bit from the downtime industry, rather than um, pushing things too late and trying to score you later on to correct the situation. So this and this. You gotta trust us. We're doing you a favor. <laughs> no one likes to start a history. No one wants. To Nobody see likes to start no a history. No one wants to see Hold on for a second. Yeah. Sure. You don't need to do anything with it. But I want to do something with basically it. Basically, plays itself. I'm pressing buttons. You can't stop me. <laughs> 
so okay, what do I do? Like a sand save? Or just no. after the... Four cards. Oh yeah, sorry. We're not skipping cards under no, no circumstances. No, no, no. We skip Absolutely cards. not skipping cards. No, 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 no. Not in this house. I won't sorry, have sorry. it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's think of something else. Um, so this is the one here. Yeah, so after... We can go to the end of this too, happily. And swap over the CD and whatnot. But um, there is literally... The, 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 so the card split itself is 20 minutes and about two minutes of it is cards, <laughs> typically. Um, and the rest of it is just a very, 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 very basic movement around Alexandria and uh, walking across Treno <laughs> yeah. is hardly exciting and it's a whole lot of this. So th the story right now, Dagger is, uh, <laughs> there's more trauma. Because this game, if there's nothing this game loves more. That's the pirates part from the beginning of the game. Yeah, yeah. It, no, I love this, this is the intro of the game. I love this part of at World's End. <laughs> so, um, Dagger is realizing that the, the eye she saw in the sky that day was... What was it? <laughs> I can't remember. No, she's, well, she, she, she doesn't no, quite she, remember that that's at this right. point. But she, she remembers being in a board from Madin Siri. Yeah. She saw uh, Madin Siri under attack. Uh, it's the 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 sunset casting its uh, its light over Madain Sari's, reminding her of why she was in the boat in the flashback at the very beginning of the game. And so it's revealed that she is actually from here uh, and is part of the tribe of summoners that Aiko is also a part of. Was thought to be the last survivor of, but in fact, Garnet actually ran away from here as a child mm -hmm. and ended up in Alexandria. Okay, I've never saved before carrots. Where's the Moogle? It's on the right. I went to it, the right. You talk to it. Go in here. Ah, uh, interesting. Never saved before carrots. Go. Why would you? Exactly. Yeah. Moogle, can you stop uh, running around? <laughs> there we go. So, you guys will see it when we load in. But one of the one of the worst bits of blindfolded. It was cards, right? Yeah. <laughs> the cards were pretty nasty, but between each round, because there was a lot of losing going on, as you can probably imagine, but interacting with the Moogle, because it's the only Moogle that moves, <laughs> and mm. it's just kind of running around in the background. Oh, yeah. And the worst bit about it is it's so far away, you can't hear anything. So you're just kind of mashing and hoping. You can hear, <laughs> like, I'm in, let's save my game, please. <laughs> But no, immediately after cards anyway is a section where Alexandria is Alexandria is next on the chopping block. That place is, is going to get blown is, up uh, after that. So long. Yeah. Yep. And in Alexandria, when it's under attack from these monsters called the Mystodons, they're weird like centipede slash slug things, right? And actually, to interrupt myself, uh, if Wait. we could get the incentive for Amaranth. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not auto. It's not auto. It's not auto. So it, we're closing it now? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. close right. it Sure, uh, and the name will then be Lani, L-A-N-I. Hey. Nice. Thank well you done. to everyone who donated towards uh, this bit work. Thank you so much. Because it raised over $727. So Dang. Thanks a lot. Dang, dude. Oh, we could all forget about Lenny. No. no. Nope, she's but coming with us, she's mate. She's coming for the ride. But did none of the Steiners make it in then? Uh, no. no Actually, none after of them yesterday, did. every name was Steiner in the bid war. Yeah. And now we have no Steiners whatsoever. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> I've got some time at the NDB for to finish that. Yeah. So, we are returning to Ether Tree now. We have been given word that Kuja is there, I think, and yep. he's, we gotta stop him, somebody's gotta stop him, and it may as well be me. <laughs> well, waves. Yeah. <laughs> but we're the same, right? We're, we're yeah, team. we're a team, we're a team. Yeah. Well, so we're a team until you die. 
<laughs> uh, that was all you, buddy. <laughs> so now we might get to see some of the ogre encounters that we mentioned from the troll. There they are. Fortunately, it's just one. So if we do see that we haven't healed, it's by the way. But it's a good job we healed outside the combat. It's all good. Um, so there's a, there is a brief menu that you're supposed to do, but it's not that big a deal. It, just back rowing Amara and topping people up, yeah. that kind of thing. Usually dropping an ether on uh, Zid uh, Zidane. Or, oh, sorry, my dude. Even my dude and ether if he's feeling thirsty. Ah, ether Z. Do the new cure you. And then back roll it. Back roll the dude. Correct, Amundo. Very nice. Let's go. So the final starter of this two. Before we get into the Aoife tree, uh, we will be going through a few more screens. If we find a stroper, we can we can soft that one too. Mm -hmm. It's no longer a required part of the route. It was kind of semi routed out. It helps, but it's not required. Uh, it gives us a couple of backup AP points just in case other things don't quite go so smoothly later on. But more importantly, just getting a bit of extra gill is is always pretty tidy. Yeah. So if I do see one, I'll snap it up. It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. It actually sends, it saves something like a two seconds fleeing over throwing this off and watching the reward screen yeah. or something like so that. It's it's negligible, but there is something in it. It is something that you can do. And there he is. Man, he is standing perfectly upright. <laughs> One of his feet is not even connecting with the dragon he's flying on. <laughs> he is hovering. He is very powerful. Can I skip the encounter check this time? Or will we never know? Nice. Let's say I did. Guaranteed skip. Did skip that one though. Can't, can't <laughs> skip that one though. <laughs> Not with that attitude. We can't skip that one. <laughs> hey, it's a stropper. We get to go. Stropper. Stropper? Stropper. Stropper. <laughs> stropper. <laughs> Swipe. That really stings, man. It does. It is. I always thought it was really funny how the AOE attack actually dealt more damage than the single target. Yeah, it was actually. It snap. really canes, man. He did, in fact, become too soft to exist on this <laughs> mortal plane. <laughs> Wowzers. Wowzers. Wow, easy. Wow, we. Okay. Yeah. I just well kill there. Yeah. The ATV was horrible. Yeah. Don't think it's gonna hinder any experience things or anything. Use action abilities. Yeah, I love using action abilities personally. <laughs> nice. Mm. Right. Getting ready to get Billy Mitchell in here. Start cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, actually, maybe just take over and do Mistos as well. And then that way, even at the end of disc, are we going to watch the end of disc two? Or uh, gonna, like, yeah, yeah. We're watching the end of disc two, then it's fine. I think they then want to see the cutscenes and but stuff. It's, um, yeah, okay, leave it alone, so it's good. We'll do it after. There is time there. So the the final gameplay segment of this this part of the game is uh, just a number of the Mistodons that we're actually going to be fighting later on. They're a little bit less dangerous now because we have four party members and there's typically only one of them at a time. Um, Zidane is actually geared up in a way where he can he can dispatch them in one hit most of the time. Uh, he might need a little bit of help from Vivi or Amarant. Amarant's actually a really, really fast attacker at, the mo at this point in the game. He's he's pretty good at polishing up after Zidane low rolling. Uh, but you can also use uh, Elixirs and Phoenix Downs between, uh, or even Casting Life, sorry, between the other three party members to kind of dispatch other mobs. I feel like the first, it goes a single encounter, then a double and then the next one is random and then may the, the other variance is there might be a fourth 
As in, like, there may be a fourth encounter entirely. Uh, yeah. He is very... What's he called again? Ralph. Oh, yes. Was Ralph around? Oh, Ralph. He was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well... Depending on what you mean by my time, if if you mean while while What's I was running, we won't we weren't calling him Ralph. Okay. Uh, Hollow came up with that. Ah, uh, okay. But I was I was I was still you know actively around at that time. But... Affectionately known as Ralph. Just just Ralph just come out of nowhere. Is that where it was just, from? Uh, Hollow just named him that. I don't know. Ask him. <laughs> oh, Ralph. <laughs> yeah. So when you're navigating down this large branch, which weirdly enough they've actually programmed momentum, the momentum system, which is only present on a single screen. Which, for some reason, there is momentum behind Zidane. You just hold down left anyway, uh, but he will slowly begin to pick up pace and very quickly, and then uh, <laughs> just carry on, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, sometimes if you get the first Mr. Don really early, then you can get another one after that. Alternatively, you can also get exceedingly lucky and not get any, uh, which has never happened to me either, but I've seen it happen to like one or two people. So yeah, the, 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 pretty much the one in a million is worth, I don't know, 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. That's for the lunatics like Reverb. Which, if you don't know, he's a runner who's done, by my count, three full segmented runs of yeah. this game. Three? I thought it was only two. No, he's, he's been at this for a long time. Dang, that's a lot. Let's see. Yeah, so he, he actually only recently finished it, didn't he? His latest one. the point. third one, yeah. Yeah, uh, so segmented is a category where you're allowed to make saves and then reload that save until you get an outcome that you want. And any, you can probably wait for him, wait for him. Uh, if you, uh, you, you, you would be able to then reload the save and attempt the segment again. And if you didn't get a good sequence, you can cut that bit out and try again. So it become it, it boils down to trying to get the absolute best sequences and kind of just like putting them all back to back. Which um, you can imagine in a game like this takes quite a number of resets. Yeah, they they end up just cutting out most of the abilities that don't immediately make you faster. For example, so one that's going to be coming up soon is an ability called Accuracy Plus, which completely negates the ability to miss. You cannot miss with Accuracy Plus equipped, um, which obviously for a speed run, brilliant. Yes, yes please. Uh, but unfortunately, you can only teach two people at a time. So there's like, you know, mismatching, giving it to this guy, give it to that guy, menuing that goes on to sort it out amongst a number of other abilities. But for example, Rev Reverb in his segmented run just doesn't do it. <laughs> and just, I, if I miss, I just turn it off. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Absolute madman. Yeah. I think he was working on the current run for about three years. They, they started taking exponentially longer. The first one was like a, a matter of months, and then the second one was considerably longer than that. And the third one has been years in the making. Really nice ATV. My dude. My dude. So, uh, that was the first two absolutely mandatory first encounters. We're going to exit south here, and then hopefully we only see one more encounter that's going to chase up. That encounter can either be one or two Mr. Dons itself. Wow. That was very, very early. early. Very early. Be seeing early. our friend Ralph. I think Ralph might be atten in attendance of ESA today. Only one miss, though, here. Again, it's it's random for these ones on the branch. How many you get? That's, that's good. Fine. And a counter. counter. Sure. Nice. Perfect though. He's ready to go again, Lane. Wow. Nice. Paradox. That's going to be really good for learning Ramu. <laughs> we also do get to sell it. I don't know what it's worth. Is it worth anything? We didn't no. sell them all. No, never worth anything. The only one that has any value is, I think, an ore. Oh, yeah, we do sell the ores. There nice. he is. Nice. Come on, Ralphie. All right, Ralphie. And it's, he's brought his friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's a party now. Uh, Do it. Yeah. Do it. You're loading a save anyway. <laughs> 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 Throw all the elixir. <laughs> 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 uh, Deal with Ralph in style. <laughs> Nice, very good fight. Perfect. 
<laughs> is there potential for a third one? No, it's really not. Very good. Okay. We're going to swap. Johnny used to use that for a minute, and I'll uh, get this sorted here. All right, I'm going to make sure that Turbo doesn't, like, break or something while you're sorting this out. Hold on to the Koami. I'm holding, your life. I'm holding it. Paying close attention to it. Um, we do have about five minutes of worth of time for donations when we read or any messages. Oh, read. dang. That's perfect because we just got two hundred and fifty dollars from Sanatrion without a comment, but all of that goes to the hard mode incentive in Kenna, Bridge of Spirits, that actually only needed a hundred dollars. <laughs> so that's kind of overkill, but thank you in a very good way. <laughs> so that's done. Um, Kenna will be. Kenna will be shown in the hard mode then. Thank you very much for that huge donation. Uh, we also have $5 from Two Lights Pongold saying, and this is an impression, so I'll do my best. Ba, ba, ha, ba, ba. Ba. Thank you. <laughs> um, I would just like to remind you that you are watching ESA Summer 2023. We are raising money towards Alzheimer Fund, which is the Swedish. Uh, National Alzheimer Foundation and we've raised uh, over 50 well actually really close to $60,000 right now so you can help us get there and namely uh, your motivation should be that we are still missing um, quite a bit on our um, blindfolded incentive for this very game where our runners will tackle the Hedgehog Pie minigame blindfolded we are right now at $15 on that and we will need uh, 200 and that should be um, that should be done soon so get your donations in remember to pick this as your donation of choice and as I'm saying this Alco gives us or rather sends Alzheimer Fund and ten dollars uh, with the comment hello Ralph and that is going uh, towards the blindfolded hedgehog pie incentive indeed thank you very much Wowie that's a big old dono Thank That's you guys. Big box coming. Wow, we kind of living it up. Meanwhile, uh, Kuja is mind controlling. D I mean, Bahamut over here, and um, Bahamut is now turning on Queen Bran. Oh yeah, I believe so. Turning her on. <laughs> Brutals, please. <laughs> Family show. <laughs> okay, I think I have this sorted. So, this will uh, hopefully sort. All right, see you later, Kuja. Alleviate all. Nice work, buddy. Okay. Uh, Turbo is coming. Actually, it's not coming to an end. Not this coming this. to an end. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> see, how can you just stand there, stone cold, like he is, watching? He's a monster. He's a he monster. He is a monster. He is a villain. Heartless. No one is safe from his wrath. Okay, but do we really sympathize with Bronn? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, she's human. It, Dang, dude. Yeah, Phoebe's not, I guess. Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> 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 okay, this should, hopefully. Do a cheeky save to slot two before we start. Mm -hmm. Just in case anything goes. Hey, work. And we should be good to go. Alright, this will all be done. Well. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be <laughs> mitigating. We're, we're doing what's called this three skip. Wait. Which is... <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? I don't think it transferred right. Actually, I'm thinking outside. Thinking to myself. 
Okay. Oh, um, oh this. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm, I'm scared now. Stressed. Just, I'm stressing myself. It probably is fine, but I'm gonna make sure. Uh, so the, the start of this three is 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 a. Uh, the, because the games we've we've done quite a lot of action at the minute. The developers, I believe, they decided they wanted to slow things down a little bit, give the player a bit of a chance to decompress, uh, allow some stories to develop, let you do some talking, some exploring around some areas you've already been to and whatnot. Um, but ultimately, not a whole lot happens. We'll do a synthesis. We're going to synthesize something called the Angel Bless and another power belt. Uh, so we've got two power belts at this point, which is very good. Uh, those are going to pretty much carry us through a lot of the boss fights coming up. Uh, they're going to allow us to do a lot more damage than we currently are. And the Angel Bless is going to really, really help us out in a number of fights. Not only is it boosting our damage quite a lot, but uh, we used Soul Blade earlier with Zidane on um, Gizamaluk. But the Angel Bless has another kind of status ailment strapped to it. And this one is Confuse. Okay. Save. Anyway. Nope. <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> Um, there's no way. Is there anything we can save now before we do the this one? The chapel? Not close? for a bit. Probably. Probably. That's probably nasty. Do you want to just try it? It's up to you. <laughs> you you're the save master. <laughs> <laughs> it's I don't your know. problem now. <laughs> um, this is actually my segment, so it is my problem now, actually. If I had a. Uh, you know what? See, I, if we had no, no, saved, you know what? I trust. I believe in my team. Are we doing it? I believe in my team. Do we believe? I believe. I believe in my team. Now plug me in, Yugi boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it. I believe. 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 I'll plug you in. Like, what's, what's... Yep. Fastest speed should stay on from all the resets we've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> if you reset enough, it stays on. We're good. So we're going to skip straight ahead to Trano. We're going to skip all that nonsense for you and take you straight into the next bit of action. Yeah, to quickly speed run the commentary of what, what you're missing. Uh, let's see. Garnet becomes queen, or Spoon becomes queen now that her mother is dead. <laughs> yes. uh, Zidane feels sad about not being able to see her, has a quick meeting that goes absolutely nowhere. There's a bit of a comedy routine with some letters. Uh, and then... Zidane decides, okay, screw it, I'm going to go play cards in Treno, and that's where we're picking up. And what better thing to do when we're feeling a little bit sad but go and play some trading cards? Who's ready for cards? I love trading cards. No! Let's go. It's After. time. After. After cards. But not immediately after cards. Oh, yeah, wait. Yeah. Yes. Right. If you guys want to explain trading cards, this is a game of zero RNG. <laughs> Said nobody ever. Even casually, this game is a nightmare. Um, so, as you can see, if you played FF8, Triple Triad, or Tetra Master, um, Triple Triad, yeah. the arrows take the cards that they're pointing at, and you win that card. In this game, that's just a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> you just point the cards at the other cards and hope for the best in the battles and hope that you win. It, um,. It is not great. What we have to do here is you have what to What do you mean it's not great? I'm into the game, not you. I it's know it's great. The what, card game itself. What trading cards? He's, um... No, not that one. It's interesting. The... We have to win the first two, no matter what. We will stay here, and it will keep making us play the first two games until we win. Uh, the third one is optional, win or lose, and it gives us the rebirth ring, should we win, which is very nice to have, not... No RNG, full skill. Perfect. Uh, we're already winning. We're already winning. Beautiful. Nice. 2-0, two 2-0. Zero, two zero. This is the important one. So here we go. I need to go and save it. I need to go and save it. Yeah? Yeah. Because you can die the next bit, remember? Oh, it's, yeah. Yeah, oh, it's yeah, Mistodon's next. We're not saving for the card game. We're yeah. saving I, for the Mistodon. As you might have noticed there, Brutals very skillfully made it so that the opponent's card, even though it had a higher number, rolled a lower number. <laughs> <laughs> Complete um, skill. It was, it was, it was. You, you laugh, but I'm right. <laughs> oh, boop, boop, boop. 
<laughs> so this is the Nobody one that matters, right? Nobody shame anymore. <laughs> Yeah, so here we go. Turns out that uh, the actual champion that we need to defeat is Sid himself. And he is still being an Oglop. He only plays Oglop cards, which are uh, weak to magic. They're all physical, is that correct? They're uh, physical. Yeah, they're yeah. all physical. Yeah, no so magic they're defense. weak to magic. So I'm still can... taking the same cards. That's fine. But if there is to be a battle, uh, magic has the to battle. advantage. Potion seller, I need your strongest magic cards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I cannot give them to <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Oh, baby. Take it. There's no way we lose, right? <laughs> no, yeah. Zero RNG involved here. We're top right. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Nice, nice. Obviously. Nice, nice. nice. Obviously, Easy. obviously, <laughs> split. I mean, it's it, it's pretty easy when you go second every game. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah. Thanks for making that RNG uh, save for me. I'm no sure. problem. Yeah, I gave you good cards. That's nice, nice. That's what I had to redo second time to give you cards. <laughs> I was like, wait, I forgot to give it the best cards. <laughs> Uh, we have time for this uh, donation, if you like. Yes, your time to read a donation, by all means. Awesome. Uh, we have $50 from Tokmain uh, saying, can we play Triple Triad instead? You know, the actually good Final Fantasy card game. Absolutely. And that goes in its entirety to the blindfolded Hedgehog Pie, nice. uh, which is right now at, let me just quickly refresh, uh, it, which is now at $65 out of 200 so we're just missing $135 to get the Hedgehog Pie minigame blindfolded. So make sure to mark this as your as your incentive of choice thank you see here's the thing we could we could play triple triad but if we did we would then one shot every boss after this point and where would be the fun in that come at me fantastic FFA fans fantastic speed run excuse me fantastic speed run but yeah it is uh, that is true you can actually manipulate the entire game in FFA so it's uh, it does make the cards much more reliable and consistent so yeah we've one more little section again the reason this section can be anyway dangerous is once again same status ailment as the dogs earlier on is sleep dags so instead of the dags uh, sleeping us it's the bugs sleeping us carefully got to select some options here to get us some angel earrings which are very important there's no way i'm gonna kill the priests <laughs> Oh, babe. That was close. That was close. <laughs> that was very That was close. optimal is what you're optimal, saying. Optimal, yeah. That was optimal mashing. The power of the cheat box, mate. There you go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is a pretty decent pace for this far on the run. <laughs> We're doing quite well now, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're actually doing Look quite well. Look at that. Right? No, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Back on track. It's like close to my PB-ish. Back on track. Okay, so the first two fights are actually skippable, and obviously I'm going to skip them. Obviously. So here we go. Miss it on skips. There's two screens where I have to do this. The first one here, after we do this little short menu. Very nice. Um, we're going to try bait this guy to the right, and he's going to run. He kind of, once he goes past the barrel, Brutal's going to scoot left, come down along, and he can't get us. This next one is a bit more interesting. So there is like a trigger line at the bottom of the screen, but if you kind of walk one pixel over it, you can uh, skip it. Nice, there we go. Well done. There is another setup for that. You can use the turbo controller, the turbo all the way down, or you can uh, use the standard sword as a visual cue, set it up on the right, and then run directly, on the left, sorry, and then run directly right, and it will uh, also skip the encounter. So it is very, very possible, cool. very manageable. Sponsored by Cheatbox. Sponsored by Cheatbox. <laughs> Okay, please don't sleep, my friends. Ooh. Oh, he's thinking about it. All right, okay. This section essentially kind of exists to catch up Steiner on levels a bit because he's been out of the party for Very most of Disc 2. Yeah, all the end of Disc 2, the, on the Aoife tree and stuff, he's just 
not present at all, so it's nice to catch up. Yeah, we haven't had Stunner around for ages, yeah. Probably about half eight to ten hours of like casual gameplay. And on that fact as well, like we mentioned before, about going up levels and your level your max HP increasing, so after we do the first fight here, it's worth topping everyone back up again because they've got new maximum HP values that we want to reach. Yeah. And it can, should keep us safe enough for the next few fights. As long as there's no sleep shenanigans. As long as we don't feel a little sleepy. Yeah. Most of these remaining fights are also with only one miss at all, which isn't nearly as scary. No, true. I'm just gonna be greedy. Do it. Never punished. <laughs> so, I mean, we could have taken priority with uh, Beatrix there and cast life, which has got a very good chance to kill. Uh, very, very slim chance to not kill. Or I can uh, be greedy like I was and just wait for Steiner to come around <laughs> and make it be a little bit quicker. <laughs> So hopefully Stun has got good ATV, please. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Nice. Nice. Uh, you're actually taking over pretty much straight away after I this. was just thinking that it's kind of messing with the split now. It's it? okay, man. <laughs> it's me mashing for 20 minutes. I'm, I'm pretty cool with it, actually. <laughs> All good. Steiner? I'm uh, actually going to uh, dip buddy. one second. Ago. Yeah, man. So I'm going to be greedy because I reckon he's going to take his turn anyway. Yeah. There's right, the well. well, I guess I guess we're on this plan anyway. So unfortunately, because we've had to cast life once during the extra section, I'm now below 46 MP, which means I can't cast shock in the final fight which means that there's a chance they can miss and not really much else, to be honest. Shock uh, costs 46 MP. It can't miss. It always kills in one hit. It's it's nice quality of life. I think the animation is basically the same thing as well. But uh, So we're going to both start with zero ATB here, but Beatrix is actually going to outspeed the Misto on the left. So we only the one on the right is actually going to get a turn here, hopefully, unless, of course, we miss. So I'm just going to queue that through. I'm going to let ATB just flow for now. No idea why these Mystodons have different ATBs. Are they like different? Why, why one is faster than the other. But oh, it's yeah. always consistent. Oh, yeah. Of why we get hit at one and not the other, yeah. 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 Interesting. The only variance here is, does that connect? And what does the first Mystodon do? Now that Stein is trancing, he can't actually miss. Uh, when you trance, you actually... Yeah, you, you, your accuracy goes through the roof. and You physically can't miss. It will go through blind, it'll go through yeah, I'll take all sorts of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'll just get to a cutscene if you like. Yeah. I'm terribly sorry for cutting in, but because of some scheduling shenanigans, we have kind of a mix and match today, so I'll be leaving you in the capable hands of Robo Sparkle. Oh, oh. Yeah. Thanks very much. Ooh. Didn't see that. This movement sponsored by Cheatbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I swapped our boots. So there we go. Yeah, go for it. All right, well, that was my section. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> well done on cards. Worked out very nice. Made the, my Disc 4 shenanigans a bit easier. And once I get up the stairs, we do have a, another bit of a break. Yeah, I don't think we actually mentioned. So if you, in the, the only round where the win and lot, oh, I suppose all the rounds matter, right? Because you have to win the first two to progress. So it is actually a, a common place for runs to lose a lot of time. Um, but in the final round going forwards, uh, if you are able to win the game against Tot, they'll give you a Rebirth Ring. Yes. Which, uh, did you it, say against it Tot? Me. Yeah. Well, no, it, not Tot. It's against it's not Tot. It's not Tot. It's Sid. I wish it was Tot. Tot is our friend. Imagine if there was an AT that we could trigger and we could play We do have yeah. another special announcement today because Zwanzig, our fantastic commentator, it's his birthday today. It is. It is. In <laughs> fact. Can we all give Zwanzig? Oh my God! 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Swansea. Happy birthday to you. Hey! I even went shopping and found 20 candles for you. Beautiful. It Thank makes me look very young. You are, you are very young. You're, you're 20 every year. You're 20 I'm 20 every, every year. year. Thank you all so much. 20 with many years experience. I'm going to try to do this without blowing into the microphone. <laughs> hey! I hope you wish for dead guys not to kill us, right? <laughs> Didn't cross my mind. <laughs> We had to make it special. Thank after you. asking you, and then after asking you, you said, well, it's my birthday. I don't want to be here all day. Mm. <laughs> so we had to make it real. Had to make it work well. Thanks very much for being yeah, here. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us, man. I'm probably not going to eat it now, though, because I actually just ate before coming here. Oh, yeah. No worries. <laughs> so if someone else wants you can it. Keep it for just well, later. <laughs> okay. Put it there for later. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Thanks Nash. so much, Nash. Thanks for everything. Appreciate it, dude. Alrighty. And we do have time for the donations, if they're... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Indeed we do. So, uh, Kakins has donated $5 saying, I love you, Brutals. Thanks very much for that. That went to the blindfolded hedgehog pie. <laughs> Scissors also donated towards the hedgehog pie, uh, blindfolded, uh, $10 saying, Hello, Essa. Did you know the Brutals is a champion and world record holder, Hababa Master, yet I've seen him lose Chocobo Race? And to the blue one. <laughs> whoa, Lincoln. whoa, whoa. Slander. <laughs> it's filthy, I know. <laughs> to the blue one, no less. Oh, yeah. my. Ugh. Uh, time for one more? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, Sparks has donated $50. Uh, it's up to you what you do with this. Um, here are 50 bucks for doing 1,000 jumps in the jump rope minigame, if you dare. <laughs> on, on, on a monitor? No, 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 no. No, no, we, can't, we, don't, we don't have CRT. No CRT, it's off the cards. It's, it's off the cards. It's off the cards. Fair enough. That did also go to the Hedgehog Pie, and awesome. I can refresh and let you know where yeah, we're at with Hedgehog Thank Pie. You so much. We are currently $130 out of 200 so let's only go. 70 bucks to go for Blindfolded Hedgehog Pie. Thank nice. so much. Keep donating, let's get that met. Be a bit of fun. Uh, some really awesome cutscenes going on here. This is like. Alexander versus uh, Bams. What an absolute unit, man. Huge. Absolutely huge. Why can we never summon the cutscene, Idolons? Yeah, this would be... He'd surely just defeat Kuja in one go. Though. Too powerful. That looks a lot like Mega Flare from 16. It looks 16, like 16, yeah. yeah. It looks like the 16 thing. Which, uh, that's not an Alexander ability, but I'll, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> this, I guess this is meant to be holy. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe they ripped off Final Fantasy 16. Crazy, oh, dude. Yeah. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Kuja, Kuja was the one that summoned Bahamut, right? Yeah. Yeah, and he's like, he's, he's, he's molding right now, man. He's upset. He's fuming. He is not happy. I can't believe you stopped my Bahamut, he says. So he's like, all right. But look who comes along then. Time to bring in the orbital strike. So the Invincible, which is uh, it's technically it's actually an alien airship. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't really care if whether you've got a summon or not. It's it's ready to go. It's ready to go. And uh, this is the first time that we're actually going to see. Oh, it's the first time we kind of discover. Oh yeah, we see it's Kuja, but it's the first time we kind of discover that it is a ship and not just some weird eye in the sky. Yeah. Old Garlando. Yeah. The plot kind of takes a turn more towards the terror side of things and the, yeah. what's going on with Kuja from this three on. Yeah, Bran is kind of the central antagonist, with Kuja is like this mysterious other character that's kind of, you know that he's a bad guy, you know he's kind of powerful, but Bran is the one that's kind of pushing everything along. You find out that Kuja's kind of puppeting her and whatnot, and then when Bran dies, you're kind of thinking, well, how is Kuja really going to influence the plot anymore? Roll on this three, baby. Roll on this three. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Let's go for a tumble. 
so uh, Waves is going to fight Tantarian right now. Oh, yeah. We, we saved so much time. <laughs> we can, now we can lose our time again by dying to Tantarian. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We can just <laughs> load to <a> Waves. <laughs> just load to the same. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why, why are we doing Tatarian? I'm We're not no. doing Tatarian. Okay, thank God. <laughs> We're not doing Tatarian. <laughs> why did I believe you? <laughs> uh, so this version of Tantarian is actually the easiest one. Because uh, your Pyrum your is quite a lot stronger. He doesn't have the ability to just kill you anymore, really. Uh, but yeah, the benefit is much less at this late in the game. Yeah, unfortunately though, you don't know. You no longer have a really easy way to open the book it's a really weird fight so basically tantarian it's a book with a little blob inside the book and the blob lives uh, between pages 180 and 119 uh, 150 sure. and 200 i thought uh maybe i think it's a little there's short a than that but I, 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 i'm not a tan runner it, it there's, a, there's a, a, a few number of pages between 150 and 200 somewhere in there uh where if you deal damage to it it will open up it, no matter what you hit it for if you hit it for 10 it will open to page 10 and then it will pr presumably say yes or no or, you know whether it's there or not um and then if so if you hit it for 10 and then it, it says nope nothing here and it closes if you hit it for another 10 it will open to page 20. so you are able to like keep chipping away until you find the right page and it rolls over at three four hundred something something like that yeah. yeah but the interesting thing about tantarian is that it actually has max defense and magic defense so dealing it damage while it's closed is really hard. It has access to huge AOE physical damage, which is the worst Famous thing that you storm. want to see. Um, it's got access to Doom, so it can put timers on your party members. And it also has a really powerful single target ability, which in this 2 will kill anyone outright. Um, in this 3 he has the same abilities with the same damage, but it's a little less uh, devastating. And the way that we deal with it in this 2 actually, it, like I said earlier, we actually have the means to open it back then which is using um, Steiner's ability Minus Strike which deals damage based it's static damage based on how much HP Steiner is missing so if he has 100 HP and he's missing 10 he'll deal 10 if he's missing 20 he'll deal 20 and so on and so forth so the way that we do it is we have Zidane to have a specific setup attack Steiner hit him into a range that is very very easy to manipulate and manage based on the, the route essentially that's going to put him into that range so that when we use Mana Strike, it always opens him. And then once he's opened, the only thing that he can do from then on is cast Poison. So as long as you've given... Well, we don't have it in this route, which is part of the reason why it's a little bit more dangerous. We only have Antibody on some party members. In the actual tent routes, they have it on everyone, I believe. Or at least almost everyone. Everyone that quote-unquote matters. Yeah. You can always pick people up at the end of the fight before you kill it. <laughs> And then VV will spend most of the fight focusing to increase his magic stat so that he can deal fire damage. Whereas, unfortunately, in this point, in this 3, Steiner isn't in your party at all. You don't have access to Steiner at all during that. So they had to think of another way to do it. And it's really cool, actually. Um, we, but unfortunately, we don't have it in this route at all. We'd have to go out of our way to grab it. But if you give Amaranth the Poison Knuckles, he can use an ability called Spare Change which, depending oh, yeah. on how much money you have, will deal some damage. And it's there are... so bad in this game. If you've, if, sorry, I, I run FF5 also, where Guild Toss is just the, the strongest the thing in the game. Thing, yeah. In this game, it's so bad. It's, it's really bad. Awful. It, but, yeah. It's awful. But really it bad. can do consistent damage with the right setup, yeah. which okay. helps here. Yeah, you need to have around 20, around 20k. It, this is the difficult thing, is the, number that you, the amount of guild that you need depends on how much spirit Amaranth has. Okay. So there is a, a couple of variables that go into it that make it. I, I've only looked. I've only looked at it. I don't actually know how to manage it. I've, I've just, you know, I don't run the route or anything. <laughs> I've, so I've, every now and again, when if I'm really behind on pace, I'll just be like, you know what, man, let's just do this free turn. And I'll just go and buy some poison knuckles from Treno and just go for it. Um, it's good fun. Auto haste like really changes a bunch of the end game fights and allows you to do some cool stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and the fight itself is really fun. Fun fact, the, the Disc 3 Tant with the spare change and everything was actually the first uh, Tentarian routes that were, uh, oh, really? That oh, were really? okay. tried out. Yeah, back in like 2015 already. Mm. Nice. In fact, I remember being at ESA 2015 and like some people were pulling this up on their phone being like, whoa, there's some crazy Japanese runners like trying oh, Tentarian oh, okay, for some yeah. reason. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. Nice, there you go, there's the number. <laughs> Nice, so right there is an egoist armlet sat in that chest just waiting for us to pluck it. 
Uh, it's not particularly special, except for it has level up on it, which means that if you have that support ability active and equipped, then any experience gain you acquire will be plus one plus plus uh, fifteen extra times one point five. Mm -hmm. I think it's not double, is it? I don't think it's double. Either. <laughs> I think it might actually be double. It's it's more. <laughs> it's more a good experience. chunk more. It's, all it's more experience. Just know you're getting more. It's a good chunk. Um, and well, I don't think it's double, yeah, so maybe it is. Yeah. Uh, we know this uh, game. Uh, oh, yeah. We just know that we need it. So, uh, we use an egoist. Um, it's, it's for light, light male, light, light armor users. So, Quinna, Tadan, uh, Amaranth, they can use the egoist. Whereas, Steiner and Freya are going to be using something called the Iron Helm, which does the same job. It's not a particularly powerful piece of equipment, but it does have level up on it. Nice. Some right. more cutscene shenanigans. We have time for a donation. Yeah, absolutely. We have a forty-two dollar donation from Pendle Stephen that just says, "Happy birthday!" <laughs> Thank you. Hey. So yes, uh, congratulations again on your twentieth birthday. Um, <laughs> again, again. Uh, that's also gone towards Blindfolded Hedgehog Pie. We are now within spitting distance. Twenty-eight dollars remain. Let's go. Let's do it. So for those that don't know what Hedgehog Pie is, because you oh, can't yeah. really gather much from the name of it, yeah, yeah. but uh, Hedgehog Pie... So, Squid Game ripped off Final Fantasy IX. Can you believe it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so Hedgehog Pie is... You've got to sneak up on the hedgehog without him seeing you sneak up on him. Red light, green light. It's red light, green light, yeah, basically. Um, and it's it's pretty it's pretty pretty annoying to do blindfolded because you can only hear when he looks at you and not when he turns away. <laughs> so we have a really cool strategy for dealing with it, which I won't... We get there. I won't explain <coughs> for now until it's met and stuff. Until we've done it. But it's pretty good fun. Yeah, so that's coming up soon. This whole part of um, Disc 3 is just we're going to get a potion for Sid to try and get him back to his former body, his former health, yeah, uh, so that he, can, he, he can't focus on making an airship at the moment, so he's having trouble. He wants to get back to being a human. And so we're going to be nipping around, picking up some bits. Sort him out. Yep, so we're doing it's basically fetch quest. This is the, the, the second downtime section of early this three. So early this three, the first hour or so, while it does have cards and mistodons, which are really good fun parts of the speed run, it does have a lot of uh Limblum and Alexandria and whatnot. A lot of conference room yeah. talking. So this is essentially the sort of content that we uh we sort of trimmed fast earlier when we yeah. so did we our little skipped, three skip. Yeah, fifteen minutes. It's essentially this sort of stuff. Carry on. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, FF8 and FF9 have a good chunk of this kind of thing. Seven is kind of guilty, but a little bit less. So, Seven's got the skips is the problem. Yeah, Seven's <laughs> got the skips past the board. Yeah, so. Seven's held together by hopes and dreams of Anyone Japanese does developers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? This game of skips? I saw the puck skip earlier. Was... Uh, yes, it's <laughs> done the puck true. skip. We also have the Lanny to uh, Chukubu track skip. We did oh, yeah, well, that's yeah. true. Yep, that one was really good. That's a really good skip. That one only took about 20 <laughs> minutes. <to do. laughs> we are keeping the show on the road, damn it. Yeah. Well, if anything, it's been a good ride, right? We've had there fun. You go. <laughs> Man, I love Kuchu. It's just like really dirty here. And it's got. It's oh, yeah, I've never up. actually even He's it, just so. a bit mucky. I'm normally off and getting got... a sandwich during all this. <laughs> This is the downtime to go on a break. He got slapped up pretty hard. He does look pretty scruffy. <laughs> Brilliant. So this is the the Hildegard two. One. This one. is the one. This is the one. He builds this is the, the one. two after. Is there a three? It's three right at the end in the in the credits. Oh. <laughs> I think that. <laughs> I'm trying to remember because I, I think there's three. Isn't the three the one that you get once it turns into human, and the yes. two is the one he attempts to build and can't because he's not human? Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, right. Okay. We never see the two. We see. <laughs> see, Alco here knows all the lore. But... <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's for me. If it doesn't, I don't need to know it to save time. <laughs> it's, uh, if it's not in the speedrun, you don't really know. Yeah. Uh, favorite game, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You only ever skip unimportant things in a speedrun. Exactly. <laughs> no, actually, Nine's got some really, really cool. It's all the ATEs and whatnot that have that allow you to really delve into the lore of it all, and even 
there's like some really hidden stuff, isn't there? In the um, in, oh, what's it called? Medain Sari. Oh yeah. If you head back there in Dis Three and whatnot, with a specific party loadout, and go to a, a, one of the screens, you actually can see Lani there for a moment and have a little chat with her and. She's kind of come to terms with a lot of things. I didn't know that, actually. Yeah, and that's where you can also find out what Dagger's real name is. Ooh, now we're lowering. It's, it's Spoon. spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so we just got... In the midst of all our conversation there about needing an airship, getting Sid back to back to health, um, Ico just ran in, and Mutsuki, I mean, and uh, has informed us that there's something wrong with Dagger. So, uh, with Spoon, rather. And we're going to go check what's going on in here. And, yeah, it's more talking if there's any donations. There is indeed. Um, me1122 has donated five dollars and says waking up with a cover and I get to watch these cuties play FF9. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Thanks very much for, for that. And we have a twenty-eight dollar donation um, from uh, Two Lights Spongled nice. with no comment, but with a specific um, bid that they've put it towards. So we will be doing blindfolded Squid Yay. Game. <laughs> Let's go. Exciting stuff. Delightful. Oh, baby. Yeah, uh, routing blindfolded for this game posed a unique set of problems. And uh, blindfolded squid game was definitely one of them. It, it, <laughs> it took me hours to get that down, man. It's pretty bad. But yeah, that overworld movement was horrendous. I got, so in a, mo in a few moments, we're going to be seeing um, waves navigate from where you get dropped off by Kuja. Mm -hmm. Uh, by the, in the Hildegard uh, airship in the middle of nowhere basically and he has to navigate to Oilvert which is actually in a maze mm -hmm. it's not a very good maze yeah. but it is a maze it's within world map mountains and stuff and uh, it took me over an hour to get there <laughs> <laughs> and I think three attempts we had to keep resetting to a previous save So, the current objective now is to navigate Limblum. So you're not actually given any context clues on where these potions are. Just say, go and have go, a look. Just go talk to people. Try and find them, please. One or two of them, are, like the, the one in the Tantalus workshop or whatever, that one's pretty obvious because like you just go there and it, it queues automatically. But the other two are just NPCs you got to talk to mm -hmm. in random places. So there was a, a macro optimization discovered like maybe a year ago or so regarding this. Let me see if you know this one, Tony. Mm -hmm. So when you are picking up the potions, if you go to the theater district first and you get the two from theater district, so you get the sinner's potion and the artist potion, mm -hmm. and then you go to pick up the beautiful potion from trade district, and then you go into the shop that you can skip the animation of Zidane wondering whether he should ask the shopkeeper if he has the potions. Ah. It saves about a second. Save a second. But the problem with it is that you have to take a completely different route with all these air so cabs. You're picking the second option instead of just mashing and here. It's, it's bad. <laughs> the amount of times I've tried to go for it and just gone the wrong way. And this is a long animation, man. It is. Especially if you end up going back to the castle early because it, it drops you off in one and then it has to take off and go all the way around and it will come back into the bottom one. And you, oh, man. <laughs> it's not good. So we got to do one little shop here. But like Brutal said, yeah, we need to ask. Because everyone, most NPCs now, you've got two options with them. Or if it's a shop, it's two, and most of them still. Uh, so when you go into the shop, it's like, do you want to ask him about the potion? Is, is selection number one. Number two is the something else. Just talk, yeah. That's not a lot of gil. It may be worth just grabbing the Tantalus money. Where is it? Just go back into the Tantalus screen and loot the chest. Okay. That's 6k shy. <laughs> That's low. It's fine. There are it's backups fine. for these kinds of things, yeah. fortunately. Yeah, I imagine those kinds of those things that were routed in originally to pick up things like the Rebirth Ring. Oh, not Rebirth, sorry, Reflect uh, Ring. Reflect Ring, yeah. Uh, yeah. Presumably they needed all the money they could get so they could uh, synthesize a lot more equipment. Yep. 
back then we didn't do stuff like throwing silver forks. That's kind of where a lot of that money's going nowadays. Yeah, mm. it's actually a lot of money. That's true. Yeah, so somebody was asking a little bit earlier about if we use Amarin or not, and basically the general idea is that attacking, using the attack command is the fastest way to deal damage, unfortunately. There are certain situations, there are actually many situations where casting with VV is pretty quick. Um, yeah, VV is really the hero of, of most of Disc 2 and large parts of Disc 3. Um, but towards the end of the game, yeah, attacking is generally faster and we'll, at the toward the very end of the game, we'll be picking up an ability that makes physical attacks even more valuable. Yeah. Uh, so Amaranth is, is going to be part of our, our final party for the for the end of the game. And, and even before then, he will have some use with, uh, with the throw command and stuff. It isn't until end of this three and this four when we start actually using Amaranth's attack command. All the, prior to that, we, uh, because in a fight, it's not, we go in there and we try to kill them. We go in there with the intention of saying, right, on turn one, we're doing this. On turn two, we're doing that, and so on and so forth. So we have all of our damage output kind of mapped. Mm -hmm. And because we're able to map it that level, we can uh, arrange Amaranth to be throwing things on different turns, which is where the Silver Fork comes in. It deals damage based on the attack of the weapon itself. And the Silver Forks actually have the most attack damage out of all the weapons that you can purchase at that point in the game by a good margin. Because Quinn's damage rolls are really bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so they need the attack damage negative. to compensate for it. <laughs> yeah. Qu Quinn's attack command has a uh, unique damage calculation that essentially is just RNG. Uh, um, actually, it's not unique. It shares. With oh, the Sinna. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. That's amazing. That's that true. explains a lot. Okay. Yeah. Quinna is Sinna confirmed. <laughs> so I go back in here again? Yeah, head back into there and go back inside. There's a couple chests. I'll give you loads of money. Nice. That should fix everything. No problemo. This man is like, oh, maybe he's got no balls and he comes in he's got even less money than ever. <laughs> <laughs> Just these three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's four, is there? Yeah, it's like four and a half, five K, I believe. I, I don't actually know. Oh, that's four K in that one. Never mind, you good. Okay, we're good. Yeah, Gucci. We're good. Oh, it's so Gucci. Yeah, that's plenty of cash. So in one of my PBs, uh, I actually forgot to do this. Mm. No, actually, I think I no, came in, came I talked in. to him, got the lapis, and then left. I did the same. Uh, it's really bad. Yep. It's really bad. I went all the way back to the castle, and I was really ahead of PB as well. <laughs> right, oh, really yeah. ahead. And I got there, and I was like, uh. And I had to go all the way back out. I think I lost like three minutes or something. Two minutes. It was pretty bad. Yeah. But it was good time uh, save for next time. There you go. Time save for next time. It's about the friends we meet along the way, the journey there, and all that. Character. So, we've collected all the potions. Yes, let's return them to the throne room. Also, we didn't mention the Coral Sword. No, I'm assuming the Coral one. Sword has always been in as long as you've known. Yeah, I've always done charge traps. Mm -hmm. uh, so, the Coral Sword itself is its actually pretty good. It's pretty strong. Uh, we're going to use it for combat in a few areas here and there. But most importantly, it has charge on it, doesn't it? And charge is busted. Charge is Incredible. You will see a lot of charging uh, later in the game. Charge is just uh, standard use of the ability, and anyone who's in critical HP will swing. Um, yeah. So a four-man charge, for example, is all your party swing with standard ability, plus the three other members can just swing normally as well. So like it's seven attacks in one in one turn. Yeah. It's pretty nuts. So Steiner's turn can turn into three turns uh, at the cost of a little bit of mana. So he does he does eat MP pretty pretty fast. But the most important thing, in addition to it dealing more damage than usual, is that the the way that it's programmed into the game is that charge is considered in this game as a counter attack. And the one thing that you'll, you may have thought about or may have wondered is if you counter attack someone, can they then counter attack your counter attack? And the answer is simply no. Mm -hmm. The game won't let counter attacks trigger other counter attacks. It's similar to the reflect thing that you can reflect magic back, but it won't be reflected again. Correct. So it's to it's avoid this. Massive loops, uh, yep. animations happening over and over. Um, yeah, a bit of talking going on here again. If uh, you have any donations to read, by all means. Yes, while well, we're all admiring the froggy, we have uh, two anonymous donations. Uh, one set is a $34.69 donation that just says, based run. <laughs> and then there's a $5 donation that says, 
buns, buns. The rabbit is so excited to see the awesome waves world record holder of Final Fantasy IX play my favorite game. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, waves. <laughs> I've come up in the world, apparently. Yeah. First I've heard about it. <laughs> I mean, you learn something new every day, don't you? There you go. Once Thank I you very much for those donations. Keep them coming. <laughs> Thanks very much. Once I get that Lanny skip down, man, I'm telling you, you're in trouble, Bruce. The world I, record. I'm shaking already, mate. I am. So we've gone from uh, Sid being turned into an oglop to Sid being turned into a frog by the potion we concocted. So that was a giant waste of time. Mm -hmm. And now we're just saying, ah, oh, screw it. We're just going to... Just going to get on with the story. We're just going to go get on with the story, finally. You can finally continue. Instead of Now, instead of an airship, we'll just have to make do with a regular old boring ship. Yeah. Yeah. So we are given access to our first vehicle, actually, other than Chocobos. Uh, the, the Blue Narcissus. Uh, we're just going to let us go, go for a little boat, a little, little sail. And we can take this back to the f f f continent. To the other continent. The, one of the other ones. Outer, <laughs> other, lost. Outer continent, Outer thank continent. you. There we go. Now, the outer continent is the one we were in earlier. This is uh, where we're going now. Miscon we, this is the missed continent. Yeah. We're going north. Oh, yeah, we're going back to the outer continent. Yeah. yeah. Right. We can go. doesn't really matter either. Uh, and... Uh, we're going back to the Black Mage Village to see if they know where Kuja is, I believe. Yep. Or something. Ah, yeah. I think there's a little bit more to it than that. But Yeah, because uh, Kuja's been spotted with some Black Mages, and Vivi's very upset about this fact, because we, you know, we were friends with them, and he's like, why, why are they helping Kuja? What the heck? Mm -hmm. So we're going to see what's, what's, what's cracking. There is uh, a more more guild backup stuff that you can do in Black Mage Village, but we should be so fine. We're fine. We should definitely be fine. Uh, yeah. So I was trying to think of the name of the Chocobo that's born, but and I, all I can think of is uh, Bobby Devro from Kirsten Airy for somebody. But it's Bobby, it? Bobby Carwin, isn't it? Bobby Devro. It's not Bobby Devro. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby Blanks. <laughs> Little Bobbit. Bobby Carwin. And there's the Chocobo that they parked here Six months earlier. Ago. It, this Chocobo is so loyal, it's actually followed us between saves. <laughs> <laughs> Three different saves, yeah. Really loyal. Travelled parallel what? universes to reach yeah. this place. <laughs> just... I knew you'd come back! <laughs> <laughs> this is the correct timeline for him, sorry. Not pictured the 50 other Chocobos in the wrong timeline, they're still waiting! <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> tune in next DSA for Chocobos in the Multiverse <laughs> of Madness. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> they should make that game. That's the plot of Final Fantasy 17. <laughs> <laughs> and 18 and 19. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you type exclamation mark heist now to join the heist on the Black Mace. <laughs> Terry! <laughs> uh, so, much earlier, if uh, when we were in Clara, we picked up some Geisel Greens. One of them was kind of tucked behind the um, the ladder that you can... If you, you can go for it, but it, you get danger checks and all that sort of jazz, and there may be a chance you get an encounter. If you do get the encounter, you end up losing a good chunk of time, actually, which is really bad. Um, so if you don't want to go for that, you can actually concede some time and go for the middle ground and you can actually return into this. And there's one here. Hut. There's one right in there, yeah. So if you're back at one, that's where it is. Because um, before uh, the Petro current route, and maybe they used to do it, I don't think though. I think it's very new. I think it's very new. That they uh, pick up the one. Yeah, they normally what would happen is you go into Chocobo's Forest, uh, back in disc one, you go into Chocobo's Forest, you'd come wow. out, and then you'd recruit, you'd find the Chocobo, and you'd go back in, and then you'd buy a bunch of Geisel Greens, so that you can keep summoning the Chocobo across the world map. Mm. And in addition, you can actually use Geisel Greens to cure Berserk. Oh, cool. Yeah, that, that. that's, the, that's the only curative, other than just, like, you know, just <laughs> hitting them, <laughs> snapping them out of it. I actually didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, so Geisel Greens have actually got a purpose other than that. So people used to buy a handful of them. Just to have on hand. Yeah, just so they it saves you them. all the pickups. Then I guess it's one, two pickups. Yeah, saving. Yeah, but lo loading back into that screen and doing all that sort of stuff is actually quite a bit slower than just picking them up. That's cool. We're almost done with the uh, shenanigans of running around the place. Yeah, the game's about to start, guys. It's actually about to start. Ooh, again. Six, yes. six hours twenty deep. <laughs> We're about to start the run. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
yeah, this really is like the second hack, second arc of the game. It's like it really takes off now. Yeah. Uh, abilities that learn to get matter, all matter. All the equipment is changing on the fly per boss. All this stuff is going on. Yeah, it's everything really, really starts to converge. And any chips or kinks in your uh, early game. Your, yeah, that, this is when they start to show up and you start need to like back them up. And I'm hoping everything's in place. I'm assuming uh, it, it is. is yeah. If it's a practice save, it should be yeah, fine. It should be so the Black Mage told us uh, where to find Kuja, so mm -hmm. we're going to over to his palace now. Hidden in some sand pit. I actually still don't know casually what is the clue. Is it the one that doesn't... Sh yeah. There's no sand coming up out yeah. of the sand pit. So. Yeah, but it also conveniently is the nearest one. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it uh, works out too. There are a number of ways that you can get to this beach, I believe? Question mark. Um, going to say we don't need saves for ages, do we? You could, no. Just do, no. Actually, just save it. Just save it. Just, just save it. Just save it. Just because it's a party select. Oh, yeah. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> didn't know you could do that. What? <laughs> select open no, map? I, didn't. <laughs> I pressed triangle in the map screen. I didn't know you could do that. Okay. Learning new things every day. Yeah, this game is throwing me, teaching me loads today. <laughs> Very nice. Let's practice save you, most fierce. There you go, yeah. Um, so this is actually a, a pretty convenient place to make practice saves when you want to like start grinding this through because the run kind of kicks. This is here. this is when you actually start like needing to like work on things. Really, to be honest. Wait, so you mean you're not practicing cards for three hours every day? Oh yeah, cards and puck skip. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. Doesn't it show? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, judging by cards, this run and only skip, this run, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got cards, we got puck skip, what more do we need? Yeah. <laughs> so it turns out the sand trap was actually a trap trap. And now we're in Kuja's palace and we're in prison. Uh-oh. Uh, you can actually like kind of argue with him a little bit and it just opens the door a little more into reading friends. <laughs> <laughs> and makes him like, all right, fine, okay. <laughs> um, Kuja, this is a brilliant pit as well, actually. So Kuja uh, wants something called the Gulag Stone from a place called Oilvert for some reason. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> he really, he just wants it. Oh, right? before it happens, actually, this is one of the the moments as well where the uh, the nearsightedness uh, matters. So Zidane will enter this next room, not realizing there's anyone else there, and if I move just a little tiny bit to the right, he gets a he gets a bit of a surprise. Oh, oh there he is! <laughs> whoa, gee, whoa! What were you doing there? I didn't see you at all. <laughs> Just out of screen. <laughs> Sorry, continue. No, not at all. So there's a party select here anyway. Where So you are now given the choice in how you are to divide your two teams of four. F, Q, A. Very nice. And this is something that has been wildly different mm -hmm. between routes. Yeah. 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 Surprisingly, yeah. because really the, the game is kind of hinting that you should take all the uh, physical. the physical-based characters to Oilvert because there is an anti-magic field there, which is why Kuja isn't just storming in there himself, because he's a primarily magic-based guy. Mm -hmm. um, that's why he's getting us to do it for him. And that's why he asked Sedan, he's like, you should be fine there because you're too stupid to use magic. <laughs> and those are his words. <laughs> So but in fact, there's actually a lot of considerations into uh, which party members you take because the other uh, party members that you don't take are going to have to do a different dungeon. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Um, so we are taking a team that's able to deal with the boss really quickly. But in addition to that, uh, this is net now one of the only other parts. Of, this is the only remaining part of the game where we're actually going to intentionally make time to kill uh, random encounters. Uh, we've got a really good chance to find what called ogres. Single ogres in our single area. Single ogres, yep, in our area. Ready for us. We are for looking us. for single ogres in our area. Yep. And uh, on their own, they're fairly harmless, but in packs, they can be pretty dangerous. Um, they're worth a good chunk of experience because it's a new zone mentioned earlier that when you get to a new area. Can I, can I quickly ask, so what happens to pickles? Oh. They're not called pickles. They're not called pickles. They're... My pickles. Oh, that's very unfortunate. It My pickles! It? Pickles! Uh, I actually don't know <laughs> when we can fix that, to be honest. Peace uh, in the chat for pickles. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Peace in the chat for pickles. Peace out for pickles. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, sing along. Sing along in our area. Way. He heard there was a P. <laughs> He's here. Don't kill Freya. Do not kill Freya. Do not nice. Kill Freya. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so that's a good chunk of experience. That's brilliant. That's going to carry us through to. It's one here, isn't it? Yeah, one here. Two yeah. later. Yeah. Uh, and now we're good. We can actually go and proceed and fight uh, Ark and whatnot. When we get to Oilvert, we'll do. There's a little Moogle there that's got one of the biggest armories oh, in all of Gaia or whatever. <laughs> he's got a lot of gear on him and he's going to sell us quite a lot of stuff. We're going to do a big inventory shuffle up when we get there. It's one of the bigger menus in the game. And uh, once we've done that menu, so this route has something called a split menu. And because we killed that fight there, we can now do a big set of equipments, which is going to pretty much completely set us up for Ark. Sans a couple items that we're going to pick up throughout Oilvert. Um, which means if we're able to kill that ogre like we did, we can do that menu as soon as we get there. We'll do the shop, we'll do the menu, and then we can take fights from inside of Oilvert, which we can then subtract from later random encounters that we might be getting. It's just this, it's a really, really cool optimization that uh, some people developed uh, for this route. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the first I've ever seen of it. And basically it can, if you get really lucky and you don't get any or many encounters on the because we go across that same screen just then a three number times. of times. And we want to we go, we go across it three times, we want three ogres, so we've got a good chance to see all three of them. Sometimes you either get really lucky and don't see any, or don't see many fights, or you get, you know what I mean? Different encounters. Yeah, you, yeah there, there are, are some there are other encounters on that screen as well. But now that we've had that one, we can do with a split menu, and if we do find any more ogres at all over, we can actually spend time killing them then, mm -hmm. get the extra level ups ready for Ark, so we're a bit more beefy, and then when we do do Hildegard's two and three, they're called, um, we would only need to kill one more ogre, and we can we can essentially capitalize on better RNG. It's really cool. It's hard to explain, I think, <laughs> but just, it is cool. Uh, it is cool. Yeah. yeah. I find more often than not, I'm doing it. In general, it seems to it's, just split menu. Like it is likely you'll see it, yeah. But the chance, the, the the highest chance to see a more another single ogre is then outside of oil, but you got a, you got a chance to find one. But it's. It's things like, uh, so there are epitaphs inside of Oilver, and if we are able to soft one of them, because they're stone enemies, a lot like Stropers earlier, uh, throwing a soft at it kills it instantly. And if we do that, they don't give any experience points, but they do provide AP. And if they give us the AP, then if, again, we get really lucky or unlucky, or however you want to see it. At least we don't see, up, then, yeah. yeah, then at least the abilities that we're trying to learn get learned. We might not, some characters like Freya and Amaranth might not make it to level 24, but that's kind of just nice. It's not necessary. Uh, I'm trying to think, is there any... See, loading is slow, but uh, is there any location where we could actually fix pickles? But we'll think about it soon. We'll be swapping controllers again and we'll have plenty of time. After Ark. I know that, yeah. But I'm saying for swapping the names, if I could fix it. Uh, I mean... I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Nice, so we're arranging here. Not quite on the track, unfortunately. Pixel away. So that arrange is going to normalize our inventory, ideally, at the very least. Uh, so when we get to Oilvert, all of the gear that we want to sell is should be in the same place. Mm -hmm. It's a bop. Who needs melodies of life when you got this? It's no crazy chocobo, but it'll do. <laughs> Imagine if it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's the melody of my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. See it. Nice sell here into a purchase, into a menu. So I'm going to give Waves a moment to focus. Not one of those days, Brutes. I'm not confident. <laughs> uh, I understand. I understand. I am not taking any further chances for this one. That is A-OK -okay with we me, are buddy boy. all good. Uh, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm sending this speed run back to the kitchen. I want my pickles. <laughs> Just said I'd scare you there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, Savar. Uh, 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 tents. Minions about a resort. No. Yeah. Bye. To a trident, a magic bracket. Two diamond doll. Okay. You know, the mantra band, duty uniform, Ellen Dunn, mantra band, dark hat, two green berries, or one. And the middle, oh, oh baby. Oh baby, now we've got guilt. Now we're cooking. My man had a lot to sell. <laughs> really? He did have a lot to sell. So it's Lapis, Optimus, or one of them, the Lapis. No counter. No counter. Uh, is that it? No, bottom, 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 bottom. There's more. Shit. There's a uh, clear headed. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, mm -hmm. Nice. 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 Yeah, all of our uh, another place where we gotta run out, run around, pick up some bits. Gonna get a diamond sword, power vests, feather boots. Yeah, uh, chill armor. We put some time for messages while we were navigating yeah. this place, though. Yeah, fantastic. Um, so uh, thanks to basically meeting every incentive on stream two, we've been asked very, very nicely, I will add, um, to help stream one with their with their stuff because you know, quite frankly, they need the support. But luckily, um, it's not a direct thing. Um, we have unlocked, um, well, the, the Master of Madness 5 uh, happened earlier on Stream 1, and that means that if we reach a grand total of $80,000 within the next 23 hours, so by uh, 5 p.m. local time or 6 p.m. local time tomorrow, um, we will get Milestone Madness's 6, 7, and 8. The uh, epic conclusion to the Paulist vs. HUD uh, one-on-ones. Um, so you don't need to put it to any uh, any bid wars, anything like that. Um, you know, just donate, support a fantastic charity, fantastic cause, and um, it will unlock some free bonus content for you guys. Nice. Nice. So we're doing another screen split here, just to uh, reset our danger value. The danger in this place isn't particularly high, but there is quite a lot to traverse. So you've got a we're doing pretty well so far. I'm jinxing it though. I'll say it. Just jinx it. Are so we gonna go ahead and jinx door? it? We don't really mind too much seeing an epitaph. Because it's gonna give us a little bit of security for our APE routing. Nice. So once this chest been loot, we can actually do the other side of our uh, our menu, but we're gonna wait until we're a little bit closer to the bathroom just in case we take some damage. Or we have the opportunity to. Still no encounter. Yep, yeah, this is pretty good. That's 50% at the end of that screen. It's pretty good. I'm telling you, man, I'm just gonna let you run the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> so he's finding out about the existence of Terra, I believe. This is all becoming apparent now. He's not really sure what it is, but there's some mention of like another world out there somewhere. Um, I'm not sure if it mentions like consuming the other world yet or not. Kind of is the greater plot of the game, and the fine the final arc of like saving the world. Spoilers starts to become apparent. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is kind of a library of information, I believe. Mm -hmm. Oilver, um, where they are learning the existence of basically an alien race. Except instead of books, we have faces. faces yeah. yeah, yeah, the very cool faces, mind you. Holy moly. In case you didn't get enough melodies of life, here is the third <laughs> Another version. Of it. Yeah, here's another uh, motif version of it. Got to cut in some slack. You made the OST in like a year and a half. That's true. Dang, wait. All these games came out a year after each other. Is it? Yeah. They're rapid. They were rapid releasing. One year later is uh, 10. 
super rapid. It's... So yeah, we bought the silver forks earlier that we mentioned, much earlier. Uh, so Amaranth is going to be throwing them. It's going to be that's going to be the bulk of our damage here. We're also going to be throwing the diamond sword, um, which we don't need. It is more powerful than the coral sword, but does not teach us charity. It unfortunately doesn't have charge strapped to it, and Steiner's damage is not particularly relevant at the moment. Um, and by the time it is, we're actually going to be able to buy him a new sword anyway. It did the holding direction thing. Didn't it? Did it now? Did. <laughs> <laughs> Did it now? Did? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is a few times in this uh, in this what well, it seems to be having a lot lately that um, when you enter a screen and you're like buffering a direction, like holding upright or something, it will um, continue to hold it even when you let it go. It happens a few earlier screens in the game where it actually matters for encounter checks, and it's very annoying. So Indeed. Split the screen here. It's this weird buffering input thing. Very frustrating to deal with sometimes. And the same to uh, power up twice for him. The wrong round. Harvest. And that's it. Yeah, everyone's going on healed. Yep. Here. Yeah, we're good. That was a zero encounter oil for and he's <laughs> tempting fate. <laughs> Wiggle. Are we gonna get it? Are we gonna get it? Zero encounter oil for it happened. Nice. Ooh. I'm pretty sure that's water record pace now, right? Surely. <laughs> Definitely with the third load. Nice, okay. I'm gonna move my calculator over here. Calculator. So, Ark has 20,000 and 2 HP. Exactly. Silverfork's gonna do somewhere between 3,900 and 4,500 damage. Z's gonna hit for around 1,800, and Freya is gonna be hitting for a piddly little 12. Uh, she is gonna do some damage. She is actually required to make ends meet here. And Quinna, unable to cast blue magic, is going to be supporting with just potions. Just get him in. Just get him in. Nice, it's that was a really, 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 really powerful delayed preem. 4698. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my god. So they all, Everyone they all got in. turns in. Yeah. Wow. That's incredible. Ark is really slow, so it's worth uh, getting. He's faster than you. No, literally, you can't wait him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if he was following us, then we could actually take three turns for free, but you need auto haste to do that. Yes, it's totally fine, actually. Oh my goodness. Body bag. I'm going to throw the diamond sword. Absolutely. Anyway. Yeah, get it out of the bag. That's what I mean, yeah. Just for the sake of it. I think we're fine. And hopefully, we should indeed finish out the fight. Nice. Easy fight. Very easy. Yes. So yeah, I might actually... Uh, is it time? It is time for Hedgehog. Almost. Just gotta do one. Got menu. I got time, don't worry. Just chill. Mini Curious, Diamond, uh, uh, one after scoring. And that's it. Off we go. Perfect. Uh, where is the end of your controller? Right there. Do you want one second? And here we go. You're in. Nice. So, I'm going to get in before I do any of this. Take my headphones off for a sec. Yeah. yeah. Hold on a second, actually. Sorry. So, yeah, coming up, we're just gonna. Uh, Sid manages to escape from his. Uh, he manages to escape from his cell, and he's going to try and unlock the, uh, the doors before the timer goes off. And this is the Hedgehog Pie minigame. The scale of how big or small this little hedgehog pie enemy is won't be really revealed for a moment until you see, but it's a... Uh, he looks quite big on the screen from the perspective of Sid, but he, uh, he is not. And here we go, Brutals with the blank blindfold. Headphone me. Okay, there you cool. Go. Can you hear it through that? Yeah, yeah. Does it put me in the right place? Sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> Go left. Yeah, I was worried about that. 
go down. Pretty sure we got stuck in the actual run. I think we're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we need to fail five times first. One. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just quickly failing this uh, five times because why are you failing a five times rules? To make it so he can't cheat. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so uh, after the, five, the fifth turn, yeah, he stops doing quick turns. Right, hang on. <laughs> we'll have to be quite here. Hey! <laughs> hey! Um, there we go. So, yeah, do you want to explain how you did that? Because I think we <laughs> jumped into it without some of them knowing. We did explain it earlier on, I think. But um, It's difficult because you hear the sound of when he's about to turn around, but there is no sound for when he turns back. So you... <laughs> yeah. So... He has a, he has cycles of one second, I think. Um, he can't look at you for more than four seconds at a time. So you got to. Uh, when I hear it, I just start counting, and I've got to try and count slowly. <laughs> That's the hard part. Is if you <laughs> if you lose time of it, then you, yeah, he just gets you. But fortunately, you, you know if you're in sync because uh, when you're counting, if he turns on a second, you know that you're counting at the right the right pace. And yeah, he's got counted. Well, I, I start on one and go to five. And then as soon as I hear it, I, as soon as that amount of time is going, I, I start mashing as much as I can before he looks back. But sometimes if he turns away and then turns back too early, you just got to start counting again and just try and stay on top of it. Mm -hmm. Just don't get too ahead of it all. So here we're equipping the barboot onto uh, Steiner as well as Thunder Glove, so he has alert also. Alert is stopping us from getting back attacked. And having a miserable time in Desert Palace, more miserable than it normally is. So, once again, Zidane is not in the party, which means we do not have Flea. So what we're gonna have to do here is try to burn time, use long abilities like summoning Carbuncle, uh, using Scan with Dagger, 
um, to like Blizzard, Magic Sword. Yeah, Burn Time. Like, there are some enemies we can kill. There's Drakans, which are the floating magic dudes. They can be swung at by Steiner, but uh, the most of the most of the time we're just going to be trying to burn time, get fleet checks, and get out of the fight. And cor correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the reason why you bring Steiner here at all. Yeah, it is. He's he. Oh, uh, yeah, he helps out. Because in theory, he'd be more help in, on the boss in uh, in yeah, order. Correct, yeah, correct. No, interestingly enough, maybe Sonic can learn Millionaire as well. But we take Quinner because they can wear, they can they can they can learn Millionaire, and they're actually the, the Quinner's extra role in the, uh, the oil vert side of things is they're actually gaining us extra money but with that Millionaire ability. It th doubles the money that you gain, or 1.5. It's another one of those multipliers. But I, you know. It's sort of helping out a little bit. And Steiner doesn't actually need that much AP, so we can afford to sacrifice his damage output. He wouldn't actually be able to hit that hard. I think with the Diamond Sword, he hits around 2k. Yeah, something like that. Oof. Nice and early encounter. So this is <clears throat> this is how they will play out. Hopefully we get a quick flee. I think yeah. this is a pretty high Drakan screen. Yeah, double Drakan. OK, good. this is good. So Steiner can one-shot these dudes. So worst case scenario, it's going to take two turns to get out of here by winning the fight, unless, you know, Steiner gets frozen. It looks like it's on BB. Oh, it's really easy. Yeah. yeah, whereas the flea ability is completely, you know, it works on everything 100% of the time, running away normally is an absolute nightmare in this game. Oh, Dagwear. <laughs> oh, Spoon. Oh, poor old Spoon. Oh. Ah. oh. Worst case scenario. Yep. <laughs> this is FF9 at its best. Question, is Dagger's uh, sword magic ability useful for eating up time, or is it only these attacks that are worth using? Uh, so actually what's going on is we've got the, the coral sword on, which is, has um, ele lightning elemental, and we're using the diamond, uh, sorry, the, the thunder gloves as well. So we're actually doing a lot of damage based on elemental bonuses right now, which we'd lose if we gave him Magic Sword. Yeah, ma Magic Sword abilities are used a bit in the in Disc 1, um, when we don't have access yet to killer abilities and MP attack and all that. Uh, but once we do, uh, just regular attacks are usually just going to out-damage <coughs> Magic Sword abilities. Yeah, so the we might see some if we get more encounters, presumably. It is me playing now, so we're probably going to get more. <laughs> not, not all wavesy. So uh, the other, one of the other encounter types here is uh, they're Toramas. They look like little cats. Mm. Oh, little cats. They look like the core of enemies kind of things. They're that model of enemy. Yeah. Um, they they actually absorb lightning. So if Steiner hits them, it heals them, uh, which is obviously really bad. Um, so in those, using fi uh, magic sword completely uh, plays around that, fortunately. But you, they take a little bit too much effort to kill anyway. So. Probably be avoiding that. So we have to light all these candles in order to actually unlock the boss anyway. Yeah, and each bloodstone we collect as we go, uh, the pink, thing, pink things we select, they remove a status from the boss, like our, his magic defense gets lowered if we take one specific stone, or his magic attack, and some of that. or his evasion, some of that. So we just get the ones we need, minimal as possible, and uh, bash our way through. That hasn't been too bad. Maybe we can get past his last screen. Please. Nice. Thank you. Let's take it. Good. There are encounters in these screens, but it's just we do, we're not on them long enough to get encounters. It's not until you light all the candles. Ah, uh, okay. I believe it's this screen that's live that you don't spend enough time on. You don't spend on. enough time there. Unless you get lost in my forest. Thank <laughs> you for lighting the correct candles, by the way. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Put a lot, a lot of time practicing that. <laughs> And that's it. That is the end of Desert Palace. That was actually amazingly painless, to be honest. We just got to do a menu. Uh, try again. Help. I will get you, Enkai. Do you not want to do the... No, what? What? Uh, rebirth Honor, no? Oh, is that... Oh, man. You're right. I actually do. I'm so used to taking the power belt off. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is another fun fight. This is actually a really bit of a gimmick. Um, 
as we're just going to use magic on it. What we're going to do is cast Carbuncle on ourselves, so our party. Carbuncle around Hello, Carbuncle. Uh, we're going to cast Reflect on our entire party, and then we're going to use VV to cast Water All on our party. So that's four casts of water, which is going to reflect directly back at the boss. And we do that twice and win, but we just got to... Small things, we just got to like hold ATB if we can, just to make sure that Reflect doesn't run out at any point and uh, end up not reflecting back at the boss and just killing ourselves. But it's not really pain us. The first attack is the one that can really upset everything because if he just kills Dagger immediately or BV even worse, um, you have to pick them up before you can cast Reflect. Yeah, we need Reflect damage from. Well, we only need it from the first time. After that, I think one of them can actually be dead. It's okay, but it's weird like that. Musky, come on. Never mind. Okay. Oh, but it's fine. He cast Reflect, so uh, that won't bother us at all. And that's it. I'm just going to do this twice. Uh, there's no point holding this, actually. So I want to let ATB go here because I need the boss to gain ATB during this sequence. So once this is done, VV will cast, and then uh, I can hold ATB again. So reflect. When you're on ATB weight, which is the system that we're using, uh, buffs like auto like reflect don't actually wear out when ATB is being paused like this. Yeah, and, and buffs in this game last a really short time, mm -hmm. uh, especially considering how long all the animations and turns take. Um, like, Reflect would possibly wear off before we get a second use of it. If we just let it rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. And that is Valley of Hira. What a Don't riveting know. fight. Yeah, if you have really that donation good. to read, by all means. We do indeed, and uh, mostly congratulations on that uh, on that hedgehog pie. I think personally that deserves loads of donations, um, just for just for that. But we do have thirty five dollars from Florida Dad uh, that just says thanks CSA and Florida Dad, you are more than welcome. Thank you for the thirty five bucks. Keep them coming. Thank you. Alrighty. It's amazing, actually, getting it there. Two really good splits. Yeah. In fairness, yeah, and really good, Oliver. One encounter across those two dungeons is yeah, it's incredible. Take that every day. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, literally. It was two, even including Hildegard. Well, three, I suppose. With oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean, sorry. Oh, no, it was two. Oh, dang. Help. I can't math. <laughs> That's why I've got a calculator to count for me. So, we didn't actually get any other encounters, so I need my... We need bullets. to just yeah. dwindle a little bit for a little while. That's a nice run already. That's already a really good run, so we're really hoping this is the logo. It's not the end of the world if it isn't. Single or even. That's the one. It's a, <laughs> maths is hard. Maths is hard, and it is it's a bullet. double. Bullet. You said double. It hurt you. It, it hurt me, and it, and it responded in kind. Let me out. Let me out. These, uh, this is so you'd be thinking, why don't we just kill one of them? You know, but it's uh, it is not the case. Uh, it is really dangerous to kill two of them. Yeah, they can. They have an ability called Trouble Knife. If they attack you with that and it, it sticks, Trouble is uh, a status ailment where when you receive single target physical damage, that damage, 50% of that damage, I believe, is then spread to the rest of your party. Um, and curatives for it are not particularly common. We do actually buy a few in oil virtues in case of the worst case scenario. Um, but they also don't count as two single ogres you don't get the AP required. So normally when we kill them, they're worth two AP, but a double Ogre pack like that is only worth three. So, and we need every single ability point, so unfortunately. So we'd only get six with level up versus the eight that we actually require. Yeah, so we're hoping to get two single Ogre encounters now on the, on the reverse trip back again, uh, and ideally get them there, because otherwise the backup is to fight a Garuda, which are murder birds outside uh, Estogazza. We want to avoid that if we can. Yeah. At all costs. <laughs> so, Pete was asking if he could have a look at the hitbox. So, for those that don't know, I don't play on a PlayStation controller. I think they're whack. <laughs> <laughs> I like PlayStation they controllers. think you're whack too. <laughs> uh, it's mutual then, isn't it? Uh, oh, Whammy uh, loves you though. Give me a sec. I'm trying to think of a good time to do this. Uh, but Maybe during the airship trip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. during the airship trip. I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a demo yeah. of it. But essentially, uh, if, you, if any of you guys play fighting games, it's something called a hitbox, which is essentially just a wooden board with some buttons drilled into it. Um, it's just a D-pad with some buttons on it, uh, pretty much. And it's, <laughs> I got it because it's really easy to start a step on. <laughs> 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 uh, 
It's a lot of fun. Um, it's a lot better for FF7 rather than this game because it doesn't have an analog stick. So you can't get some of the encounter check skips that you can if you were wearing analog. However, it doesn't matter if you just get lucky. So yeah, yeah. Just get lucky. That's all to do. We did have a play around with it in the in the practice room where we did nobles with it a few times in messing around. That was fun. <laughs> we could take the naming way card. Is there one here? There's one right there. Got it. Even though we don't use Quinn anymore. For, for pickles? For pickles, yeah, for pickles. Oh yeah. For posterity. Pick oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. We can rectify the situation. I, for I, for I didn't even remember that was there. Oh yeah. I don't know where you do it though. Maybe someone could find out where I need to do it. I know it's in Daguero. In here in Daguero? Oh, you need to go there. The cards here, but the dude's in Daguero. Ah, uh, oh. okay, okay, okay. I can do the renaming. I can make it happen. Chat. Do work your magic. <laughs> Fill us in on the details. Give it. Are you going to get the encounter? Nah, not me, mate. <laughs> I thought you were about to say you're not peace. I've never had that encounter. I uh, have. Yeah, I got it once. I've got the powerful. leaving Alexandra one twice as well, which is beautiful. <laughs> right, so I would really like some encounters, please. Uh, you're not going to hear that very often, but we need some AP. EXP is lovely, but the AP is good. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Let's do it. Hope for a single ogre in our area. Very nice. nice. Let's go. Let's do it. Nice. So I'll just try and eat it just to make sure it goes yeah, down. Just in case. Give me the juice now. Okay, so ideally one more. And we are done so. And like I said, the backup is the murder birds outside us of Gaza. We really don't want to do that if we don't have to. Is it worth trying to force one? Probably. Yeah, okay. Try it once and see. Yeah, normally we just go because you're probably going to get an out encounter outside of uh, Estagasa anyway. This has been a low this encounter. Is a disc three, man. But yeah. It's not. yeah I reckon I can eat this. Maybe. We can do it. Let's do it. We're going to eat. We're going to eat. See it. Give it to me. Eat it. Yeah, no. baby! Yeah. Opera magic, let's no. go! Pickles, Let's go, it. pickles! <laughs> Brilliant. You can what does it do? No idea. Is it like a percentage death? <laughs> <laughs> Is it like a percentage health thing? You can cast like that like uh, and find out. Oh yeah, there you go. I must have known at some point, but I... Yeah. <laughs> so, um, do you want me to tell you? Because I can. Yes. Uh, it, it, uh, it attempts to reduce one target's HP to one. Oh, oh. so we can have it with one Earth Guardian. Now, now notice the, the word attempts there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do, do, you want me to, do you want me to read the rest of the sentence? Yes. But rarely succeeds. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Uh, FF9, anything it, can it, happen. It really is a thing in this game where it's, so many skills are so much worse than they should be because they're just <laughs> way more random than... Yeah. Yeah. It really uh, does play into the... Oh, yes! So, yeah, if you hold it, I can demonstrate. This is the D-pad on the left here, and these are all the face buttons. X, circle, triangle, square. L2, R2, L2, L1, R1 starts over here. There are buttons tucked down the side for, like, select and, like, home buttons, because it actually works on anything, this thing. And, yeah, D-pads like that. Yeah, so that was the way it's I huge. think. It's like as if you have your hand to your left, just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's for me. It is heavy, also. It's very heavy. And anyone, and does anyone want to see the Kwame? Nah, nah, nah. No, no, no. Put that. <laughs> Put that back in the bin. It's got a wonderful D-pad. Smilers. They want to see the Kiwami. Yes. They want to see the yes. Kiwami. Hello, Mr. Give Kiwami. Me a of a I'm here. Button. They want to. Oh. Ta-da! The Kiwami. Yeah. The, 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 would you believe that I don't think I've ever seen a Kiwami in the flesh until this week? Really? I don't think I have. They are wondrous beings of things. They have horrible shoulder buttons, though. I know if you can see it. The shoulder buttons are, like, dropped down lower. So this is R1, and then it goes down a step to R2. 
but uh, and the d-pad is one unit that's what makes it really cruddy to use but it is a beautiful thing a beautiful thing i just realized that i just implied that kawamis are made of flesh <laughs> <laughs> maybe they are Tyson of the survey button. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is where we can encounter the murder birds in pairs or single, and they are awful. You get to see them. Oh, got a little bit of time here. Just a little bit of time. Yeah. So let's just see how we get out of this. After we interest our guys, there is a, a little bit of a cutscene, and we can get the donation then. But suits. So. Here's one of their tricks up their sleeve. They can cast Stop. And of course, it lands on... Our last Remedy. Oh, miss. Okay. Miss. Never mind. All good. Very nice. That's as good as those encounters get. <laughs> That's all right, well, we kept our only Remedy. I might buy another one. We can buy another one. It's all good. Yeah, we've got a bit of money now. Oh, no, actually, I spent it all. It's the same amount of money as you'd always have because I spent it all on high potions. Yes, yeah, fine. Yeah, so if you have a donation to read, by all means, Mr. Robles Sparkle. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we have a $50 donation. So thank you very much, uh, Kim, uh, who's not put in a comment, but we're much appreciated for that anyway. Um, also wanted to follow up, um, because uh, it's not just through donations that you can support outside of London. Um, anything um, such as uh, cheers or bits, uh, all the uh, money from that will go to the charity as well. Or subs. So if you can sub uh, subscribe to either Stream 1 or Stream 2 channel. We, we want you to subscribe to Stream 2. This is the better one. Yeah. Um, but even if you don't, um, you know, have the cash flow fancy subscribing, but you have a uh, Amazon Prime, um, then Twitch Prime is a thing. And you know, if it's just sitting there, forlorn, unloved, without a home to go to, just send it over to ESA Marathon too, and you'll be raising money for a fantastic cause at absolutely no cost to yourself. Um, so, yeah, why not? Back to you guys. Thanks. Thanks very much. It's a chunky donation. Um, next up in the run, we are going to be obviously just really little shop here. Uh, what has happened is that they're bringing Iko to an altar area to uh, remove her idolons or summons as well. Um, and we gotta go rescue her. We gotta go help her out. It is an idol, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, on the way there, we gotta pass to uh, Mount Gullig. Is that the correct name? Yeah, it is. And. Uh, we encounter some red dragons. They're not technically a boss fight, but these guys have killed more runs than uh, than other bosses have. They're pretty dangerous, Oof. man. Oof. Uh, yeah, and because also we want to divvy, because they are not bosses, so they do yield experience, we want to get as much of that experience as we can onto Zidane and Steiner, onto my dude in Bavro. So before the end of the fight, even though we really need Vivi in the fight to cast the Zara, Zaga, uh, we do not want to finish the fight with him standing up or Amaranth, no matter. So... Brutal sorted, I believe. We also use Soul Blade again for the second time. Should be the first time in the run, but it's the second time. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> we uh, use Soul Blade. What weapon is equipped on? I can actually check. The Angel Bless. It's the Angel Bless. And the Angel Bless is status is that it gives confusion. And we're going to cast confusion onto one of the... Red dragons while we deal with the other one. Um, and it should be all good. I'm actually going to just... Oh, he is top to it. You're going to save anyway, yeah? Gonna, oh, yeah, before the fight. Just just this screen can, actually can get lethal. Oh, yeah? Very rarely. Very, very, very rarely. I've seen people die there. Going to the mini verse. Yeah. It's not, is it? Off power vest on. Is it an optimal? Uh, 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 string. Yeah, it's. You can go back. That. It's not an optimal, is yeah. It's a. Uh, it's supposed to have the Claws, Greenberry, Bone Wrist, nothing, and then Promise. Yeah, there wasn't. Oh my goodness. Help. Bone Wrist. Then no power, power vest comes off. That is a Promise ring. Lots of rod. Yeah, and Lots then. Magic. Magic. Optimize. Round. Lows. Rods. Ooh, shouldn't still have that. Please. Oh yeah. Nice. See what's in there really quick. I also want to see the cards. Perfect. 
So yeah, as these things are deadly, um, we are going to save before them. Um, and they're right before a nice big break. But yeah, if you have, if you need a quick message, there is a minute. Brilliant. I just want to thank uh, Geek King Cloud for the Prime sub and the 100 bits um, who wrote uh, Love You Brutals. Uh, Dark544 for the, uh, the Prime sub as well. Much appreciated. I uh, also want to let you guys know that I do have uh, directions to Dagrero and what to do with the Naming Way card. Nice. Nice. For once you have the Hildegard 3. Thanks, Robert. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Thank you, Cloud. Yeah, yeah we pickles. can do it on the way to Earth Guardian, which is where Quinn shines, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's brilliant. Island of the Shame, but not for the not for the reboot ring. <laughs> not today. Normally it's the Island of the Shame to re to send the reboot ring. Red. Today it's for right. a naming way carriage, which is all right. So, Blazaga plus a swing by Steiner will kill one, uh, or a troll by Amrit, but we ideally don't need that. And we're going to soul blade the opposing, the opposite one. It says one dealt with. That's already very good. And eliminates a lot of the risk, and that's perfect. What you don't want to see is a twister, which does random damage and uh, really upsets the situation. Bonk. And there we go. Nice, nice team. Well done. It is one of the more difficult fights to get down originally. Once you get it down, it's pretty fun. And now we're going to do a, a menu immediately just because we get actually, as soon as we leave this screen, we get tied into a cutscene and spit out straight directly into a boss fight. So we're going to do the menu right away. And we get a free heal, so we don't need to raise anyone. We don't need yeah, so there's going to be a little matching before we get into the Melty Gemini fight. It, ideally, it's a two-turn fight. That's very nice. Can be. If it happens. Typically three-turn. I'm going to actually just go into the bathroom. This is a good... I think my body knows when the brakes are. I'm still the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> the music just gets it. So the reason uh, Kuja wanted us to go get that stone uh, before was so he could get in here and do this little ceremony, because I guess it can only be done here. Um, because he's kind of run out of, uh, what do they call them this, idolons. I, yeah. I've got icons in my head because of them. Yeah, right. Um, but uh, yeah, he's run out of I, uh, I, idolons. Idol yeah. <laughs> uh, he was going to use Alexander, but then that kind of went kablooey earlier. Uh, so now he's trying to extract something else out of Ico that can hopefully um, help him deal with this uh, Garland fella. Indeed. And, um, and apparently the Gulag Stone helps along with that. Uh, the Gulag Stone just lets him get in here. I think. Oh, is that right? Is that what opened the door? I see. Okay. And yeah, good old Zorn and Thorn are uh, up to no good. Um, but, I mean, I can't tell you much about the lore, but I can tell you all about the Melty Gemini fight. I'll go ahead. <laughs> He's got around 25k HP. Steiner is now going to hit like an absolute truck. Uh, we've just given him the Flame Saber. Uh, he's got Devil Killer and MP Attack equipped, so he is gonna really, really. You want to get him? Yeah, it's just stacking those multipliers. Yeah. So uh, he's gonna be doing uh, somewhere in the region of 5k every single time he attacks. Uh, if he crits, he can just e very easily hit the damage cap of 9999. Unfortunately, in 9, there's no way to beat the damage cap. That's just what it is. Um, Amaranth is gonna be assisting with throwing pin the uh, Rising Suns. They're not particularly valuable. They'll hit for about 1,500 or so. They do some damage. Uh, I can actually throw that ice brand, get rid of Mutsky, it. Mutsuki, thank you for everything. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> and then, um, yeah, Zidane's also going to be dealing some damage. Um, Melty Gemini is going to introduce a new status ailment, which has a very, very high chance of actually occurring. It's going to be Viral Smoke. Mm -hmm. That's the one, right? Which is AoE damage, and uh, it also inflicts virus. I'm not sure if it poisons too. I think it's just or virus. tries to. Just virus, yeah. So virus is a status ailment which doesn't go away after combat. You will have to cure it. I don't even know if it goes away on death, actually. It might be one of them. Oh, maybe, maybe it does. We don't. We never revive anyone on LT, pretty much. So. Yeah. So, uh, but what it does do is it, it limit. You cannot get AP or EXP while inflicted with virus. 
which in this route is fine. We don't, we're not expecting to get AP. If we do get it, we do it on, on Steiner in particular. So if we don't get hit with Viral Smoke, we actually have to perform some slightly different actions to make up for that, which is no problem. Uh, but we have to be kind of aware of it. But this is, this is Medin, man. This is the coolest summon in the game, in my opinion. Medin's sick. That little Moogle that's been uh, accompanying Mog this, uh, I, uh, Mutsky this entire time. I'll get there eventually, I'm sorry. <laughs> is, uh, that's, that's, that's Guardian Mog. Uh, you can learn it if you... So Aiko can now summon Guardian. Is it summon it? Or is it when she gets hit? I think you get the you get the thing that summons it. It's the ribbon, yeah. Yeah, it's the ribbon. I don't know if you can actually just summon it. I think it's one of those things that just occurs. I can't really remember. It's, yeah. It's it's not something... We don't. We never use summons. Yeah. Other than Carbuncle, Carbuncle for the for the one um, dungeon. Yeah. Uh, summons are really slow, and they honestly they do about the same damage as VB spells. Yeah. They're really cool. When you play randomizers, we, we throw them a lot then because why not? Sure. <laughs> Sometimes they just do the good damage. Sometimes. Uh, but yeah, it's, the ribbon I'm pretty sure gives access to Guardian Mog. Unfortunately, from here on out, we don't really use Ico, so it's not really going to. Have a, have a chance to be relevant. The ribbon is still great to have oh, it's, uh, for it's, it's, other reasons. It's really good, yeah. It's really good. Best accessory in the game. It's up there. Um, it, 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 you can't you can't really suffer any status ailments with it equipped. Uh, there might be some that you can, but I'm pretty sure it, um, it limits. You can't get inflicted with anything. I don't know if it even. I don't. Well, because in this game, uh, status uh, immunities are handled by abilities. I don't think the the ribbon actually protects against that at all. It's just really good elemental protection. Oh, that too. That too. I think it. I don't think equipment ever makes you immune to any statuses in this game, unless I'm wildly oh, mistaken. Wait, no, I think you're right. I think you're actually that on. Because that's what all the abilities are for. Else. Maybe I'm getting confused somewhere. There. <laughs> world record holder. Well, world record holder, by the way. <laughs> it, it it stops you getting fired, and that's pretty good. <laughs> Alrighty, Melty Gemini. I'm gonna smack him with my flame saber. Preemptive. Four, three, five, six. Two, six, five, two. So I'm not gonna take a preempt with. At least I'm not gonna try. Basics. Ow. You know what I am gonna do? You? Yeah. <laughs> Probably do you. Do you wanna do we count? Sorry. I missed the last one. What is it? I missed the last one there. Four, five. So Steiner has got lethal here. This bio shouldn't be able to kill Steiner. So Steiner actually has an ability. Oh, a single target though. Nice. Okay. Yeah, Good. so crits kill. So we haven't been hit by Viral Smoke. Nice. Okay. Good job. So it might not look like it, but Melty Gemini really can get you, man. He can he really is. get you. He can be nasty. Oh, yeah. Um, the, the, the That bio that single targeted on Steiner can actually AoE you as well, and it deals pretty much the same amount of damage. Mm -hmm. On Multi, it doesn't really have much of a damage reduction. Viral Smoke is naturally AoE as well, and one of them straight into the other can put everyone in super low HP, if not just kill Amarin and Ico. In fact, Ico survived. Very Mutsky. rare. Yeah. Mutsky survived. Mutsky actually survived. Mutsky, how'd you do it? <laughs> the power of Moo. Mutsky just gained AP on Melty Gemini. Yep, unbelievable. What the heck? <laughs> so yeah, so by gaining AP there, Steiner's actually going to learn Accuracy Plus early. So that's actually good, because that means we can have it for Abaddon. We'll have to manually unequip Maneater in uh, Ibsen's Castle to make room for the Crystals, but that's absolutely fine. I'll just have to re-equip it. When we get to uh, the Pandemonium menu in this, well, end of this three. In true FF9 fashion, we do have a bit of a lore section again. So it turns out that Sid's reason for being an Oglop in the first place is he cheated on his wife and she turned him into a frog, or an Oglop. <laughs> and that was it. Um, and then obviously we turned into a frog after the fact. But they are happy to make up now. Bygones be bygones apparently. And uh, she's gonna turn him back into a human, which means he got his brain back to full functioning capacity and he will be able to finish his airship, which is... He's gonna instantly give to us the most... Yeah. <laughs> 
most beneficial people on the planet right <laughs> yeah. now, apparently. Right Our now, we're the most important. Plucky heroes. I think you just go away on a cruise. Could just leave with his wife. Let's go. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we've got some time for some donations if you want to. Yeah. All right, fantastic. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, first of all, we have a uh, thank you again to Cyanflack92 for the prime sub. Uh, really appreciate it. Keep them coming. Um, goes to a fantastic cause. We also have a $6 donation from Ogre Clubber, uh, who writes, I went on one of those single ogres websites once. <laughs> <laughs> we clubbed until only one of us was standing. Nice. Excellent. <laughs> well done. Nice. So thank you so much for that. Thanks for the donation. <laughs> <laughs> Sid, finally a human being again. Back to normal. It's brilliant that Magic Brink gives him his clothes, isn't it? It's... Imagine if he uh, it, it, He was wearing clothes, but they, I guess the clothes grew with him as well, somehow. Magic. It's an all-encapsulating spell she cast. Magic be magic. Yep, so uh, we are waking up again in Limblum. Familiar scene. This is the shrug scene. If you happen oh to forget goodness. that there's a the break ends here, and you go away and make a sandwich, like someone would never do. No one would ever do that. That's silly. Uh, Zidane will continue to do a shrug animation over and over again. It's great. He actually does it some a few times. professional assistance. There, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> we get downstairs here. Hmm? Mm, yeah, talk to the scared. I know. Nope, it's not that. This is oh oh yeah. That was earlier, I thought it might Oh yeah, sorry, never mind. Oh well. Oh well. It's fine, we do actually need to do that. RNG manip. Conference room, guys. Plenty time. It's actually conference room, isn't it? Yeah, yeah shut up. Straight up. Move just a touch. And we have plenty of time. Oh, we do. Man, Amarin's so cool. It's very cool, dude. He's so cool, dude. He's the guy who hangs out at the back of the classroom and just doesn't want to interact with anyone because he's too cool for school. Lani's so cool. <laughs> we love Lani. Oh, yeah. She does not love us, but, you know. Yeah, she's not our biggest fan today. I think she is our biggest fan. She She's got the got most spotlight twice. today. She really did well for herself. She's making her name known. FF9, man. FF9. What a delight. My goodness. Yeah. I'll have to add that to my uh, run history sheet when I go home. Oh, yeah, I'll have to get a new set. Run 51, live at ESA, died to land. <laughs> God dang it. I'll have to wait for run 100 to PB again. It's all right. I'll run 69, it might be another. Time for the best music of the game. So what cities are left standing? They, they all are. Been, they're all decimated at this Trino. point. Trino is still alive. Taguero. <laughs> it's right, we're gonna go there shortly and take yeah. care of that. We're gonna have a look at that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Our path of destruction will lead us there. I won't lie, I have no idea what they're talking about anymore. Yeah, after a certain... Sign is rallying the troops, probably. I honestly have no idea. We... After a certain length of running this, you just kind of forget what the lore is. We do need to go get some trimmers, though, because the haircut scene's coming up. Oh, yes. <laughs> Myself and Brutal Zay are going to copy Dagger in oh, the yeah. haircut scene. It's gonna... You know what? <laughs> I reckon that's really painful. It probably is. Unless the knife, I guess the knife has to be really sharp. If it's really sharp, it then is. we're definitely going to hurt ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's some iconic scenes. There's an iconic scene uh, coming up where Dagger is going to change her hairstyle on the fly. She's going to tie it up. If she yeah, she should just tie it up. Would have been grand. Be grand. So we are going to leave Limblum after all of this. Is it, that was our last time in Limblum as well. This is the last time. This is it. We yep. are finally out of Lore City. Yeah. This is the final. Uh... Hurrah.
Yeah, this is, oh, this is a big, the, the final big mash, really. There's bits and pieces sporadically between it, but nothing is ever quite as long as this bit anymore. So what? What airship are we on? Hildegard 3. 3, okay. It is three. three. It is. It is three. Okay. Yeah, it is we confirmed three. this earlier. No sleeping weed this time, though. No. Gents, can I just check? Were all the incentives met? Every incentive was met. How much for Zwanzig to sing melodies of life? <laughs> when, when am I supposed to do this? <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> Those of us who remember the last time Zwanzig did FF9 in a marathon. <laughs> I think we could get Robo and Zwanzig to do the dance again. Uh, oh, yes. No, 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 that was hours ago. That was hours. <laughs> Clara dance is timeless. <laughs> you can do it to the pandemonium music or something. It won't matter. It'll be fine. It'll be like some gothic dancer. I, you know... <laughs> It'll be hilarious. I, tr I truly cannot even remember who came up with that idea. But yes, years ago at ESA 2015, I and some other willing victims did the, uh, the Clara dance. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> it might have been you, Alka, that's true. How are we on pace, Broods? How are we on pace? For meeting our estimate. Just you probably know better. It goes well, maybe. Eh. I think we're fine. Yeah. yeah. No, I was just thinking, like, do we have time for that nah. incentive? No. What do you mean nah. no? What do you mean no? This is nah. stream two. This is the home of incentives. <laughs> we, we do have another incentive another idea. One. Like yeah. the, the idea for blindfolded Necron, if people wanted to see that. I could do that. How much? How much? How much do you think it's worth, Taco? Oh, that's... I think we've got two hours. We've still got almost two hours left. I think we could raise a good lot of money for that. So, seven dollars? Five fifty. At least five <laughs> five hundred <laughs> deal. Three hundred and thirty three dollars. Yes, there we go. I mean if you I will put it in the tracker right now. I have the power. Yeah. How much did we raise how much do we raise for the the hedgehog pie? Uh, was, I think it was, was two two hundred. And that was met really, really quickly. Yeah. Can we get like we could double that. Put a number on it. Double it? Five is a nice round number. Do you reckon we could do it? Uh, five it's a laugh. But could we could do that uh, you reckon? What do we think? Or is that too much? I mean, so you could just do my trick and just change the estimate as you go on the run <laughs> line. That, that's, it's always worked for me. Don't tell him, don't tell him. I reckon doubling it is... is doubling it's good. Doubling it's 400, good. and then yeah. when we clear 400, then we do uh, jump rope blindfolded, right? Yeah. <laughs> Outstanding. Perfect, let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he didn't say anything about do like, c c actually performing jump rope blindfolded. He just said, "Try it." Try it. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Close your eyes and jump. <laughs> you mean you don't have the macro? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a cheat box. He has it. I got whatever you need in this little thing, baby. This this box could fit so many cheeks in it. <laughs> <laughs> My dude, she says. <laughs> you came. My mother's grave. <laughs> you, you okay there? <laughs> I just love this game so much, man. <laughs> it has it all. Mostly misery, but it has it all. <laughs> Cities being destroyed, people dying. Has it all. Oh, I almost forgot. This priceless gemstone I found. <laughs> Catch! <laughs> Sorry, I'm just typing the incentive in. Zwanzig will complete the Necron fight in Freya cosplay. <laughs> <sighs> I'd love that, honestly. Okay, that's, that's, a, that's that. a thousand dollar incentive. I would for sure. rock a Freya cosplay. <laughs> It's nice you get a big hat so you can cover your face. <laughs> <laughs> There's no shame in a Freya cosplay. Sorry, Rontic. 
She's borrowing this. I'm borrowing this. What could you possibly want with that spoon? <laughs> Don't do it! Don't do it, Dagger! Don't do Don't it! Don't do it! There it is. She's, she's got a knife! <laughs> what are you holding? A knife! <laughs> no! <laughs> Perfect haircut. If you try that at home, that is definitely not what would happen, so do not try that at Should home. Should we find out? <laughs> Incentive. Incentive. <laughs> It's the Hildegard 5! <laughs> sure, why not? I thought we're on Hildegard 7 by now, I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure it's the Hildegard 9. <laughs> Sit, some good music, and off we go. We are heading to Ibsen's castle. This actually is a really good... Um, a trick, I guess, what they call it. The, what's... I can't even think of the word. The the gimmick of this castle is yeah. pretty good. Yeah, ah. gimmick. It's a gimmick, is, is what it is. Uh, the castle's upside down, so... Uh, so your stats, huh? So your stats are upside down as well, and so... Uh, weapons that deal less, do more. And things like that. Clean. It's a great gimmick, which we will completely ignore by not yes. actually damaging the boss with the Correct. Attacks. No. Well, we will attack him. Sh sure. But not, uh, not for damage for reasons. For uh, status reasons. We're gonna get heat for Pete. Heat for Pete. So yeah, to explain this, um, one of the status that we can inflict with Steiner's weapon here is heat. And heat is, if you move while under under heat, you die. And it, <laughs> wor and it works for the boss. Game. So, for to land? Yeah, add status is... Uh... Because he's got accuracy plus, so he can't move. Miss, uh, miss. There you go. Busted. Basically free, so you're saying. So I need to know where in Dagwero this uh, oh yeah this dude is. But after Tarka, we'll we'll do it on the same routing. So after the Wind Temple, no, yeah, it is after Wind. I feel like I remember it being done before the before wind, wind one, but it's been ages. Oh, no, 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 you come up from fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So water fire. Oh, yeah, water fire, straight up. And then right to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Where you transferred the instructions for the Guerrero Mateco. The what, what? The instructions for where to wait, read wait, in, in Guerrero. Do you know where to change the, the, everyone's names in the Uh Do you know that? Robo Sparkle. He said he Googled it. Yeah. You didn't pass it on to you? No, oh, no of course, but like, I believe me, if there's someone who's been to Daguerreo plenty of times, it's this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to wherever the renamed dude is. I have, from memory, I think he's in the screen on the back right, but I don't know. It could also be where the treasure chest dude is. I think it's literally the first guy in the middle of the first screen. Oh yeah? Okay. <laughs> it's a, it's a, so so the renaming part of the research in the middle level allows the player to rename any of the characters when the player shows them the naming way. The ladder to the middle floor is behind the scholar searching for a book. The book is at the back, stack on the right. Okay. Wait, so we ha I was I was menuing. Is it upstairs <laughs> or what? <laughs> it's Figure it out, it's fine. Alright, alright. Ooh, one. One encounter. I'll tell you when we get there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. I wonder. Full 2070. So is the, is the incentive live, Mateco? Are we good to go? We are going. We've so, <laughs> yes, the incentive is live, but for some reason I can't parent it to a Stream 2 game because this game doesn't exist in the tracker right now. Oh. Maybe because we've met like all the, th the things that's been yeah, closed down. So, yeah, but like, so people in Stream 1 will be able to donate for it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, work we're working on it. We'll figure it out. Hey, that's great. That brings them in here. That man. brings them in here, yeah, yeah. We're Stream 1 now. <laughs> <laughs> All according to plan. Yes.
So yeah, not a bad one encounter going in is pretty good. It's pretty, pretty average. Pretty average, yeah. yeah. Nothing too funny. So Z's gonna get the old Rune Tooth again. Uh, Rune Tooth has got uh, poison on Soul Blade. And poison, funnily enough, it doesn't matter how much attack your weapon deals, poison is static. It's ooh, 1 16th, I take? Of the full health. Of yeah, the I think it's a 16th. I remember hearing it, but I'm not sure what the... I want to say 1 8th, but that seems really seems very... extensive. Yeah. So we're going to be letting poison take, and we're going to be casting Thirago with Eevee, because um, they don't scale off of your uh, weapon damage. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, Stein is going to be chugging away, trying to get heat to proc, and on the final turn, when we, if we have a chance to, We'll be trying to get a steal off. Because if we can get the Auric Alcan, or, or, or and use or, Matra or, Magic, it won't matter anyway. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot wait for Matra Magic to land. I'm casting it. It doesn't I know it won't work, but I'm casting it. I assume bosses are bosses even vulnerable to it? No, probably not. <laughs> I'm casting it anyway. Not that anyway. Hello. Nice. <laughs> okay, so Brutal's I assume is gonna be doing this, this the same pattern as always. You're gonna try lead with Steiner, because if, if you get heat on the first swing, that is optimal, and he just dies. You get it and you can manage to get a quick steal in as well. So the order of events is gonna be like Steiner. Uh, if that doesn't work, B's, uh, Zidane is going to use Soul Blade to poison Tarka. We're going to try that ATB flow all the way through this fight so that the poison ticks continually damage him. And Vivi is going to be using Faraga. And Freya is going to stand there and look pretty. And maybe throw potions. That's about it. Uh, need to survive. Freya needs to su Zidane, Freya and Steiner all need to survive here. So it's... Uh, it's normally Freya is going to be the issue most likely to go down. Yeah, so we're not interested in the amount of damage that Stein is dealing here at all, really. We're just interested in some props. Okay, heat for Pete. Not yet. It's really important that we don't hold ATV during any of this, because that will stop poison from digging. You. Rude. That's nah, very rude, isn't it? Yeah. No heat. Dropping a potion on Vivi just to keep him standing. Need him to uh, not go down. And Soul Blade there again uh, <coughs> is just because it otherwise will run out before the end of the fight, so you need to reapply it at some point. So ideally, we can get a steal here if all goes well. Need to make sure Fraser doesn't go down because she really needs AP here. Nice. Curl okay, is so all good. Try this. Class. Unlucky. <laughs> but no it's all good. No steals. You win nothing. That's it. We will be just running back out of uh, Ipsy's castle at the moment. So if there's a donation to read, by all means, take it away. Yeah. So we're, we're just we're just gonna home uh, home home rule this. So anyone who donates a stream to, you can just like write like Necron or something in the chat comment, and then I'll filter it later on in something else. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna figure that one out. I've got I've got the team on it. Uh, we've got a forty-two dollar and seventy cent donation from you know who this is. I've got a terrible <laughs> feeling that this is a reference, and I don't know what the tune is. Uh, is, is do you know? Is there a BB BB Brutals BB BB BB? <laughs> is that a reference or something? Brutals. You want to do it for us? Me? I, it's not for me to do. It is. Is it, Wavesy? Yes. Oh, it's not. It's, it says. It says. It's. It's written like a script. It says, "Brutals call on," and then, and then you, you now speak. Yeah. So, uh, do you want me to do my best, uh, Brian TTF? Yes. 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 BB, BB Brutals BB, <laughs> BB Brutals BB, BB Brutals BB, BB Brutals BB, BB Brutals BB. <laughs> he does change change speed as he goes on. It's great, <laughs> and inflection, and so on and so forth. Thank you, Steph. It's one hundred percent Steph. Yeah. It's so it's, it's, it says, yeah, blindfolded neck on, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Who else but Steph would? Mm -hmm. 
let me out. Oof. Two cars, so I'm on the way out. If that's all, that's good. Let's see how it goes. So we haven't. A this this save absolutely does have rebirth ring, doesn't it? We didn't. I know we haven't done anything since then, have we? No, you actually earned the rebirth ring and still have it. Just checking. <laughs> Let me out. So they can kill you, can't they? They can. I haven't. Seen I'll it. save it. Save at the. I guess I could save on the way out now while I've still got a full party. Yeah, it's fine. And if you don't need to save then for a while again, it's fine. Yeah. I'll be saving Brambal again, that's it. Only because there is a very slim chance where if they back attack you and then crit you <laughs> or something like that, they can just get you, man. Stranger things have happened. Let's not cheat anymore. We didn't cheat at all. What cheat? <laughs> no cheating has happened here. I didn't say anything about cheating. Just cheat box, no cheating. <laughs> That's just meme cheating. That's not really cheating. <laughs> Let me out, please. Nice. nice. Very good. We're going to do a menu here because our party's going to split up and we're not going to use a lot of these members again for a while. So we're going to remove more stuff than... Uh, Add to some of these people, um, and then set some other people up. That's throwing it. me off. Very nice. Very good. Yeah. So it's going to set some people up for actually fights for a good while away yet. Actually, so people will be set up for a while. Um, once I think from now on, we just Freya's not in the party anymore. Steiner isn't in the party anymore. Quinn is not in the party anymore. Oh, Quinn is, sorry. <laughs> um, pickles. No, I meant furry. Pickles, sorry. Pickles, yeah. But yeah, we're just starting people out. Taking stuff off Vivi because we'll be selling all the gear that's taken off as well. So. Pick we're up a peak. getting to the end game setup period. And not quite the end game, but the setup for the end game period. Pick Papa Pickles. So we can actually use a trapdoor to skip a bit of the previous map here. And I'm intentionally not picking up the Maiden's Prayer because I've been informed that we definitely do have the Rebirth Ring. Uh, the only reason... So they're in that chest is an item called the Maiden's Prayer. Maiden's? 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 Maiden's. Now it, it always confuses me because there's a there, place there's called Maiden's There's a Maiden's Maiden, Ring, and there's a... I don't know. It's a Maiden's Prayer. Yeah, it's a Maiden's It's a Maiden's Prayer, yeah. It, uh, it doesn't really... It's got, like, spirit on it. Yeah. And... Strength? Question mark? Is it, no, it has not strength on it, right? No, it's just spirit. I, I'm pretty sure it's got a lot of spirit on it, but... And magic evade. It has magic evade. Because... Oh, yes. I remember. Because, it has magic Because evade. you can accidentally skip... We are, uh, you could miss a blue shockwave. So, um, the, the, the primary reason is because it boosts holy weapons, and Freya, from pretty much the next time we use her, she is exclusively going to be using the holy lance, which, as you can probably assume, is boosted by holy damage, uh, which the Maiden's Prayer and the Rebirth Ring both do. So if you don't get the re re uh, Rebirth Ring while you're doing the tournament, then you can back it up by getting the Maiden's Prayer instead. Please do not kill my dudes. Oh, sorry, hold good. this. Oh, it's stop as well. Yeah, I thought it, like, I always think that's confused, but no. You can remedy that. But he does get a free turn. So we are now coming up to the shrines part of the run where we're going to ferry all of our party members off to various shrines uh, where they're all going to have to fight a boss, except we only fight the one that Zidane and Quina deal with. Mm -hmm. um, but on the way, we're going to make a little pit stop at Daguerreo to Rename uh, get our pickles, pickles. back. <laughs> We've lost our pickles. We need to redeem or find our pickle. <laughs> oh, pickles. Where could you be? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually gonna have to follow. Well, oh, no, we can we can still. Oh, yeah, well, this could, way, this yeah, way, yeah. Then, oh, it's that island. Yeah, then yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Yeah, so I can still do the new new route. 
Yeah, once you leave here, you've been on this way and then this way. It saves like four seconds, don't you know? There you go. Crazy. That'll definitely help us. Thank you, Arigo. <laughs> it's very funny that most of the times uh, you have to fly anywhere in the airship in this run, it points you right at where you need to go. And pretty much the only exception is these later uh, shrines. Yeah. It, it, right now it points you straight. Uh, pretty much. Uh, sorry, I was just I was thinking to myself because I need Quinna in the party, right? No, it. Hammered VV Quinna. Yeah, and so I need. Where do you drop? Oh, Quinna comes with us. Yeah. Okay, okay. I was just wondering, like, I'm not going to drop Quinna off no, no, too early. With you in the party. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, no, we're good. Just. It's, you know, because I've, I've owned this a few times, you know? <laughs> 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 I actually never thought of that. I assume it just lets you out you can just rock around the place with two people in your party and there's no, no you can you can but like if we drop Quinna at a shrine yeah I know but she comes with you yeah yeah that was the fun fact we do in fact fight Earth Guardian with with, with, with can you with believe pickles. this we fight Earth Guardian with a pickle with a pickle <laughs> more than one actually <laughs> thankfully there are many pickles involved a matter magic pickle only ESA stream stream one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I do a wee interjection here? Yeah, of course. Right, so first things first, we've got the blindfold boss incentive. It's now correctly allocated the stream two. So everyone who's watching right now, all fifteen eighty eight of you, give us ten dollars or so and then you know I can I can leave happy today. Um, <laughs> once we've raised ten thousand dollars <laughs> um, and we finish a day early, then we'll do the blindfold neck on and, and I'll go home jolly good. Uh, we've got ten dollars from bad luck to you lip or bad luck tulip maybe uh, no looky at the necroni and those ten dollars of course going to blindfolded necron thank you very much we are now at 52 dollars and 70 cents out of 400 for that it's going to be made in like 10 minutes you need to be thinking of new stuff chaps <laughs> <laughs> so how am i doing this i hey, took this thing no, i've got to move the lever first it's up here right no idea oh attack will help help oh right good right, help. I, I, i've got i've got i've got i've got it right um from the entrance, go right. Okay, here. Okay, we're already failing that. We're already failing that. Up the elevator. One second, one second, one second. We'll go right first. I need my pickle back. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, right, so. Up the elevator, okay. Go, go right. Yep. Up the elevator. Oh, oh yes. Is the guy on the left over here? Up the elevator. Yeah. And then? Is it this chap? Activate the ladder to the second floor and then go to the left. Where's that? Keep <laughs> Activate left. the ladder to the second go floor. Okay, maybe down there. This thing. Right, speak to one of these ch chappies. Okay, go left. That must have done it, right? It's, um, yeah, the, no, 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 down left, it's the, the chap in blue. This guy? I mean, if you know the color blue. Left, 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 down, left, down, down, <laughs> that chap there. This guy? Uh, Talk to him, see what It's happens. not him, he's a vendor, he's a vendor, he's a vendor. He's no, that's, that's the guy that does the normal, you get the, like, the good armor off him. Nope. nope. It just says a research made allows the player to rename. Jibin, help! <laughs> like Jibin literally wrote the instructions. But the picture, the picture of the. <laughs> oh wait! Oh what? <laughs> oh right! You, you know the way? You, no, don't go, go back up. <laughs> it's the stupid. You, oh, so you know the way you, you went to like the the middle room that takes it round the back and then down the side bit. No. Oh Someone right. Someone was saying the book in chat. Right. Le go, go this way again, yeah. The I have a terrible feeling that you might have to get a book from the thing. So that, that bit there that you're not allowed to go down. Yeah. Yeah, that's where you need to go. But we, what, I'm not allowed to go down? So yeah, so you need, I think you give the guy a book and then he lets you do something. Where do we get the book? Where's the book? You have to find the books. The book's in the <laughs> bottom right. They say the book is in the bottom right. Okay. It's on the shelves to the right, I think. Nope. To the right. To the right. Shout out to the chat. Observe books on far right. Far right. Ah. Oh. Books. Go right. These ones. Go right now. No, no, not in real time. I'm reading chat. <laughs> there's a there's a pile of books. I found the books. I found the books. Oh right. Okay. Next instruction chat. Forgive them. The go with the man in the blue that said about the books. Oh. Talk to the librarian. Hello. He's the one. The librarian. Maybe the, guy? old guy's the, the librarian. old guy's the librarian. Maybe the one that looks like he's a librarian. Oh yeah. Okay. That's ah, oh. Here we go. Here we go. Things are happening. Quests. Side quests. Okay. Here we go. He's not helping. Why? Have, oh, you now look in the place for the thing. Uh, oh, oh, go down. Ladder? Sure. Ladder. Why not? People have stopped for, stopped writing now. I don't know why. Now we climb down. Do a barrel roll. No. Wait. Oh. <laughs> this. Come on, chat plays FF9. Hurry up. And then talk to you. 
Wait, no, wait, oh, wait, I've got the picture, I've got the picture. Oh, it's the, yeah. the geezer with the brown hat. Oh, okay, here we yes. go. Yes! Hey! Oh, hey! Uh, we did it. This one. We nailed it. Come on, Pickles. First try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. dude! Woo! Pickles is back. How do I leave? <laughs> <laughs> If you can't find the way out, I'll make a new save. It's alright. <laughs> <laughs> we just load out in the world map again. It's all good. But then we won't have pickles. I uh, have to find a way back in. <laughs> Welcome back, pickles. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so that's how you speedrun FF9. This yeah, is, yeah. This is uh, this is the uh, island of shame. That's actually just saved ten minutes. I've, there's, I've just, like, there's a very established FF9 runner in chat who's just written, I never knew you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning a lot today. I'm learning how to use Memoria Save Editor also, but uh, that's besides the point. <sighs> I feel at ease now. <laughs> that was stressful. Can't wait for Matra, Matra Magic to miss. <laughs> I, I am saving outside that bloody shrine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've got much uh, to Mutsky's uh, dismay. Dismay, we're actually going one. this way. Okay, yeah, this is faster. Mutsky was leading people astray for years, years and years, years and, and years. years. It's Four seconds faster than this way. He was leading them right in many other ways, but this way, this one particular thing. This is the way. I mean, he couldn't direct Link when he did his Elder on here years ago, so... There you go. I don't know why this would be any different. Uh, can I do a donation, gents? Absolutely. Of course. Yeah. We've got a $5 donation from Zidane fan. You need directions? It's okay. FF9's a big game and confuses lots of players. Just enjoy your first playthrough and don't rush anything. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> That's going the blindfolded Necron. <laughs> Thanks, Z. Or should I call you my dude? My dude, yeah. Call me any time, Koopo. Any time. We've done it. We've saved the game. We're invincible. We are invincible now. All right. And even if we don't save, we're apparently we're invincible too, so it's fine. <laughs> That's right. We're going to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> going to channel my inner Billy Mays, and I'm just going to cheat. So, yeah, if you don't uh, select the exclamation point here, you actually get crushed and it's game over, so be careful. Ah! Oh, you left that one late. You left that one. <laughs> Flexing on us. <laughs> oh, man. What if Magic Magic worked? New strats in ESA? There's Live. no way it works. There's what if it works? No. What what, if it does no, these gimmicky moves, they never work in FF9. That's the yeah, thing. But what if <laughs> Limit Glove works on a. Uh, what if. On Osmus? Okay, okay, Limit, Limit Glove but, does. Yeah. That's so, like, what's wrong with Matro Magic on a. Uh, Hang on. What what enemy does Limit Glove not work on? I don't know. <laughs> I just seen this, this use it tried on and Osmus. tested blue magic. <laughs> oh, yes, but the, the other one might not. Oh, man. There's snake ladies on the stream. Help. Brutals, calm yourself. Can't. He's besotted by snake ladies. Can we sneak in a quick donation absolutely. before the fight? Yeah, We've absolutely. got $10 from Ono. Oh says, could we speak in only one syllable again? Wait, bah. what run? Is that run already over? Oops. Bah. Yeah, I don't think we're I don't think we're doing that. <laughs> we haven't got time. Where were you? This has been going for eight hours almost. It feels like ten minutes. <laughs> Obviously that's going the blindfold. Ten minutes is how long you yeah. were in Daguario. <laughs> yeah, it feels like I'm only just getting started. Yeah. I think we should boot it up again after and just do, you know, legit. <laughs> <laughs> so no cheat box then. Yeah, no, no Kawami either, I guess. <gasps> Good ATV. Um, Are you really gonna use Matra Magic? Absolutely. Okay. All right, here we go. Get hyped. Come on, Matra Magic. You should use Matra Kill Magic him! first, and it's not then do anything. Because it would have got a watch this dude. to one HP. Oh, right, oh uh, shock! We need to try again. It'll work the second time. Oh, uh oh. Maybe yeah, I would recommend not doing match remember. Maybe we'll uh, we'll try it after we res. Let's not attack. <laughs> <laughs> Earthquake. No, on Quinner. Pickles. 
It's a good tea. He's blessed the run. Pickles in the fridge. Let's go. Cool. We'll top him up. Two hits. So, actually, yeah, sorry. After all the memeing, we gotta talk about what's going on here. Um, Earth Guardian actually has like 20,000 HP. Lucky sevens. By the way. No. Um, <clears throat> 20,000 20, HP, but at 75% damage done, 25% 20, 20 remaining, whatever. 25% uh, remaining, you can eat it. That's the plan. We're gonna swing six times with Z and then eat it. Um, the, way, the way all our equipment is set up at the moment, we absorb almost everything. There's a few things we don't. Yep. Just um, yep. double slash, obviously, in Faraga. All right, don't, don't, look away, look away, look away. What? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to sell that really quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Next, you're gonna be saying you steal the battle boots off Garland. Oh, that's Ooh, actually legit. That's a legit strat. Where's Mythic Dog? No pickles! Cooked pickles. Please don't kill me for that. Uh oh. Oh. Fludge. He can't actually just kills it and it one hit with that move, man. The max, his max roll there is 1599. Oh my god. <laughs> Are we on five? Uh, uh yes. By my count. Yeah. Five. Don't miss. I uh, can't miss. <laughs> Come on, pickles. Eat him. Eat him. No! Oh, Swansea! Maybe it was just a low damage rolls, I don't know. Oh! oh the counter! Yes! Come on! Match of magic? Ah, <laughs> oh, I wanted to kill him with a crit. <laughs> but you do nom, need, nom, 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 nom. You do need uh, like 26 something per hit average. Yeah, there. it has to be above that. No, I think it was fine, I think we just miscounted. There was, there was just too much excitement in the air, you know? Yeah, there was stealing going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know Those it doesn't work on bosses. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Yeah, but are you sure you guys have tested it enough? <laughs> <laughs> have you tried again? We do have time for our donations. Outstanding. Uh, right, we've got $10 from Tomian, who says, This is a Vine reference. Off-camera person. Happy birthday, Zwanzig. And Zwanzig says, I can't see. I, I, I don't vine. I mean, it's been, I'm too young. It's, you know, it's TikTok or nothing for this guy. $10 to <laughs> Necron. Uh, $25 from SuperGod451. Can't go better or worse than a Garner only run. Haha, <laughs> funny. Um, <laughs> that's Blindfolded Necron. And uh, we've got $10 from our own Knock Frost. Blindfolded Necron? Why not Wheel Zombie? <laughs> I've also heard the tower is a very to throw. <laughs> Um, you, oh, I mean, we could do that. We're already, like, we're over $100 towards Blindfolded Necron, nice. so... Dagger and Ico. Dagger and Ico. Don't you to get too caught up in the Vine references. <laughs> <laughs> Off to the Shimmering Island, where we're going to transport ourselves to Terra. Shimmer Shimmering Island is my favourite DLC. From... What was it? Oblivion. <laughs> oh, is that actually <laughs> this, Yeah. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> Giving out about Vine references and bringing up Oblivion. Oh my god. Yeah, mate, a banger game. Back in my day when Bethesda was good. <laughs> Boy, they made Skyrim 16 times. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, one more real, like, traversal through a kind of a dungeon area, which is Terra itself. And then we're into a bit of a boss rush, big menu section. And then we're in the end game, baby. Yeah, so throughout this crew screen, there's a number of screens here in Terra that we're gonna go through. We're very likely to get a, a small handful of encounters. If we fight against Hectize, and you'll know which one it is when you see it, but if we see any Hectize, they're actually undead and we can use life from either Ico or um, Dagger because she's got the rebirth ring. Uh, or we can just throw an elixir if, if needs be. But we can uh, kill him at this point and it will give Zidane just enough experience to pop him into level 34 territory, which is very nice. Cozy. It's going to give us a couple extra health points for Death Guys. Who just loves to get you. He's not going to get us today. You don't think so? No. I mean, we haven't actually died yet. Not in this safe, well. 
<laughs> we just got to own it at this stage. It's the only uh, room. Uh, what, what, what do you think? We are a team. team. We are a team. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well. Uh, well. I'm not part of it. You know what? Team. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> see how you do it, Disc 4. Then we'll yeah, you're yeah, on my yeah. team or not. <laughs> I take no responsibility for any of this. You are right. exempt just because it's your birthday. Also, I wasn't here. So. I, shh, shh, they don't know that. <laughs> Problem shared and all that. All right. Screen number one, please. Okay, okay, okay. Will we get across the bridge? With, oh, never mind. Can you not? I'm just printing. <laughs> <laughs> it's listening again. The game is listening again. You shouldn't talk. <laughs> oh! There he is. There he is. Could you guess? Oh! Oh, back attack. Wait, is Why it? Why is that? Yeah, it's because we take a little. Oh my god, the fact that you can tell when it's a back attack scares me. She is dead. Gunlet, are you? Didn't know she learned life, so. We rebirth her. Ah, cool. Ditch. Very good. Lots of levels. All the experience. We did it. Garland, are you proud of me now? Dad, please. Can we get across the bridge? Nah. Definitely not. Definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> Where do you think we are? <laughs> Take the controller, man. You're better at these screens than me. <laughs> Alright, let me. Watch this. Getting the quick free off the E. Let's see it. Let's see it. Try Matra Magic. 20%? Ah. Alright, well, good night, Pickles. <laughs> good night, Pickles. <laughs> Flow. <laughs> we got nothing. Crazy? Mini it is. Two. Lucky devil. Nice. We're gonna pick up the demon's vest underneath this cobweb stairs. The cobweb ladder, whatever it is. I pressed too many buttons. This area hey. has some of the best music. It's all very good around this area. And Pandemonium incoming. Yana incoming. More melodies of life music. I love it. Can you put more of it on, please? <laughs> okay. And we're going to do one final menu here to unequip the people who we have not oh. already unequipped after this encounter. <laughs> one more for the road. One for luck. There is still more for more. There is a chance of more, but I'm going to need you to not kill my friends. Okay. Cool trick. Very cool. Very cool trick. Now release me. Release me. Yeah, so I'll do the menu as close to the trigger as I can. Just so that if we do get an encounter on the final check, then we... Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Not really, but... Oh, and... What's wrong here? Noise. I actually don't know how much that, that thing's worth. Get it out of your bag. Don't you? Yeah, yeah, but you're trading it for something else, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Must be worth something. <sighs> and relax. And relax. Welcome to SA2. We are entering Brambal. It's... What time is it? <laughs> it's in the evening? It's quarter past eight. The oh, no. Maltina racket is valued at 750 gil, which means that it will be sold for 375. Oh, 
thank you very much. You're quite, quite welcome. That's actually quite nice to know. And if you take away the value of the golem flute that you exchanged it for, you probably end up with a profit of 100 gear. <laughs> <laughs> Probably isn't worth doing at all. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> the golem's flu is valued at two thousand seven hundred gold. Oh, baby. Then why do we? Eh? Oh, so wait. No, well, we take the, the we take the flu. We take the flu. We take the golem's flu and sell yeah, that. So it's and we put them all to rank it Yeah, so it's, it's the golem's flu we're selling. So for grand. Thirteen fifty. There we go. Now we're talking. Good maths. <laughs> I know. I know. I catch you around for something. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me like that, please, man. I'm trying, I'm trying to make friends here. <laughs> it's my first DSA, please. <laughs> I just want, just want to be laughing, man. <laughs> so, yeah, we're in Branbell now, which is technically Zidane, Zidane's home. Zinedine. Zinedine. Mm. It's his home place. He's from here. My dude. My dude is from Branbell. I love this. This menu is my favorite because it's like you just, you need someone in your party, you just grab Vivi by his sleevey. <laughs> and just, <laughs> come on. Get in. And just run off You're with him like, with oh, where are we going, my dude? <laughs> so we're going to be running around Bramble here. Uh, Doing bits and bobs. Uh, Dagger has passed out. She's in the bedroom here, and that's it. And Zidane is going to go around looking to find out what, what's going on. I don't know what Aiko is going to do, but she does go wandering She's as well. She's going to just run around and insult people, really. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of it. So we do have time for a donation. Outstanding. We've got $20 from Guy, the best Final Fantasy II character. Loving this Final Fantasy IX run. I'm doing him an A. A. And that's twenty dollars for blindfolded Necron. Nice. nice. Let's go. Excellent. Let me out. There's a sneaky elixir hidden down here. I'm gonna pick that up for later. Talk to this girl, and she has a name. Mikoto. Thank you. But I know she's not name. just named girl right now. So. Well, there you go. All right. Well, listen. I wasn't spoiling it, like. Brutals with the spoilers. Listen. Please. Spoilers. <laughs> God. We're a 23 year old game, please. And random NPC. <laughs> but just because I've taken the time to enjoy this game and learn the characters' names, <laughs> you know, you can't just speedrun these things. You can't just play That's them it. really quickly. What's the, the, they spent a lot of time. Imagine if they knew that you were feeling the insides of their games like this. <laughs> I don't think they'd be best played. Yeah, exclamation point speedrunner, yeah. Speedrunning, that's it. The FF10 uh, copy pasta, please. Give me that. Thanks. Another elixir hidden in the back of this room. Time for some quick shopping. I have an extra menu item to sell, don't I? Oh, yes, the rubber suit. <laughs> so we're going to sell the magician shoes, the angel earrings, and a rubber suit. Yeah, now we're going to have to buy ourselves an Ori Kalkin. I have no idea what the rubber suit does. I think it's actually quite good. It, should be, it probably is, but it's going to get in the way. <laughs> it is going to get in the way. <laughs> I'll start, yeah, save afterwards. One more? Oh my goodness. Yeah, magician shoes. Angel earrings. Where's the rope? Left. It's right there. It's it's right? right, left. There. So, all right. We're going to buy the Ori and two Cornets. And that is it. We are. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm trying to go too <laughs> fast. I'm too speedy. <laughs> yeah, this is a save that we really hope we don't have to use because it's actually quite far away from yeah. the fights. Yeah, this one would be. Indeed. Up. There's a. But we are invincible, so it's fine. We are completely right. invincible. The uh, rubber suit gives 39 defense, one magic defense, has a sooner eye for eye. Um, abilities got. No, it's well, whatever. Synthesize, blah, 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 blah. Elemental defense, thunder, nullified. Two evasion, three magic evasion. Huge. Mm, pretty huge. Good. That helps you against. You could have put it on. No, but Earth Guardian. Question mark. But you got it from, Earth, it Guardian. from Earth Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> Abaddon, maybe. Is there anything that has. Abaddon. Abaddon. Oh, Abaddon. Quinn, I could have wear it for Abaddon. Quinn, Pickles. 
wrapped in a rubber like, suit. Actually, I'm just bouncing electricity off herself. Let's not reroute this on the fly. <laughs> I'm just thinking, are you, are you rooting out the second? He's already sold it. It's okay. Is the second coral ring being rooted out? <laughs> <laughs> Learn bandit. Steal rubber suit. Let's go. Probably worth the turn as well. <laughs> okay, we're going to do one final little bit of a menu here. Set Zidane up for the little bit of a... It's not really a boss rush, but it, it does feel like one. Yeah, I feel like this is, on a casual playthrough, really meant to be more of a story event than serious boss rush, but it's actually it's one of the more dangerous sections of the speedrun. For sure. Abaddon can straight up just kill you. Just decide oh, yeah. today is not your day. Uh, go back to turn one. This speed do not run. pass go, do not get 200 euro. here. Your journey comes to a conclusion. And as for Shell Dragon, you can play Shell Dragon fairly safe. I intend not to. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll explain the gimmicks as we go. There's a as long as you've got the damage numbers in there so I can do it properly. Uh, there, I actually don't have them there. You don't have the rolls in there? No, I have them on, a different, I'm on a different sheet. I can get it for you. Alright, that'd be cool. Actually, it's okay, I know. I know, the, I know the max rolls, that's the most important thing. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you know, Zidane's getting a lot of story here. He's adopted or something. I guess he knew he was adopted. Um, He knew he wasn't, like, from this world, right? I guess? Question mark? He's the only guy that's got a tail. Garland tells him he's, he's, a, he's a fake man. Kooch is his brother. Uh, it's basically Dragon Ball Z. And uh, Zidane's actually an angel of death. Yes. He has been created to uh, create war and destruction and death across Gaia because Garland needs all of the souls to try to return to the planet so that they get stuck at the ether tree, which he has fabricated, question mark, um, so that he can then inject all of the souls that he has brought from Terra into Gaia and Other take way around. of it. Other way around? Gaia is the... Zidane with the world we've been on. This is Terra. This right? is Terra. Right. Yeah, that. that. For, from Gaia to Terra to re re revive Terra things. Yes. It, that easy. It's that, that easy. It's pretty straightforward, really. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. It's that easy. So, it, <laughs> Final Fantasy IX is a role playing game <laughs> from 2000. <laughs> from 2000 <laughs> <laughs> featuring warring nations in Gaia. <laughs> yeah, perfect. It's just that. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Very political. <laughs> Uh, Garland's a robot, by the way. I love. I got a soft spot for him. He's been my profile picture for like at least ten years, a decade. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I, that's what I've ever seen you as, <laughs> Mr. Garland. You know, it's genuinely just because I wanted to have like an old man, so I would appear smart, and he was the closest from FF9. Yeah. Uh, that's the only reason. That's fair enough. Uh, and as you're always 20, that makes sense. Yeah. So, Yana is a sequence of three fights. Correct. Three battles. And they're not considered actual bosses, so you do gain experience from these, much like the Red Dragons, which were, we call a boss, but they're not really either. So, we're going to do, we're going to kill certain characters in, in certain fights so that we get the maximum experience onto the characters that we wish to gain levels and experience and get tank gear for the final disc. Um, so the first one we're going to face is Amadeusius, flying horsey thing. Murder uh, horse. Murder horse. Murder horse. Perfect. Don't get got by murder horse because they'll get you. Technically a bird. <laughs> Te yep. Yeah, thank thankfully. Technically a bird. So uh, essentially, we just kind of chill. We used to have the rebirth ring during this section, which made some fights a little bit easier to manage. Um, it's got its downsides, its upsides, and all that sort of stuff. But we used to just be able to have Zidane knock himself out, which would progress the fight instantly uh, after the bio. I wouldn't die if I didn't know. <laughs> but instead of doing that, we're going to lose a few seconds and we're actually going to wait for the story to trigger automatically. And Freya is going to join the fray. Then we're going to have Zidane attack Amducias once. That should trigger Amarant's entrance, <coughs> at which point at that we need to like create a scenario where Zidane is dead. And Amarin and Freya are the only ones that receive experience from Odysseus. Mm -hmm. Nice main. So 
So yeah, just waiting out. So how have you been enjoying the run? Good, yeah? I've had a great time. Have you, time, have you yeah? been enjoying yourself? It's been a good time. I've had the best time. How's your I'm day been with Zwanzig? It's a nice birthday, honestly. I still got cake over there. Still cake ready to go whenever you want it. Nice. Uh, Zidane didn't under damage. So Andusias is going to take an action here. I can't end the fight just yet. Hopefully he lands, which counts as a turn. Perfect. Okay. And Lani is going to throw the correct item and end the fight for you. <laughs> you do not want to throw a Rising Sun. Don't throw the Rising Sun or the sun will set over your run. <laughs> Thank you, Romy Merck. Lovely. I lost a few runs to that stuff back in the day. And I still remember his little limerick that he made for me. It's not very real, but it's stuck. Fair enough. It's, it's stuck. stuck. You, you haven't messed it up since. I haven't. The, the Abaddon is the next fight. This is the one that can show up, Kaleo. There's two things I want to do. We want to put, if we can, put Steiner into the back row. So we're going to change order in the fight. That actually reduces a bit of dialogue once uh, Zidane enters. And then hope that uh, we don't get murdered. And wait for Zidane to appear. Exactly. So we actually want to make Steiner change the back row as quickly as we can to avoid some dialogue. Okay, so that should be okay. Oh, 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 never no. mind. Well, this is okay. This is high wind, I think. Depending on the roll on Steiner here, I'm going to yeah. change my mind. Uh, Yeesh. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Unfortunate. We have one more turn to one more turn to change row. We can actually attack ourselves, and it would actually work because we've got accuracy plus. He's doing it again. I'm going to attack Double myself. high wind. I can save some mana because we have actually got accuracy plus. Let's go. Ah, now we're good. Nice. So Zidane should appear here. Two swings from Zidane, Zidane and we're good to go. Zidane, he can't under damage, but... Zidane might not even get a preemptive attack here. There's a chance that he doesn't get in until their turn. Would you believe I did not know that you could uh, cut the dialogue short there? Yeah, by changing. Yeah. Yeah. You learned about something that. today. Yeah. Awesome. So Steiner has the... Thunderclubs? He's got the Coral Sword and the Coral Ring on, so if he deals himself lightning damage, it actually heals him. Which is nice. why he's able to do that. It's much more reliable if we have gained the ability points from Melty Gemini. Because like I said, we have Accuracy Plus. If we don't have Accuracy Plus, he's actually wearing Distract, which gives him a 50% chance to evade any physical, single target physical. So he distracts uh, himself. Yep, correct. And <laughs> successfully as well. So he has a really slim chance to actually hit himself without it. I have the rolls here for you, but I don't know if you need. Like, they're all there on the left. Whatever damage, what do you have left after he hits you? What to do? I don't like it, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I just like the little... The, it's okay, I'm, I just... What, you do, do your thing, just, you do you. No, Shell Dragon! Shelly D. Shell Dragon, here so we I'm go. So I'm actually going to flee. I actually, we want him to hit us as hard as he can. Yep. Smack me. As I'm hard as possible. wave my cheeks at him. Come we, on. We need Zidane get to me. get into yellow HP. Even just for a moment, just to flick into it. And Come that on. will trigger... Dagger appearing. Yeah. Not good enough. Okay, that's not too bad actually. Oh, Holy high portion second. No, no, no. Option, but... So a regular attack does up to 1,000 damage. So I'm going to hold for a moment. 600 is never going to get me. No, 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 I know, but we can try and go for it next turn with defending and fleeing. Just 800. So I let it go. So if we don't go up to 1,000. Yeah, let's just do this. Nice. There we go. There we go. That will Probably about to trance as well. Yep. Good Almost a trance, trance build there. So, this is a high risk, high reward scenario where if he puts you in crit immediately, so Zidane's now going to go into this second phase with full ATB and he's going to get a free turn. Whereas, if you use rebuffering strategies and you actually attack yourself, he will have the first turn. And it's kind of a really awkward thing because if he does charge early, he's going to kill Dagger. I don't think we kill with Shift Break. Uh, do you not have Solution 9 available? Uh, ah. Attack and Shift Break should kill, but I'm not sure if it's the... Oh, yeah. Shift Break does 7k. This so. is just a re You know what? I'm going to let him have a turn. I'm going to yeah. throw the Elixir and I'm going to let him have a turn, just because. That's, so what I would do here is I would use a regular attack, because I can't have Dagger alive here. Mm -hmm. I think Grand Leaf will probably kill, but it's just not worth the headache. Yeah, Grand Leaf yeah. should definitely kill. We don't have it. 
Oh, shift break. I don't think shift break works, but I'm just going to do it for science, man. Yeah. I guess seven, it's 7k. He has 10k HP. Uh, you might be a little three. short. Yeah, no, you should be fine then. You should kill. Yeah, I didn't no, so. this one kill. Yeah. That's why I didn't risk it last time as well. Alright. We'll wait now. I'm used to having Solution 9 here. Um, you probably could you buy an Ori. Uh, like, for it? No, no, no. But you're using the Ori. Oh, yeah, I am. Maybe it's supposed to be something else then. Yeah, I don't know. We don't use the Zorlin shape. Maybe it's that. Oh, I've yeah, never that's. I've used Zorlin shape in my life. Have you used Zorlin? <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember what you learn, whatever turn. Me either, but I'm trying to think of the weapons that I have used in the past that I'm not using in this run. <laughs> <laughs> so we are coming up to the biggest menu in the game. Uh, oh, yeah. Pandemonium menu. Oh, oh yeah. is it? Maybe it's the Angel Bless. Probably that. We use that, but we maybe we didn't learn it. Something like that. Yeah. I don't know. I think maybe we just didn't learn it. Or something. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a quick heal here. Maybe. Maybe not. No, we're not. Okay, we're not. <laughs> uh, you're the wrong one. There we go. Take out the Come on, Pickles. Get out of the way. Don't worry. <laughs> just don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's See, it's, it's only a Marlboro. It's fine. Is this, They're not FF9 scary. is the only one where you can say it's only a Marlboro, by the way. They're not really It's scary. only a Thundaga, not on Sedan. Thank you. Oh, good. You don't need to say that. Alright, there's no way we get another one, is there? Surely not. Surely not. No way we get another encounter here. No way. If you want to read some donations during this menu, then feel free, because I'm not saying after the menu? I know you won't be saying anything, but people might want to watch it. Sure. We have plenty of time after as you're running all the way up the stairs, so I think maybe we'll wait till after and we'll talk about what's been happening. So, uh, let's see this menu. Help me. <laughs> That's the, the their equipment is completely wrong. Then. You're not supposed to have this. Do you want me to call it out or you're No, 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 no. it's fine. Probably pumice. Z is supposed to have the pump, power vest and pumice piece. There we go. Um, hello? Me. Tans on Supposed to have that on. <laughs> That's the power best one. Nice. Yeah, people got the wrong gear. It's fine. Don't need it. Why is it wrong? I'm supposed to optimize that right. Now he's fine, hopefully. Doesn't sell power best, does he? No, no. Well, he's wearing summon. So you just need double killer. Man needs it. Okay, good. I don't think you want my help, mate. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Probably just save it. Yeah. And, um, so he's missing the power bus. That's all. He hasn't got it. Yeah, it's fine. It's just going to be a slightly lower damage. What am I doing? Well, you know what? Why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> go on. Go on. Treat yourself. There we go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Flawless. Perfect menu. Excellent stuff. Round of applause and brutals. No mistakes at all. Now we have time for donations. Ms. Hacko, please take it away. We, we've got $10 from my greatery MIG. How far off is Necron again? So like 40, 45 minutes? <laughs> Yeah, we'd want. Yeah, we'd need 45 minutes just to get there. I think. Yeah, yeah probably easy. closer to an hour, to be honest. Right. Like so the actual fight, we probably just because we've got to go out of this three. Yeah. Then 45 minutes would imply that it's actually half decent this floor as well. <laughs> yeah, but we're gonna go underestimate, right? Oh, absolutely. So it's gonna be done in 43 minutes now. Uh, we've got ten dollars from Anonymous. Love the run, but I love the soundtrack even more. What are your favorite headbangers in this absolute masterpiece of an OST? Love Anon. All of that going towards Blindfolded Necron. Thank you so much. Nice. Is that a question? Yeah. Yeah. Best, would, best fit. I actually it will. I, I'm to go stereotypically with it. Is Melody's Alive is actually. But you literally spent the entire run talking no, nonsense about it. I said it's overused. Uh, That's all. I didn't mean that it's not a good piece of music. So Melody's Alive is a banger. Absolute banger. I will say the donation did specifically say headbanger. Okay, it's not a headbanger. That is this dark messenger then. <laughs> I, I reckon you could headbang to uh, Melodies of Life. Alone for a while. <laughs> Just bang. What about you, Zwanzig? Uh I'm actually a big fan of the, the regular boss team. Oh, boss team. Okay, yeah. That's good, actually. I was like, please don't say the regular battle thing. Oh, my oh no, 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 no. no. <laughs> No, there's there's traumatic memories associated with that <laughs> for any FF9 runner, really. Brutals. Mine has to be. It's, it's called We Are Thieves, and I mentioned it earlier. Oh, it's my the, favorite track. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's got nice. too much of a. I don't know what it's called. Like an offbeat lick thing going on. You're the musician. You know music. Types. That's what. That's the technical term, right? I can I can convey stuff, but I don't know what you're trying to convey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't understand. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. Come yeah, on. that thing. We're a team. We're a team. It's that thing. It's the what did you say it was again? Yeah, o offbeat thing. thing. Yeah, Part yeah, that thing. Syncopation. Yeah, that's the one. Dad, I'm, gl I'm glad you understand me. <laughs> yeah, as, as, me as one musician to another. <laughs> <laughs> I would like one free. Ah, my friend. Oh no! Can't believe you've done this. Bonk. Oh, crit. No, never mind. Twister. That's fine. That's fine, isn't it? That's fine. It's great. Right. I might go down, but she's, she'll get ah, back up. All good. Oh. Nice. That's a little PD for the books. It's all right. <laughs> Lucky we bought some extra ones. Just to have. <laughs> we do actually have 10 billion. We have a million Phoenix Downs now. Yeah. <laughs> RNG Delson. manipulation. Perfect. PDs give you wings. So actually, uh, Silver Dragon in other outs is actually really, really lethal. He's got an ability called Shockwave, which is AoE, physical damage. Uh, however, we don't respect that. We don't respect here. that. Here. We have given everyone access to the counter ability. Uh, so if you hit me, oh, I'll hit you. Oh, I will hit you back. I'll get you. So the next two bosses take roughly eight hits to kill both times. If you have like low mana or something, you lose access to MP attack, something like that in between. We're about to, so Stano was the only one that didn't get the swing, so it wouldn't. Yeah. Poke him. Poke nice. him. Nice. Two preamps. Oh, uh, Freya's not got money. Freya's not money. Yeah, I was going to say so. Because it had to go off. not matter for That's not Amaran, isn't it? Oh, oh, what the heck, dude? I should have not done that the way around. Oh, well. It's alright, she's going to crit anyway. So Amran, Amran <laughs> is the only party over here that can't crit. And it's for the same reason we had earlier in the game. Uh, his MP isn't high enough. Not MP, sorry, his spirit. spirit. Oh, Freya, you're really going for it, aren't you? She's giving it her best, all right? Oh, all right, this is fine. Nice. Jump. Oh, no, mind. That's no auto life as well. That's all right, you got to get, you got to land anyway. <laughs> Again, perfect menu early. I think that there, there might be a save on the memory card for this. <laughs> no, it's all good. Like a... Nice. Oh, 
You are just going to have to stop killing my friends. Did Thank you say you. stop your friends? That's at, it's fine. He, did, he is stopping. Locomotion, never mind. He is stopping. He's not got, loc <laughs> he's not got locomotion. <laughs> no, it's Hey, a crit. crit! Hey! All skill. All skill. The nice thing about these fights, <laughs> other than Silver Dragon, is that they, they only have single target moves, so they really never really get proper scary. Yeah. When you've got four people and an ample uh, number of Phoenix Downs, then mm -hmm. you're really never in danger of dying. Indeed. Show me your true power. I love Kuja when he comes down here, man. This is cool. He's got some lovely little lines. They couldn't even bother animating a float. He's like, nah, just, no, make, just make him stand. Stand in the sky. His little feet, he's a little Bring bit. Bring him down. Right. It explains how he was able to stand on top of this silver dragon earlier on, outside the life Magic. Tree. Yeah, he doesn't need the dragon. Need that, he, that's just to look cool. That's it. He just, he's one foot wasn't even on the ground. Screw the rules. I have magic. All right, so Freya is weak. However, mm -hmm. if he does something like target Steiner, just a suggestion. Maybe. On Steiner? Would you mind? No. Why are you like this? <laughs> Why do you do this to me? <laughs> Sorry. This here. Bonk. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Get up, sit down. Come on, man. Come on, my dude. Oh, it's too late now. Z and the F are not going to hit very hard right now. <laughs> one of them's got no mana, and one of them's not got good old mana. Either. Is there anything that needs fixing before I, auto life? Yeah. Auto life is the big one. Yeah. Man eater's fine. There's yeah. no man's on this floor. Uh, there's one, but he's also a bird. Yes. I think we can just represent at this point, to be honest. Nice. Super. And that is the end of this three boss rush. Yeah. That's nice. We're out. We're out. That's the one. So we do have time for donation. There's something to read. Cool. Well, We've got twenty dollars thirty cents from Niam, blindfolded Necron, Gasp. P.S. Whose birthday is it? Uh, happy birthday! And uh, that is—it's obviously going towards blindfolded Necron, which is currently at one hundred and seventy-three out go. of four hundred dollars. We're with, so close. With like thirty-six minutes of the run left. Uh, you may as well take over when this cutscene starts. Yeah. No worries. Because. Uh, Tell me what we need to fix, actually. I might just, oh, I can't do it on the way out either. No, you can't. Yeah. You, you, you have to land, land the edge. I'm going to land anyway. Yeah, yeah. Unless you want to, uh, you know, just go in. You don't, you don't have faith. <laughs> you have little faith. We won't be picking up the tower today. Now, what's Lani doing here? The redhead one, right? <laughs> Bonk. So yeah, Kuja has achieved trance. He's now multi he's changed his color scheme. And he's more powerful. <laughs> it's a DLC costume yeah. too. <laughs> he's now a Devil May Cry character. Yeah. Uh, the city of Final Fantasy, Kuja. <laughs> yeah, SSJ. Isn't that the blue-haired one? Uh, that's uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. All right, thank you. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. As a connoisseur of anime. <laughs> I haven't even watched Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
Did it hurt when they kicked you off? Me? The platform, yeah. Yeah. Is it's it... fine, he's alive. He's alive? Uh, right now. Is he? For now. Uh, he, feeling... just, he just talked after falling oh. off the cliff. He tells, I feel it's going to get worse. Yeah, he tells Kuja, uh, you're about to die because your lifespan is actually very limited. So <laughs> uh, Kuja's like, okay, well, uh, I guess I'm taking everyone with me then. <laughs> and throws a big old temper tantrum and uh, completely destroys Terra, basically. Nice. It's pretty scummy, to be honest. Not the mushrooms. Not the mushrooms. You got it, yeah? Yeah, I probably will just tuck in and do my usual disc four carry on. Very nice. So, as much time as we managed to spend in Old Terror, it is now no more. It is defeated. It is no more. Goodbye, Terror. We hardly knew you. It was fun, though. We had good times here. So I just got to escape. All that's coming down. Got to get out of here. And find a way out. But fortunately, uh, the owner of the Invincible Airship is now deceased. So we are good to go. Steal his ride. So, yeah, they're going to use the, uh, well, spoilers, I suppose, yeah. I believe the rest of the party has been able to... They're trying to evacuate all the Terrans, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Get them in, and uh, they're going to find a new home for them when they get back to the new guy. The new guy? Their new guy, I suppose. Now, whatever you do, don't look at the eyeballs, okay? They'll petrify you. <laughs> They'll get you. Is it, is it Amaran and Quinn that's just kind of just kind of walk oh, along? It's like yeah, it's it's fine. Fine. just stroll, oh, and everyone else is like, we better go. <laughs> He's just like, nah, too cool, uh, too cool to run. <laughs> and Quinn just knows no better. <laughs> no good food anywhere, my dude. <laughs> One last, or oh, two last meats. Didn't feed him enough. That is disc three. Nice. Oh, nice. Get your CD ready. We're going into the final disc. This disc is the shortest of them all, but is the most fun. You get to do all the cool stuff. Do you want to be our disc changers, Onzi? To be part of it. I do <laughs> love a good speedrun disc swap. Let's do it. Oh, yeah? We I thought that was a sigh of arm. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. He was excited. That's a sigh of arm. Yeah, let me yes. in. Yes. <laughs> let me at him. Absolutely right. It's this button here, yeah. not this one. I, you know, I've, I've, fun fact, I have operated a PS2 before. <laughs> Do not press the power button. Was it within the last five years? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just check it. <laughs> See us all. <laughs> Checking if I can reach over far enough. Yeah, yeah. Be good. Uh, yeah. T if we did swap to the other disc, we could uh, be underestimated. But I think no, we're alright. No, 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 no. We're good. We're good to go. We're actually, yeah. With with um, blindfolded, if we meet it, how are we looking on the blindfolded overall, uh, Mr. Mateko? Well, because I've got a blindfold, I can't tell you. Um, we enough. are at 173 out of 400. Okay. We are at 198 out of 400. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're cooking. <laughs> now, we're cooking. now we're cooking. Um maybe yeah, we'll see. Keep the donations coming. You gotta do it. We've got a five dollar donation from McSwirls. No, if Bruge is doing a blindfold a blindfolded Necron, is Wave singing us a song? <laughs> put, a, put a price on it. Uh, no. I Anyone got a guitar? If someone has a guitar, we're, we're good to go. I'll have my people get on that. <laughs> <laughs> 
How good is it that the music works in Disc 4? Very good. That's pretty good, though, isn't it? Imagine if, Imagine if there was a speed run where the, end, the last disc just didn't have any music. Couldn't be me. There's no point saving here. I'll save it. No, there isn't. I'll save outside the thing. Unless, of course. Unless, of course, someone was, uh, button. someone was someone uh, was a bit risky with the disc swap and. Uh, eh. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Nice round of applause, for Mr. Zwanzig. The Thanks birthday you. disc swap special. That could have been phenomenal. Uh, you know what I can't wait for? Is it ESA 24, 20, 20, 24, 20, next one? Is, <laughs> <laughs> is you and Jim and they're going to have a disc swap race? Oh, yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> Take it away with any donations that come in, uh, Mateko. We have a $20 donation from Alco. Now that we're reaching the final disc of this masterpiece, thank you once again for showcasing this beautiful game here at ESA. Amazing puck skip, supremely handsome, pre trans Kuja, helpful Mutsky, beautiful music, melodies of life in Yana, cute little Carbuncle, best dungeon desert palace, naming quest in the town of shame. I love everything about this game. We're doing the Nero side quest, right? <laughs> Winky face. <laughs> and we've got $10 from Reverb. Best disc swap I've ever seen. Zwanzig Pride. Jim and on blast. Well done. Woo! Top class. It's funny that you ask about the Nero Town thing because we have actually got a save ready just now. <laughs> 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 we got just the thing cooking. <laughs> right, quick party set up and we're. Yep, so we are now formulating our final plan and we're bringing the final. Final, final, final party together. We're bringing the four melee DPS together. So we've got Zidane naturally, uh, Steiner for charge mostly, Freya because of jump is is actually really good, and Amarant because well he's, he he can punch stuff I guess. Uh, is there anything else they're missing? Man is not on, but you can't afford you don't it. Need so that. It's, fine. it's fine. And what about um, locomotion? It's not supposed to be on there. It's, it's fine. Just yeah. save it. Uh, I mean, it's only going to matter for Nova, but it's carry on. But yeah, Z's defense might be a little bit lower. The shockwave might hit a little bit harder than late. Okay. You're not doing anything about that. <laughs> That's what it is, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're saved. We are going. Get ready with some cool FMVs. Here we go. Faster than yesterday, <laughs> slower than tomorrow. <laughs> Go it away, full throttle. <laughs> Nova Dragon, one of the run killers, potential. He can just straight up. Double shockwave you, and uh, you have to call it a day. Indeed. So, uh, Nova Dragon has four abilities. He does have a fifth one, but don't worry about that one. Uh, he's got shockwave, which is the one that you do not want to see. He's got psychokinesis, which is the one that you're pretty sad to see. And then he's got tidal wave and aerial slash, which we really do want to see. Show them to us. So, uh, our party is currently really kitted out to deal with the elemental ones being aerial and tidal wave. Uh, single target uh, psycho is actually going to probably kill. Uh, Freya, at least take a rebirth off her and or Amaranth. And Shockwave has a really good chance to not only put most characters at like low HP, but actually kill Freya and Amaranth <coughs> at the same time. If we see an elemental attack in the opening, it's only going to deal a little bit of damage to some of the characters. <coughs> We're talking a really small amount. Um, and it should give Waves opportunity to cast Luna. Luna! At which point we put the control on the floor and we do a little dance, don't we? He's nodding. I won't be dancing, but yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. That's, oh, there's time we? for a donation, I believe. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you think? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We, we, we have got four. We've got $20 from Rog, who says, Blindfold and Necron just makes sense. Nobody saw him coming. <laughs> <laughs> We've got $20 from Beaker. Let's see some blindfolded action. We've got $10 from Delwingo. Had to add more money to add to the blindfolded boss. Nice. And we've got $200 Holy moly. from Gabe Gel. 127. Blindfold plays. We've got such 
500, no, 458 out of $400. Dang. Nice. Lovely. All right, here we Unreal. go. Unreal. Psychokinesis. Okay. Not ideal, but. Uh, yeah, you do less than less. Than so. Okay, so Psycho's going to put a little bit of a wrench in our plan, so we're going to have to spend a turn picking up. Not attacking with Sino because counter attacks are a thing. So we're going to get a little bit of chip damage here with Zidane and Freya. It's about 10k or so. Twister. 11K. Right now. Twister is a 50% thing. Okay, very good. So that's the counter attack. What do I do? Nice. Uh, Tidal Wave is, is only going to take out Amaranth again, I'll unfortunately. Amaranth again, yeah. Freya is immune to this. Steiner actually gets healed, and Zidane's going to take about 500 damage. Pick so, up yeah, kind turn. of the same turn again, unfortunately, but this is fine. We are dealing pretty good chip. Another 11, 12k or so, so about 35k left. Nice. More whiffs on the counter. Very, very nice. Okay. I got okay. Slash. So, this is only going to deal a little bit of chip damage to Freya. She's going to live through this nice and comfortably. That is a lot of trance, my dude. Nice. That's frustrating. So no Luna today, but we should be able to finish this off after the next attack. So... Okay. Shockwave there would have actually been pretty scary. Yeah, it would have. This is fine. You got lethal? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah. Oh man, just one touch. Blumen. Blumen, blumen. This is... <laughs> Alrighty. What's up? Have you seen Freya's trance? Yes, yes. <laughs> it's fine. It's That's fine. fine. You won't even see it happening. It's fine. Exactly. You won't have to worry about it. I need my sheet. <laughs> um, so the reason why that's a problem is because Freya's wonderful special ability when she's trancing is uh, it changes her jump into a different kind of jump. It's still called jump and she still goes up. But while she's up there, she doesn't just come straight down. For each tick of trance that she stays up there, she just throws spears, which is, is very cute. They don't do very much damage. <laughs> but the problem is, is that we only really want to stay up there for one turn. So if she stay up there for more than one turn, it becomes a little bit more complicated to deal with. And I've already done this. Yeah. And I don't want to do it again. <laughs> but it doesn't look like I'm going to have much of a choice. So. She might trance before then. Uh, well, we'll that's, that's, I hope so. I'll do my damnedest. And unfortunately, pretty much the Freya isn't really likely to trance until very late in the game, and the the one fight where we really want to have jump just be jump is the final boss. Yeah. Exactly. Unfortunately, so yeah, and that last build was really big. So I am gonna have a quick look and get the sheet open, just like <laughs> refresh myself, because it's it's real bad. Just watch the watch the blindfold. Run. Yeah, because that was yeah, that, that was, was very two, helpful, wasn't two it? Two trances in the one necro. There was, there was two trances in there, and I don't really want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like I might have to. All right. Oh yeah. Is he full? Yeah, he's full. Okay. Uh, this off. This off. Dude. Okay. Why is the spreadsheet no longer available? Devil's already on. Okay, cool. Good to go. Oh. Okay, the next boss up is Malaris. Um, pretty straightforward boss. Yeah, nothing don't forget to save it. Oh. You haven't actually seen uh, charge being used at all yet, I think, because we haven't really had opportunity to have, uh, That's true. get much use out of it, but it's going to be very uh, useful in these Disc 4 boss fights. Not in Malaris per se, but the rest of them for sure. Yeah, it's huge. It, uh, it will be the bulk of our tool belt. Well, you know what? It, it's actually kind of a big problem. It looks like none of Petro's notes are currently available. <laughs> like, not just the like, so that 
Are you in the right Google account or anything? Yeah, they, I just went on speedrun.com and it's not there anymore. Oh. It's just quickly deleted them <laughs> so that you have to do this. <laughs> Truly blindfolded. Nice. It's okay, I can work it out. I can work it out. She, yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> No. You could always just quickly heal Freya so she gets hit during an encounter. She doesn't. You really don't want to. She deal probably with it. just dies. Yeah, she probably. She's pretty. She's pretty flimsy. Yeah. It's fine. Well, it's fine. Um. Yeah. We'll take that. We'll get that bridge. We we'll get it. So you're, for now, Malaris. You're definitely gonna get your money's worth for uh. Yeah. <laughs> the blind neck run. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So, yes, Malaris has a good chunk of HP. The, the following bosses have roughly 60k HP each. Um, Malaris has... 59497. Yeah, 59497. And we... We're currently tooled up with Devil Killer on everyone. Uh, MP attack. So we're going to be dealing quite a lot of damage to her. We, she is actually really quick. So the idea here is that uh, we need to be lead, need to be closing the fight, the turns, with the Amaran or Zidane or Steiner charge specifically, not Steiner regular attack. Because if she does a regular attack following up either Freya or Steiner, those characters won't actually get their turn because they're too slow. Metal Malaris, I believe, has max speed. Well, these are some real, real these nice These are some encounters. nice encounters. It's going to be a spicy this far. Take it away with a donation, Mateco, if you want. Of course, we've got $5 from Ham Fruitcake. Tell the boys that I'm going to bed, but this has been a wonderful stream and I'm so happy I got to watch. You guys are the greatest. Also, nothing went wrong on Disc 4 ever. <laughs> <laughs> ever, ever. Never, ever, ever. And uh, we've got $10 from Tarman. I migrated from Stream 1 nearly nine hours ago just for this run and have zero regrets. Stream 2 <laughs> Chads, where are we at? Uh, and I'm just going to put a personal request out there. If anyone would like to donate with a set of Petro's notes and a link, that would be great. <laughs> I will say more specifically if they have the, the, the Necron notes. Uh, Jibben asks, do you need a chart or root notes? No, I need the Necron chart if you've got it. I need oh the Necron I can't believe it's not on the chart. There. The, whole, the whole thing's gone. Check Discord, you, you legend. Oh, Peter Swanson. Oh, Cleave. Nice. Definitely something that you do not want to be holding Flea for, because it is a party wipe. I have definitely never died to uh, anything of the sort. To be fair, I didn't. It was when Zidane, uh, Zidane tranced and I couldn't flee was the, was the issue. But Iron Giants can be quite troublesome. Everyone's fine on MP. We're good to go. Okay, I probably will be using charge here then. Let's see it. Okay, looks like we're okay. We'll figure it out. Thanks. Nice. Thank Thanks, Peter. Pete. Yeah, really weird. Maybe something happened to the account. We'll have to figure that out sometime. So this is the first of the four guardians we're going to be facing again on our way to Kuja and his cronies. A preemptive charge? Oh my goodness. Swag moves. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a free 16k damage. I will take that, please. Yeah, just, oh, just put it in the basket, cover it in. That's it. Very nice. That's a nice little start. Okay. Attacking Z. If Z doesn't die, it's all good. Nice. I should have not put him first. That's cool, that's cool. So, charging again, so if we... Are we on track to kill this turn? Yeah, maybe. I'm watching. Twenty-five k left? Nah. Next turn. 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought we were that further out than I thought. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. Okay, so don't forget that we need to, like, get over the, uh, the AoE. Yeah, yeah. Into should that find, yeah, yeah right. he's got full damage, full health, so yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once Zidane survives here, revenge. He does a finishing tack, but it normally Zidane has enough HP that we just survive it anyway. Yeah. So it's fine. That's why we leave Zidane at full health. Though. Part of the reason as well why we uh, uh, gave him that extra experience on the Hector is because it really cements him a little bit. Oh, what? Zidane waves. Just kidding. 
<laughs> the worst is they'd probably believe I messed it up again today. <laughs> no, we baited you. Chat was baited. Oops, dude. Come on. Dude, come on, you're doing that. There's something on there. Uh, okay, I'm good to go. Next up is Tiamat. Tiamat is probably the worst of all the bosses on this disc. Tiamat can just open with a move called Jetfire or Twister. Or just do them both back to back and make your life a misery. But uh, sometimes he just avoids that and can do some like absorb magic and absorb strength and stuff that's not so bad. Mm -hmm. um, but because Freya is the only one who has Dragon Killer, She's the main. Takes a while. Yeah, this fight takes longer than the other the rest of them. That's why I guess it's more subject to. Yes, yeah, these are, he can, also he has access to two AOE abilities, which he can only actually fortunately use once. Once he's used them, once he can't do it again. He has uh, Jetfire, yeah, which which actually does AOE heat. So if you've managed to <coughs> not like learn a, a body temp on any of your characters, if they survive the attack, you're actually not allowed to use them for about a turn. For it's nasty. Just waiting for it to manually naturally wear off uh, and then Twister Twister is able to so Zidane and Amaranth both have wind null in their coronets they're wearing on their head which they completely ignore Steiner will take potentially a lot of damage the damage range on it is something like 200 to 4000 damage it can deal or something like that so it's got a, a, a sizable chance to kill him but you can see him live half the time roughly yeah, yeah. sure Fortunately for us also, never mind. <laughs> the, um, but in the next screen, there's a weapon for uh, for Amaranth, which we're going to pick up quickly and equip as well, mm -hmm. boosting his damage output. Fun fact, there was a there was a weapon for Freya we could have picked on uh, picked up near the start of this dungeon, but it actually does lower damage than the one she has, the Holy Lance, because we can... Oh, YOLO Yellow Tiamat, let's go. Yeah, I was going to say, what, <laughs> what Yellow Tiamat? What could possibly go wrong? Surely nothing. Please don't. There's no uh, way that. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, um, <laughs> Freya actually does more damage with the Holy Lance because we can boost her holy damage with certain equipment. Uh, so her. even though the other one has more strength, we just keep using this one. Yeah, you can you can try doing this boss with uh, everybody in yellow and get four man charges, but it's extremely it risky is. because Jetfire will just yeah. Burn it's you. so not recommended that we probably heal Zidane and uh, Zidane and um, or Steiner Bolt to full. Uh, we need to drop some meters. Everyone actually, and then equip you. Interesting. What's supposed to be there? Uh, Devil Killer. Okay. Well, I don't need it for this fight, but I guess. Yeah. Normally learned, maybe? Uh, I know a backup. I know a backup. You're supposed to learn it on uh, Malaris. Ah. You must have, like, not put ability up on or something. Maybe. All the save just didn't have enough AP. Alright, nice. Rude. This is fine. Um, yeah, you can do a rebirthless strategy for. Uh, Tiamat. Uh, Kraken. To back it up. Okay, that's good. So this doesn't do anything. I mean, it is a little bit. So we're going to be using three man charges here. Uh, Steiner's going to deal pretty, pretty pants damage now that he's had his strength absorbed. But that's not why we're doing it. Instead, we're using charge here because we want Freya to attack as many times as possible. She is the massive beater because of the aforementioned uh, Dragon Killer. The rest of the party just can't learn that. Nice. Clobber him. 6396. Oh, yeah. 14 oh, yeah. We're back in this oh, one, baby. Yeah. He's dealing some bad damage. Here we go. Twister. Here we go. So we're going to have two go down here, but it's not that big a deal because of, of rebirth, right? Did our rebirth trigger already? So we can just get back into the fray. And just. If we see, unfortunately, if we see Jetfire, it is just going to slow us down quite a lot, but it's just a fray, shall we? Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Not really too much you can do about it, other than heal up Steiner. Absorb MP. Can you swing through this? 20k. Probably. No. Mm -hmm. 
So we're using AT weight here to hang on to the ATB while the Ether goes through, so we can still have Steiner take his turn in front of Tiamat here. If you're not holding ATB, unfortunately Tiamat would actually take a free turn. Should run this charge, and that would be very bad. Bonk. Maybe. Nice. Very nice. Just on the nose. So we're going to make our way to Kraken. There are a swath of encounters that await us. Yes. So we have this time. This is for the longest thing we got to run. So yeah, take Back it away. Stairs, take it away. We've got, we've got a five dollar donation from Dill Wingo. He says, "Nice Fort Condor, be it, fellas. You actually had me." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, on Freya. Oh, oh, oh never mind. Oh man, my only my only chance is that we see Meteor not kill Freya and she trances for me. That that would just that would just make your day. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oof. This is a uh Heavy encounter this for. Normally it's around nine encounters eight. Nah, it can be anywhere between eight and twelve or something like that. We're getting a few this time. These guys are the veterans, they cast roulette. It's like their only move. Um, I should not have defended it. Hopefully it the worst case scenario here, especially for Brutals, is if it kills itself, we're in trouble. <laughs> I am not even joking. She's kind of currently kind of undoubled, so maybe... Maybe it's okay. Oh my god. It also makes uh, Lich and Death Guys a bit more interesting now that we may be susceptible to level 5 deaths. <laughs> uh, uh, right. Well, this is this is happening. You're getting to see... So I was finally <laughs> just starting to like get like a mental image of how I'm going to handle this fight. <laughs> is she up. level 25? I uh, Actually, I'm not sure. I actually didn't see who actually went up a level. Nice. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. FF9 is behaving today. My God. You are getting your money's worth for yeah. this blindfolded Necron. <laughs> it's the cleave. He we've just... seen one. We've seen one cleave already, uh, but. Hopefully there'll be no more into Ether, Freya, and... Uh, Whew. Okay. It so, is. Yeah. The next fight coming up is going to be Kraken, so I, I'll run you through a backup that you can do. You're essentially making like a half half rebirthless, half non rebirthless strategy. Okay. And you can make it work really easy. Because uh, that will give you Devil Killer. Um, so... Just talk about the menu, or... Mm -hmm. Is there something? Yeah, tell me about the menu. Yeah. So Kraken uh, is a really interesting boss. Uh, I hate them. Yeah, they, they really, really suck when you're trying to get a good time. But they're, fundamentally, they're actually really cool in the way they work. Mm -hmm. um, basically, she has these two tentacles by her side um, that are part of the boss. Uh, when they both die, it's very, very similar to Lani. And when the damage that's dealt to them uh, hits them, and finishes off the second tentacle, it actually replaces her sta uh, her ATB on the stack. So if you're able to have a bunch of turns, and then before you're hitting the final tentacle, you queue everyone again for their following turn, when they deal lethal damage to the, the uh, tentacle, she'll actually get a, a move put to the back of the stack, and you'll get a free turn out of it. It's a way that we can create two turn Krakens, uh, which are way more reliable on rebirth strategies, but unfortunately, because something's gone wrong, and uh, Devil Killer hasn't been learned. We're gonna have to like just kind of skew it a little bit just to get that in play. Would it be worth just going without Devil Killer, or no. you want to want it? You want it for Lich. It's worth it. It is worth it. Um, so essentially, rather than giving her the power belt, you want to give her the Rebirth Ring. You don't okay. need to turn Auto Life on. 
Okay. And you want to give Zidane the ribbon. Gotcha. Apparently, I don't believe anyone's wearing the ribbon. It's just open. Other than that, the menu's going to be the same. You need to re-equip Devil Killer. Uh, yeah. It looks like you need to re-equip it anyway, actually. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, you basically just have a, re the, a rebirthless strategy, but instead of Maiden's Prayer, it's rebirthing. Okay. So rebirth on Freya. Correct. And ribbon. Yeah. Once it done. Yeah. And you just go for a free turn, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. No problem. No so, problem. Yeah, the, 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 issue, the, issue, the big issue with this fort is that there are basically two completely different sets of notes based on whether or not you got that rebirth ring. In previous routes, if we didn't get the, if we didn't win the tournament, we actually go to that island that we went to when we were naming Quina uh, De Guero. And you can synthesize one uh, based on some gear. Mitchell Elm, Mitchell Elm, goddamn. And those. And they say you want to be Brandy? No, Rebirth Ring. It's done already. Yeah, it's fine. enough. And then. No, no, he's, he saves the ribbon. Oh, he's on the ribbon anyway. Yeah. Fine. And then he wants Mantra Band? Yes. And the rest of the menu's the same. Um, yeah, no auto life, Grant. And then she wants all the things. No devil killer. No, no, it's not there. Okay. That's something else. No, no antibody. You can't afford it? Question mark. Hard life. So it's yeah, that doesn't need to go on. Uh, Ability up and come off. Uh, that one I want. Devil killer. She doesn't have it. She doesn't have it. You've got to put the right hat on her. Sorry. Cross arm. Cross arm. Cross arm. I missed that bit. <laughs> there you go. Now you're good. Now you're good. Now you're good. Now you can do devil killer. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Backups, we got him. No stress. Just do a different fight in the flight. <laughs> all good. That's what it's all about. So, Waves is going to start by attacking the tentacles. Once the tentacles are down, they're pretty much just exclusively exclusively going to be used to take these. Take a bow. Um, exclusively going to be using Watergur. That double preamp is really helpful. That's really good. I can get Freeze. Freeze. Yeah. Nice. So, so Freya last. Fre I'm on Freya again. Let's go. Yep. Really nice. Swing. Yep. Charge. There, job done. Very nice. So Amarin's going to kill the left tentacle. There's going to be a large animation after his turn, but our ATB is going to start growing now. So while this is all going off, we have plenty of time to queue Amarin ability Amarin's turn again here. Like so. So you'll notice that even the Kraken is having a turn, right? She's pretty quick. But, because that tentacle has only just been taking lethal damage, that actually refreshed Kraken's turn on the stack. Uh, the reason why we sent Amaranth in here, he's very likely to get countered because of mechanics, uh, but Kraken pretty much exclusively oh, deals baby. water damage from now on. So Am Lani is going to die anyway. This charge is going to be like Amaranth's kind of last hurrah before he goes down. No, no counter on Zidane, by the way. Unreal. So with and basic attacks, that's a big roll. With basic attacks coming in, okay. uh, Kraken can respond with a counter attack. Looks like, yeah, there it is. So you want to hold just in case this is actually her turn. Sometimes it's rare. And there's the turn. Okay. So everyone's going to completely nullify this, don't forget. That's back to church. Yep. How much you want? 22? 22, we won't get 22. I suppose there's an argument for putting Z at the end, but... Do you want to try and kill Wizardan? Yeah. Uh, no counter again. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Should be enough. It's yeah, actually a yeah, wonderful yeah, yeah. fight regardless, but it's... Uh, it's just still a two-turn Kraken. With, yeah, all the backup carry on. The two free M's were huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 4-5? Oh, Very nice. I can only guess. Well played. Very nice fight. So it's up to you if you want to rejig everything and like set yourself back up again, or you can just run that. Um, I actually might just because I'm gonna mess up all my notes, but not either. Uh, so Z wants the rebirth ring again. And Freya wants power bolt. First. Power bolt. Power bolt. Come on. There he goes. Rebirth ring. Auto life on Z. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, is it? Is that everything? Burkitter yep. needs to be on it. Nope, he's fine. He's fine. 
We're good. Everything is good, so. Don't need to heal. I actually didn't check the eaters. You're fine. You need to keep them, I think. I think you only got four left. If you ether just for Kraken, which you did, yeah, it should be fine. then you're fine going into Lich, yeah, especially after two turn. Because okay. this is a two turn yeah. fight. This, he's just going to bleed. So, after these relatively complicated uh, last three fights, uh, the next one is like easy. Yeah, this Lich, one's pretty, pretty Lich is a pushover. He actually has like one of the lowest HPs too, which is kind of weird. Ish, 58. Yeah, and the fact that he's weak against holy damage means Freya's just going to be hitting for yeah. almost max. There's nothing I needed to re equip on Freya, no. No, you've done it all. Okay. Let's check. And we're going to scoot over this side of the room, just because there might be something there in a moment. You never know. You never know. We've been. You never know. The save file could have the wrong uh, IGT. <laughs> <laughs> that would be Imagine hilarious. Be nope. It is. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I I'm I, not even joking. I reject that reality. That's just not happening. Yeah, we're not gonna be perfect. This is fine. At least he lives. Just go in, man. Yeah, so unfortunately, Amarin perishes here, but that's fine. Big hit from Freya. Yeah. All things considered, and now the enemy is also weak to Holy. She's out by Holy. She's got Devil Killer, and she's got MP attack. She is clobbering. Yeah, all, all that combined is like, I think, over five times her regular damage. Rude. Very rude if it is. She does have auto. No, she does, does have auto life on. She does, doesn't she? No, not yet. Z does. Z does. Take her back up. Yeah, yeah. My name. <laughs> just swing, just swing, just swing. <laughs> Don't need to eat the fruit. <laughs> That's weird fine. that you ran out. I thought you ate it before the uh, thingy. Not, uh, stunning. Oh. All right, so Z's actually going to go down here. Yeah. So Stein is not going to be able to do anything. You can pick him back up and swing him for it. How much you got? 23. So there's a good bit away. Um, it's up to you. Make the play. Maybe just swing, swing. Oh, he's got auto life. Ha <laughs> ha, swing, swing. We're seeing a whole We're lot seeing everything of today. Earthshake. Amazing attack? Stop. It's not on Freya. Was it 4K, 9K? Okay, we should be fine. Okay, so we can ignore this. That's honestly probably the longest you'll ever see a Lich fight last. Yeah, that was <laughs> That was pretty idea. slow. Yeah. But that was unfortunate for just how it went. Okay. I'm gonna scoot over here. Please be here. Nice. Very good. Excalibur 2. Hey! Oh shit, I... Never mind, sorry. <laughs> I should not have eaten today. Uh, well, you're 1153. <laughs> You're oh, actually close. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that's not what I should have done. Do the corners, end cut, power vest. No, we don't have a power vest and a rebar ring. Okay, that's fine. Uh, optimize you, this off. Optimize you, this. Uh, Rich and Back Rosie. That is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so for, the, for those yeah. unaware, uh, what he just picked up is the strongest weapon in the game uh, for Steiner. It's uh, only there if you reach this point in the game in under 12 hours. And because of the having the load to save that had a little bit more time on it than you usually have in a speedrun, we're, we're actually at 11.53. So if it, this run had been... <laughs> Seven you know, minutes it's, lower, we would have uh, yeah, had to do some more loading of a save. So I think. Could I interject and uh, be a bit of a pest? Yeah, go for it. So I've got... Well, we've got... Do you want, do you want donations or do you want the special thing first? Do the donations first. We have twenty dollars from corn lads. Uh, does anyone else want to do the ba 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 ha ba da ga da ga da ba 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 Waves and Brutals playing FF9 is a sight to behold. Don't forget the tower. Five dollars from Anonymous. If they're overestimate viewers, it's your fault. And we have <laughs> yes. And yes. we have five dollars from Queen Stella. Hey Mitako, any interest in running nine and getting the blood sword on purpose? Just asking for a friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that sounds like a Steiner only thing or Vivi only thing for me. Uh, right. So I have I have exciting news. Um, if you're in the, the ESA Discord and general gaming, and you can get on that, uh, Merck has put the yeah, Necron on Freya it. stuff. Thank you, Merck. You're welcome. You are helping me out greatly. Time to 
absorb an entire spreadsheet in 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> this man is doing like yeah. 40 chess in his head right now. Yeah, yeah. It's alright, she's gonna uh, trance on uh, Death Guys. You'll be fine. Yeah. I believe. I believe. I believe. Indeed. <laughs> Dude, I forgot where I was. I was running up the last screen. Okay. One last screen. One last screen. No encounters. This is that we were sure they had 68 encounters. That's 69, surely. Oh, yeah. Yep, sure. Nice. We weren't keeping track, but it's definitely around 69. <laughs> so, for those who don't know, Death Guys is the other boss in the game that can just straight up kill you. There's just sometimes nothing you can do about it. We do have the Rebirth Ring on Zidane, which is going to help. So if he dies straight away, at least he will get up again and have another chance. But even that is not guaranteed um, safety from Death Guys. He can just meet here and then kills the damn answer. Oh, so these we, final bosses are going to be fun. These are going to be interesting, yeah. I'm going to have fun. <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be great. I can't wait. Oh my god. Oh. 17 counters? No. <laughs> okay, let's do this here. Autofloat off, this on, this, and bird killer on, this, autofloat, this, this, this. Okay, uh, items. Can I elixir someone? Oh, we only have six. Uh, we only two. Just double check bird killer on, Fred. I will after. Um, drop. You drop. My fox drop. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, keep okay. one. Yeah, keep, keep one for me. <laughs> okay, I'll check bird killer and we're good to go. I'll save. Hey, right. It's worth noting the stun is level 30. There's nothing we can do about it now. It is what it is. Yes, it is what it is. Look at that, 1157. <laughs> Dude, that was so close. Okay, I'm gonna come back and save again after uh, after death, guys. But here we go. This is the run ender. It's lovely that they put a run ending fight right at the end, right just before the last boss. Um, and it's definitely fun when a PB does here. So unless you're doing some kind of uh, janky knight stuff, uh, Death Guys is always, always, always going to start the fight with Meteor, which will do anywhere between 50 or 4,900 damage on every single party member. Uh, damage is completely random. There's no way to lower it at all. Our, like our armor or anything does not matter. Uh, you just got to have enough HP to survive it or get lucky, essentially. We're mostly going with the get lucky strat. Yeah, it would take a while to level up <laughs> enough to have over 4,900. And Death Guys is incredibly fast too. So if he uses, he has two moves he can use in his open phase, which is Spin and uh, Demon Claw. If he uses Demon Claw, the person who attacked last isn't going and getting another turn anyway. So uh, he's just dangerous. Dangerous. You preempt? Oh, hey. Whoa, jump, jump. Wait, why jump? I thought you wanted her to trance. <laughs> Don't jump. <laughs> <laughs> that is huge, getting a nice preempt. You just What's jump. What's not happening you now? Jump, you jump, you jump. You always jump. You always <laughs> jump. You always, you jump. always jump and swing, and that's your enough damage then. Oh, baby. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it's good he jumped. <laughs> Demon Slaw? Demon Slaw? Demon Slaw? Demon Slaw? Nice. Very, very huge. All right, so now that uh, helps. Zidane is the tank in this fight, so we try to get him into a good spot where he can survive some attacks nice. and then try to revive Steiner, who's going to be doing the bulk of the damage here now with the Excalibur 2. He's going to be hitting max damage on every attack. Okay, ah. spin the win. Ah, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> get in there! <laughs> it actually happened. Oh, my God. Brutals is so that happy is right so now. so good. <laughs> anyway, uh, now we revive Steiner, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> unbelievable. Unbelievable. No. Okay, never get, never punished. Never. Don't die. Don't <laughs> you dare die. 
<laughs> oh god. Yeah. Okay. He's not getting in. So that's gonna do it. No. He's... Freya, no! <laughs> <laughs> Whew. She actually still has he like half build trans now. That's fun. I didn't know that's how that worked. Pick her up. <laughs> <laughs> I always figured it would it would just uh, empty out anyway, but I guess it doesn't. Oh, I didn't even know I that. I guess not. Yeah. It's fine. That's not gonna fill again. Uh, so here's level 5 death. <sighs> Ideally, uh, this would not be hitting Steiner, but since the uh, yeah. veteran uh, killed itself and gave us extra level ups, uh, it now hits Steiner. Twister? Twister? Nice. Nice damage, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Bonk. Okay. Show me the items. No items. No high potions. Interesting. Is this level 5 or just death? Is just death. death. Um, does the Avenger reduce enough? Uh, I mean, it'll do some. It'll do like 6. We'll find out. It's fine. You're not going to die before the next. Yeah, and that's level five, death. We're, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, death guys, first try. Done. We are true. All we right. have survived. Save it. I know. Yeah. I <laughs> will be do. saving. I will be saving. It's okay. Whew. Ah. Ah. <laughs> this man is so <laughs> relieved. <laughs> <laughs> go back, do a menu, and we we'll go back. Uh, MSP, Cerebert, Shield, uh, Double Light for you, Virgin, uh, the man. And uh, anyone need neither? No, don't use them. Okay. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> okay. Do not change the items, gotcha. So Transcuja is the next fight. Also has a 50% uh, mechanic where any attack after 50% HP uh, is dealt will counter with an AOE Flare Star, which is beautiful. You can also naturally do it and sometimes open with it for fun. It's really fun when it's that happens. It's really, really fun, fun when that happens. Um, so you've got a good question actually. Why is Freya not wearing any gloves? Yes. Uh, it's because she's going to slap Transcuja. <laughs> uh, but actually, it's because uh, gloves uh, in this game should typically give you magic evade. And in the Necron fight, uh, he is going to be using blue shockwave. And we need Freya to not avoid it. We need Freya to enter into critical. Okay. Let's do it. Hopefully, I can get some quick attacks in here first before we start. And then. Uh, Unlucky. That's not happening. Nice. Oh, yeah. Reflect. Now that's exactly what we want to see. Nice. We will, we will rock you. Oh, baby. What does he do? It's fine. That's like 20k. You're on about 20. Okay. Okay. I think I still have little here, as long as it's not on Stein. Okay. Yeah, we can. Very clean fight. All good. All right, so I guess we should explain Necrom before it actually happens, because Broods is going to have to focus during the actual fight. Yeah, we got a bit of time. I'm just going to stop the controller quick, and we can be talking about it while Broods is doing it. The incentive did say for Zwanzig to do the Necron fight blindfolded. <laughs> that will not be happening. It was four hundred dollars, Zwanzig. <laughs> <laughs> if you wrote that, <laughs> come on, man, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. You gotta do it. <laughs> Necron knows it's your birthday. He'll give it to you for free. 
There's no way it said that. So I, I do not believe you. Let's. <laughs> I, I will show it to you if you want. <laughs> I have it in writing. <laughs> I would. I would be scared to do it. Not blindfolded right now. I would. <laughs> I would mess that up. So Necron has an attack he does called Blue Shockwave. It puts a member, if it hits, which it should all the time because we removed the gloves from Freya, so it should hit. Um, puts him on one HP. He does this three times, and then after that he follows up with Grand Cross, which is a move that will put status ailments on all your party members. It can be, and it's random. It's it's crazy. Uh, and then while you're suffering for one turn trying to recover, he will follow that with Neutron Ring, which will just decimate your party and basically game over. Uh, so what we do is there's a little strat where we buy, whereby we jump over, we kill all our party members off and let Freya jump over the first Blue Shockwave, which will skip Grand Cross and Neutron Ring and then start again at Blue Shockwave 1, Blue Shockwave 2, Blue Shockwave 3. Using that, um, we use that time of those three attacks, of those three moves to just kill him before he gets a chance to do it again. Um, all going well. Are you going to be double jumping, Brutes? Yes. So, because Brutes is going to be blindfolded for all this, he's going to jump, kill everyone, jump over the first Blue Shockwave we see. Neutron Ring and Grand Cost will be skipped. Then he's going to Swing, swing, jump again over the third one once again to skip. Um, skip after the third one to skip the two attacks again. And then he should be able to finish the fight out. Uh, and it's just a bit safer that way in case protect happens or anything else happens. It's just a much safer strat. Before I do anything else, I need to take memory off. Very cool. Okay. Right. We need to get some hype in the room. I mean, let's, get this, let's get this going. Blindfolded neck run, here we go. It can't go any worse than the blindfolded run. <laughs> Better rather, actually. Man, it's just pulling everything down. <laughs> Put that up there, is it? Yeah. You good? I'll do, probably. <laughs> I'll move this down. Okay. No, it won't. <laughs> you need to hold it up. Yeah. Zwanzig, everybody! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I've got you, Brutes. Thanks, mate. <laughs> We are going in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We're in the cutscene. Are we? It's still loading into the fight. They're going up now. They're floating okay. up. Fight's in.
scare me like that, Bruce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm good at that. Time. Time. Well done, dude. <laughs> Just like we drew it up. Easy. Just right. like practice. Just like practice. <laughs> I'm with that, and absolutely, I don't think there was anything wrong with this run. It was perfect. I think. Perfect start it was finish, absolutely right? perfect. <laughs> was that world record? No. Yeah, basically. Al almost. Basically world record. Blindfolded. As you do. As you do. Oh, so, man. There we go. That was a wild ride, bro. I, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you had a good time. <laughs> uh, we enjoyed ourselves in the ups and downs and roller coasters of emotion that is Final Fantasy IX. Um, we are a bit overestimated, so we won't keep anyone because there is new, there's more runs coming after this. So, thanks so much for all the donations. There was huge money raised today for all the naming incentives and for the blindfolded hedgehog by and the blindfolded necron by Broods. Um, can we give it up for Broods again? <laughs> Not that stuff. And for Waves. Hey, I'm very good at memoria. <laughs> and of course, our wonderful assistant and co-commentator. And blindfold holder. And blindfold, blindfold holder. Blindfold holder and birthday today. So and birthday they give boy. it up for Mr. Swansea. <laughs> Thanks everyone, thanks for all the readers, thanks for Taco and everyone else that was here all day. Um, long run, we got through it, we did it in the end. In the end. Thanks so much thank everybody. Thank you so much guys. All right, standing, thank you so much indeed, gentlemen. So just very quickly to round it out, we've got $10 from even Mint Deer. You can't see this right now, but good luck. And is it fair to say <laughs> that we now have the new best blindfold FF9 segment in a marathon? Yes. <laughs> Depending on who you ask. Depends on who you ask. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there's a question about that. Up next, we have got Canna Bridge of Spirits. It's run by Insert Large. I guess it's ESA Marathon 2 at ESA Summer 2023. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> 